would have verged in. It would have verged in from the left and passed the left alpha. Alright, on hotel, cross the 22 right and give way to verge in, then on to alpha, no 25. Kennedy, good afternoon, Air Force 734, Iowa, 22 left. Air Force 734, Kennedy, Tower 1, 2, 3, 0, 6, on my 22 left to the line. The company will wait for you again. Give way to Virgin, left alpha, monitor ground flight honor. All right, uh, let's uh, get the show started, everyone. Welcome to LA Flight. This is the New York edition. Yeah, good morning. So sorry about the late start, my friends. But hey, listen, well, it's it going to be... It was 30 minutes early, if you think about it. We had it scheduled for, tw for 12. You're not that far off, so let's see. We'll go with that one instead. Uh, let's see. We are live yet again from New York City. Now, listen, like Joshua said, listen, I'm just going to echo what he said. We were scheduled to start at 12, but, you know, we were trying to push it for the 11 a.m. start time. But listen, hey, I'll take it any day of the week. The cameras are on, the mics are live, and we are ready for another great day of plane spotting, my friends, from this magnificent location. Sure, it's going to be a long one. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be a long one, you know. We kind of, okay, so we're going to see Lufthansa, the A380 Super, again today, and we might be ending with the departure, yes? But, like yesterday, we might extend the show because there's just so much unbelievable, insane amount of traffic here at this airport. Uh, so, most likely, after Lufthansa leaves, you know, our scheduled last plane, we'll find a way, we'll find a reason to extend and... Uh, you know, continue the show from this incredible airport, this insane airport. Jeez Louise, my friends. I think we are, let's see, we, I think we could go live in, uh, let's see, I think we can uh, start today's episode. Now, guys, are you ready? So that A380 Super is about to push back. That's going to be a pretty good one. It's going to be so close, right? The camera doesn't do it justice. Are you ready? It's so close to us that it almost feels, it almost feels like you can touch the plane. The iconic A380 pushback will happen in the next few minutes. I'm sure you might be wondering, where is Captain Ken? Well, Captain Ken right now, he's getting ready. He has a flight today, tonight. And he might, might, emphasis on might, come out and co-host the LA Flights channel. At least channel. for a few hours, right? At least for a few hours. We'll see what happens. We're gonna, uh, you know, we're gonna hope for the best there. Uh, if not, then, you know, we'll wish Captain Ken a good flight. He's going to be leaving after 11, so after the pool closes. Yeah, we so we won't, sadly, we won't be able to see his departure. Uh, Captain Ken might be showing, he might be co-hosting the LA Flights channel a little later on. We'll see what happens regarding that. A special thank you to the incredible folks here at the TWA Hotel for letting a couple of uh, crazy plane spotters take over the uh, a corner of their pool to do a full day of plane spotting. This right here is AF Geek Heaven, my friends. You have to make a list. You have to put this hotel on your bucket list. You have to come out here and experience what we are currently experiencing. It's true AF Geek Heaven here at this magnificent hotel, TWA Hotel. Don't forget about that name. We will never forget about that name. All right, my friends, I think it's time for the action. We have the 22s active, so that is yeah, good, good news. news. I told you last week, pray for the 22s or the 4s. Well, we had the 22s the entire day <laughs> yesterday, and we know how crazy that day was. It's going to be insane, guys. 22s are active. Let's go to Joshua's main cam. Thank you for joining LA Flies, the home of what? The one more plane. Let's get to the planes. Go for it. All right, let's get to the show. Hey, listen, are you ready? A special thank you to Mike uh, Perdomo. Are you ready? Mike P., I hope you're watching, friend, because you sent a $50 Super Chat wow. earlier in the morning, so before the show started. Mike P., I hope you're watching. Wow. Uh, Mike, thank the you message, very much. Yeah, the message said, message said, happy 4th of July. We appreciate that. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. 
All right, Josh, get ready. We have a big triple seven as we get the show started today. Uh, but Emirates pushing back. I oh, think we're going to miss out on the triple seven. We're going to have a million of those. All right, uh, big triple seven arriving. Let me give you some flight information regarding that one. It was American Airlines flying in from Madrid and Spain, touching down on 22 left. But I agree, we have to stay with this iconic, the famous A30 pushback. Nowhere in the world, my friends, you can get this close to the king of the skies. Nowhere. And wow, don't okay, forget, ready. we're still going to have two more Emirates throughout the day parked right in front of us. And a, a total of three A380. So we will have the Korean A380 depart around 1, uh, 1 20, possibly 2 p.m. We'll have that one uh, leave in front of us. Hopefully the 22s are still active. Oh, total four. We have Lufthansa. Don't and forget about that one. Lufthansa, my goodness. I still have to get used to that new A380 flight. Lufthansa from Munich arrives uh, just after the 2 p.m. hour, just uh, shy of the 3 p.m. hour, and uh, should leave three hours after the, after the arrival. Wow, look at this. What do you think of this? That's the business, isn't it? Look at that iconic shot. Fully loaded, by the way. Let's quiet down the static a little bit. Let's just take in the sights. The iconic A380 pushback from the TWA Hotel. Nowhere in the world you get you can get this close to the king of the skies. I'm telling you this, it feels like you can truly touch it. It's so close to us. Wow, 10 out of 10, guys. I can't wait for this incredible day. Like I said, I mean, Lufthansa should be the last plane. Uh, the departure, yes, Lufthansa, the Super A380 flying back to Munich around 5 something p.m., but I am sure we will find several hundred reasons to extend today's episode, and hopefully, listen, we'll have another big 10-11 live show, 10-11 uh, hour live show today. Let me know if you guys uh, agree with that. If not, then we'll call it a day after uh, 5 p.m. What do you think about that? Uh, big Super Chat coming in. Thank you so much, Mark, Luca. Get ready. $50 Super Chat. Wow, just wow. wow. Best show ever. Yesterday's episode should be submitted <laughs> to the National <laughs> Aviation Hall of Fame. Is there such a thing? My goodness. Peter, Josh, Captain Ken, and the wa uh, wonderful moderators went above and beyond. Your enthusiasm is only surpassed by your dedication. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. For all that you do. That is a big message, my friend. That is a big super chat as well, a big gift. No, yesterday was one of the best shows I think we've had. We've ever done. I mean, we had, listen, we were serious. We were uh, spotting so many planes. We were having fun as well. I mean, it was just a little bit of everything. It was just a great time. Are you ready? What an amazing, that's the definition, I think, in my opinion, of spending a great 4th of July. You have planes, you have fireworks, you have burgers, and you have good, good, good friends. My goodness. I'm still waiting for those burgers. Oh, <laughs> listen. Okay, when I talk about the burgers, you know, they're easily uh, accessible because we do have that restaurant oh, right boy. next to us. Hey, gummy worms yesterday for dinner. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Everything was closed yesterday. We, Everything we, was closed. We ended the show so late yesterday. Everything was closed. You know, I literally had to get some, you know, Lay's and what else? A couple gummy worms. A couple of gummy worms. But listen, hey, today I think we're going to be uh, 
ordering the food before we end the show. We'll, we'll do a little uh, the, the smart call there. Listen, are you ready? Big Al sending us a super chat. And also, it's my 55th birthday, and I've had to take an early retirement as I'm recovering from a stroke. My goodness, you both make my days really enjoyable. Thank you. Uh, many thanks, lads. Big Al, are you ready? All the best to you, my friend. I'm so sorry to hear that. And I'm so happy that the LA Flights channel can do something like that for you. Make your, uh, make your uh, retirement easy, right, my friend? Enjoyable. Thank you so much, Big Al. Are you ready? Thank you, Big Al. Welcome to the LA Flights channel. You guys are amazing. Look at this. We have Air Serbia right in front of us. Mr. Me. Did I say Air Serbia or Mr. Me? Air Serbia. Okay, because I was thinking about Mr. Me just now because... The same way you said Captain Leg. Oh, my goodness. To Captain Ken <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> so, yeah, listen, I got a little distracted. So, Captain uh, Ken, right, he uh, was standing up the entire day, right? And, well, he took off his shoes, <laughs> and I didn't notice. So, I just saw his, like, his, his shoeless feet. And I was like, oh, Captain Ken. Oops, I'm sorry. I said Captain Leg. Oh, sorry, Captain Ken. Captain Leg. Yeah, Captain Leg. My goodness. That's going to be the unofficial nickname for Captain Ken. Captain Leg. Jeez Louise. Mendel 10 sending us a $5 super chat. Is there a space up? Uh, is there space up on the deck for photographers? Also, how may I get in? I'm coming by plane, uh, for some plane spotting in about an hour or two. Have a great day. Listen, um, you can take the uh, camera up here. You can't take tripods, I think. You can't take equipment. That's only the exception for the LA Flights channel. Uh, but normally... Yeah, cameras are fine. Cameras are absolutely fine. There are, you know, several photographers up here. There's a lot of room. Uh, but it's the tripods that give a little issue here. It's only the exception for the LA Flights channel. Mr. Me, 20 memberships being gifted. This is why I was thinking about wow, Mr. Me Mr. just a few Me. moments ago. Wow. 20 memberships being gifted to the house of the one more membership. Are you ready? There you go. And Mr. Me celebrating, are you ready? A 12-month membership. Best plane spotting channel on nice. YouTube. Thank you. Enjoy New York City. Hold on. Let me find this message because I like it. And I will put it up. There it is. Goal complete. I want everyone to send the goal complete emotes on the chat for our good friend, Mr. Me, who lives in Apple Valley. Where the, uh, why is Apple Valley so important? Well, Mr. Me lives there. And my dad. And mom, and Mr. Ivan, my brother. Apple Valley, a great place. Look at this, we're speaking three. Start spreading the news. LA Flights is live from JFK. Nice to have you with us. I think I always mispronounce your name whenever you show up, and I'm sorry for that, my friend. But listen, hey, that's how you know that I you know, remember your name, and you are a long-time uh, viewer, and we thank you so much for joining the LA Flights channel. As we take the show on the road for the second day, this is day two of our New York City adventure. My goodness. And I see the chat full of the goal complete emotes for our wonderful viewer, Mr. Me, celebrating the one a year with LA Flights Live. All right, let's turn on the radios. Let's see if the uh, static is gone. Uh, I don't think the engines have started on Emirates, has it? Uh, not I yet. Heard anything. You know something? G yesterday, right? Yesterday, the one more plane was the Emirates departure flying to Milan. And talk about last minute oh, plane. Oh, yeah, that's true. Listen, that was the last one. <laughs> the pool was closing, right? The pool was closing, and we had to, you know, are you ready? You know, shut down the show because the pool is closing. But, you know, Emirates A30, I think, somehow heard that we were in a time constraint, pushed back very quickly, and did the entire LA Flights family an incredible favor. And we managed to see the A30 departure right in front of us. I think the departure happened at 10.46 p.m., right, Josh? And the pool closes at 11. Yeah, right on time. And we need like 30 minutes to pack up. So that was like a lightning pack up yesterday night. Uh, Captain Ken helping us wheel everything to the, uh, uh, to the inside of the uh, uh, lobby 
Thank you so much, Captain Ken. I ready. Thank you so much, A380, for doing such a, a, a speedy, a speedy taxi departure. Everything. So we were able to see that A380 departure yesterday, and also a bonus 747 yeah, that was true. Uh, behind the A380. So that's pretty cool. What are we gonna see today? Who knows, my friends? This is another welcome to everyone watching. This is LA Flights Live. This is the channel of the one more plane. It's gonna be magnificent today. Are you ready? Day two of the New York City edition. And we're waiting for that A380 Super. And I'm sure it's gonna be a full day of, you know, zooming into the viewers as well. We love to say hi to the wonderful LA Flights family that comes by and says hi to the channel. Yesterday, we had, there were so many people here that we had a little corner here at the, uh, uh, at the corner bar here, full of LA Flights viewers just <laughs> clapping away, waving yeah. like madmen to the pilots, enjoying the day of plane spotting. We called it the, all, the, uh, the VIP gold-plated seating area. Gold here on LA Flights, it's red plastic, but listen, it was an incredible time yesterday, like oh, yesterday. I said. It was a, it was a really <laughs> full house with, you know, with a lot of viewers. Like I said, yesterday, 4th of July, it's, it's the definition of a good 4th of July. We had planes, we had fireworks, we had good food, and we had good friends. I think it's time to get to the planes. Let's go for it. Okay, let's see. This one is flying to Atlanta, Georgia, Delta 1054, a 737. Hey, look at this, Gadzooks. Uh, with us today, let's see. Hold on, let me activate the phone camera because this is Gadzooks. When will we be uh, back in Boston? All right, you want to say hi or no? Yeah, okay, hold on. You can stay seated. I'm going to put the camera up the, uh, 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 to you, okay? Yeah, Gadzooks here hanging out at the bar. We're still waiting for Emirates. Let's go take a look. There's a there's an airport ops right here below the, the A380. Hopefully the uh, A380 isn't encountering some uh, an issue that's preventing it from getting a move on. Look, I think what they're inspecting the uh, the wheel well. Yeah, what do you think? Yeah. All the tires. They're they're inspecting something. Hold on a minute. Look at that. Oh, those are the tools. Oh, they have the tools out. Yeah, those are the tools, my friends. Look at that. Okay, look at that. That is surprising. We have Mr. Me. Towel. We kind of needed that for shade, Cat. Yeah, I just needed it for a bit. Uh, let's see. Mr. Me, new members, please renew the memberships in one month. You know, that's absolutely true. You know, Mr. Me just paid uh, the one month elite membership for 20 viewers. It expires in a month, and we would love for the viewers that were gifted to renew oh their yeah. membership. Take it like this, it's, it's a trial. It's a free trial for a month. And if you guys like what you see, you can always come out here, my friends. Uh, you can always renew the membership, and it helps the channel so much. Thank you, Mr. Me. We have Torbjorn, yes? A Tor, first what, Tor what? Tor, Torbjorn. 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 I, s I said the exact same thing. Torbjorn. No, you didn't. You said Torbjorn. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, five months of membership. Hello from Norway. We always, well, I always, you know, we always mess up your name because we do things as a team here at the LA Flights channel. I know how to pronounce it. Torbjorn. Oh, but listen, if I can't, then that means you can't. We, we can and we can't do things as a team. Thank you so much for your membership, my friend. A350, the best, a member for the past seven months. Welcome to the channel, my friend. 
Anyway, we can get some baggage footage soon. Absolutely, we just need the planes to park next to us, and I'm pretty sure Gate 7 will be full of the planes today. We'll get a little bit of the baggage drama today. Can't wait for that. Uh, let's see. This is Gadzooks. Are you ready? And now taking pictures of the Super A380. Now, are you ready? Gadzooks drove in all the way from Rhode Island, my goodness, to spend the uh, couple of days with LA Flights Live. I call a super That's fan. Awesome. Are you ready? Yeah, super that, fan. You want to say hi to the. Uh, you can just stay there. All right, look, listen. All right, listen, this is the behind the scenes cam. That's Gazooks. Say hi to <laughs> Gazooks. All the way from Rhode Island. All the way from Rhode Island. Goodness, guys, that is a big. How long was that, uh, Gazooks? Four hours. Four my goodness. Hour? Wow. <laughs> spending, listen, spending the entire day with LA Flies yesterday and hopefully today. Hopefully that's repeated again today. That's a long drive. And Very listen, impressive. Enjoying the sights, enjoying the sounds from the TWA Hotel. Amazing. There we go. As I finally take out the behind the scenes cam. Hey, what do you think? Is that new camera uh, a winner, yes or no? All right, let's see, guys. Uh, let's see. Is that a winner? What do you think, the, the, the behind-the-scenes camera? If not, then I guess we'll uh, result, uh, resort to something else. It's only if you guys want. We have Chad. Welcome to Elite Plus. Donna says, loves the new camera angle. What do you think, guys? Is it a winner, yes or no? As I accept some feedback from the LA Flights viewers. My goodness, I think the A380 is starting up. Can you guys uh, hear that? And here's a message, Chad, welcome to the memberships. Thank you so much for renewing your membership. Elite Plus. Elite Plus here at the LA Flies channel. Thank you so much, Chad. Wow, 
don't hear that. I wonder if you guys are able to hear that. Flight control testing being done on the Super and flaps already set for departure. That's going to get a move on in just a bit. Just waiting for the Super to get a move on. Look at this, it looks like the Emirates is, uh, the Emirates A380 is approaching the 25 minute mark, the 25 minutes delay. That's a really big delay for the, uh, for the Super, but listen, it's gonna get a move on in just a few seconds, I believe. Like I said, flaps already set for departure and the flight control testing being done. Just waiting for this one to get a move on. Thank you. 
Oh, there it goes. Look at that size comparison of the little uh, CRJ 700 right behind the uh, A380. Okay, uh, the to the left outside, Monica, nine south position and on final. Okay, that's the hotel Bravo at taxiway to the left. Crossway to the right, stay ahead via outside, Quebec, Monica, ground, one, two, one, point, nine. Okay, uh, two, one, two, right, And okay, let's see, we have the Kenyan 787 Dreamliner as we get the things going. So far, what do you think? Winner? Yes or no? JFK spotting? Is that a special livery? Let me let me take a look. I think it might be a special livery. I don't see it on flight radar. That's the thing. I, I can't see the uh, uh, Dreamliner on uh, the good old flight radar. Transponder not activated. Oh my goodness. Guys, are you ready? Guys, we are so close to the first 1,000 likes of today's episode, and it's only been like half an hour. Come on, everybody, if you're enjoying the JFK special second day of the New York edition of LA Flights Live. If you're having a lot of fun, if you can't wait for the action, for all of the sights and sounds that we are going to witness later today, if you can't wait for that, hit the like, and let's cross 1,000 right around the half an hour mark. Are you ready? Today I'm making out a goal. I want 2,000 likes before the first hour instead of 1,000. Today we're going to do the 2,000 likes before the first hour of the live show. This is going to be ambitious, but let's see what happens. We did it last, uh, we did it yesterday, day one, 4th of July. We did that uh, 2,000 like goal before the first hour yesterday. Can we do it again? We're going to need everyone's help. I'm going to refresh my page. Last time I checked, it was like 920 likes. I'm going to refresh my page, and hopefully we are done with the 1,000, heading to the 2,000 before the first hour of the live show. All right, that's the Dreamliner parking right next to us. Look at that and special of livery. Is, of wow. course, it's a special livery. The pride of Africa. That is I've a terrific livery. I've never seen that livery. before. That's really cool. Forget about it. I haven't seen that one either. Wow. Come live the magic, it says. All right, I'm sold. Let's go to Africa. That's a good livery. I'm sold. That's very nice. Look at that. Can we zoom into the elephants? Look at that. Guys, <laughs> look at that. That reminds me of the uh, A380, the, uh, the Wildlife uh, Foundation livery that Emirates used to have. Remember that, guys? Remember the, uh, the big, uh, all the elephants, all the uh, I wildlife? I never got to see that one in person, sadly. Wow, that's a pretty cool one. Gate 7. We're going to have it right next to us the entire, uh, for the next, what, two, three hours. Who do we have? Who do we have? Let's take a look. I think we're going to go for the uh, departure instead. The departure flying to, let's see, it's JetBlue 149 and A321 flying to Grenada.
Paul Miller, thank you so much, my friend, sending us a $5 super chat. Let me put your message up in the screen, my friend. P uh, thank you, Peter and Joshua. Have a great day, everyone. We'll be watching from Lurker's Lounge today as I work this afternoon. Thank you so much, Paul. Listen, hey, if you can't watch any part of the show, remember, always remember that you can watch the replay at any time. Today is one of these episodes, Paul, that you don't want to miss. We're going to be talking about this episode. We're going to be talking about yesterday's episode. And listen, we're going to be talking about the uh, New York edition for a very long time. Make sure you see the replay, my friend. Air India, that's the that's the 777-200. Ah, the 200 LR. That's nice. Heading to Mumbai, right? Heading to Mumbai. Yeah, Mumbai, yeah. For New Delhi, they use the 777-300ER. But for Mumbai, my goodness, that is the big one. That's the special one, the 200 LR. Sometimes Air Canada brings the uh, 200 LR to LAX. So that's kind of the only chance we get to see a 200 LR. And we have a big line over here to the park. Wow, by the way, wind is picking up. Jeez, Louise. Google Golf started 2 2 right. Never do check blue. 1400. Yeah, for Royal Air Maroc there. And a couple of arrivals happening. One landing on 2 2 right and one landing on 2 2 left. Look at that. It's so busy, they're using two runways. Uh, we're going to stay with the little CRJ for just a few seconds, but we do have the Brits arriving on 22 left, a big 777-300. Wow, look at this. The wind is really picking up. All right, let's go take a look at the Speedbird. There goes Air India, taxing to the runway. Okay, let's see. Are you ready? We have several planes ready for departure. Just don't want to interrupt the ATC conversations. My goodness, it's so fun to hear the ATC tower uh, battle with all these planes. My goodness, keeping everything so organized, so safe every single second of the day. Let's see, are you ready? We have Royal Air Maroc, a 787 Dreamliner, number two for departure. Of course, we have that Super A380, uh, Emirates A380 flying to Dubai. But how many planes are in front of the A380? We have one, two, three, a four, five, bunch. six. <laughs> six six of planes, them. and one of them is the Royal Air Maroc. We also have an A330neo. Yeah, that's coming over here, too. And that one is an LA flight. That nice. one's flying to Los Angeles, flying to LAX. That, my friends, an LA flight. You get it? Why, why do we call it LA flight, right? Because it's uh, LA flights, LAX, you get it, right? <laughs> Just in case. My goodness, we are so fortunate. Are you ready to have the runways on the... Uh, uh, to have the all the activity happen on the 22s. Winds 200 at 8 knots. Certainly favoring the 22s. Hopefully this stays the entire day. If it's like this the entire day, that's when we go crazy. That's when we do the big 10, 11, uh, 11 hour live shows. Kevin757, thank you so much. Another opportunity to start up the uh, Condor debates. We, we're going to have the green striped Condor arrived in, uh, let's see, around 2.25 p.m. Eastern time zone. Thank you, Kevin. A member in the famed Banana Club. All right, let's see. We have Royal Air Maroc finally getting a move on 787-8. And I think we have a heavy number two for arrival. We have Delta 205 flying in from Stockholm. Number two for arrival, landing on 2-2 left. We're going to stay with the Dreamliner. 
I think so. Wind is picking up. All right, forget about the towel. All right, there goes the Dreamliner 787 all the way to Casablanca. A little smoky, a little hazy. What do you think about that today? Well, I think it's, that's the, the smoke from all the fireworks we had yesterday. You know, it could be. It could also be the wildfires in, Can in Canada. But Do you think so? That could be it. We had so many fireworks around the surrounding uh, boroughs here in New York City that there is still leftover smoke from all the lights that we saw yesterday. But I, I am blaming the Canadian wildfires just a little bit because it's you do have a smoky smell in the air, you, like something's burning. Really? Okay. Yeah, so you do have that. When I first saw it, I was sure it was the fireworks. But well, I listen, either one way or another, you know, it's smoky conditions and, you know, it's not the uh, uh, the best of air quality here at the uh, live show. We have Carol sending a $10 super chat. Thank you for the nice. Uh, thank you so much for the nicest 4th of July I've had almost forever. Your creativity, <laughs> dedication is appreciated. Carol, you are amazing. Thank you so much for being part of the LA Flights family. That's a great message. Are you ready? All right, so this one is the one flying in from Stockholm. All right, so this one is the one flying in from Stockholm as I adjust the sound levels. Getting a little loud here. Just a little bit. I'm going to put this message up in the screen again. Thank you so much, Carol. I am happy that you are having such a great time here at the LA Flights channel. And yes, yesterday's 4th of July, I think, remembered for a very long time, yeah? The same way that we were talking about the uh, 4th of July special of 2022, I oh, think we're gonna yeah. talk the same way about uh, the 4th of July special of 2023. You got that right. All right, we have a 7.5 lining up. All right, the Atari Ferrari. Emirates getting ever so closer to Runway 2 to right. That one, Delta 493, a 757 flying to. Uh, the British Virgin Islands. Very nice. All right, there goes the 7 to 5. We have a CRJ right here taxiing right in front of us, making all that sound. Heading to the gate. Emirates looks like it's number 3 for departure. With a couple more heavies trailing the A380. And we have Franco. Welcome to First Class Membership. Thank you so much for joining First Class Membership here at the LA Flies channel. We hope you enjoy your stay. Are you ready? We have Jeff. Jeff and Jill loved meeting Joshua, Peter, and Captain Ken yesterday. Hold on. Let me get the departure. And after that departure, we'll uh, put this message up. Listen, I'm gonna give you an update on what's coming in. We have so many arrivals, so many departures happening in the next few minutes. It is a traffic jam, only two runways being used here at New York City. And we have literally a million. You heard me right, one million arrivals coming in in the next few minutes. Oh my goodness. Well, it is JFK, so that's what we expect. 
Emirates up next. I'm gonna after put this the, after the Embraer. Yeah, and I'm gonna put this message up on the screen right now. We have Jeff and Jill keeping us company the entire day yesterday here at the TWA Hotel. TWA Hotel is such a fun place to stay. There Currently you go. at Dallas Fort Worth on our way home to Charlie Oscar Sierra. My goodness, where is Charlie Oscar Sierra? Jeff and Jill, very nice. I already have a wonderful trip back home. And you guys are amazing for staying uh, for so long, uh, keeping us company, plane spotting at the little VIP corner that we had here at this uh, uh, magnificent observation deck. We have Franco, look at this, our newest first class member. Gifting five memberships to the LA Flights channel. Thank you so much. Wow, thank there you. There you are. You're amazing, my friend. Welcome to the LA Flights channel. Thank you for the five. Here goes Emirates. Yeah, already on the move. Already on the takeoff roll. Emirates 204 flying to Dubai. We had this one parked right next to us on gate seven. And I think we're gonna have two other A380s parking at the same gate throughout this episode. Day two of the LA Flights New York edition happening right now. was the king of the skies lifting off pretty heavy are you ready that one fully loaded and i'm taking a look at who's lining up right now we have air india big triple seven 200 lr flying all the way to mumbai we're gonna stay with it as long as we can like i said earlier a lot of smoke a lot of haze in the distance reminiscent of the uh, los angeles hazy skies oh, are you ready boy, don't tell me about that Thank you so much, John. We have eight months with the LA Flights membership. An amazing night yesterday. The planes, the engine glow, and the yes, fireworks. Yes, we got engine glow, right? The dedication of the hosts made for a very special day. You know, there's something, John, we could have called it a day. We could have ended the 4th of July special after lightning shut down the first part. Remember, we had heavy rain, fat raindrops. We had lightning strikes. But listen, we were waiting outside the, uh, inside the hotel area, and once we had the okay, we rushed to get the show going, and we had an unforgettable part two. Because listen, we want to uh, showcase the aviation action from this magnificent airport the best we can. There's no way we weren't going to go live yesterday. Dustin Jackson, $5 Super Chat, our VIP member here at the channel, loving this New York City traffic. Thank you for bringing us this amazing trip. We do everything. We do everything for the LA Flights family. Thank you, Dustin. And let's see Jeff and Jill, Colorado Springs Airport. There you go. Thank you so much, David. Letting us know the airport code, Charlie, Oscar, Sierra. Much appreciated, my friend. You see, even the host of LA Flights needs a little bit of help, right? <laughs> All right, getting a move on, 200 alarm. Flying all the way to Mumbai. Let me take a look at what's coming in, guys. We have a 747 on final Very approach. Very nice. It's Coletta Air flying in from the city of Anchorage. We have a flurry of heavies. All the international traffic, right? We have the Swiss. We have Delta heavies coming in. Air India, my goodness, we finally get to see that airline, right? That's an airline we don't get to see at LAX. Let's we have Tyler Johnson celebrating 11 months of membership. Almost a year. Thank you for bringing the planes to us, brothers. Well done. Thank you, Tyler. I appreciate that, my friend. Only one more month. 
and we will send the uh, goal complete celebrations for your one year membership. Franco gifting one, that's six in total, guys. Our newest first class member gifting six memberships in the past few minutes. ATC Steve getting this one. Thank you, Franco. I appreciate Thank you, that, Franco. My Very nice. 100%. I appreciate that. All right, we have the 7-6 coming into land and the A330 Delta on the move right now. Let's see a couple of, let's see two Delta heavies. Which one do you guys prefer, the 767 or the A330 Neo? I think that's an easy question, right? A3, uh, not an easy question. Well, wonderful planes in front of us. I don't want to pick favorites, right? A330 Neo flying all the way to Los Angeles. That one right there, that's an LA flight. Oh, that's us in a bit, right? That's going to be us on uh, on uh, Sunday. Is that the same time too? Uh, yeah, actually it is. That's going to be our flight back home. Very same nice. plane too, Delta A330 Neo. Josh, if we can, can we pan the camera faster than the speed of light? We have the uh, we have the arrival, the Queen of the Skies, Coletta Air 4925, flying in from the city of Anchorage. A six-hour, 20-minute flight. It's non-stop action here at the LA Flights New York City edition. We have Egyptians number three for departure. Big triple seven, 300 ER. Oh, look at that. A lot of tire smoke, but I think that was a pretty good smooth arrival. No Navy pilots uh, flying that 747. We did have a little bit of flare, right? Unlike yesterday, when we had a few Navy pilots just slamming, slamming the plane down with oh, virtually no flare. All right, 747 there on exiting 22 left. That's a pretty sight. Queen of the Skies right in front of us. There we go. Hey guys, are you ready? Just a quickly uh, friendly reminder, we only have a few more minutes until we cross the first hour mark. Remember, we're trying to cross 2,000 likes before the second hour, uh, excuse me, before the first hour. We normally do 1,000 likes before the first hour. Today, we're trying to cross 2,000 likes before the first hour. If you haven't done so, we're gonna need everyone's help. We need about, uh, let's see, we need about 600 likes in the next seven minutes. We're gonna, it's gonna be so hard, but we need everyone's help. Go for it, everybody. 2,000 likes before the first hour for today's show. Oh, that's gonna be close. <laughs> oh my goodness. Listen, it's gonna be a lot more than close. We're gonna need a miracle. We need 600 likes in just a few minutes. It's gonna be hard, but let's see, let's see, let's see how close we can get. All right, we have Egypt Air, number two for departure. Right now, we also have a Delta. That one's number one. And thank you so much, Franco. Are you ready? Doing it again, gifting one membership to the LA Flies channel. My friend, it's so much, it's so appreciated. Gifting Adam's Creative World, Adam in Orlando, Florida. Big shout out to our friends in Orlando. Adam, you got the membership. Franco just gifted you, my friend. And a big welcome to Susie Ryder, 55, a member for, uh, hold on a minute, let me uh, quiet down the ATC for just a few seconds. A member for the past three months. Hello, LA Flights family, Susie says. Thank you so much for renewing your membership today. 
And we have another arrival going on on 2-2 two -two right. That just means that there's so many arrivals happening right now that they're using both runways to land. Yes, and listen, it's so busy. I'm telling you, there's so many heavies coming in. All the Delta heavies, we have the Swiss coming in as well. We just had the 747 freighter. We have the Italians arriving in about seven minutes. We have this Delta 737 flying, uh, flying in from Denver, Colorado. There's the 747 in the background holding short of the runaway. Dustin Jackson, All Access VIP member, get ready. So glad to be part of this amazing family. Love LA flights. Thank you, Dustin. Thank you, Dustin. VIP member for the past 17 months. You're amazing, man. Good to see you here at this house, Dustin. And who do we have? The Atari Ferrari flying in from Atlanta, Georgia, Delta 9965. And we have Jay Zor Theme Parks becoming a channel member as well. Thank you so much. Welcome to First Class. I thank you for starting your journey here at this channel. All right, Delta first up to take off, and then we have Egypt there right behind it. Oh, my goodness. Here he comes. <coughs> wow, we're actually so close to uh, 2,000 likes. We have 300 left to go. Come on, everybody. We only, we only have 300, uh, 300 mi uh, likes to go and only three minutes before we cross the first hour of today's live show. Mao Toyin gifting one membership to the LA Flies channel. We have Insta Flies Racing gifted by Mao Toyin this fine afternoon. Thank you so much, Mao. Mao Toyin. I hope I'm pronouncing that name correctly, friend. So we have the Swiss flying in from Zurich, eight hours of flight time. This one, an A30, uh, A330-300, powered by the good old Rolls-Royce engines, uh, the Trent 700. Egyptians are next for departure. Hey, look at this, Gatsuks becoming an elite member. We got this, everyone. Very nice, joining the memberships. He's the one who's keeping us company, plane spotting here at the uh, TWA Hotel. One month, we got this. 2,000 likes, that's nice. Is Egypt there waiting for an arrival? Let me take a look. Could yes. be, it's holding short. It's uh, the Egyptians are waiting for a CRJ 900 flying in from Toronto, arriving in the next few minutes. So the uh, Egypt Air holding short of 22 right. Oh, and look at this. We have a plane pushing back in front of us. Let's go take a look. And in the meantime, Virtual Citizen becoming a channel member as well. Welcome to First Class. There here it at is. the LA Flies channel. Look at this. This Air is another India pushing back. Indian flight. We just had a flight to Mumbai. This one flying to, uh, to Delhi. This one flying to Delhi, get ready. Big 777, 300ER. Wow, look at that. Fantastic, 10 out of 10. Alpha 
Wow, that's brilliant. We have Jose Matos gifting five memberships to the LA Flights Channel. Thank you so much. Equivalent of a $25 Super Chat, that one. Thank you so much, Jose. Welcome to New York. Thank you, Jose. Welcome to the New York edition here at the LA Flies Channel. Are you ready? We have Snickers Mom, 12 months with the channel. Very nice. Welcome to the East Coast. We love LA flights. Listen, Snickers Mom has been watching the channel since the creation of LA flights almost two years ago. A special welcome to you, Snickers Mom. My goodness. Welcome back to LA Flights. We have Alec and P celebrating four months of channel membership. Did I miss Captain Ken in his uniform? Not yet. We're still waiting for that. You know, I'm not sure. You know, I, I, I don't know. I'm pretty sure I saw Captain Ken earlier uh, in, in the chat. But there is a chance that he might, uh, he might, he might not make an appearance today. He does have a flight tonight. All right, we have Egypt Air lining up right now. And Daniel Griffiths, I appreciate this, my friend. Thank you so much. One membership being gifted to the LA Flights channel. Thank you so much, Daniel. Good vibes, my friend. Thank you, Daniel. You guys are amazing. LA Flights family rocks. All right, there goes the Egypt there. All right, there goes the Egyptians flying all the way to Cairo this afternoon. A uh, big triple seven, 300 ER. It's going to be a great day. Yeah, very nice. There goes the Egyptians. All right, there goes the Egyptians. We have Cat Wallace, 220, sending a $5 super chat. I'm a 5.55 departure today. Delta 126 to Madrid. All right, you know what I'm going to ask? Do you have a window seat? And if so, please let us know your seat info. We would love to have you shine the light if you have a window seat. Cat Wallace 220. My goodness, possible shine the light today. We have AJ the Flyer sending us a $2 super chat. Pizza and pass the fun tonight. I appreciate that, AJ. <laughs> I hope we could. Uh, I hope we could get some tonight. Yeah, listen, we ended <laughs> we the show end too late. We ended the show so late yesterday that everything was closed. Oh man, we had gummy worms for dinner yesterday. Yeah, listen, the LA Flies Channel had to eat uh, Doritos. Josh, what gummy worms for you? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what happens when you. This time, you know, if we do end up extending today's episode, we're gonna have to order the food before we end the show. Bertrand, the loyal, I appreciate this. Five euros. Hello, Peter, Joshua. Two words for LA flights. Love and passion. One word for me, goosebumps. We are so happy you're enjoying what you're seeing, my friend. We try our best to bring the best aviation content around to the LA flights house. We do our absolute best. And all I hope is that you guys are enjoying what you are seeing, my friends. Well, we're having the GE90 start up right now for the Air India. GE90 starting up in the next few minutes. 
Uh, flight control testing being done. I see that rudder moving around. Everyone loves Air India. We have so many viewers who love Air India. We so many finally have it here. When is Air India going to depart? When is Air India going to arrive? My goodness, all the frequent questions we get at LAX. And every single time we have to say, no, sorry, there's no Air India at LAX. Ask away. Air India departs in just a few minutes. There you go, Monica. Monica says, gummy worms, yummy. <laughs> Monica, thank you so much. Are you ready? Thank you. I think they're yummy. <laughs> Listen, if you pan to the elephant, it looks like if it's eating from the sky chefs. All right, we'll check. Look we'll at this. Look. I just noticed this. What do you I've think? I've never seen this livery. That's so cool. And yeah, that's true. It looks like if the elephant is sticking its head inside that sky chef's tr uh, catering truck. <laughs> that's funny. That's a funny observation there. That's true. The elephant is... Uh, Digging into the Sky Chef's All we need is that uh, Sky Chef's truck to be rocking around side to side, right? My goodness. Elephant uh, eating away. And Air India commencing gets taxi. All right, the Indians are getting a move on. Susie Rider 55 Volcano Watch in Iceland. Want to go with uh, Captain Ken? Yeah, Captain My Ken. Goodness. You know, that's, that's true. Not, what's that big volcano that made a mess of travel in uh, 2012? Do you remember that? Oh, I don't know. Well, listen, I would love to go seeing the uh, all the volcanoes. Just taking like a, like a few weeks or something. Love to go see Iceland. Majestic place. My goodness. Well, hey, Captain Ken's going to beat you to it. Yeah, he's going to be uh, Possibly Susie. My goodness. Uh, James Todman, uh, thank you so much, James, sending us a $5 super chat. Awesome show today. So uh, two questions. Any news on a uh, London Heathrow show? Also favorite group of airline, Star Alliance, Sky Team, One World, keep it up. Uh, James, uh, let's see, any, possibly at the end of uh, the year, but we're so busy doing these shows, right? Uh, planning out projects in the near term that we are, we are neglecting the long-term project. One of the long-term projects is eventually going to London at the end of this year. But listen, I mean, we spent an entire month planning out this trip and we're trying right now planning a, uh, uh, an adventure for August. So far, nothing, no new news, uh, no news regarding London Heathrow. Delta 1428 flying to Austin, Texas. That's a little A320. All right, well, we're going to abandon this one. We're going to go take a look at ETA landing right now. Yeah, let's go for the Italians. The A330-200. A330-200 flying from Rome. Nine hours of flight time. We love the stunning blue livery of the ETA. ETA, my goodness, I think the best looking jet around, the best livery around. I think that's not controversial, right? Unlike Condor. Oh, no, this is. I'm pretty sure everyone knows that this is a beautiful livery. We have a JetBlue up next here. Already lined up on the takeoff roll. Right, JetBlue, where are you heading? Heading to uh, JetBlue 3, correction, JetBlue 6337, flying to the Dominican Republic. Oh, you guys, you know something? I completely forgot about the challenge that we had. I was, let's see, focused on all the incredible traffic. Get ready. 
You guys, are you ready? Uh, let's see, hold on. This is much better. Hello, everybody. This is, look, listen, this is Josh right there. Look at that, hard at work. Oh, yes. Zooming in to the uh, A380, excuse me, to the 777 Air India. Joshua, hard at work. All right, guys, listen, we were trying to cross 2,000 likes before the first hour of the live show. Now, listen, we missed it by 10 minutes because I completely forgot about the challenge. Uh, we were just focused on so many arrivals, so many departures. Go for it, everybody. We only need 110 left, 110 likes to go until we cross the 2,000 like mark right around the first hour of the live show. Let's go for it. We're still trying to cross that 2K. There goes the CRJ. But listen, we did the 1,000, so that's that trend, that streak lives to tell, uh, uh, see the light of another day. Are you ready? 1,000 likes before the first hour. That was done 30 minutes into the live show. The 2,000, that was just bragging rights. <laughs> We have JetBlue leaving, but we also have a heavy coming in to land. I think we'll go to the arrival instead. All right, we're going to zoom into the heavy. We have a Delta 107 flying in from Frankfurt. Wow, that's a German flight. Ah, very nice. A330-200 for this one. You know something? I think I have never seen the A330-200 Delta. Oh, I've the 200? Oh, really? I've seen the 300, we've seen the Neo, but the 200, I think this is the first time that we're seeing it here at the LA Flights Channel, no, Delta we've 107. It. We've seen it before. Yeah? Both airports, LAX, here. Okay. Very rare, though. I'll, t I'll leave that at that. Very yeah, rare sure, plane. it is. It is. A seven-hour, 44-minute flight all the way from Germany. That's cool, a German flight. All right, let's see, we have a window seat. Thank you so much, Cat Wallace, 220, $2 tip coming in. Window seat, 39G. So that means we're gonna be seeing your, you're gonna be sitting on the right side of the plane, on the co-pilot side. If we still have the 22s active, which I hope they are, we'll take a look at your departure. Shine the light when you take off. I'm gonna save your message, Cat Wallace. Look at that. We have Norberts sending us a $20 gift. Thank you for all that you guys do. Watching from, uh, let's see, Dracot, Massachusetts. Yes, I hope I'm pronouncing that name right. I think I'm mispronouncing it. Norberts, welcome to the LA Flies channel. Welcome to New York. And I'll say this to you, my friend. I'm very happy that you are enjoying what you are seeing on today's episode. Daniel, thank you so much. Daniel Cross gifting a super sticker to the LA Flies channel. Thank you, Daniel. We have Dustin, our All Access VIP member. I'll second that. Each other best Livia round right now. Where's the Italians? Have they crossed? Uh, yeah, just about. Okay, so they're about to cross 22 rights. We're gonna be seeing a lot. We're gonna be seeing plenty of Ita uh, livery, Dustin. Don't worry oh, about yeah, that. Oh yeah, multiple. And I also agree. Listen, I think the best, if not the best, one of the best liveries around. FWB celebrating five months of channel membership. Good afternoon, Peter and Joshua. Currently in Chicago for a volleyball tournament. Love the good views and the good vibes here at the LA Flights Channel. We are not only the home of the one more plane, we're the home of the good and friendly, friendly vibes. Thank you so much, FWB, for renewing your membership. And here we go. Air India lining up right now. You know something? I really miss the banana planes in uh, LAX. That's something I do miss. Are you ready? Ann Wilson, $10 Super Chat coming into the channel. Peter and Joshua, you already succeeded in bringing us the best aviation content. It doesn't get any <laughs> better than this. Thank you. Love you, brothers. Thank you so much, Ann, for everything that you do for <coughs> LA flights. For us, my brother and I, thank you so much, Ann. You are you, incredible. Ann. Very nice. And a very kind message. Are you ready? Thank you so much. Let's see, we have Air India. On the move. On the move. It's on the takeoff roll, flying to Delhi. Big 777-300 ER. Flight one, one
Oh, that's great. ATC is uh, sounding a lot better now. That's good news. All right, a few heavies coming in. We have Delta 141 flying in from Brussels. It's a heavy 767. And also American Airlines, a 777 300ER, number two for arrival. So we have Delta 141. This is flying. This 767-300 is 25 years of age, delivered back in 1998, and a total flight time of 7 hours 31 minutes. The 767 on your screen has to exit the runway without delay because there's a big 777-300ER, American Airlines, only about a mile away. I think closer oh, to the yeah, mile. A little less than a Look mile. Look at this. It's only a few. There we go. You heard? Wow. Do you heard how stress, stressful that was? I heard it. Did you guys hear that? The stress in her voice telling the Delta, get out of the runway without wow. delay. Wow. That really shows you how close that was. And uh, Delta out of the runway right now. We've seen plenty of go rounds Are you ready on Monday and yesterday? Because they're too close to each other. And if one seven, you clear the request. I caution you to hold tight. Go ahead. Five thirteen. Will you clear the request? And one thirty-one. Have a nice time. Just close to the runway to the right, Juliet. And when able, just let me know where you park. She's talking faster than me. Are you ready? Sure. Do. Right, Juliet. Jeez. And, uh, we're going in. Kilo Foster. Kilo Golf. You gotta love the controllers here at New York City. Listen, you gotta love the controllers everywhere, right? But JFK is, oh, wow. yeah, I think, <laughs> the, this area, right, uh, the uh, the Tri-State area, the busiest airspace in, I think, the entire country, possibly one of the busiest airspaces in the entire world. Definitely. The I amount mean, of stress that exists in that control tower. I think a big shout out in order for the controllers that keep everything moving smoothly and organized and safely. Thank you so much, Ion Formula Country Ball fan. A one euro super chat to the LA Flights house. Thank you so much, my friend. Welcome to the LA Flights channel. And that one, your very first super chat into LA Flights. Andy, refresh your page, my friend. There should only be, I think, about 10 second delay. This is live, live as can be. Refresh your page. There should only be maybe 10 second delay. It's nothing. 10, 15 seconds at the most. Shout out to the ATC, my friends. Wow, the amount of stress. I'll say this again. You can hear the stress in the controller's voice trying to keep everything moving smoothly. All these heavies, all these small aircraft, the heavies, the supers, moving so organized and with safety at top priority. There goes in the Air Canada Express. Flying to Montreal, that one. And we have a JetBlue uh, pushing back very close to us. And this one flying to LaGuardia. What? Look, that's a repositioning That's flight. a repo flight, everyone. This is going to be an absolute rocket. Get ready. Registration, uh, let's see, November 5, 2, 3, Juliet Bravo. This is going to be an absolute rocket in the next few minutes. Flying only to LaGuardia, making this a repo flight. That's a rocket. Can't wait for that. I mean, what? That's flying 15, 20 miles? Oh, that's not even 15 <laughs> miles, Joshua. That's, uh, that's literally down the road. That's going to be a rocket. Can't wait to see that. A message from one of our incredible moderators. I just want to echo what she's saying. Thank you to all who have donated. 
You guys are amazing. The channel supporters of LA Flights, it's because of you that we are out here to these crazy locations across the country. Thanks to the LA Fly supporters for making this show happen, making this channel possible. Thank you so much, Cheryl. I'm just echoing what you are saying. Light the candle, as Bruce Campbell would say. Light the candle on the V2500 engines, powering that A320. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good sight. Wow, hear the sound. I think they're gonna they're gonna push them back all the way. Wow, that sound is deafening. <laughs> very good, very loud. <laughs> is that the good. tug? Just all the torque? Oh my goodness, could it be the tug? Something's making a whole bunch of sound. I don't think that's the APU or anything. That's a loud tug. Are you ready? I think that's the engine, Josh. I think that's the uh, something to do with the A320. Okay. And yeah, we can't see it anymore. We'll see it in a few minutes. All right, we'll see it in a few minutes. We can't wait for that. Uh, Turkish currently pushing back from Terminal 1. Turkish 4 flying to Istanbul. It's an A330-300. And let's see, winds currently at 200 at 8 knots. So it's still favoring the 22s. Hopefully it stays like this the entire day. When we have the action in front of us this way, 22s, or on the other side of the 22s, on the 4s, that's when we go crazy. That's when we extend the show to, you know, ungodly hours, you know, 11, 12 hours of live streaming. We need the runway action to happen in front of us. Looks like they will be loading up Kenya Airways here. The the elephants finished eating. There you go. <laughs> Do you guys see that? You know, the Sky Shift's truck was like right at the mouth of the elephant, and, and it looked like if the elephant was just like going inside that Sky Shift's truck. My goodness. Looks like they're going to be opening the cargo door. Thank you so much, Mark Reza. Are you ready? Good compliment from yesterday. Great show yesterday during the 4th of July special. Thank you so much, Mark. Good to see you here in New York, here on LA Flights Live. One of the best shows, I think. Unforgettable. One of the best ones. I think possibly even the best ones, arguably. Let's see, we're going to have a little bit of the baggage drama. We're also going to have the JetBlue. Ah, JetBlue, yeah. Taxi. This is going to be a rocket. It's only heading to LaGuardia. This one flying to LaGuardia. Josh, get ready. This, that right there, rocket launch. November 523, Juliet Bravo, LaGuardia, Repo Flight, rockets. I mean, I'm pretty sure it could just take off here on the taxiway. You're not that so far light. off, Josh. Hey, listen. That's the type of plane that you'll see on the uh, short, world's shortest takeoff competitions <laughs> in Alaska, when they just like hit the brakes a little and they're, you know, they do a little hop, and they're up in the air. Yeah. Rocket launch. Can't wait for that. There you go. <laughs> Jensen, who we met here at, at Colletters Park. I love the message. My goodness. The perks of my manager being sick. I get to watch this <laughs> at work. 
My goodness, Jensen. Enjoy New York. Enjoy LA flights. Enjoy the planes, Jensen. All right, let's see. JetBlue making the turn. That's going to be a rocket. Uh, we're going to have a little bit of the baggage drama on board Kenya, Kenya Airways. Huh? You guys mind signing some planes for us? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, come on, bring sure. it over. Yeah. You got the pen? Yeah? Give me a second, all right? Hey, do you want to be on camera? Sure, yeah. Yeah? Okay. Uh, what's your name, my friend? Josh. Hey, Josh. Okay, so Joshua was <laughs> FaceTiming you. Yeah, I was FaceTiming him <laughs> <laughs> yesterday. During yesterday. So it's Josh on the right and... Corey. Say it again. Corey. 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 Okay, so Corey on the, uh, with the white shirt there. Uh, Josh, if you can, I mean, go for it. Oh, yeah, yeah, sign, sign. Okay, I'm a celebrity for some reason. Look at this. What do you want me to do? Anywhere? Uh, anywhere on the back side. There you go. Oh. <laughs> there you go. All right. No problem. Oh, another one. Okay. Oh, very nice models. Look at this. Wow. Look at that. I don't Lufthansa even know that. That's an A380. Oh, that's very that's cool. That's a beauty. I figured since she was coming back, I'd bring that one. Hey, yeah, it's suitable. It's a good, it's a good one. Hey, you guys enjoy the planes, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Always. We were watching you guys all day yesterday, too. <laughs> there, you <laughs> there you go. Watching all day yesterday as well. That's super cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, if you guys if you guys want, all right. I've never done a signal. I've never done an autograph before. Look at that. I've never done an autograph. Uh, anywhere? I mean, I I do them all the time. I do autographs all the time. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, let, let me put LA Flex. There you go. Absolutely enjoy guys. Peter right? doing the autograph for Josh and Corey. Josh FaceTimed me yesterday. Big fan. The models His brother look so was cool. Here. I know, yeah, that's and the A380, very suitable plane for uh the Lufthansa A380 the, and listen for yeah. bringing it out here. And the TWA uh plane, right? What was that? Uh, I think uh, an MD80 was it? Uh, I didn't see. I, I, I saw it was a TWA plane. Oh, that was great models, by the way. Great Very models. Nice models. Uh, shout out to Joshua. Shout out to Corey. You do autographs all the time, right, Peter? Oh, absolutely. Forget about it. <coughs> oh, we have Jet Blue coming in. We have a Virgin Atlantic on the move. Is that one heading? It's being towed. Is, Is that it? one heading to the remote parking? Uh, let me take a look. Uh, let's see. The one, I'm not even seeing it on flight radar, so that means that's yeah. heading okay. to the parking area. That's going to be a departure a little yeah, later on. And we have JetBlue. And I just heard a heavy was cleared for, for landing, wasn't it? Uh, let's see, I think I heard the same thing. And I'm seeing it right here. It's Cathay Pacific flying in from Hong Kong. A big flight, get ready. It's a 16-hour flight from Hong Kong. It's an A350-900 doing that route. Arriving in the next few minutes. Are you ready, guys? I think um, I'm pretty sure Corey and Josh uh, watching the show right now, send a lot of love to Corey and Josh <laughs> on the chat. Yeah, super fans, wow. Big, fan, uh, big fans of the LA Flights channel, send a lot of love on the chat. Hello to Corey and Joshua. Oh, that's the rocket launch, oh, look at yes. this. Very nice. This is an absolute rocket. Get ready, flying to LaGuardia. Let's take a look at the vertical speed. This will be, I think, 4,000. 
flying only a few miles it's to only LaGuardia. It's, it's a repo flight flying to LaGuardia. I'm seeing the number 2,900 already. Come on, it has to be a rocket. I can't believe it. I'm not seeing rocket numbers. Mm, yeah, that's that's wrong. That that's a rocket. 2,900 feet per minute. Forget about it. I say that's an honorary that's a rocket. rocket. <laughs> No matter which way you look at it, that was a rocket. An honorary rocket, even though I didn't see 3,000 flight radar, wrong. Let's see, we have JetBlue coming in to park next to us, but we have that heavy that we were talking about coming in right now. The Cathay Pacific flying for 16 hours. There we go, Sam. Sammy letting us know that it's climbing at 40 uh, on departure, right? On liftoff, it was climbing at 4,500 feet per minute, there making it an incredible rocket. I knew it was wrong. Yeah, that, that, that sounds better. Thank you so much, Sam. 4,500 for the rocket that we just had, the repo flight. Do you have one for me? Yes. Is it cold? No. Oh, it's not. Yeah, but I mean, it's the best we can do right now. It's so hot. There you go. Peter handing me some canned coffee. Yeah, there you go. I need it from yesterday. Very fun. No, no, no. Actually, <laughs> they are, I, I got them today. Oh, I know. I, I said I need it for, from yester for yesterday. <laughs> Look, that's Joshua over there getting his... Ah, uh, uh, yes, there it is. Not sponsored by Starbucks, but... Looks, uh, <laughs> oh, it's, uh, it's, who says it's Starbucks? It's oh, just yeah, that's a true. brown can. It's just a brown can with coffee. Are you ready? <laughs> Joshua needs the energy, and I need the energy, too. My goodness. It's going to be a long one today. We have Jake. Let's see. Hey, listen, I haven't checked the tracking number of your prize, but I'm pretty sure you received it on Monday. Hopefully so, right? Uh, Jake celebrating two months of channel membership. Great show today, guys, so far. Thank you, Jake. And listen, if you didn't see the 4th of July special, you have to replay. You have to watch the replay. Yesterday was incredible. Yeah, if if if, all, if uh, there's uh, viewers watching right now who haven't seen that show, it's very recommended to watch it uh, listen, after after you watch this one. Of course, let me put that you know <laughs> emphasis on that after we do today's episode. Because want... this this day is going to be legendary too. Absolutely. You're not going to want to miss this one live. Talking about incredible days of plane spotting, we have a big triple seven arriving. It's on uh, runway twenty two left. <laughs> it's Eva. Uh, let's do, it is the green triple seven flying in from Anchorage. It's Eva Cargo. It's a freighter. Six hours, twelve minutes. And a big shout out to Patrick Lloyd. Thank you so much for joining the first class memberships, my friend. Patrick Lloyd, I hope you enjoy your stay here at the LA Flights Channel, my friend. A lot of uh, positive comments regarding yesterday's amazing 4th of July special. That's good to see. I mean, we said this when uh, yesterday with Captain Ken. Uh, we think it topped last year's 4th of July, right? You know, I, th I gave my verdict, and in my opinion, it was better than the 4th of July special of 2022. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I, I, That's I have my to opinion. With you. My humble opinion. But, you know, yesterday's episode, yesterday's 4th of July special uh, for 2023, I think the best one we've ever had. 
Claudio Nunes, first time here. Welcome to the LA Flight Channel. Let me put your message up, my friend Claudio. So my name is Peter. I'm the guy that talks all day long. Josh was the amazing cameraman. He is the one that films the incredible planes all day long. Welcome to the LA Flight Channel. We are home based and we're based in Los Angeles. Are you ready? But we're doing a little bit of an adventure this week and we, are, we flew across the country to this incredible city, to this magnificent airport to Avgeek Heaven TWA Hotel. Claudio Nunes, welcome to LA Flights, my friend. And look at this, Ali says, hey guys, thank you for the membership. We had incredible memberships. Uh, th th thanks to the incredible viewers that gift so many memberships here at this channel. Ali, you were gifted only a few minutes ago. Welcome back to the memberships. We have okay. a CRJ coming yeah. into land. Next arrival, we have Delta Connection. We have this CRJ flying for about an hour, arriving on a 22 left. We're still waiting for Turkish. Turkish 4, it's an A330-300, making its way to runway 22 left for departure. I can't wait, Josh. You know something I'm so excited for? I can't wait for the international push happening a little later on. The inter international push, we're going to have so many uh, European flights. And later in the day, we're going to have the A3 A380 Lufthansa. We're going to have the Korean 747-8 Intercontinental. I, I mean, the, the Lufthansa A380, that's coming in, a, in, a, in, a, in an hour or so, right? Uh, which one, Josh? The Lufthansa A380? Let me take a look. Let's see. What flight number is it? It's Lufthansa 4... Not going to remember. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Let's see, I'm trying to locate. I mean, it should be close. It should be. Super. I think I have it here. In about an hour. All right, so we have one A380 arriving in one hour. It's Emirates 201 flying in from Dubai. Trying to locate the other A380, the Lufthansa. Uh, let's see. Guys, do, you, uh, do we have the flight numbers for the Lufthansa A380? Let's see, in the meantime, we have a very, not very common Alaska Airlines departing. Pretty sure this one has to be heading to Seattle. And Alaska, let's see, let's take a look. 737. San Francisco. Ah, really? Wow. Flying to SFO. Roger, uh, put up 51.45. And who is the VFR calling Kennedy Tower? You see that? They're loading bags. There we go. Let's see. This is it. Oh, it's delayed a little bit. No, uh, really? Lufthansa 410. Scheduled to arrive. Okay, so it's, uh, let's see, arriving 3.18 p.m. Pacific time today. 3.18 p.m. Oh, excuse me. 3.18. 3 Let me say this again. 3.18 p.m. Eastern Time Eastern Zone. Eastern Time, okay. It's a little after 3 p.m. our local time in New York. My goodness, look at you, man. Mike, number incredible. Five, uh, number nine or five, two, three, turn to contact Let me put this incredible message on the screen. Southwest of Kennedy Airport. Can we proceed near the shoreline out of below 500? Caution, wait for the gold pipes overhead. The altimeter is 2999. So this is, a, uh, this is an incredible Super Chats, a $100 gift from Mike Perdomo. Wow, Mike, doing it again. Listen, Mike, you sent a $50 Super Chat before the show even started, my friend. Good morning, Peter and Joshua. How's your 4th of July? Uh, hope you, hopefully you guys were uh, been well. I didn't get to bed. I didn't go to bed until 11 p.m. I checked the weather, and we're going to get really hot on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. That's right, triple digits from 100 to 100 degrees, uh, 103 degrees Fahrenheit. 
Wow, very that high. is some hot temperatures, my friend. My goodness, time to roll the uh, uh, time to turn on the AT, uh, the AC. AC air conditioning. My goodness, Mike. Some cool vibes, yes. Some cool, cool vibes. To a very cool viewer, Mike Perdomo. Goodness. Stay cool, my friend. Thank you for watching LA Flights. You know, I'm pretty sure if you watch LA Flights, you're like 10 degrees cooler. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it adds a little, I think it adds, uh, you know, 10 degrees to your... Cool factor. To the cool factor. <laughs> The same way that an LA Fly sticker adds about five horsepower to your car. Ah. JetBlue getting out of here. We have Iceland Air after this one. Iceland. Uh, okay, yes, not, uh, lining up right now. Okay, we have JetBlue flying to Guatemala City, that one. All right, let's go take a look at Iceland Air. Iceland Air 612 flying to Reykjavik. Where was uh, Captain Ken heading in Iceland? Oh, uh, my goodness, it's some unpronounceable name. Uh, we'll ask him if he uh, shows up. But it's not Reykjavik, right? Uh, we're going to have to ask him, Cap. All right, Iceland flying to Iceland. They're flying to Reykjavik. Getting a move on, yes. There it goes. And big quad jet. We love the quad jets here at the LA Flies Channel. We have a big A340-600, Josh. It's Lufthansa flying in from Frankfurt. Big plane arrives in 10 minutes. Oh, the 600? The 600. Oh, we didn't get that yesterday. We got two A340 300s. So yesterday we had two A340 300s from Frankfurt. Today we will get one A340 600. That's the big, that's a really big plane, guys. Arriving in about 10 minutes and later on in the day we'll have the second A340. But the smaller one, the smaller variant powered by the hairdryer engines. I'll take that any day of the week. Lufthansa 400 arrives in nine minutes. Josh was zooming into the Irish uh, right now. That is an A330-300 flying in from Dublin. A six hour, 30 minute flight for that. Patty the Cat, thank you so much. Are you ready? LA Flights, epic show yesterday. Hats off to you and Captain Ken. Watched over five hours uh, of replay on the second screen at work until my PC crashed. <laughs> Member of the blue screen squadron now. Oh, goodness, Patty the Cat. Well, I'm happy you got to see several hours of the 4th of July special. My goodness, good vibes to your PC. We have Robert Jill, yes? I hope I'm pronouncing that name correctly. We have Robert joining the first class membership. I appreciate that. Welcome to first class, my friend. We have Jamp Blue crossing the runway. That one could be parking right next to us. I wouldn't be surprised. All right, let's see. We have gate one open here at terminal five. There it is, gate one. That one's completely open. Listen, and the one crossing 22 right, that's Jamp Blue 2222. Flying in from Kansas City, Missouri. And it doesn't look like it. Heading somewhere else at Terminal 5. Look at this. We're missing you, Bruce. Are you ready? Bruce Campbell says, Good morning, Peter, Joshua, moderators, and friends. Working all day today. We'll be oh. listening in Lurker's Lounge uh, most of the day. Fantastic <laughs> show yesterday. <laughs> Thank you, Bruce. Good morning. Come on, Bruce. Stop working so much. Come on out and plane spot already. <laughs> My goodness. Uh, easy for us to say, right? Bring some ribs, too. Bring some ribs already. Get on a plane. Get on the uh, Delta 737. We're going to oh, be here. We're, you can join us for the Friday show. <laughs> I was thinking of those ribs yesterday at night. But listen, only come to New York if you have the ribs. 
Oh my goodness, have an incredible day, Bruce. This when I was is... eating my gummy worms, yeah. I was thinking of ribs. <laughs> this is your channel, Bruce, and your headset is waiting for you, my friend. Oh, look at this, Darren also, I'm trapped in the meetings right now. But real quick, rocket launch, JetBlue, uh, let's see, just landed at LaGuardia. Wow, that was fast. A 15 minute flight. Darren, I'm telling you now, you know, forget about work, come out and do some plane spotting already. All right, let's see, we have this one. We have Delta 47 flying in from Amsterdam. Delta 47 flying in from Amsterdam, a seven hour, 22 minute flight. The aircraft, the big one, A330-300. We also have Laura in San Francisco. Good morning and afternoon. I am beat from the 4th of July weekend and the 4th of July mega show. So listen, a lot of positive feedback, a lot of uh, wonderful messages regarding the, uh, the crazy 4th of July special that we had here at New York City. I'm happy that everyone enjoyed, everyone had a nice and safe time. Delta 1301 flying to Atlanta, Georgia, a 737-900. And we have, who do we have? We have A-Y, Merrick, P, A Merrick P. I, I, I hope I'm saying that right. A big hello from Bordeaux in France. My goodness, one of my favorite regions in the entire world. A Merrick P in Bordeaux, sending us a two euro tip. I appreciate that, my friend. You know, I, I really, you know, I'm feeling it for uh, Bruce Campbell. Bruce says, you don't know how bad I want to jump onto the, uh, on the next <laughs> flight to JFK. Listen, if you do, your headset is waiting for you. We had Captain Ken yesterday, as you know, we might have him a little later on. And who knows? Oh, that'll be cool if we had all <laughs> four of us. Bruce Campbell for the Friday. And listen. We'll seriously consider extending the show. We'll, we'll, we'll seriously consider adding a Saturday if, uh, if you're out here, okay, my friend? Hard worker, are you ready? Hard work for a Bruce. All right, Turkish Airlines on yeah. the move. All right, Turkish four fly to Istanbul. Uh, big A330-300. It's going to be sounding pretty cool in just a bit. Get ready. We have Headstrike. Are you ready? Setting us a $5 super chat. Uh, thank you, Sam, for giving me the friendly reminder. We have, okay, so $5 tip. Sorry about that, Headstrike. Let me read your message. Are you guys in long sleeves? Aren't you roasting? Thank you for the awesome coverage. Couldn't watch yesterday's show, but I'll catch the replay. The thing is, we're trying to cover uh, the most, um, you know, the most we can because if we don't cover... Yeah, the sun. We're going to get sun. burnt. So, a little toasty, yes, but it's better than being a red lobster. <laughs> Sunburnt, yeah. We don't want to be red lobster and having, you know, the skin peeling and all that good stuff, right? Oh, we don't boy. want that. Yeah. Uh, Headstrack, that's why, you know, the long sleeves are out. 
Hey, if we're in the shade, then uh, it'll be all shorts and shirts, like just t-shirts. Absolutely. But, but we're listen, out here in the sun. There's no shade here. And the sun is vicious, unforgiving today. A lot of wonderful messages about yesterday's 4th of July special. Uh, we have French. We have the French arriving, flying in from Paris, Charles de Gaulle Airport. A 7-hour, 22-minute flight. Big 777-300ER. You can hear the G90s as they slow down. You can certainly hear them slowing down. And we do have a little E-175 on runway 22 right flying to Martha's Vineyard that one isn't uh, Martha Martha's Vineyard like very posh I oh yeah is, right? of course yeah, I don't know where it is. A whole, uh, whole bunch of posh people heading uh, to uh, Martha's <laughs> Vineyard. My goodness. It's like, uh, what is it? Wow, look at that. Like Beverly Hills or something. I don't know. Wow, fancy. All right, we have Ethan. Are you ready for uh, seven months of channel membership? Hello, Peter and Joshua. Awesome 4th of July live stream yesterday. How come you did not make a 4th of July banner yeah so you know we just uh yeah we just boarded the traditional twa colors so we normally have any excuse we find any excuse to to make a special livery for the uh, for the la true. flies channel you know something i think we were just so much uh in a rush we were so rushed yesterday and traveling cross country isn't the easiest thing especially when you're traveling with the la flights equipment we just ran out of time and it's, it escaped our minds well, See, you should have been our personal assistant and there remind you go. us. Yeah, Ethan, <laughs> next time be the personal assistant and give us the friendly reminder, all right? Thank you, Ethan. Good vibes, my friend. And we also have Tyler, Tyler Berg in the Golden Plain Squadron now. First class member. Hope to see you at Heathrow now. I want everyone to send a lot of love to Tyler entering the Golden Plain nice. Squadron here at this channel, the Golden Plain Squadron. Robert, hello, Peter and Joshua. Loved the show yesterday. Did you end up showing my 13-month mark on the live chat yesterday? No. You know, I'm sorry for that, Robert. Uh, we just had an influx of messages. And when we're in the remote locations, you know, my attention needs to be just uh, on so many things. I do apologize, Robert, for missing your message. A 13-month channel member i appreciate your support my friend thank you robert and your continued membership here at this house thank you robert i'm so sorry about that okay we have the little crj oh by the way let's see the quad jet we have a340 600 it coming in it's the big one Lufthansa. i see it josh was panning the camera starting to pan the camera faster than the speed of light we're going to zoom in to a big one. There it is. Seven hours, 39 minutes of flight time for this one. Big boy coming in. 14 years of age, traveling almost 3,900 nautical miles. It's been a while since we've seen the A340. Sa let's say, yes, sadly, it has been a long time. But hey, listen, that's why we're doing the JFK special, so we can see the different planes, different airlines that we don't normally get to see. Ah, oh, that's a big boy. That I is love this one. A big boy. Welcome. Look at this. Nice to see you. Wow, that's such a good-looking plane. I've been missing that plane at LAX so badly. But listen, uh, right now we just get the A350-900 from Munich. Later on in the year, we're going to get the A380 from Munich. So we will still get an additional quad jet. Uh, from Lufthansa later on in the year, October 5th at LAX. <laughs> and listen, here at JFK. It's such a long plane, it, too. Yes. I mean, listen, it's 247 <laughs> feet long. That is so long. I mean, for comparison, the 747-8 is 249, 250 feet long. 
So that is as long, that's as long as a 747 you know, dash, yeah, that's, missing it by just a few feet. That's how it looks like. It's, it's a, it's, it looks like a 747 dash shape, but with only one level. Wow, that's such a great looking plane, isn't it? It just gives it this unique look. Franco doing it again, my goodness, my friends. Franco is on the loose. 10 memberships wow, being gifted. Wow, Franco, you, wow. In the past That's few awesome. minutes. I appreciate that, Franco. My goodness, Franco Scaglione. Yes, I hope I'm pronouncing the name correctly. I hope I didn't embarrass myself, uh, Franco. The total number of memberships, I think, is 20, 20 memberships now. You're amazing, my friend. Thank you so much. Ten, my goodness. That is a double five. Two five memberships. What do you think? Is the A340 a winner? A340 600 or the smaller 300? I think I know the answer to this. Let me know which one you prefer. The Dash 8? Oh, the, oh, excuse the me, 600. The 600. <laughs> the 600, 600 or the 300? The 300 variant of the A340. The hair dryers or just this size. monster? Look at monster. that. I mean, I'll, I'll say this. It's not the most beautiful plane, but that's not a bad thing either. It's, it's just a big, powerful monster. Hey, guys, by the way, look at this, my, uh, my friends. We have Franco doing it again. That's 15 memberships in the past. Franco, what? you're the man. Three wow. minutes. Franco is stealing the spotlight right now. That is tremendous amount of channel support, my friend. Thank you, Franco. 15 in the past few minutes. That's a lot, my friends. All right, we have Asiana on the move. And we have Thomas Betka. Yesterday's show was a blockbuster. You guys captured <laughs> the passion of aviation perfectly, sending great vibes from flight attendant Thomas. Great vibes, my friend. We just love the planes. What can I say? Asiana 221 flying to Seoul in South Korea, getting a move on. Hey, you know what that means? Yes. That's Asiana. That means the A380 Korean will be pushing in just a few minutes. We're going to see that big blue behemoth of the skies in the next few minutes. How long have we been live? Let's see. Let's take a look. Hold on a minute. It doesn't even I feel like we just saw that one land. Two hours. Wow. That's why. We're about to cross the second hour of the live show. How about this, my friends? We are two minutes away from crossing, uh, from crossing the second hour of the live show. You know what? It really does feel like we've been on for 30 minutes. And the A340 getting a move on. And there he goes to the to Terminal One. And it looks like we have a special livery. We have the Star Alliance. 777 Singapore. Yeah, that one came in from Frankfurt. That's going to be staying there until until 8 or so. 8 p.m. or so. Hey, until guys. Until it hits the gate. Are you ready? Hold on. Let's see. Yes. How about this? We only have about two minutes left until we cross the second hour of today's live show. How about this? Can we cross 2,500 likes? It's 120 away. Now 100, uh, 110 away. 2,500 likes in the next one or two minutes. Let's go for it, my friends. Let's go for it. Let's see how close we can get. <laughs> hey, Josh, are you ready? Can we, um, uh, we need, I, can, I can't get the PayPal notifications. We need to be on top of that. We have a two-for-one special landing. Thank you so much, my friends, for those of you who are using PayPal uh, for your generous uh, gifting. We appreciate you so much for using PayPal, my friends. We'll get to those notifications right now after this arrival.
Okay, the big 767. That one flying in from Rome. Wow, Italy. Delta 183, a nine hour flight. Big 767, 300. Zulu and Gulf, Gulf Shore, Gulf Shore, Gulf Shore, Gulf Shore, Gulf You can just read them out, Cap. A big shout out to Tom. I already like number 869. Uh, watching from the High Antelope Valley area of the North Los Angeles County. Great broadcast. Thank you, Tom. Very nice, my friend. There you go. Look at this. Captain Ken right now eating some lunch. <laughs> Listen, we hope to see you, but if we don't see you, my friend, we per we understand, okay? Don't feel pressured to come out here. Have a safe flight a little later on, and we can't wait to see you July 5th. Uh, I don't know if it was a surprise or not, uh, Captain Ken. <laughs> I won't say the dates unless you say it. Oh, that's true. It could be a surprise. So eating lunch because... He knows that we don't get anything. We don't eat during the live shows. Yeah, that's true. Eat now that you can. So we don't, we don't, we don't eat during the live shows. It's against the rules. All right, we have American Eagle, operated by Republic Airways, flying to Boston, Boston, Massachusetts. Where are my Boston viewers? We have Richard in New Jersey sending a $10 super chat. Yet another fun fact. I'm sorry for missing it yesterday. Are you ready? Right now, I'm on top of the messages, okay, Richard? Yet another fun fact. Arrivals and departures for all three New York airports and many smaller ones are handled by one big ATC facility along uh, Long Island, known as New York Tracon. Now that is a stressful building. <laughs> no kidding. That is a stressful uh, job, my friends. My goodness. My hair is falling out just thinking about the stress level inside that building. How about this, guys? Can we fill the chat with the Captain Ken? Captain Ken emoji in honor of our great co-host yesterday. Yeah, the new emoji. Brand new emoji, Captain Ken, fill it up on the chat as he enjoys some lunch because he knows once he comes out here, there's no eating. <laughs> uh, let's see, we have the Italians yeah, coming in. Yeah, and the old Alitalia livery. We have ETA 608 flying in from Rome, a nine hour flight. Pizza time! Dustin sending the $10 tip through PayPal, our All Access VIP member. Thank you so much, Dustin. Thanks, pizza Dustin. time, pizza fund. And listen, if we go a little crazy today, we will be sure to order the pizza before we end the show because yesterday we ended too late and everything around us was absolutely closed yep. that's why <laughs> everything know, we, was closed we had to dine on doritos and gummy worms yesterday my goodness nandana i hope i'm pronouncing the name correctly sending us a two dollar tip through paypal i appreciate that nandana nandana h thank you so much my friends in paypal we do certainly appreciate the paypal tips my friends we have American 199 flying in from Milan, a, an eight-hour flight, big 777-200ER. Let's go take a look at that 777. And wow, from Milan.
Adventures with Paul, a member for the past seven months as an elite member. Glad it's not raining anymore. Keep up the great work, Peter and Josh. Happy late 4th of July. Listen, yesterday was <laughs> insane for so many reasons. Okay, so we had big fat raindrops. We had a massive thunderstorm roll into the area with lightning strikes happening very close to our vicinity. And even the ground crew had to find, had to seek shelter inside the building. So there was yeah, no there's, one. There's lightning going on. Josh, there was five miles. It over was. Here. And I think a lot closer. I think only like maybe a couple miles because I was seeing flashes. It was so close. And even the ground crew had to seek shelter. So there was a, uh, no ground crews outside. No baggage handlers, no, uh, you know, wing walkers, etc., etc. And of course, we had to go inside. Today, it's a little hot, a little hazy, but I'll take this any day of the week. Thank you so much, Adventures with Paul. No rain, no lightning for today. Okay, let's see, we have this one coming in. We have JetBlue 1154 flying in from West Palm Beach in Florida. A big shout out to Ronald with wings. Are you ready? I wonder if you're watching Ronald in Lurker's Lounge today. Ronald with wings. We have Alex celebrating 16 months of channel membership. Awesome show, you guys. Would love to see an Anchorage special as well. Greetings from the Netherlands. I appreciate that, Alex. Thank you so much, my friend. We've been there I several sure times. Anchorage. Listen, we've been there several times in the past. Uh, I'm sure. I'm sure we'll go. I'm sure we'll head there once we'll, again. We'll go back. We'll go back there. We love that location. We have Jose sending us a $5 super sticker. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. A Haya super sticker. Thank you, Jose. Good vibes. Welcome to New York. Welcome to the LA Flights Channel. Hey, listen, are you ready? I just want to give a big shout out. Are you ready to a very special person, Josh? Go ahead. Very special person. I'm going to activate the, uh, the cam here. All right, guys, let's see. So the behind the scenes cam ba being activated right now. Um, oh, hold on. There we go. Big shout out to a very special person in both of our lives. Uh, happy birthday to mom. LA Flight's mom. Yes, of course. Happy birthday to my mom uh, who raised me who raised us, my brother Ivan as well. My goodness, guys, happy birthday. I want everyone to fill the chat with happy birthday, LA Flights mom. A very special day for a very special person in my life. Happy birthday, mom. Make sure dad, mom, see, right now my dad is watching the show right now. Make sure, make sure she sees this, okay? And make sure she sees all the messages coming in on the chat for her. Dad, please show that to her and listen, Welcome, Dad, to the New York City edition of <laughs> L.A. Flights. Happy birthday, Mom. L.A. Flight. And by the way, listen, I remember like, uh, when was it, like last year or something? We saw L.A. Flight's mom on board an Avianca flight. Uh, she was shining the light. So, you know, she is a, uh, you know, she, does, she has, we have seen her in a way, right? We did see her shine the light. Yeah. <laughs> so she is part of the channel. All right. Happy birthday, Mom. I have to, uh, come on, you have to give the shout outs, right? We love the birthdays oh, here. Oh, yeah, that's an important one. We love the birthdays here on the channel. Not only the incredible LA Flights family, but of course, my immediate family. We love happy birthdays. We love celebrating the special days for everyone here at the LA Flights channel, for everyone inside the LA Flights family. Thank you so much, and sending a Red Rose super sticker to LA Flight's mom today. Thank you so much, guys. Look at that, the chat is crazy. Thank you so much. Thank you for the ice cold water, my friend. Ah, thank you. Oh, that's very needed. This was much needed. <laughs> Goodness. The, I had a bottle of Cheers. water here, but it's hot now. Oh, 
Oh, that's delicious. I'm gonna put your water here in the shade, okay, Josh? Tell me when you're ready. Just okay? pass it over here. All right. The, I'm gonna um, drink that up right now. Oh my goodness, God, Josh! I, uh, I'll give it. I'll pass it to you when uh, when you're I ready. I got it. I'll do it. All right, Josh. Enjoy the ice cold water. My goodness. Very nice viewer here. Well, so we have the LA Flies corner here at the. Uh, uh, do you guys want to? I'm gonna ask the. Uh, the LA Flights VIP Lounge if they want to give a good way after Copa Airlines. Look at that, zooming in to Copa. The 737 from Panama City. Oh, looks like the gate isn't ready for them. Oh my goodness, giving them a little chance for... Um, They're not looking at us, no? unfortunately. All right, what is it, gate five? Uh, they could be heading to gate five. All right, gate five for today. J.A. Lopez, Mr. Lopez, thank you so much, my friend. Slice of cake to my mom. We have Peter Masatani, of course, sending me slice of cake. You guys are wonderful. You guys are so sweet. Thank you so much. J.A. Lopez, Peter Masatani. We have Paul Williams as well. Very nice, guys. Thank Paul, you. Listen, Paul sending two slice of cake super stickers. Thank you, Paul. And this one is heading to game five. Oh, I hear this. What do you think of that? Very nice. Oh, that's such a great sound. My goodness, it's deafening here at the uh, at the TWA hotel. It's deafening the amount of sound. Oh, and take a look at this, Kenya. Kenya Airways with special liveries. Don't tell me, it's a pushing back. It's uh, not pushing back just yet. It's getting close, though. The cargo doors are closed. And I'm pretty sure the tug is connected to the nose gear of that Dreamliner. So that one's going to be pushing any second from now. Yeah, connected. Ready to go. Oh, you're ready, Cheryl. Thank you so much. Uh, sending us a $10 gift. Bless your mom. Happy birthday to her. Today is my late husband's birthday. He would have been 56 today. Cheryl, are you ready? My condolences to you. I, could, I can't even start to imagine. I can't start... Uh, to fathom the, 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 the feelings you are experiencing today. Cheryl, thank you so much. Thank you, Cheryl. Much love to you, Cheryl. <coughs> you guys are so incredible, so sweet, guys. We have Lotus G1 sending a slice of cake. Uh, super sticker to the LA Flight Channel for LA Flight's mom. Are you ready? There it is. Dad saying happy birthday, Caroline. That's my mom's name. That's mom. As we see the Q8 777 arrive. Cheryl, one more time, my sincere condolences on your very tough day. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. By the way, Elizabeth, my mom's middle name. Uh, Elizabeth, 
We love the name here uh, at the LA Flies channel, sending a $10 gift through PayPal. Uh, thank you. JFK Show, you guys rock. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. Thank you so much for watching the LA Flights channel. I'm very happy you are enjoying what you are seeing here at this magnificent location. The TWA Hotel at JFK. Have geek heaven. Thank you so much, Kyle. Kyle Flynn sending us a $10 tip. Happy as the birthdays to your mama. She raised a couple of kind-hearted guys. Thank you so much, Kyle. Good vibes, my friend. She raised us with the good vibes, with the good friendly vibes. Always treat uh, anyone, treat everyone how you would like to be treated. You know, it's something that everyone knows. It's something that we live by. And we treat everyone like they're part of family. And I hope, uh, I hope you guys see that. It's, it's how we were raised, and it's all thanks to mom and dad. Are you ready? Let's not leave dad out here. Mom and dad raising us with the friendly vibes. Big 767 there, and I'm pretty sure you're going to... The 747 yes. challenge. 747 coming up. It is going to cross runway tw uh, 31 left. Correction, 31 right in the next few minutes. Here we a go. A little bit of a traffic jam. A bit of a traffic jam here with smaller, narrow bodies. But we can't wait to see that 7-4 in the next few moments. We have Claudia. Claudia becoming a channel member. Thank you so much for joining. We have a member in the first class today. In first class membership. Cheryl, I'm so happy to hear this. I'm so happy to see this. This stream today is really helping me today. Are you ready, guys? Let's send a lot of love to Cheryl. You know, not only a wonder, a, a terrific moderator here with us here at LA Flights, but also a wonderful viewer, uh, a terrific channel supporter. Let's send a, love, a lot of love to Cheryl. Cheryl on her very tough day today. Emergency vehicles, uh, let's see, scrambling. Are you seeing that? I see one. I oh, see a couple. Two. Yeah, I see two. Yeah, you can see them right there. Quiddy 117, heavy traffic, 5 out, cross runway 2 2 ready, going for a Bravo, I'm on the ground, 4 9 assault. Look at that. Oh, the emergency stairs. I think someone's coming back. Ah, uh, yes. Look there at this. Is. Do we have any information? 24, cross runway 2 2 8, right Bravo, I'm on the ground, 4 9 assault. Let's see, do we have any? You know, I wonder if we're going to have anyone coming back. Let's see, in the meantime, we have Kenya. Pushing back right now with the special livery. You know, this could be highlight of the day. I've never seen this livery. Let's see, my friends. Are you ready? I think we might have a plane coming back because emergency vehicle scrambling. The Pride of Africa, wow, I love that livery. I think it's the best livery I've seen in a very long time. A tip, an LA flight's top tip for the airlines. Paint a giant elephant on the side of your plane. Yes, that's how you're supposed to do it. You'll, you'll, uh, you'll make Peter and Josh say that's one of the best liveries all day long. Just put a big elephant, no matter where you are, uh, what airline, you know, British Air, just paint a pe massive Iceland elephant. Air. Iceland there. Iceland there, there you go. <laughs> Put an elephant on your put plane. Put a zebra. Put an elephant on your plane, and you're gonna be. You're gonna have a terrific livery. Talking about special liveries. Delta Airlines and the Sky Team coming in. Let me know if you have any update on the. Uh, you know, I'm trying to look for it coming back. Yeah. Because oh, hold on a minute. Look at this. <laughs> You found it? We have a plane in holding pattern. We have a Speedbird 173, big 777-300 over Long Island right now in a holding pattern. 
flying at 9,000 feet. Now, I don't know if that's the one that requires the emergency vehicles. Look at that, Josh. Yeah, they're coming up next to us. Look at this. I, I am not sure if it's, if it's for Speedbird 173, but we do have that big 777 in a holding pattern over Long Island. There goes another one. Look at this. That emergency. one has the water cannon. Water cannon. And we have uh, another one trailing it. And the emergency stairs right behind it, Josh. Look at that. Yeah, there it goes. We have a plane coming to New York City that requires assistance. This is what, okay, so British Airways, it's a big 777 in a holding pattern over Long Island. Could that be it? That That's could be the reason it. why? I am not sure, I'm not confirming if it's, uh, if it's that one, but it is in a holding pattern, which is unusual. We have Clapton2115 sending us a $10 super chat. I appreciate this, my friend. Thank you so much, Clapton2115 in a day full of action here at the LA Flights live show. What are these rhinos? Yes, rhinos. All right, uh, making a straight head on, uh, actually, go, go right Bravo for the Delta and uh, give ground a call one to one decimal nine. All right, Bravo is short of Delta, and we'll give it down to call Delta. Wow, look at this. Guys. And uh, I'll tell short of 2 at this frequency. Guys, we have something going on. Listen, guys, we have something going on. We have several planes in a holding pattern. We have Iberia doing a UE right now. Iberia over Long Island. Iberia 20, uh, correction, 6251, flying in from Madrid. And it's currently in a holding pattern. We have Condor in a holding pattern right now. Someone is coming in. I don't know who, though. Several airliners, several heavy international flights are in a holding pattern over Long Island. And we have emergency vehicles scrambling to the runway. We have the water cannons. We have emergency stairs as well. Yeah, we're keeping an eye out. And American Airlines 777 is also in a holding pattern. Wow. We have so many international flights in a holding range. What's American, going on? American 45 has been circling over Long Island for several minutes now. All right, so just to recap, we have multiple heavy aircraft on a holding pattern several. around the airport. Several, and several international flights, several heavies in a uh, circling over Long Island and emergency Lots vehicles. Lots of emergency vehicles that were deployed. All right, we have a 747 clear to land. We have Coletta. We have Connie 4961 flying in from the city of Anchorage. Don't I forget, we still have another 747 over here waiting for the departures. A lot of static there. Number 724, Bravo Mike, Candy Tower, Kenny Altair, 2 9 9 9 9 east on uh, Fish and West on Washington, below the Bravo's approved, course right there, we'll pull pipes overhead. Okay. 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 So let's see, 747 coming in, I still don't know which aircraft requires the emergency assistance. Oh, let's see, we have an exec jet. Look at the exec jet. Where is it? This one? 31 left. 31 left. Uh, I see it. Probably. Uh, 31 left, Josh. Let me just get the left. Right. Approach. I see it. Look at this. This is the exec jet landing on one of the longest runways here at JFK. Net jets 414. They told the little exec jet to land on this runway because they don't want any issues happening to the Bravo main Mike runways. Is, I is there it is. From, uh, drone activity that's north of the uh, field low level. That's the one. That's NetJets arriving 31. I'm pretty sure that one is the one that required the emergency assistance. Do we have a registration for that? It is registration November 414, 
Quebec Sierra requiring emergency assistance. Yeah, wow. They didn't want that one on the main runways. So they told that one to land far away, 31 left, battling a crosswind. Are you ready? Winds are right now ideal for the 22s, no matter what, landed on 31 left. Flying in from St. Louis, Missouri. And we also have drone activity reported by the tower. Joshua 747 coming in. We have Connie. Let's go. Let's go for it. Coletta Air 4961, flying in from the city of Anchorage, a six hour, 28 minute flight on uh, 22 left. So there's drone activity on, on final. That's what the ATC just reported, drone activity. And let's see, I can confirm that the exec jet, net jets is Still on the runway, 31 left. That's very interesting. I wonder what happened. And it looks like there is a helicopter above it as well at 300 feet. 300 feet? Yes. All right, there goes Connie. We still have a challenge accepted 747 freighter. All right, guys, fill the chat with the 747 uh, emojis on the chat, please. Let's fill the chat. Let's make the chat go crazy. And we should have a rush of a whole bunch of heavy arrivals, shouldn't we? The, the ones that were in the holding pattern? Listen, they're in a holding pattern. It's a, ma it's a massive traffic jam happening right now. The amount of heavies, I mean, look, listen, we have a 767-400 from LAX. Okay, so we have a Delta 76 from LAX. We have American Airlines flying in from Paris after being in a holding pattern for like 20 minutes. We have Speedbird 123 exiting the holding pattern right now, a big 777. We have Condor exiting the holding pattern. Uh, let's see, we have the Swiss exiting the holding pattern. We have Iberia, who was in wow. a holding pattern. You know what I'm going to say. All of Europe. Exiting the holding pattern. There was a whole bunch of planes circling above Long Island. Emirates arriving in 20 minutes. It's there a, you go. It's a big A380 Super at the tip of Long Island. Action packed. My goodness. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, seven, eight arrivals happening within three minutes. There, I mean, it wow. really is like three That's minutes. That's insane. And look at this. The Kenya has to take a big turn. Oh, forget about it. Get in the <laughs> back <laughs> of the to, queue. Has to take a big turn for the line. <laughs> big queue, getting back at the line. Oh, JetBlue yeah. leaving. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, Josh, are you ready? Uh, can you sign this uh, for... Okay. Who is he? There you go, Josh. There's the pen. Joshua signing the... Uh, some stickers there. 
Hey, have a, have a wonderful drive, okay? Yeah, cheers, man, okay? Thank you so much. Uh, nice to meet you, okay? There you go. Very nice to meet you, all right? <laughs> bye bye, guys. Hey, you wanna? No, we're good. Thank you. We're good. Thank you. <laughs> Take care, okay? Bye bye. See ya. There goes the fan that came all the way from Rhode Island. He said it was a four hour drive. My goodness, that's Leaving. a big drive. Wow. All right, listen, I think we have a couple of arrivals here. Let's see. We have Tyson sending us an 1183 tip. It's my 39th birthday today. I'm watching from Sandy, Utah, about 10 miles south of downtown Salt Lake City, Utah. I love airplanes. You should come out to Salt Lake City, Utah one of these days. First of all, happy birthday to you, my friend. I want everyone on the, uh, in the LA Flights family to send the happy birthday vibes to Tyson. Tyson. Price. Happy yeah, birthday, happy my birthday. Oh, look at this. Two Jet Blues pushing back at the same time. Wow, look at that. I see it. Look at this. Simultaneous pushback. And I think they're letting the, uh, the one closer to us push back first. I think that's okay. And Wilson, there you go, sending the slice of cake. Super Saker 4. Tyson, thank you, Tyson, and thank you so much, Ann Wilson. You are incredible. But let's see, we have Mark, find another tip coming in. QF3 Qantas, I can't wait to see this one. Are you ready? Due in at 4.25 p.m. Eastern Time and QF4 flying back. Departs at 7.30 p.m. Now, I'm not sure. Are you ready? I am not sure if we're going to be able to stay for nighttime plane spotting today. Our last plane for today will be the same plane that was supposed to finish the LA flight show yesterday. Lufthansa, the super, departing at 5.35 p.m. But if we have the runway action that we're having right now on the 22s, who knows what might happen? Pray for the 22s to be active. And if the viewers want it, we'll stay for nighttime plane spotting. Gadzooks, are you ready? This is the viewer who just said bye to the LA Flights family. Thanks for having me, y'all. It was a blast. Safe drive back to Rhode Island. That's a four-hour drive coming out to see the LA Flights house. Let's send a lot of love to Gadzooks. Are you ready? A lot of love for Godzooks. Paul Williams sending a slice of cake, super sticker for Tyson Price. Tyson, you're going to have a lot of cake, my friend. You know, we have such a big line for departures, but the arrivals are so congested right now that they're using both runways to land. <laughs> That's how you know it's really bad, the traffic here, the congestion. And listen, OK, Barbara, I was about to say this. Check your mail because you have a gift. You have a present waiting for you. Uh, let's see. Thank you so much, Barbara. Nice to have you with us. An incredible $100. Barbara, good, thank you so much. Wonderful gift coming to LA Flights. Wow. You are always welcomed here, Barbara. Barbara, this is your channel. Barbara the legend. The legend <laughs> here on LA Flights Live. Very nice to have you here in New York. Welcome the same, to New York. Uh, the same uh, time, time zone, right? We're in the same time zone, Barbara. Yeah, finally. Finally, we're back again at the same time zone. This is your channel, Barbara. Never forget that. We are so happy to have you with us. And I'll take a look at the email regarding the gift I sent you after today's episode thank you barbara you are you are amazing let's hear the engines light that candle coming up Did we miss it? I think we did. 
Are you ready? Fire talk. I hope you're still watching, my friend. I think I neglected to put up this message. I saved it. I saved this message, but I think I neglected to put it up. Fire Talker, thank you. Uh, Fire Talker sending us a $5 super chat. As the day warms up, just remember how cold it was on the Christmas show with you all again <laughs> today. No, you know what? I prefer the, I prefer the hot. <laughs> you prefer the heat? Oh, I can't be here. It's impossible to do the show in negative. Who cares? As Are you, you sure say. about that? <laughs> At least here, you know, we get a bit of a breeze and it cools us down a little. Thank you, Fire Talk. I hope you're still watching, my friend. Speedbird123, this is the one that was in the holding pattern only a few minutes ago. Landing in front of us, we have Peter B sending us a 12 euro tip. Hey guys, what a fantastic, what fantastic coverage again. JFK rocks. Love your enthusiasm for aviation and planes we have the bug my friend are you ready peter we have the aviation bug in us maxwell myers a seven dollar five cent super chat in honor of july 5th july 5th super chat coming in hot i moved to jfk i moved to new york city last month feeling more at home with you guys in town thank you for the hashtag good vibes as always Take a look at this. Look who we're going to see right now. Who are we going Korean. to see? Look at this. The behemoth. It's the blue king of the skies, the blue behemoth. And the 747 going to line up. It's, you know something? It's so strange. It's, it's strange how it works. Every single time we see an A380, we also see a 747. Is that a fact? It happened yesterday. Hey, Mendelton, Mendelton, very nice. <laughs> Mendelton, the traveler. Mendelton, the traveler, who kept us company in uh, Los <laughs> Angeles a few times, keeping us company here at the TWA Hotel. That's the Jeff Blue you're hearing right now. And there it goes, four. Wow, look at that, queen of the skies. A little sunscreen on the nose for the 7-4. I'll take that any day of the week. Delta 575 Heavy Exit, Julia, then taxi by Zulu and Hotel, hold short of 182, right? Julia, Zulu, Hotel, hold short of. Look at that, 747 powered by four Very CF6 nice. engines. Julia, cross me, 2 2 right, taxi straight at Alpha, traffic holds in position, monitor ground on the other side. Oh my goodness, that's so brilliant. And we have the king of the skies. About to cross 31 right. You guys, are you ready? How about this? Let's cross 3,000 likes before the super departs. We are 217 likes away from crossing 3,000. How much? 215 now, 215 wow. away. we haven't even been three hours live. Come on, everybody. I think we're uh, super on visual. We have the A380 in our sights. If you're enjoying all this action, if you're enjoying me losing my voice because there is literally so many things to see and I am just so excited. <laughs> you know, I, I've like. never, my, my voice was hoarse yesterday at night. It I was. Mean, I was, I've never, I don't think I've ever talked so much during a show. It's literally, I think the most excitement I've seen, I think ever in an episode of Plane Spotting on LA flights. Yesterday's 4th of July was insane. Today, it's another repeat. And you know what? I want to say something. What's up? I don't think it was this busy yesterday at this time. Was it? it? Listen, Josh, it wasn't. It got busy in the I afternoon. I mean, this is a proper traffic jam we have here. Listen, it got busy in the afternoon. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you that yesterday. But what you're saying is absolutely correct. Around this time, I mean, it wasn't this busy. No, it wasn't. Especially with all the arrivals. Let's see. Well, 
right, we have uh, E-175 over there lining up. I want to go take a look at the Delta 767-400 in the Sky Team livery. Wow, look at that. 767. That's an L.A. flight. That one flying in from Los Angeles. Really a nice. Four, five hour flights. You know something cool? What's Yesterday up? we had the uh, the, breast ca the breast cancer research livery. Yes, I remember and that. The 400. So that's two special liveries that came in from L.A. Uh, and consecutive days. There you go, LAX sending us the the, uh, the good special liveries for Delta. Very rare to find a special livery uh, for Delta Airlines. We have Anna Sullivan, 21 months of channel membership. Look at you, All Access VIP member, tuning in saying hello everyone, congratulations on 210,000 <laughs> subscribers. Listen Anna, we're getting close to 211,000. We might cross it today. We might cross 211,000 on today's episode. Anna with us since uh, before 10,000 subscribers, Listen, I think. the very big, be uh, big <laughs> beginning. <laughs> Let's see, we have a seventh, is that, yeah, that's Caribbean. That's that's going to be parking. I think that might be parking over here next to us at yes, gate it is. seven. Yes, it is. Caribbean. And here comes your condor, Peter. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Even though I don't like the Condor, I, I respect the all the variety of livery right there. My goodness, look at that. We have Kenya in a very special livery, the Korean Super. And let's zoom in to a very, br a, a, a brilliant livery in my opinion. It's controversial, <laughs> I understand. But I love the stripes on Condor. Let's take a look at this. Flying in from Frankfurt, eight hour flight for the A330neo. You know what I'm going to ask, is it a winner? Yes or no? Let's go take a look at Caribbean. No, what did you do? We should have stayed at the uh, Condor. Magnificent livery, A330. Now it's heading to gate three. Gate three right next to us. We also have a CRJ 700. And please, let's get back to the Condor A330 Neo. Uh, I don't want to scare away viewers, Peter. Oh, come on. You know what? I might be scared away. I want to go back to my room. I don't want to see, I don't want to see this one. It's all right. I'll man the camera and I'll be pointing. It's going to be a Condor show. <laughs> Forget about the LA flight show. It's going to be a Condor show. Come on, everybody. Yes or no? Everybody says yes. Unanimous, yes. It's a winner. Delta landing. I mean, this just shows you how busy the arrivals are. Both runways. Both runways are being utilized right now for arrivals. Uh, let's see, Delta 987 flying in from Portland. A 737-900. And we have another heavy coming up. Another heavy, this time on 22 left. It is Iberia. This one was circling over Long Island. Iberia 6251, flying in from Madrid, a seven hour, 29 minute flight. I'm seeing a lot of answers. The controversial question, Condor in the green stripes, is it a winner or is it not a winner? It's a unanimous yes. Everyone says it's a fan favorite. <laughs> Too bad we don't have Captain Ken here to uh, correct you. No, listen, correcting me on what? It's a fan favorite, everyone says yes. You're lucky, I can't see the chat. Every, you, you would see a million yeses. So many yeses on the chat. There you go, Dangerous PYT sending us a $2 tip. Condor livery rocks. I'll take that any day of the week. And Kathleen, have any flights from Singapore landed yet? No, we're gonna expect, we expect the longest flight in the entire world. A flight from Singapore lasting almost 18 hours, uh, arriving a little after the 4 p.m. hour. 
Thank you so much, PYT. We have, let's see, a few super chats. We have a blind traveler aviation sending us a $2 tip. Can you do a show either in Mexico City or in Cancun? We've had invitations actually from uh, certain, you know, uh, airlines to do a show in Mexico City. All it's in the uh, it's in the works, my friend. Are you ready? It's in the works. Blind traveler in aviation. A lot of projects. A lot of exciting time. It's it, a lot of excitement coming to LA flights. We have Kevin 757. <laughs> A banana super sticker for the uh, the Condor plane. Are you ready? Thank you, Kevin. I think that's a banana for the host. And look at this. We have a 757 coming into land on 22 right. Who do we have? Let's see. The 757 flying in from most likely San Francisco. Yes, it is. Delta 561, a five-hour flight from SFO. A 757-200, 26 years of age for that aircraft. 2,600 nautical miles. You know, and I'm going to put this message up in the screen. We thank you so much. Virtual Gaming 21 sending a birthday shout out to my mom, LA Flights Mom, celebrating a special day today, July 5th. Happy birthday to my mom, LA Flights Mom. A Thank very you. special day for you. Thank you, Virtual Gaming 21, for sending the shout out to my mom. Very nice. Oh, Captain Ray? Uh, Captain Ken. <laughs> Ken. Captain Ray. <laughs> it's well, like that's when his I... last name, so. Well, that's true. It's not like when I called him Captain Leg. Yeah. Uh, he just sent me a text message, and he said, you're a liar. Condor is awful. <laughs> so Captain Ken is still here letting us know that Condor isn't the best livery. You know, I think you got a fake number there, Josh. I think Captain Ken not texting <laughs> you. I think you're just uh, trying to insult the Condor livery. Thank you so much, Sam's plane. Oh, no. No, thank you so much. Are you ready, Sam? Sending the... Uh, a face vomiting emoji regarding That's exactly, the that's contour. the face. <laughs> that's the perfect face. Come on, Sam. Come on, Sam, you have to be on my team for that. Thank you so much, Michael, celebrating a one-year membership. Welcome to the Golden Plain Squadron. Michael Arasmith in first class. QC Supreme celebrating 16 months of channel membership. Good afternoon, guys. Keep up the great work. Thank you so much, QC Supreme. All right, let's take a look at the Korean Super. This is a flight nonstop to Seoul. Korean 82. Leaving in front of the LA flight's cameras. Day two of the New York edition. the big boy big boy still rolling and condor there it is did you guys see the a330 ah oh, look at that lift off oh, so heavy is such a that's a fully loaded a380 and don't we have a, a super emirates pretty close to us oh my goodness let me take a look where is emirates a380 get ready flying in from dubai arrives in Two minutes. Two minutes. We wow. will have Emirates on 22 left, arriving in a couple of minutes. Currently number three for arrival. There you go. Wow, so many supers. Listen, and you know what? That's yes. going to be parking over here, I think. That's going to be parking gate seven. We can't wait to see the super Emirates. Don't go yet. If you're just tuning in to see the Korean, just give me a few minutes. Emirates A3 arriving in about two minutes. And yes, it's going to park right next to us, gate seven. Number, let's see, now number two for arrival. Can't wait. All right, let's go take a look at Kenya. Thank you so much, Witherbucket, celebrating 14 months of channel membership. The Condor, it's in, it, in its pajamas should be the thumbnail of today's episode. I'll take that as a compliment, uh, Witherbucket. Thank you so much, my friend. We have C-Mike in Kentucky sending us a $5 super chat. 
Not enough love for the 757. Fantastic airplane it set. The Boeing didn't make a proper replacement for it. And Condor livery is horrible. Uh, uh, <laughs> the best one. <laughs> oh my goodness. Bruce Campbell says, face it, Peter. All of the messages were a big no. Yeah, that, I, I kind of took that. Uh, I didn't really trust you when oh, you said it was a on. unanimous yes. Paul Williams sending some more cake to my mom, celebrating a special day. Thank you so much, Paul. You're so nice, my friend. Part of the Banana Club in Los Angeles. A slice of cake being gifted to LA Flight's mom on her very special day. And we have a JetBlue. JetBlue, 22 rights. That's where all these planes, they're holding short. JetBlue 20, correction, JetBlue 6220, flying in from the Motor City. That's a one hour, 30 minute flight. Juliet, Zulu, Golf Short, 228, JetBlue 92. Juliet, Zulu, Golf Short, 229, Ah, very smooth landing by the JetBlue pilots. Barely any smoke, lots of flare there. Condor and Air Iberia still haven't crossed the runway just yet. Yeah, go for it, over there, A380. Oh man, wow. Panning the camera fast and the speed of light to capture the arrival of Emirates. Flying in from Dubai, that's a 13 hour, 20 minute flight on the 22 left. Caught me by approach. surprise there. Caught me by complete surprise. So I was taking like a little uh, water break. I saw it in the corner of my eye and I was like, whoa! Swiss 22 Heavy, nice arrow, regional jet, three and a half miles ahead, and a 22 left, but land dish. I'll try this up here, two o'clock, two miles, 3,000 feet. Be back to the parallels in Embraer 170, on a 22 left, better land. And we have Kenya on the runway getting a move on. Let's go from the right, you know, super. Regional jet now, 11 o'clock and three miles, standing at a 2,000 feet, landing running 2 2 one. There's Kenya. In the special livery here. Wow, look at that. Come live the magic. Special livery, the pride of Africa. Look at that livery. Big elephants Very on the nice. Dreamliner. They know how to do a livery there. They know how to do a livery as well as Condor, the green stripes. Look, look at the comparison with liveries. Oh, to the on. right, that's that's a good livery. <laughs> to the left, come on, <laughs> that's not even a livery. I don't know what you call that. What are you talking about? The elephants are pretty cool. Yeah, I know. That's the best one. That's what I'm talking oh, about. I thought you were talking about Condor there for a few seconds. Is it still a yes, still a no for the winner? Uh, which one do you prefer, my friends, Condor or the Pride of Africa? Come on, I like it. Leave me alone. I like it. <laughs> we have uh, Batuan 737 sending us a six euro tip. Greetings from Hamburg in Germany. We appreciate your company, my friend. Thank you so much for joining us for the New York edition on board LA flights. We have Bertrand. I want to buy. I want Condor to buy the A380s. Imagine the stripes on a super if Condor ever had A380s. I could only dream, my goodness. Captain Kaz says a hard yes. So you see your text message was fake, Joshua, because Captain Ken, I'm putting a message on the screen right now and it says a hard yes, big yes. What's the opposite of yes? TV Span, sending us a fight out of Super Chat as I change the subject. Uh, okay, that's nice green stripe livery. I got your back on that condor, Peter. I love it too. By the way, uh, the G in our name is pronounced like a J, like Jen. Okay, so uh, TV Spange. St Spange, are you sure? TV Spange. Okay. It's pronounced like a J instead of a J. Okay, TV Spange. I appreciate that. I'll do my absolute best to remember. We have Lauren, San Francisco. Condor livery is great. Gets people talking. There you go, Lauren. I guess that's uh, that's a uh, that's a good way to look it at it. It gets people talking. It because does. I mean, it's controversial. I'll give you that. Listen, it gets people talking in the best ways, not because it's controversial, but because it's a fan favorite. Uh, let's see, David Healy. A uh, let's see, Condor is a winner. David Healy, 
says that the Condor is a winner. I'll take that any day of the week. Penguins 3 says a big yes to Condor. I appreciate that. And look at this, Kevin757. Oh, let's see. Okay, I thought you were sending those banana super stickers for the host, like the host was a banana. Listen, Kevin says, hashtag Condor Club. I love the livery. Very nice. Can we zoom into that? Condor and super. Look at that. Is Super's on the runway, right? The runway Listen, three, three, one It right. is. It's three, on, one left? It's on runway 31 left, going around Iberia and the Condor. We hope that the A380 parks here at gate 7. We hope so. We are going to keep our eyes on that A380. Hopefully in, it, it, it comes to us. We need that one next to us on gate 7. You know something? Yes. That Hello. might... Something that might indicate it won't be departing. It won't be parking here. Let's take a look at the gate here. It doesn't really look like the air bridges are set up for the A380. And usually we would have a lot of cargo here. Hey Josh, are you ready? I just met a wonderful viewer. Yes. Belen, flying all the way from Madrid and wanting to say hi wow. to the uh, to Peter and Joshua. Very nice. The Hello. camera listen, the camera's <laughs> going to be right here, okay? Very nice. Let's All the way from Belen. Madrid. Yes. Uh, hello, Belen. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> All the way from Madrid. Very nice. Okay, when are you going to go back? Okay, she says today afternoon. What flight number? One to six. Are you getting... Uh, oh, okay. Yes, the shine, the lights. I can't wait for that. Thank you so much for stopping by, okay? <laughs> Look at that, guys. Stickers. There you go. Very nice to meet you. <laughs> wow, look at that. Very nice. Hold the stickers up. There you go. Winner. <laughs> Love that. Nice to meet you, Belen. Nice to meet you. You guys are amazing. <laughs> we can't wait to see you. Oh, hello. <laughs> Very nice. We can't wait to see Belen. She's going to be shining the lights. Can't wait, guys. You guys are amazing. That's awesome. That is awesome. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> wow. Shine the lights. Belen flying on Iberia. Very excited to meet the LA Flight Show. Excited to meet Peter I and Josh. I can't believe how excited she was. And it looks like Condor and Emirates crossing the yeah, runway right now. Finally crossing the runway there. Is she leaving today? Tonight, yes, today. What time? Let's see, I think I have a message. Uh, let's see, okay, listen. I'm pretty sure this is Belen. Because, let's see, it was Delta 126. So 39 Gulf. Oh, a, Del a Delta flight. Yes. And let's see, Peter Dolan sending a $10 super chat. Condor for the win. So I have Peter, who we met in Clutters Park, siding with the host of LA Flights. We have section of big membership being celebrated right now. Thank you so much for continuing your membership here at this channel. Thank you so much, Scott. Are you ready? Condor looks like a pack of winter green lifesavers. I'll take that as a compliment. I think Scott in, uh, in Peter Camp. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you, my friend. You have been with this channel since the beginning. Yeah, very long time. You are member. someone that I'll never forget here at this channel with us since the beginning when we were nothing. Are you ready? Thank you, Section. 20 months with LA Flights Live. Sam's Planes and Trains, the anti-Condor Club. Ooh, boo, no, no way. I, um, I joined that. <laughs> <laughs> we have Sharon in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Can I please have a shout out for my friend, uh, Diane? 
I wonder if Diane is watching right now. A big hello, a big LA Flights warm welcome to Diane. Oh, watching the LA Flights channel. Look how they're uh, deboarding the, the Copa over here. Oh, what? They're not using the, the air bridge. Yeah, something happened there with the, uh, with the air bridge. The old fashioned way, I guess. We have Isaac, the plane lover, sending us a $2 tip. Hello from Minnesota. I want to be a pilot when I'm older. All the best, my friend. Thank you so much for joining LA Flights Live during the New York edition. Thanks hey, so much, uh, three and sorry about that, Josh. We have five memberships being gifted. Don't forget what you're gonna say, okay, Kat? Okay. Three N J E N N N. Sounds like an eye exam. Are you ready? Gifting five memberships nice. to LA Thank you. Flights Live. Thank you very much. Sorry about that, Josh. You wanna go for it? Okay, I was about to say. Do we have? Do we know where Emirates is? I hope it's not heading to the other side. Oh my goodness! Uh, terminal, Terminal Four. You know something? I think it's entering Taxiway Bravo, and it will be taxiing towards us. Okay, that's good. So I do think Gate Seven is safe. I sure hope so. Hopefully, it does park next to us. We have Witherbuck at a five dollar tip. The pajamas was sure a compliment. I've never seen a livery like that before, and I love the unique look. And a shout out to the big. Tim, shout out to Big Tim, the elephant. I guess that's the elephant that was painted on the uh, canyon. Seven, eight, seven. We have Sean Cawthorn, two dollar tip. Cawthorn looks like spearmint candies. I love it. You know what it looks like? It looks like a candy cane, doesn't it? A candy cane, that's a good way to put that's it. That's a good way to put it. Candy cane, anyone? Not in a good way though. In a perfect way, are you ready? We have Carmen sending us a five super chat. Hey, uh, hello from Luzan in Switzerland. My best friend is on uh, the Swiss A330 from Geneva. Wow, Carmen, very nice. A special hello to your friend on board the Swiss A330 from Geneva. Thank you so much for joining us Luz uh, in, uh, let's see, Carmen in Luzan, Switzerland. Oh, boy. Doesn't look good for Emirates. Oh, no. Listen, I think I saw a viewer say that we, we're going to have Etihad park at gate 7. No. There goes Emirates. Rats. All right. Yeah, that, that one's heading to, to 6, right? Gate yeah, 6? Yeah, something like that. Come on. All right. We're going to have Etihad, though. Don't, you know, it's, it's still a pretty cool plane. Uh, Patrick sending us a $2 tip today. Joining Sam's Antique Condor <laughs> Club. Come on, Patrick. You're fired, Patrick. How about that? Thank you so much for watching, my friend. Jeez Louise. Well, we have a nice lineup of heavies waiting to depart. We have Japan Airlines number two, but no, number three for departure and Air Serbia trailing that 777. Listen, we have a channel membership being announced right now. Let's see, I have to find your membership, my friend. We have Tyler, 14 months. Remember the Golden Plain Squadron? I'm very anti-Condor. It is the worst. Keep up the amazing work, Cat and Peter. Best YouTube plane spotting channel. I appreciate that, Tyler. <laughs> Thank 14 you. 14 months in channel membership. You, my friend, are appreciated. What's up? Forget about it. Absolutely. Yeah. Hey, listen, uh, remind me your name, my friend. Austin. Congratulations. That's cool. Ariana's my cousin, so shout out to that. <laughs> Very nice, guys. Congratulations. Wow. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. We'll be here. Wow, let's see. Austin and Ariana. Are you ready? Do they want to wave? Hey, hey guys, Austin. Hey, Austin. Austin. Hey, do you want to wave at the camera or no? Yeah? Listen, a big shout out to Austin and Ariana, big fans <laughs> of the channel. You uh, going to do it? Uh, or you want to do it? I, I can do it. Yeah, you can do it if you want. All right, you want to wave, guys? Listen, congratulations. A big... Uh, let's see, they just got married a week ago. On the left side, we have Ariana and Austin. And Josh on the right, and 
Uh, Corey, right in the Corey, middle. Corey, absolutely, with the white shirt, yes. Yeah, very nice. Big, the LA Flight Squadron, <laughs> and we have Mendelton over there. Oh, you see Mendelton the corner? over there. Wait, Mendelton. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. You guys are amazing. That's Congratulations awesome, to Austin and Ariana. Wow, really is uh, the LA Flights uh, VIP absolutely. lounge here at TWA Bar. <laughs> the VIP club. The rooftop Sitting, bar. Listen, Gold plated, gold plated seating here for the VIP viewers. <laughs> Very fun. Let's send a lot of love to Austin and Ariana. My goodness, they got married a week ago. Yeah, congratulations. And they're actually back from the honeymoon. A lot of love, guys. You know, this is something. This is the LA Flights family that we keep talking about. It's such a wonderful privilege. It's it's so humbling to see the LA Flights viewers, the incredible family that we, that we always talk about. That right there is why we do this, my friends, for the incredible LA Flights family. We have JetBlue in the yeah. fire, New York City Fire Department livery. And they're the, still using runway 2 to right for arrivals. It's so busy. Listen. 20 to right, 20 to left, both of them using for used for arrivals right now. Whose APU is that? You know something, I think it's, um, oh, you know something, I don't know. Hey, Josh, by the way, can we zoom into Copa? Look at this. We have the... Um, oh, the, the deplaning. Yeah. Yeah, look at that, doing it the old-fashioned way. The po air bridge. Yeah, possibly something wrong yeah. with the uh, air bridge. Brian Miller, thank you so much. Gifting one membership to the LA Flies channel. I appreciate that, my friend. Gifting who? Sharan Pants. I hope I'm pronouncing that name correctly. Thank you, Brian. One membership being gifted. We have Jerry Berlin, a five euro tip. Thanks for the love of our condors. In German, we call them Ringle sucking, yes, striped socks, no joke. Have a great time at JFK. I'm sorry if I mispronounced, if I butchered your the uh, the German word there. Thank you, Jerry. Tozy Wozy sending a two dollar super chat. Justice for Condor. Hashtag Condor Fan Club. I'm in that club. And Dev, four months of channel membership. Bless the brothers for showing us the New York planes. Thank you, Dev. Certainly not easy, but hey, listen, we're out here for all of the LA Flights family. We're all here for all of you. Okay, getting a move on, 777 Japan Airlines, the Japanese flying to Haneda. And we have Air Serbia behind this one. Okay, Inter international push is something that I think happens all day long here at JFK, right? I think we have a two-for-one special with a JetBlue A320 on 22 left. Two-for-one special. Let's use the uh, emotes on the live chat. Serbia lining up. There you go. A bit of a turn and burn there by Air Serbia. Is she getting a move Yeah, on? listen, I think so because they're trying to get them out of here as quickly as they can. We have an arrival. It's an American Eagle E-175 flying in from Reagan National and arriving on 22 right in just about 40 seconds. That's where they're telling Serbia to get a move on, get out of there as quickly as you can. That's brilliant. 
Air Serbia 5001 uh, flying to Belgrade. A3-3200, 12 years of age for that one. Look at that, is it encountering some type of turbulence or something? You know something, it might be experiencing some wake turbulence from the Japanese 777. That might have been it, that was a lot of corrections there for the Air Serbia. They're getting them out of here, that's uh, so many heavies taking off in a row, climbing at 2200 feet per minute, I believe encountering some wake turbulence. We know about that here at the LA Flies Channel, right? Yeah, I mean, we, we've seen it before, it really bad. With the uh, Korean Supers at LAX. A shout out to our viral video when Asiana was moving around after following the Korean A380 departure in the north runways of LAX. All right, we have the Dreamliner. This is the Polish Dreamliner flying in from Warsaw. Eight hours of flight time for this one. November heavy maintained 2000 Kennedy Altimer 2998. Sorry, 9 November heavy, you can contact New York Approach 132.4. Take a look at this. We have Etihad. Oh, go around. Go oh, around. wow. Yeah, look at that. Wow, look at that. Very big go around. Can we get the two for one special with the E175? No. Go around. What, what was that lined up for? 22 left. Left, okay. That was lot then. 44. Depot 44, crossway, turn with heavy Boeing 787, detected, or like 2-2 left, third land. The lot was too close. Yep. Comanche 7-2-4, Bravo Mike, clearing 10 fast clouds to the southeast, radar service connected, squawk VFR, we change the proof, good day. There's the lot. I, I think a go around was kind of bound to happen. I mean, these planes are just so the, closely uh, three, uh, five, stacked, five, stacked, five, yes. Wow, look at that, the Polish Dreamliner. On the runway, we have Darren sending us a $5 tip. Did you hear about the time they parked the Condor next to the Jet Blast fence? And then can never find it again. I haven't heard that story. Come on, Darren. Darren, the Condor, a brilliant livery. A brilliant livery. Come on, Darren. Good, good vibes. Of 2565, Let's see, we have a prop coming in. And the mist of all these jets, a little prop. Yeah, look at that. Imagine landing it with all these uh, international planes. Who is this? This one is Trade Wind Aviation, a Pilates flying in from Oxford. Oxford. I like the livery. Uh, let's see, north of New Haven, Connecticut. And let's see, thank you so much. Evil Red Queen gifting one membership to the LA Flights channel. Evil Red Queen gifting one, gifting Joyce today. We appreciate that very much. Thank you so much, Evil Red Queen. Good to have you back with us. And also sending some happy birthday wishes to my mom, LA Flight's mom, celebrating uh, a happy birthday you. today. Yeah. July 5th, my friends. Thank you so much, Evil Red Queen, for the birthday wish to my mom. And Jerry, let me put your message. It looks like I pronounced the uh, the word right. Ringlesocken, Ringlesocken, R Ringlesocken. Yes, excellent. But Jerry gives us the wink, so maybe I wasn't <laughs> maybe not that precise with the pronunciation. My goodness, thank you, Jerry. I do my best <laughs> the pronunciation. Let's see, we have two jet blues on the screen. Now, this is a two for one special. The amount of heavies coming in, I mean, it's so many. We have El Al Dreamliner from Tel Aviv. We have Qatar, who's doing a UE right now, U-turn. That's true, the go-around. The go-around, trying to line up again. 
We have Delta 75, a 767. At the head, we have Delta from Geneva. And take a look at this, Latam. That one's heading to depart. Latam, a 767 today. Lima, Peru, the destination. And let's see, Mr. Me, I think I put this message on the screen again. Now I have to, uh, I have to refresh my messages, my friend. But hey, listen, I'll put it up again. Uh, 12 months of channel membership, best plane spotting channel on YouTube. Enjoy New York City. Thank you so much, Mr. Me. A second shout out there for you, friend. Owen Mayer, thank you so much, my friend. Happy birthday to LA Flight's mom. A lot of wonderful messages being directed to my mom, who's celebrating a special day today. Thank you, guys. Nice, look at this. We have so many heavies lined up in the taxiway. Saudi. There's Saudi, and that's not heading wow. to Jeddah, right? No, that's it's flying to Riyadh. Riyadh, that's it. ANA over there in front of the Saudi. And the 767 Delta on the move. And look at this, Patrick. Two dollar tip, I work for Tradewind Aviation. Great to see the Pilates. Thank you for joining us. And we have El Al coming closer, about to land. I think we're going to abandon the 767 in we'll just a few the, seconds. We'll wait for the rotation. And there goes the 76. We're going to pan the camera faster than the speed of light to capture the El Al Dreamliner flying in from Tel Aviv, a 787-9, arriving 22 left. We're still waiting for the Qatar to line up, uh, join the approach for 22 left after performing a go around uh, the Poland the, the the Dreamliner from Poland still on the runway forcing Qatar to execute a go around only about 5 minutes ago Uh, let's see, look at Looks this. Looks like JetBlue is holding short of yeah. the runway, waiting for an arrival right now on 2-2 two -two right. Yeah. Sorry, 9, November heavy. Can you say heavy Boeing 767, 4 miles ahead. Cars for your turn, 22-2 two -two left, settle and begin reducing. And here it is, the Delta coming in. Right, so we have this one, a Delta 767. I'm trying to just look, I'm trying to find it on the good old flight radar, but my goodness, I'm not sure, I'm not seeing it. Oh, there it is. All right, so we have this one flying from San Diego, California. Four hours, 47 minutes of flight time. It's an A321 Neo. Lot 6 heavy at golf, cross on a 2 2 right. Bottom cross on a 2 2 right. That blue 44 at hotel, cross on a 2 2 right. South of the right, that blue 44. And 532 at Julia, cross on a 2 2 right. Taxi straight head out, I'm on the ground. We have a 7-6 coming in on 2-2 left. Flying from Prague. Delta 79. You can hear how fast the controllers are talking. Are you guys hearing this? I mean, we could just listen to the, to, to the controllers right now. And that's going to be very entertaining. Working on for you as well. And 
Lots crossing the runway here. There you go. That's the one. That's the one responsible for the Qatar go around. There you go, Qatar. Talking about it, right? Nine heavy exit via Juliet, hold short of runway two two right. It will exit via Juliet, hold short of runway two two right, Delta seven nine. And okay, so we have Delta seven nine about to uh, hold short of twenty two right. Delta three seven nine head. All right, the Polish causing the go-around for this one right here. We're going to zoom into Qatar, flying in from Doha, 12-hour, 40-minute flight, about 15 minutes longer because of the go-around, thanks to the Polish. You know what, though? They got they got the A350 back on final pretty quick, I got to say. Listen, we've had a few go-arounds the past few days, right? And it takes nearly 20, 25 minutes for them to get back in the queue and arrive on the runway about 25 30 minutes so they got very lucky the uh, the qatar a350 not that bad uh they uh, of a wait time check out that flare we love the a350s how they land and they give us a good flare on the uh, on touchdown not too bad only what was it like 10 minutes no not bad at all that was really quick that's what we have etihad one one bravo heavy tank airbus 321 four miles ahead i mean two two left third line all right, so we have Etihad arriving in about two minutes. Qatar 9, November heavy, exit Juliet, hold short of running 2-2 right. Exit Juliet, hold short 2-2 right, please confirm reason for that. 9, November, Juliet, hold short of running 2-2 right, say again. Uh, hold short 2-2 right, and please say uh, reason for going around whenever possible. Oh. Yes, separation with the traffic ahead of you. There you go. The Qatar never got a reason for the for the go round, and the, the pilots were requesting, "Hey, why did you guys, uh, you know, call out for the go round?" It's the uh, <laughs> separation between the Dreamliner. That's what caused the go round. Didn't the tower sound like a little annoyed when he asked that? <laughs> yeah, of course. I mean, like, what do you think? Like, it had to, uh, whatever the reason is, it's a good reason. But listen, Qatar never got the explanation, and they got it now. Too, too close at the traffic in front. Are they going to be letting... <laughs> hey, you want to come out here? Come over here. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. We got some views. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Let's get some pictures. You want a picture? Yes. Okay, here we go. You Absolutely. <laughs> no, it, no problem. It's a little difficult. Do you think... Oh, my goodness. The wires are there are impossible. Yeah, watch your step. Yeah. It is so impossible right now. Um, let's see. Are you ready? Okay, so this is uh, behind the scenes cam. We have Belen here. Uh, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for joining us. Shining the light a little later, right? I hope so. Let's say it again. Kumo. Kumo. Oh, absolutely. Kumo, right? Yes, absolutely. Shout out. And are you ready? Shining the lights a little later. You got the picture? Yeah? yeah. Okay. Uh, what's the flight number again? Delta 379, exit Juliet, then active by Zulu and Delta Hotel. Delta 126, sounds Hotel. good, okay? Juliet, Zulu Hotel, short of Delta 379. Okay. 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 Sounds very good, okay? And uh, do, you, do you send the uh, message on the chat or no? Okay. Okay. If, if you're going to fly out, yes, okay, so we can confirm, okay, so we can. All right, that's ANA lining up right now. Peter talking with the good, viewer okay? from Madrid right now. I can't wait to see the right hopefully, okay? Have a safe flight. There's Etihad Bye -bye. coming into land. Bye-bye. Watch your step, okay? <laughs> Amazing wires here. Possible shine the light. Okay, so we're just confirming it with uh, uh, with Belen. Good. All we right, very nice to meet you, okay? Bye-bye, guys. <laughs> Take Bye -bye. care, okay? Have a safe flight. Possible shine the light happening in just a few moments. Uh, let's see, a few hours, I believe.
So we can't wait for that. Shine the light. Just, uh, just coordinating. And listen, it's so loud here. My goodness, it's so hard to listen. Even if uh, someone is like right next to you, it's so hard because of all the sound in our location right now. At 1-1 one, one Bravo Heavy, exit via Juliet, and taxi Zulu and Golf, all short of runway 2 to right. <coughs> There goes A and A. Let's go take a look at Etihad. Wow, there's so much traffic right now. All right, let's so take a look at the yes. planes right now. These are the one, the rivals. They're still waiting wow, to cross the runway. That. There's so much traffic going on. Arrivals and departures happening on two two right. There is an arrival going on on 2-2 two, two right. And Etihad going in the back of the queue of those three arrivals. Wow, I can't believe how much traffic there is, Peter. Okay. So we saw the arrivals waiting to cross. Let's go take a look at the planes. Taxing for departure. Thank you, taxi straight in. Can you clear across to Detroit? Look at that shot, Etihad and Sadi. Second 6, 10 heavy, can I start at 4 miles and travel on Barrow 170 on a 2 left, better land. That was 4055, you want frequency? Wow, look at that. That's brilliant. Look how that looks. Look how that looks. I love that. We have Etihad, we have Saudi, both of them brilliant liveries. Uh, let's see, Qatar, who did the go-around. Uh, let's see. There's going to be a few minutes until that one crosses runway 22 right. No short of, it, uh, no short of action here uh, at uh, JFK, right, Josh? No uh, shortage. It's busier than it was yesterday. It was busier. And that's busier. saying something. It really is. Because listen, yesterday, yesterday it was, it was insane. <laughs> insane. He took the word out of my mouth. My goodness. But Sean, this is, I mean, this is crazy. I mean, it, today, yesterday was crazy. <laughs> today is even more. I mean, it's more jam packed. Uh, Sean sending an 11 month milestone. One more month until the Golden Plane Squadron. We can't wait for that, my friend. Only one more month. There goes Saudi. Yes, Saudi. Brilliant livery. That one is flying all the way to Riyadh. Let's see, we might have Etihad here cross the runway. I didn't hear um, any... Yeah, you know what, I think it is crossing the runway right now. Which one, Qatar? Etihad. Etihad, the 787 Dreamliner. You know something, remember the, uh, the A380 Emirates, right? That one parked gate, I think, five, right? No, hold on, uh, gate six. Yeah, On the other side of terminals, uh, terminal four, right? Well, that one, the A380 parked on the other side of the terminal because the Dreamliner, Etihad, will be occupying gate 7. So instead of the A380, we got the uh, 787 Dreamliner. JetBlue heading to the gate. Wow, listen to that. Okay, 
and Etienne, a little confusing here. I thought that was going to be heading to, to, uh, to gate seven. You know something? I think the, uh, there was a CRJ to the entrance here, blocking, causing a little obstacle for the 787. Big American triple seven. This one flying in from most likely like uh, Spain. Yes, it is from Barcelona. American sixty seven. I'm starting to memorize these flights. An eight hour flight from Barcelona. And there it is. Here comes the Dreamliner doing a little 180. And we'll be parking at gate 7 in just a few minutes. A few seconds, really. And a shout out to Joseph. Welcome to First Class membership here at the uh, LA Flights Channel. Thank you so much for joining First Class. We have, we have Etia, the A350 lined up here. And listen, I think it might, two, be a, two right. it might be a turn and burn. All right, so from N, from one Etihad, we're going to go to another one. From yeah, one Dreamliner rolling. to the A350, I think this one was a turn and burn. <coughs> Flying all the way to Abu Dhabi. There you go. A350-1000. There goes the A350 lifting off now. Let's go take a look at the Dreamliner parking at gate seven. Getting close to us, get ready. Joshua activating hyper zoom and I am pumping up the sound. Sound magnificent, superb. Almost 3,500 likes. How about this, my friends? Let's say before the next heavy arrival. Oh my goodness, it's happening in just a bit. Delta 203. 
How about this? Before Delta 203 flying in from Athens, the next heavy arrival... Oh, it's coming up right now. ...is in the next few seconds. Okay, I thought we were going to have a little bit more time, so it's going to be very difficult. We're going to need everyone's help. Can we cross 3,500 likes before the touchdown of this plane? We're going to need, let's see... Uh, let's see, 120, 175, 175 likes to cross 3,500. You know what to do. Hit the like if you haven't done so, only one per account. <laughs> I thought I had more time. My goodness. Delta 203 flying in from Athens and Airbus A330-300 arriving on uh, runway 22 left. That's looking really good, by the way. It's going to be smooth. Get ready. Possibly the smoothest touchdown we've ever seen. Oh, that's so smooth. Come on. <laughs> that's a type of arrival that, you know, Captain Ken, you know, Captain Ken was talking about the smooth arrivals. That's a type of arrival that you have to... Look at that. The front nose gear hasn't touched the ground. <laughs> it just touched the ground. You know, the pilots will have to wow. tell the passengers, hey, we're on the ground, if you believe it or not. We are on the ground. That's what you call a flare. Now that is a smooth touchdown. That nose gear stayed up for so long. Talking about Delta, we're going to go for that. Hey, did we cross 3,500? Yes, we did! Almost 3,600 likes before the touchdown of the Delta. My goodness. That is thanks to the LA Flight's powerhouse. My goodness. You guys are amazing. We crossed nice 3,500 likes guys. in a blink of an eye. Almost 3,600. We're on a track to get 4,000 likes before... The fourth hour of the live show. That is the rate of almost a thousand likes per hour. The fourth hour of the live show is crossed in 20 minutes. You know what I'm gonna say, 4,000 before the fourth hour of the live show. Don't worry, we still have a bit of time. We have 20 minutes left. All right, listen, we're gonna stay with the departure. We do have an arrival, Joshua. It's Delta 395 flying in from San Francisco, a five hour flight, 757 200. The Atari Ferrari. Let's fill the chat with uh, the Atari Ferrari emotes, the uh, super chat. No, excuse me, the uh, emoji. There you go. The stickers exclusive for the members of LA Flights Live. We call the 757-200 the Atari Ferrari. Once again, flying in from San Francisco, a five-hour flight. How far? 2,600 nautical miles. I think a little smooth, you know, th listen, that was a superb touchdown. That was such a smooth touchdown, but nothing rivals that A330 yeah, we just you saw. you can't compare any. Oh, look at this. Go for Delta it. Delta better get out of the runway. We have an arrival or help coming in right now. Oh, wow. Let's see. Let's take a look at this. Let's hear the radios. Delta still on the runway. 757 still on the runway. Oh, boy, we might have a go around. It's going to be close. 757 on the high speed. That's so close. Wow. Is it out? It's out of the runway. It's clear. I can't believe how close that was. There's the touchdown. It's about a touchdown. Wow, that was so close. The 757 just now, only a few seconds ago, exiting the runway. You know, that 757 took like 10 or 15 seconds more. That, that would have taken, a, that would have done absolutely. a go around. That would have been a go around. So close. And we had a similar problem with the Qatar, right? The Qatar got a little too close to the Polish Dreamliner. Qatar had to do a go around. That was very close. Mendelton, very nice. Mendelton keeping us company here. Mendelton keeping us company here in New York City. There you go. Let me know if you guys need an extra co-host. There you go, Mendelton. Thank you so much. <laughs> keeping us company here at the uh, TWA Hotel. 
<laughs> Cheers, man. Nice to see you. Nice to have you with us. Cargo those doors opening here with the uh, Etsyad. Uh, thank you, Jeffrey. Jeffrey Liu, gifting five memberships. Welcome to New York City, my friend. Um, I, I hope you enjoyed the 4th of July special here at the LA Flights Channel here in New York City. Gifting five memberships to this LA Flights House. Thank you so much, Jeffrey. Welcome, my friend. A big, big hello to you, Jeffrey. Big thanks to you, Jeff. North Atlantic flying in from London Gatwick. A six hour, 52 minute flight. As we found out yesterday with Captain Ken, it's really cheap to fly to, uh, uh, what is it, Gatwick? How much was it? Like 500 bucks? Five something. Jeez, that's that so cheap. That was under 600. Per person, round trip, 500 something bucks to fly round trip to Gatwick. Now that's a steal. Oh, what's that sound? My goodness, that's some loud APU there. Yeah. It's the uh, the JetBlue E190. Yeah, I'm gonna lower the sound APU level a little here. I'm gonna lower the sound level a little bit. A little too screechy there. E190 right next to us. There goes the airport workers manning the tug. We might have a no. We will have a a lighting the candle yeah. with the engine here. Light the candle. And we're still getting arrivals on runway two two. No, right? listen, forget about it. It's packed. It still continues to be a big traffic jam here to get into JFK. This American is an LA flight. Five hours of flight time. American one eighteen. Five hours, that's not too bad. Under five hours. Four hours forty eight minutes in the air. Good for the American. Yeah, that's not too shabby. Getting here very quick. Delta 575 on Monday morning took like uh, like 17 hours to get to uh, LAX. Uh, yeah. Excuse me, to New York City. That's true. It's so delayed. Delta 575, my goodness, Monday morning. And we have Doug celebrating a big membership. 17 months with the channel, enjoying, watching you two today. Great JFK action. Thank you, Doug. You've been watching the channel for a very long time, a long time member here at this channel. 17 months. Thank you so much, Doug. I appreciate you, my friend. Thank you so much. We have Dave Whirl says, awesome channel, guys. Thank you so much, friend. Xavier letting us know that we have the A380 on left base. Three minutes out. Yes, Lufthansa, right? That's it. Lufthansa getting closer. I forgot about Lufthansa. Did you, did you, can you believe Listen, that? There has been so <laughs> much action. I forgot all, all about Lufthansa. There has been so much action. We forgot about Lufthansa. Oh, look at this. It looks like the A380 is arriving on a 22 right. Nice. Closer to us. Not confirmed yet. It looks like it. Oh, look at that, the headset. Yeah, there you go. For the first officer. Putting them on. Getting ready for the flight. We have a big A330neo coming in, Josh, if you want to take a look at it. I know, but, but I love pilot cam so listen, much. I love that shot, Joshua, your call. We'll go for the A330. Delta 49 flying in from Amsterdam, a seven hour, 14 minute flight. Big A330neo on your screen right now. Okay, let's see, A380 guys arriving. How about this, can we do a monstrous challenge? Uh, let's see.
Bravo 70 off of heavy. Taxi right, Bravo to the left. Monitor ground. I still don't know if the uh, Lufthansa will arrive 22 right, 22 left. Looks like 22 right. I hope so. That's going to be a very cool close up arrival of the Super. All right, A380. Oh, no, that's heavy. Traffic on a six mile final. Because uh, to the right, I'm on the six. Uh, All right, the heavy. Hold the for the Yankee, check on the status of the game. For the Yankee, we'll check on the gate. Talk to the heavy. All right. For the Yankee, and activated. Okay, guys, Lufthansa arriving on 22 left. It's all right. We can't wait to see it. Let's do a crazy, crazy challenge right now, guys. Oh my goodness, it's going to be so close. Listen. Wow. Listen to this first. But we need time for the challenge. We're going to hear the spooling up. Yeah, I, see, I hear it. guys listen we have the Lufthansa super arriving in just a few minutes a crazy crazy like challenge I didn't want to interrupt the sound hopefully that was the right call I know that was the right call listen 4,000 likes it's 300 oh this is gonna be so hard we're gonna need everyone's help 4,000 likes in honor of the Quadjet arriving in just a few minutes yesterday we were here to cover the arrival first in uh, years for Lufthansa brilliant airline we're gonna do it again arrives in I think two minutes. I think it's like number two for arrival. So running out of time. 4,000 likes for the Lufthansa Super. Come on, it's uh, 300. Jeez, it's going to be difficult. Everyone's help. Come on, I think we could do it. <laughs> 300 more likes until we hit 4,000. It's going to be hard. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> We're going to try our absolute best. Crossing 3,700. How close can we get to 4,000? We have about one minute. Crossing 3,800 in just a bit. A two-for-one special happening in front of the LA Flights Channel. We're going to zoom into JetBlue now. JetBlue arriving on 22 right. That's uh, flight number 436. Flying in from the uh, Dominican Republic. 3,800 crossed. On our way to 4,000, hit the like, everybody. Let's celebrate Lufthansa. Let's celebrate the New York City edition. And who knows, maybe Captain Ken is convinced to come out here if he sees 4,000 likes. Come and on. And here we go, the Emirates. I can see. Oh, no, not Emirates. Why did they say Emirates? <laughs> Lufthansa coming in. Brilliant airline. Check this out. The Quadjet from the German airline. This one flying in from, Mum uh, from Munich. Here we go, the German king of the skies. The king out of the sky. Listen, this king, I bet you a million dollars. <laughs> smooth, 10 out of 10 arrival. Uh, smooth arrival for the beast, the behemoth of the skies, the king of the skies, landing in front of the LA Flights Channel. Remember, we're trying to cross 4,000 likes, my friends. We have more than 4,000 people watching this arrival live. Hit the like if you're, if you're excited. The challenge is 4,000 before that one exits the runway. Smooth, 10 out of 10. Beautiful landing. Magnificent plane, magnificent airline. We'll get, we're going to stay for the departure, don't worry. 535 estimated, uh, give or take a few minutes. We'll be here to capture that departure as it flies back to Munich. Very nice arrival there by the Germans. The Germans have arrived, my friends.
This is the, the second arrival for for the Lufthansa A380 in in three years. Absolutely, heavy listen. Heavy. In the meantime, hold for the Juliet and advise your gate number confirmed. Lufthansa 410 Heavy, copy that. Uh, just confirm that the gate is open. 441 Heavy, Kennedy, following CRJ, 12108-21. Almost 4,000 likes. Listen, we have more than 4,000 people watching right now, and the A380 exiting the runway as we speak. The challenge was 4,000 before it exited the runway. I'm gonna extend the challenge by a few seconds. Let's see if we can cross 4,000. We need 80, more, now 70 more likes. By the way, listen, did you hear the conversation? You know, make sure that the gate is open. They don't wanna let, they don't wanna release the A380. Uh, they don't wanna cr let, that, let it cross the runways and jam up the taxiways. Yeah, well, well like Captain Ken said yesterday, uh, being, if you're in between the runways, that's like the, the, the penalty box. Like an uh, LEX. Yeah, they'll, they'll only let you cross the runways if they know for certain that your gate is open. So that's why, you know, make sure, you know, uh, make sure to check if the gate is open. That's uh, the, uh, uh, the call, the, uh, the, the question, the request by the tower to the pilots of Lufthansa. Make sure the gate is open and then we'll let you cross. We're going to stay with the A380 until it crosses runway two, five, uh, 22 right. Someone's starting up. Who is it? Someone's starting up. I think I heard an uh, engine starting up. We're going to take a look at that in just a bit. We do have JetBlue arriving on 22 right. I think we'll stay with Lufthansa. We'll stay with the German behemoth of the skies. Now we're going to have Cathay Pacific. Uh, it's a big A350 heading to Hong Kong. A big departure. Emirates? Uh, no, nah, Emirates. Uh, which one, Josh? Lufthansa, is that crossing the runway? No, holding short. Holding short, okay. There you go, stopping. All right, let's go take a look at the arrivals we have. We have a JetBlue coming in on 2-2 right. And we have an RG, is that KLM? Yeah, KLM coming in. There you go. Yesterday we had a special livery, the 100 years of KLM. We have the special livery, the 787-10 and the big 100 years of KLM. This is such a magnificent day, isn't it, Josh? <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, this is... If we're talking about traffic and busyness, today is the day. My goodness, it's an incredible day. Uh, KLM 641 flying in from Amsterdam, a seven-hour flight for this one. KLM 641 heavy, Julius, Ultra, Yankee, Bart, Adam, Tegay. 
Oh, a little baggage. Oh. A little baggage okay. with the em uh, with the Etihad. Etihad. 787, a little bit of the baggage drama. I think a little bit more uh, careful compared to the other time. Yeah, nice and easy, these workers. Oh, the bags! Ah, there goes the bag. What? Just talking about it. We were just talking about it, my friends, and I think there's another bag right next to the uh, uh, the conveyor belt there. No, I can't believe that. The bag fell. What? Talk about the timing, everyone. Come on, everybody. I can't believe that. Oh, another one another falling one. down. No, no, that's not a bag. <laughs> what was that? That's like pillows. Oh, my goodness. I, I want to check. What is that? Yeah, that's like blankets and pillows. Oh, goodness. Still the, how that, the last one, though, that was a bag. That is a that bag. That one right there. My goodness. Oh, look at I don't want to zoom in too much because I, mean, I want to protect identities. Look at that. Look how they're throwing the bags. How about if that was, uh, you know, someone's, you know, no, no, million-dollar Gucci I'm not bag? Gonna, I'm not going to get them in trouble. You, can't, you don't know who they are. My goodness, guys, what do you think of that? I was about to say, you know, they're handling the bags with care. No, no, no that's not bags, though. That's not bags. They're not throwing bags right now. Those are blankets for the airlines. But, okay, we saw one luggage. Are you ready? One. <laughs> one did fall. One that's, did fall. That is got, a fact. They thought that that was the uh, airline blankets or something. What? I was about to give them a compliment. Talk about the timing. There goes Lufthansa. There goes Lufty. How about if that was Joshua's uh, million dollar Gucci bag? <laughs> My million dollar Gucci bag? You have one, right? It's gold plated. It's uh, It has diamond encrusted Joshua oh, initials. Yeah. When uh, diamond is... You know, here in LA Flights, diamond is blue plastic. There you go. And gold is red plastic. We missed Ita Land because yeah. all the baggage the, drama. The baggage, there goes another uh, segment in the baggage drama. There's KLM. The baggage drama is real. American, uh, American chick from New York. <laughs> I love the name. May come down and see you on Friday. Enjoying the shows. Well done, guys. Are you ready? Listen, we've had so many viewers come by and say hi. Please don't hesitate. We love to see the viewers. We love to meet the viewers. We have some stickers. And are you ready? If you want some camera time as well, we love to see. There was a, an LA flight VIP corner packed uh, full of wonderful really viewers. That's really fun here. It's really fun here. So much fun. Don't hesitate. American American chick from New York City. That's the YouTube name. Uh, absolutely. Don't uh, don't even think about it. An incredible day of plane spotting awaits you. Are you ready? The KLM about to cross uh, 22 right. JetBlue taxiing pretty quickly, by the way. Look at that. Yeah. That one's going there pretty go. quick. Expedited taxi there. 30 knots. Wow. That one heading at, uh, traveling at 30 knots. Oh, look at this. Possible go around. All right. We have Valaris on the runway. Valaris on the runway and the, the Brits arriving right behind. Do you think it might be a go around? I think they uh, they have it. They got it good? Yeah, Valaris okay. exiting the we'll runway. We'll go take a look at Cathay Pacific leaving. Don't worry, we won't miss the touchdown of Speedbird. I just want to get the lift off of yes. Cathay. Yes, Cathay Pacific 831 flight to Hong Kong. That's a big flight. That's a, I think, 16-hour flight. That's a big one. And now let's go to the Brits. Valaris has exit at the runway, 22 left. Another close call, though. Another close call. I'm They're telling really you. They're really sequencing them very close. They're stacking them very quick, uh, very, uh, very close to each other. This, uh, the, uh, the arrivals. It's so busy. All right, that's the Brits on uh, 22 left. Taxi Zulu Golf, hold short away, to your right. 
And thank you so much, Ronald. Ronald Felton, uh, welcome to First Class Membership. I hope you enjoy your stay in First Class, my friend. Welcome aboard, LA Flights. And we have a heavy coming in, it's Virgin Atlantic. All right, let's zoom in to the uh, A350. Wow, flying in from Manchester. The Manchester flight, very friendly pilots here. Uh, it's a streak. You know something? Every single time, it's uh, it's unbelievable how reliable this is. But the Manchester flights, uh, the the Manchester flights, the pilots always give us a wave. So we're gonna see if that's uh, if that happens again a little later on today. That's gonna be about two three hour turnaround time for the A350 1000. We're gonna zoom in as they push back. Most likely parking right next to us, Josh. So we're gonna take a look at gate three. Hopefully it's open. Yeah, it could be parking there. And maybe uh, gate five as well. They might be pushing Copa. Virgin Atlantic, I'm expecting that one to park right next to us. So stay tuned for that. Listen, we might have both of the uh, Virgin Atlantic flights. So the one on runway 22 left, the one that you're seeing right now, that one flying in from Manchester. We have another one on taxiway Alpha. Uh, there it is. Flying in from London Heathrow, so both of those <laughs> talk about a British invasion there. Talk about the British. So much English <laughs> movement invasion. My goodness. Okay, so both of the Virgin Atlantic flights, I expect them to park right next to us here at Terminal Seven, Gate Five, and Gate Three. We have Adam. Uh, Adam F. Welcome to First Class membership here at the LA Flights Channel. I appreciate you, my friend. Adam. I hope you enjoy your stay here at the LA Flights Channel memberships. Jensen, there you go, lunchtime finally. What an exciting day so far. And uh, thank you so much, GE, sending us a $2 tip. JFK proves why New York City is the hub of the world. All of these incredible airlines, I mean, the variety is amazing. Are you ready? Look at this. This is a, a wonderful viewer. Uh, being so appreciative of the incredible LA Flights family. Guys, I'm incredibly grateful for the free membership. It means a lot to me since I'm a massive aviation fan and always try to watch your streams. I am so grateful for your generosity. Thank you, Zane. Are you ready? And thank you to the viewer who gifted Zane a free membership. Only, uh, I'm pretty sure, throughout the day today, right? Welcome to the channel memberships, my friend. That is a result of the LA flight's incredible family. All right, let's see, we have the Brits crossing runway 22 right. That one is Speedbird 177 flying in from London Heathrow. Only arrived a few minutes ago, so didn't have to wait that long. No, that was pretty quick for the, uh, for the Speedbird, crossing the runway pretty quick. Light the candle, we have a JetBlue A3, is it an A320? No, E190. E190, lighting the candle, starting up its engines. Yes, look at this. If you thought it was busy, get ready. Jimmy says international hour, I believe, is coming. <laughs> it is, so it is. Listen. Give it a few more hours, a couple you more. Thought, if you thought that it was busy before, we're only going to have heavy after heavy after heavy. The international rush is getting close to us. Listen, look at that. We have the uh, British. We have Virgin with two Virgin Atlantic planes. We have the Italians on uh, the taxiways. Most likely waiting for a gate to open up. Yeah, we have a few waiters here. I mean, these they could have crossed the runway if they if they wanted to. It's, uh, well, right now, now they can, but Speedbird, that one across the runway, no problem. But these, these aircraft here waiting. Virgin Atlantic, Delta, the ETA, and the Manchester Virgin Atlantic. 
All right, let's go to the Eva Air Cargo. That was lining up for 2-2 two -two right. All right, there goes the freighter. That one most likely flying to Anchorage. And yes, it is a big refueling spot uh, for all the freighters. Eva 625 getting a move on. It's that time of day when, you know, we're getting a lot of the exhaust smell. You guys, uh, you, you're smelling that, Josh. Yeah, a lot of uh, fumes. That's the smell of aviation. <laughs> Are you ready? Uh, Eva, fly into the city of Anchorage. We have the JetBlue giving us incredible sound down below us. And proceeding to the main taxiway will be a departure on 22 right. Wow, this is magnificent. Hey, Josh, what do you think? Um, go ahead. Let's be permanent New York uh, shows. What do you think? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll move in with Captain Ken in the uh, crash pad. Are you ready? I'll pay him with uh, peanut butter cups. All right, the Italian right next to us. Listen, we have a big 767. Delta 219 flying from Copenhagen. Wow, 767 300. A seven hour, 40 minute flight. In Los Angeles, we only have Scandinavian doing that route. All right, let's take a look at who? 767 crossing the runway. Delta 332. Delta 332, that one flying in from Los Angeles, making that flight an LA flight. Five hours, 11 minutes. Oh, hold on a minute. Okay, so the flight was a lot shorter. It was like only four hours, 50 minutes. But the thing is, it spent 20 minutes waiting for a gate to open up. 20 minutes, 21 now, 21 minutes. Virgin Atlantic over there in the background, still not crossing the runway. Uh, listen, I'm waiting. I think they're waiting for Copa now. Uh, Virgin Atlantic might be waiting for Gate Five to clear up. All right, let's go take a look at Copa. I think he might be right there. I think Virgin Atlantic is waiting for Copa to start pushing back. That's what I think. My money is Virgin Atlantic yeah, waiting for they need the gate. The Copa 737 is. Uh, I know the camera can't see it, but what do you think? Is Gate Three open? Gate Three. I'll check. Yeah, it's a little hard. Oh, uh, let's see. Josh are getting taking a look at Gate Three. The camera can't see it. I can't see. No. Okay. Yeah, I can't see because look at this. Virgin Atlantic is on the move. And possibly crossing runway 22 right. Oh man, come on. <laughs> there we go. 
the uh, the uh, and what, what is it? The uh, port authority. Port authority. Yeah, the port authority <laughs> telling some people. Yeah, move. They don't, there's a whole bunch of people. What is that? Departures in the bottom? Yeah. No, that's arrivals, is it? In so the bottom. Drivers decide to just. They park there. You're not allowed to park there. They just decide to stop in the middle of the road. And it just creates massive congestion. So yeah, that's a big no-no. Are you ready? Don't. If you're driving around, you know, JFK, don't park <laughs> don't in the park. middle of the road. Come on. All right, let's pump up the sound. Get ready. Corinne, thank you so much for sending a slice of a cake. Birthday super sticker. I wonder for who. Thank you so much, Corinne. A slice of cake. Ivan Z. Let me take a look at this membership. Ivan says, happy birthday to the LA Flights mom, my mom. Mine is tomorrow. That's what Ivan says. So Ivan's birthday, viewer Ivan, Ivan Z, his birthday is tomorrow. Happy early birthday, Ivan. A lot, talking about a long time viewer, always watching the LA Flight Channel. Thank you so much, Ivan. Good vibes, my friend. Let's take a look at the at the next arrival here. China Cargo Freighter. Thank you so much, Darren, for letting us know. Big Freighter and a lot of noise coming yes. down below us. That's the 175 that we were looking at earlier. Very nice sound. Very nice sound. Uh, from the CFM 56 engines on the E-175, Joshua zooming in to the China Cargo 777 freighter flying in from the city of Anchorage. A big refueling spot for the freighters. A six hour, 14 minute flight for the freighter. We have ETA and Virgin Atlantic in from Manchester waiting. Where did the other one go? The one from London? It's right over here. It's holding short of the runway. Oh, I see it. That one's waiting to cross. Oh, loud beeps from the... Uh, uh, hold on, there you go. Loud beeps coming from the ATC frequency. One... Uh, one, one... Nine point one. Let's see if the ATC sounds a little bit better. That's coming from the tower. Can you, like... That's weird. Yeah, that's a little weird. That's coming from the frequency, from the tower frequency. Yeah, there you go. 119.1. A lot of beeps there. It's not from my end. Radio check. There you go. Radio check. Thank you so much, Max39. Happy birthday, Ivan Z, and belated birthday to Norma Casillo. Very nice. Happy birthday to our wonderful viewers, Ivan Z, who always watches the channel, and Norma Casillo, who also always watches the LA Flight Show with Peter and Joshua. Happy belated birthday, Norma. Thank you, Max39. Look at that little Pilatus getting a move on. That's the one, uh, the Trade Wind Aviation flying to Nantucket. But we're going to stay with the uh, E-175. Virgin Atlantic crossing the runway. Finally. 
I wonder where they're going. Wow, look at this. Get ready. Go ahead. It's a big triple, uh, big 747. Nice, that's what I love to hear. Listen, it's National Airlines. Nice. National 8827, a five hour, 11 minute flight. Flying in from Anchorage. French Guiana, wow. wow. North, north of Brazil, look at that. National, talk about never saying that uh, that location ever on the LA Flight Show. National Airlines, 8827. Queen of the Skies arrives in only eight minutes. The real co-pilot celebrating 11 months of the channel. Happy to celebrate 11 months. The real co-pilot, are you ready? Only one more to, uh, to go until you cross into the Golden Plane Squadron. The Golden Plane Squadron when you cross the one year of paid membership. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to have you with us, uh, the real co-pilot. And looks like the 777 freighter entering taxiway. <laughs> oh, man. All right, right when I uh, mute the mics, it stops. For that one, I didn't see any cars parked. There you go. I don't know why he's doing that. Maybe some invis invisible car there in the middle of the road. All right, let's see. I'm turning on back the uh, turning the mics back on. Well, you know, by the looks of it, I guess this Virgin Atlantic in from Manchester, that one's going to be the one that's parking next to us because the London flight heading the other way. All right, so at least we'll get one Virgin Atlantic flight uh, parking right next to us once the uh, Copa leaves gate five. Let's go take a look at Copa. I think that one's getting ready to start pushing back. You know something? It's, it's looked like that for the past 20 minutes. No, I think it has its beacon on now. Oh, really? Yeah. Alright, there goes the freighter. Wow, look at this, guys. Larry. My goodness. Larry. Talk about leaving me speechless right now. Larry sending us a $100 wow. super chat. Larry. Uh, you're incredible, my friend. Larry. A golden plane member. There you go. Nice. Larry for the win. Wow, big thank you to you, You know, Larry. I don't know what to say, my friend. That's such an amazing That's super awesome. chat. Uh, amazing uh, uh, form of help here for the channel, for the two brothers. Thank you so much, Larry. You are incredible. And I'm very, believe me, my friend, I, I, I sincerely say this, I'm very happy to know that you are enjoying the show today. Thank you, Larry. Big thanks to Larry. Big, big warm welcome to you, my friend. A member in the Golden Plane Qu yes. uh, Squadron. The prestigious club of the Golden, v, uh, the Golden Members. Thank you, Larry. Amazing. Jeez Louise, guys. Uh, 767, uh, that's Delta 563 flying to Los Angeles. That right there, that's an LA flight. Nice. It's heading to Los Angeles? Heading to Los Angeles, yes. That departure happening in the next few minutes once it reaches runway 22 right and heading to LAX. That's an LA flight. And we can't see it right now, but co well, we can see the empty gate. Copa Airlines pushed back. We can't see the actual 737, but uh, there's the empty game. My bets are that 
Virgin Atlantic will be heading to that gate number five now emptied. There you go, look at this, Le uh, the, uh, the real co-pilot sending a shout out to Larry the Legend. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, Larry. Thank you, the real co-pilot. Giving a shout out to the incredible LA Flies family and thank you to, uh, thank, thanks to you as well, the real co-pilot. Yeah, thank you. The incredible LA Flies family, my friends. We have Nick Casillo, $5 gift coming in. Happy belated birthday to your mom. I wanted to say this yesterday, but I totally got cold feet. Cold feet no more. Love your mom. Thank you, Nick. Uh, today's her birthday, so no uh, belated there. It's Norma Casillo, a wonderful viewer who celebrated a birthday earlier. Oh, so many birthdays. So happy belated birthday to Norma Casillo, a wonderful, birth uh, wonderful viewer. But my mom, LA Flight's mom, has her birthday today. Thank you, Nick. I appreciate that, my friend. And you're you're about to turn. Uh, you're about to have your birthday on. Yeah, the there you go. We love the birthdays here Lots at the LA Flight Channel. On. Lots of July birthdays. July 10th. Uh, July 10th for the host of LA Flights. Can't wait for that. How much do you turn? 18. Yeah. How did you know? That was a hunch. Joshua, guessing my age, I'm going to be turning 18. July 10th. I think it's the uh, the tenth time you've turned 18. No. <laughs> okay, maybe. Let's see something interesting. Let's see. I wonder if we're going to be able to see the 747 fly downwind for the uh, uh, for the 22s. That's going to happen like in five minutes, maybe a little less than five. Eat on the move. Finally, yeah, everyone is on the move. We have the Italians. We have JetBlue. We have Virgin Atlantic. Everyone is on the move. Hey, look at that. Copa has pushed back. Yeah, I know. Oh, look at this. They need the they need the, the big boys, big boy trucks here to move all the cargo. There you go. Wow. Must be some heavy stuff. That one's powered by a 6.7 liter turbo uh, diesel. Let's see if you're right. Of course it is, yeah. The big uh, power stroke. 6.7 liter American diesel. The good old power stroke on the uh, Ford 700 series trucks. All right, we have Copa on the move right now. There goes Copa pumping up the sound. Enjoy the incredible sound from the Copa 777. CFM 56 engines powering the 7.3. Excellent sound. Ten out of ten, guys. And Virgin Atlantic taxing its way over here. That's the Manchester flight. That A350, guys, will be parking right next to us. And listen, I think uh, the Copa is giving a little bit of a uh, little bit of trouble for Virgin Atlantic. Oh, look at this! Yeah, listen, Virgin Atlantic turning into a taxiway. What is that, Charlie? I think. Do you think it's going to do U-turn? It has to. Hopefully, it, hopefully, Copa didn't send the uh, A350 to the other side of the terminal. Ah, uh, come on, Copa. Ann Wilson, look at this. The Copa pilot said... Uh, Ann Wilson said the Copa pilot waved. No, I, don't, I didn't see a wave. Kevin says, I saw a wave. Really? I didn't see it. 
That's uh, someone has to replay that and see confirm it. Yeah, we're gonna have to do the replay. I saw they were leaning, but they weren't really looking at us. They were just checking their surroundings. Yeah. All right, this coming from the uh, that's coming from the amazing cameraman. So if he says however, that. I have I have missed uh, more than one wave before, so it's not the best track record I have. All right, let's see. Look at that, a Virgin Atlantic heading to the other side of the terminal. Yeah, look at Thanks that. To Copa, My who's gonna park at gate goodness. three? A uh, great gate five. Impressive real estate available for the uh, airlines gate five, right next to the LA flights cameras. Who will take gate five? Alec, and thank you so much, sending us a 149 uh, super sticker, a birthday cake. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. For all the birthdays, are you ready for all the July birthdays here at the LA Flights channel? Thank you, Alec, Alec and Alec and P. It's mixed on the chat. Some say there was a wave. Some say there wasn't a wave. Some says, you know, some say that it was clear as day, the wave. Really? So it's, uh, it's mixed. Dylan's Aviation sending us a $5 super chat. Hello, everyone. Thank you for, uh, for creating such an amazing community here. These live streams are the best part of my day. And I love you all. Thank you, Dylan. Very nice, my friend. Welcome to the LA Flights channel, and I'm very happy you are enjoying the LA Flights family. I'm very happy to hear that. Thank you so much, Dylan. Oh, look at this. Go ahead. Virgin Atlantic, it's, I think it's coming in. Oh, it might have done a U-turn there. Yeah, it did like a little U-turn just to avoid Copa. So it looks like Virgin Atlantic, if it doesn't stop, might occupy some really valuable real estate right next to the, uh, to the TWA Hotel, gate number five. I think we got it. I think Virgin Atlantic is coming in. I sure hope so. I mean, these Manchester pilots, they do love to wave. Thank you so much, Noel Reyes. $2 Super Chat. Looks like Copa Crew gave you a glance. Some say a wave. Some say a glance. Some say that they were just doing something to the, to the flight. Whatever they were doing, it looks like they were looking at our general direction. Yeah, we're going to have to look at the replay. I didn't see it, but, you know, I don't have the best track record with the waves. Copa Airlines still, still waiting to start taxing. Listen, uh, that the, the Copa is giving more uh, more trouble to Virgin Atlantic. All right, let's see the 747 on left base, National, 8827, five hour, 25 minute flights. A queen of the skies, once again I say, left base for the 22s. Listen, Larry, this is uh, the one, this is the viewer that gave us the incredible $100 super chats only a few minutes ago. Thank you for the opportunity to brag on my aviation uh, family yesterday at <laughs> JFK. Very nice. Thank you so much. And I'm so happy you enjoyed the sights, the incredible sounds from this magnificent hotel. Larry, are you ready? All the best to you, my friend. A I member. Mean, yeah, Larry, Larry, really a legend. I mean, he stayed here even through the rain, right? Even I mean, through wow. the rain. Thank you so much, Larry. A member, a proud member in the Golden Plane Squadron. And he should. It's a, it's a very prestigious squadron. Wow, that's so nice. Are you ready? <laughs> it's so nice to meet the incredible viewers here at this channel. Larry, it was such a pleasure, my friend. It's a DM water. Uh, yeah, I have some water. I'll take some. Is it cold? Uh, no, Josh. Everything was. Uh, everything is quite hot. All right, I mean, I'm pretty sure. If, I'm pretty sure if you ask the uh, you know the restaurant behind you, they'll give you some ice yeah, cold water. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'll see. Uh, if it's not too hot. What do you think? It's like room temperature kind of. Yeah, it's alright. It's alright. Yeah. All right.
Let's see, thank you so much, 1020MJ, who sent a whole bunch of memberships yesterday. In honor of Peter and Joshua, on a job well done for my 65th birthday tomorrow, July 6th. Enjoying your channel and New York's JFK. That's amazing. Thank you so much, 1020 MJ. Happy early birthday to you, my friend. And thank you so much for the incredible membership that you sent LA flights yesterday during the 4th of July special. Thank you so much, 1020 MJ. 747 on final, should be landing on 20 to left. 737 Delta Airlines leaving 2 to right. Flying to Tampa, Florida, that one. Delta 1419 flying to Tampa. And we should have Virgin Atlantic start to move. November 27 Echo Echo, Kennedy Tower. November 27 Echo Echo, uh, Roger, the clock will be at your own risk. Area not visible from the tower, straight out of the Kennedy Cross Bravo airspace. Proceed as requested. Use caution for traffic departing runway 31 left. And there is traffic, helicopter traffic one mile north of the field inbound uh, to the GAT. Hey, didn't we see this on uh, Monday? Yes, we did. Same flying lady. Yeah, there you go. We saw this plane when we were just plane spotting with Captain Ken without the cameras. You know, this reminds me that we're going to have... We're going to have incredible lighting in just, I think, a few minutes. I'm going to pump up the sound. Please enjoy the incredible sounds from the A350-1000 big Rolls-Royce engines in front of us. Oh, only using one engine. Yes, only one engine. Forget about it. That's all they need. Uh, this is the one from Manchester, is it? Yes. yes. Manchester. There you go. <laughs> spectacular but are you ready i think we're gonna pan the camera over to the 747 it's national it's all arriving. right let's go oh look at that virgin though wow that's 10 out of 10. let's zoom into the queen of the skies There you go, the queen of the skies coming, about to touch down talk national. About, talk about <laughs> stealing the spotlight here at the LA Fly Channel. I mean, they know how to do a livery, national. I mean, that's that's a beautiful, that's a beautiful livery. No, it is, forget about it, it is. That's brilliant. Uh, national, the 747 queen of the skies, stealing the spotlight from the A351000. It's time to fill the chats with steal the spotlight emojis. Steal the spotlight here at the LA Flies channel. Fill the chat with Steal the Spotlight and the 747 Queen of the Skies. So we have a little exec jet arriving, uh, departing on 22, right? But I think we're going to stay with the 747. Well, we'll, we'll get a little glimpse. You know, we can't hear it. We always love to uh, spot the tri-jets. Oh, excuse me, that wasn't the tri-jet. Hey, you know, is that the, uh, is, was that the emergency landing we had earlier? You know something, Josh? I, I'm not sure on that. Do you know what the registration was? Sorry, Josh, no. 
You don't? Okay. The, uh, we had like a, an exec jet that arrived on runway 31 left only a few hours ago and we had a whole bunch of uh, emergency vehicles scramble from their base to meet the exec jet operated by NetJets only a few hours ago. They landed safely on 31 left. I think this is my favorite national livery. Oh, look at this. Delta 321 is going to do an auto land. Oh, uh, is it about to land right now? 231, yes, the one from Rome. It's only a few seconds away from touching down. So according to a viewer, most likely, they heard over the radio that the incoming flight will do an auto land. So that means that the aircraft will land the plane. The pilots will just be monitoring the arrival. So let's see who does it better, the pilots or the computer. The, uh, the, the pilots are Terminator. So according to a viewer, it's not confirmed. According to a viewer, not confirmed, this one is doing an auto land. The computer landing VA-330-300. A lot of static there. I think I'm just going to quiet down the ATC for just a little bit. All right, so auto land. Coming in nice and smooth, Are I got to say. The, com uh, the computer's landing right now, so who does it better? Eh, solid touchdown, but I think... Solid. Listen. It wasn't as smooth as it could get. The arrival that we had only a few minutes ago, remember that one? It was a Delta A330. That wasn't an auto land. Uh, that was, you know, the pilots behind the controls. The smoothest arrival I've ever seen. That one was solid, but not the smoothest I've seen. It was solid. You need that human touch still. Yeah, no, that's true. I mean, the auto land, I don't think it's made to be the smoothest <laughs> arrival. It's just made to work, and that it does. Wow, look at that, 747 in the distance. Pilot is better, the viewers say. Yeah, I, I, I believe so. But hey, Listen, I mean, that's pretty impressive still. That wasn't bad. A solid touchdown. But the pilots do it better. The human touch. Pilot way better. You know, we're getting close, right? But we're not there yet. heavy contact ground, one two one we're, uh, we're not there yet, right? We're, we're, we're ways away from yeah. that. <laughs> That's good news for Captain Ken. Captain yeah. Ken still has a job. We're getting close. Don't worry. Listen, don't, don't get me wrong. And you know what? Us too. I mean, I think it's going to be pretty boring watching planes that are landed by robots. Yeah, because, I mean, they're going to be uh, landing every single time. Wow, hear that. You can hear the 747. I mean, that's just beautiful. The 747, the livery really doing justice to the 747. And Delta 231 Heavy, there's an A380 that's coming out, so we'll be a hotel, Bravo entry. An empty what? Alright, what is your date available? So, 231 Heavy, target available. Welcome to 231 Heavy, continue hotel, hold short of runway 22 right. I didn't hear.
Okay, there goes the uh, 747. No, they haven't. I don't think they have. Is that the okay? wind? It's good. All right, yeah, wind yeah. blowing equipment right wind, now, guys. My goodness. Wind really picking up. I was about to say, I don't think they have unloaded the luggage from that Virgin Atlantic. We have the the little the the trolley here. And Etihad, it's all closed up right now. No tug attached to the Dreamliner. Let's see, this is, uh, that's not gonna go to remote parking, right? It's not? I don't think it I is. I think they should have loaded it by now. Might be a but uh, it hasn't been loaded yet. Yeah, maybe a late night departure, yes. Yep, that's what I think. Depending on what, you know, how crazy we go tonight, <coughs> you know, we might stay for that departure, but listen, it's gonna have to take a lot. <laughs> Two 12-hour shows. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, we did have a 12-hour show yesterday. We so. had a 12. <laughs> Listen, guys, <laughs> re keep in mind, we were, we were live yesterday for the 4th of July special uh, through a thunderstorm, through heavy rain, through lightning for 12 hours, 11-ish, 11, 11-ish hours. Look at that Caribbean. Do you want to do that again, yes or no? to sound like we're complaining here, but we didn't even get a chance to eat yesterday. Yeah, listen, we didn't. <laughs> we, <laughs> we ate so gummy worms. <laughs> we, ate so, we ended so late, everything was closed around the area. Every DoorDash, there was no DoorDash oh, available, no, nothing. Forget about Uber it. Uber Eats, forget about it. And it was like, uh, like to Uber to the local Target or something, it was like 70 bucks. Nope. <laughs> we're not no gonna way. Do that. No way we're going to do that. So, my goodness. You know, I was going to go to the uh, local Pizza Hut, right? Because they close at 2 a.m. Which is an injustice, eating Pizza Hut here Absolutely. in New York. Absolutely. You have to eat from, you know, a traditional Italian place here in New York City. But listen, there was nothing open. I was debating. I wanted to go to the Pizza Hut, right? That was the last option. But 70 bucks. Yeah, so. 70 bucks. One way for Those Uber. gummy worms for us. Gummy worms. No way I'm spending that amount of money for the, uh, for the Uber ride. And listen, that was just one way, Joshua. You don't know about this, but no, it was, that was one, one way. Oh, way. no way. That's insane. If you add a stop, like the uh, a return trip, it's yeah. more, of course, right? Wow. So listen, we were out of options. I well, even it would have been 140 I, just to get yeah. to a, a Pizza Hut. I even contemplated Pizza Hut here in New York City. My goodness, but everything was absolutely closed. Uh, peanut butter cups. Gummy worms, because we ended so late yesterday. Yeah. Uh, guys, let's see. Are you ready? We have Royal Jordanian. We also have Qantas arriving. Nice. Very good airlines. Big flight for Qantas. QF3 from Auckland. My goodness. But first, we're going to take a look at this one. Royal Jordanian flying in from Amman. A 10-hour, 50-minute flight. The 787-8. All right, let's see. They're stacking them pretty closely, so Qatar, uh, excuse me, Royal Jordanian will have to exit the runway pretty quickly because the Qantas Dreamliner flying in, it's a direct flight from Sydney. It's only a few seconds away from arriving. You have your own discrete squawk code, or do you need, do you need a squawk? Right, DR39, uh, Roger. You're clear to the Kennedy class Bravo airspace via the uh, park and condo moon landing 
at the GAT will be at the road risk area now visible from the tower of a port landing assured. Use caution for traffic departing runway 31 left. Jeez. All right, we All have right. Qantas. All right, that one. Let's go take a look at the Dreamliner. Exiting the runway, let's go and take a look at the Dreamliner. Once again, I say this is QF3. It's a direct flight from Sydney. Big flight. Welcome, Qantas. Welcome back to New York City. This flight started the, uh, the, the route from Sydney. Direct from Sydney started, I believe, several weeks ago. Oh, only weeks? Yeah, it's only a few weeks ago. Nice. It's uh, pretty new again. And it's not every day, right? Uh, I have to check on that, Joshua. Uh, take, a, take a listen. Are you ready? Are you That's an A320 something? parking next to us. So that's QF3. That's yeah, a we'll big go back up. to her. A320 right next to us, giving us a whole bunch of incredible that's sound. That's the one giving us all the noise right now. Listen and let Blue me. Blue suede uh, shoes. <laughs> let me do confirm. Let me do verify this. QF3 is a direct flight from Sydney. That doesn't mean non-stop. So a direct flight from Sydney with a stop in Auckland. If it was a non-stop flight, it would be coming from uh, from Sydney, right? But it's a direct flight. It stops in Auckland. And take a look at this. It's a big German. I know it's which one. It's a big German, Peter. I see it. Let's go take a look. It's a quad jet, and I don't think it's the one you think. Ah, look at this. I know which one you're talking about. <laughs> Let's go take a look. It's the A340-600. Yes. Big one. The big boy taxing to the runway. Look at that. Plane spotter in the yeah, way. Listen, it's all right. <laughs> Get the uh, it's the ambiance. Hey, Michael. imagine yourself there. Imagine yourself in that plane. That's how it feels shoot. like. That's how it feels like. Lucky, lucky guy. <laughs> Put yourselves. Look at that. The wind hitting your face. Picturesque. <laughs> Take a look at the guy. Uh, let's see. We have a Delta Heavy. We have uh, Lufthansa Quadjet and the Italians heading to the runway for departure. Listen to this. I'm yelling into the mic, everyone. It's so loud. Here goes the, the, the Delta oh, on the takeoff roll. It's flying to Athens in Georgia. Big A3 3300. Before we go to the Lufthansa, I want to show you what's making all that noise. We still have the A320 here, I see waiting it. for the gate to open. <laughs> Good sounding A320, flying, uh, flying in from San Juan, uh, Puerto Rico. That's Get ready, Joshua, big 760, yep. 7400 coming in, Delta 265 no, flying you know in. what, we're, we're going to wait for, the, we're going to stay with the Lufthansa. Oh, look at that, all right, we're look okay. how big that plane is. All right, let's go for it. Look at it compared to that 737 right there. That's a monster. Getting a move on with the incredible sound of the JetBlue A320 right below us. Big A340-600 <laughs> living <laughs> in front of the LA Flights Channel. What's up, This Josh? one's just going to be rolling and rolling. It's going to be a very late takeoff for Fully this one. Fully loaded. And listen, it's going to be climbing like at 1,500 feet per minute. It won't be a rocket. Fully loaded. Look at that. 
there it goes, rotation. 150 knots, rotate at 155 knots. That's actually not too bad for the A340. Climbing at, let's take a look, 1,500 feet per minute. That's oh, what I expected. Wow. 1,500 feet per minute, rate of climb. That's a beast. Flying to Frankfurt, the anti-rocket. There you go, Darren. <laughs> That's a beast of a plane. All right, let's go take a look at Qantas before it leaves us. QF3. A direct flight from Sydney with a stop in Auckland. So right now that one flying in from Auckland, New Zealand. But QF3 is a direct flight from Sydney. Direct means a stop. Non-stop means there's no stops. There you go, my favorite airline making an appearance. <laughs> Hold on, I got all over the sound <laughs> this level. This jet blue. Still making so much noise. There it goes. There it goes. My goodness. Did you APU. lower the volume or no, was that no, 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 it stopped? That was, it, it heard me. Okay. It, it heard me saying that I was going to lower the sound. <laughs> Jake, I appreciate you, my friend. Just received my plane in the mail. Thank you again. Oh, Jake that's good news. Won the giveaway. Yeah, back in uh, two Saturdays ago, yes. right? Yes. We had the giveaway and Jake winning the uh, big 1 to 100 scale. Look at this, big boy. Hey, a professional just walked in. Jake. <laughs> Look at this. I'm gonna let's see. I'm gonna activate the other uh, phone. Look camera. at this. I wonder if uh, this mystery <laughs> guest looking good, man. <laughs> Are you ready? Look at this. Wow! Look at this. Guys. Very impressive. Uh, mystery guest, <laughs> you want to say hi? We have our mystery guest. Hey. Look who it is. Look at that. That very is very professional looking. <laughs> So that that really is Captain Ken. Are you ready? That is he really is a captain, uh, captain for Delta. What do you think? You're gonna be uh, staying out or no? Yeah. Yes. He's ex Navy Peter. Peter's asking Captain Ken if he wants to co-host, and Captain <laughs> so, Ken is like, right. if you would have me and. Of course he can handle it. <laughs> the right, guy's so ex-Navy. Look, we have a 747 coming up. Let's out. go for it. Uh, 747 arriving in just a few seconds. And <coughs> Captain Ken, uh, can you get let's, Captain Ken? Let's get him. Let's get him. There you Wait. go. <laughs> Look at him. So <laughs> professional. <laughs> There's the Connie. All right, I'll get the uh, headset ready. Captain uh, Ken joining. See. You can squeeze in there. Just watch your step. There you go. Perfect. All right, Connie, about to touch down, and the special guest coming in. Oh, Alitalia, the ETA. We'll go take a look at ETA lifting off. Don't worry, we'll go back to the Connie. All right, guys, Captain Ken over here getting ready. We're plugging up mics. We're hooking up everything. Captain Ken getting situated, getting his Delta iPad out, looking very sharp, guys. I'm so impressed. He really is a captain. <laughs> Just in case there was any doubt, Captain Ken wasn't a real captain. He was, he was pulling a... <laughs> He was pulling a, a Leonardo DiCaprio on us. <laughs> no, he really is a captain. I was running through the TWA hotel. Like, catch me if you can. Yeah. Just like Leo. <laughs> <laughs> no, he really is a captain, guys. And there he is. Hey, guys. It's good to be with you. You know, I'm feeling a little starstruck. I'm like, you're a real <laughs> captain. <laughs> Before, I just looked like I could be a fake, right? No, not like that. <laughs> Well, no, it's me that's starstruck, guys. Happy to be out here with you again for day two of JFK live streaming. And before my flight out tonight. 
Yeah, well, you leave at, uh, you have to go check in at around 9.50, right? Yeah, Let's it's see. about a 9.54, I think, check-in. <laughs> okay. Multi cam activated, by the way. This is uh, the, hey, we have the camera live. Captain Ken, look at that. He really is a captain for Delta, <laughs> keeping us company for the. That's uh, right. Uh, incredible day of plane spotting. He's going to be here for a few hours, right? Well, you, you have the flight when? Um, uh, it's going to go out at a, uh, just before 11.30 okay. tonight. So we got plenty of time. Uh, I may stay up until I, I, I have to go. I may go, you know, with a little bit of time to just kind of decompress. We'll just see how, how it goes. Okay, sounds good because, listen, our scheduled last plane is going to be Lufthansa because keep in mind, we had a, uh, a big 11-hour show, That's as right. you know, because you kept us company for the 4th of July special. The scheduled last plane is the Lufthansa A380 at 5.35-ish, give or take a few minutes. But we go crazy. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Look at my shirt. It's the home of the one the more plane. The one more plane, that's right. right. So most likely we're going to be staying up until, you know, million, until they kick us out, until they literally <laughs> drag us, you know, by the shirt. And listen, we'll have you on until as long as you want, okay? okay. So it's right, going to be an incredible honor to have you back with us. All right, perfect. Guys, let's make it go crazy with the Captain Ken emojis. <laughs> looks like so it already has been. Yeah. That's why we created the, uh, the emoji for you guys to celebrate Captain Ken, keeping us company yet again here at your channel, LA Flights. Captain Ken, let's celebrate our co-host, our special co-host today by filling the chats, making it go crazy. Go for it, Captain, Captain Ken. Do it for him. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, let's get the show going, Captain Ken. Yeah, co-host again. <laughs> I, I, uh, Captain Ken, do we send Joshua to get like drinks or something and you start singing? Oh, so yeah, it may be the show <laughs> of the one more plane, but I'm not sure it's the, the show of the one more song. <laughs> so we'll have to see. Uh, and it would probably take a drink that I shouldn't be having to get me to oh, do that goodness. again. So. <laughs> Got two casts. Let's see, a wonderful long-time viewer here at this channel celebrating a massive membership. Uh, thank you so much for picking up the membership yet again. Got the cast with B, All Access VIP here at the LA Flies channel. Thank you so much, my friend. VIP member, top of the line. And let's say, let's say we have Ika, yes, I-C-A-H-T. That's the YouTube account. Welcome to Elite. All right, let's say we have the Caribbean flying, wow, to the port of Spain. That's pretty cool, 737 MAX 8. My goodness, that's a long flight. All right, Captain Ken, you have missed because for some reason you're preparing for your big international flight, all right? That's right. You have missed an incredible day. So we've had the 22s all day long, and we had nonstop action since we started at 11 a.m., nonstop. Uh, from the freighters to the heavies, I think regarding the uh, plane traffic, it's busier than yesterday. Now, yesterday we had the, uh, the congestion because of the thunderstorms, but today it has been clear skies, but the amount of planes coming in has been out of control. So a lot of, a uh, lot of, it's, it's just been nonstop. Yeah, first day back after a holiday, so. Definitely expect a little bit heavier volume with the traffic. I, I mean, we've I was, been uh, seeing a lot. Yeah, I was kind of tuned in and, and watching when everything got a little bit uh, confusing earlier with the heavies holding out over Long Island and. Yeah, uh, we had a whole bunch. It was an exact jet that arrived on 31 left wow i wonder if they knew what kind of impact they were having yeah they were having they, all the heavies all the international planes well we had an american 777 speedbird 777 iberia a350 i mean the list goes on just circling over long island and yeah they, they got the exec jet arriving on the runway that's not being used i, I think uh, so i think that was pretty smart of the uh, the tower Hey, look at this. We might have a rocket launch with the wow. jet blue. Let's take a look. We might have a rocket launch. This one is flying to Boston, Massachusetts, climbing at 2,500 feet so far. I'm expecting that number to climb. Special livery? 3,200 Yeah, that's a rocket launch. Per minute. That's a rocket. Oh, but in the near future, it looks like we're going to be changing up the rules. We're going to raise up the, uh, the threshold? Yeah, I think might so. need a revision. Mm. I think we're going to have to talk to uh, Bruce Campbell, the original, uh, the, the one who originally set the threshold at well, 3,000. Yeah, we won't do anything without Bruce Campbell's approval. I mean, it is <laughs> his limit. I'm going to have to up my game. Uh, let's see, we have the 747 right in front of us. We have Alekin. Are you ready? Alekin P. 
a microphone. I think handing Captain Ken a microphone. Thank you so much. The microphone super sticker. Thank you for the microphone. And Captain Ken ready to go. Ready to start. Let's see, I think we have a few, uh, let's see, memberships. I, I got got to cast with B, your All Access VIP membership. And we have ES, correction, EMS, BEMS14, these YouTube names, my goodness. <laughs> Three months in channel membership, tuned in just in time for Captain Ken. I love the channel, I appreciate that. EMS, BEMS14. Possibly in emer uh, emergency medical services, I'm, I'm assuming. But that is just a guess. Thank you so much for watching LA Flight. And yes, Captain Ken is ready. Ready to go. All right, let's see here at the uh, tower. That Connie finally crossing the runway. Hey, uh, Captain, are you ready? If you want to, if you want the chair, I'm gonna put this down, okay? I'm good for now. Okay. Yeah, I'll let you know. All right. Because that's easily movable, okay? Okay, perfect. And I think we should have Etsyad push back very soon here. Beacon is on, huh? They're ready to go? Yeah, it's on. Delta 620, Kennedy Tower following a heavy A330, six miles ahead. Caution lake turbulence, wind 200 at 15, runway 22 left. I was a little worried about the temperature coming out, but the wind is kind of knocking the heat down a little bit. Listen, if we were in the sun right now, it's a, it was a little unbearable. You know, it, was, it was really hot a, a couple hours ago. I timed it well. You timed it <laughs> yeah, perfectly. Did. Are you ready? <laughs> you timed it perfectly. Uh, let's say we have the Irish on uh, 22 left. Flying in from Manchester, not flying in from Ireland, flying in from Manchester, a seven hour flight for this one. It's like Mark Diltz in the chat doing me a favor and tracking my uh, inbound airplane for my flight tonight. Coming in from San Diego. Hotel and hold short of runway two two right. Hotel hold short two two right. Wind flight nine three five three nine eight seven heading. Maybe if we see them land, that'll be my cue to get out of here. And that's a 76300, right? Which we're gonna, one? We're yeah. actually going to take the um, 75 tonight to Oh, really? Iceland. The yeah. 75. Right. Nice. It's only about a five hour and 40 minute uh, block time, so easily doable for the 75. Is that a regular? Is that the uh, uh, regu I, the normal equipment for that uh, for that route? I believe so. This is actually going to be my first time flying to Keflavik. Uh, but I think looking at it in the past, it's typically we put a 7.5 on that route. Okay, so we were talking about, you know, what is the uh, uh, the destination. So it's not Reykjavik, it's... It is Reykjavik, but okay. Keflavik is the airport that services ah, okay. Reykjavik. So okay, it's okay. about a 30-minute drive from what I understand. Okay, very nice. So they handle all the international uh, traffic for Reykjavik. So we were both right there, Josh. We were both right. <laughs> I'll give you that. Kind of. Uh, oh, look at this. I think you have a question already, uh, Captain Ken. Okay. Uh, life begins at 40. Uh, has he ever experienced a mechanical issue while flying or before flying? Uh, before flying, I guess on the ground. Uh, sort of a common one for us is that when our APU is not operating correctly. So is that I'll, call that, I'll call that a mechanical issue. Yeah. So without an APU, we have to uh, hook up an a air cart to the airplane to start the engines. And we have to do that before we push off the gate. So it's, yeah. That, that's more common than I'd like. <laughs> really? Is that is that? It's common? not too common. It's, it's not too common, it's but it's common it enough that we're familiar with the procedure. So wow, I'll okay. put it that way. What's the most common plane that has that issue? I, I, I'm assuming the older uh, uh, the older aircraft in Delta's fleet, right? The seven uh, five seven six. Yeah, probably seven five. Oh, your planes, right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> I think we have 
Uh, I don't know if we've got the oldest fleet or not. We have some A320s at Delta that are getting pretty high up there in age. Really? I mean, yeah. I would imagine like, um, you know, maybe American having the oldest, uh, the oldest livery. Well, they uh, just, excuse me, the oldest uh, fleet. Yeah, they got rid of all their, their 7576 fleet not that long ago. So that would probably make their oldest fleet in, I would guess, the 73. Although I'm sure they've been taking some new deliveries on those. So they've got four fleets. It's 777, 787, 737, and then the Airbus 320 family. Yeah. So maybe the 320 is probably their oldest fleet. I'm not sure. Come on, Delta. We need the uh, newer A330s there, right? Yes, we do. A350s as well. All right, let's see. We have the uh, 7... Talking about American, right? We have a 737 flying to Chicago's O'Hare. Not that old. Okay, so talking about that, right? Uh, the American 737-800. Uh, good old CFM 56 engines powering that one. Uh, delivered eight years ago. And once again, flying to Chicago. It's been a good day for moms in the chat. I just saw mine pop in. Hey, very nice. Oh, nice. Well, uh, what's our uh, YouTube account? Jerry Ann in the chat. Safe flying, Captain Ken, mom. Thank you, mom. Very nice. Uh, Peter and Josh, they're celebrating their mother's birthday today. Yes. So. There you go, yeah. Captain Ken. Captain Ken's really been watching. Happy birthday, <laughs> LA Flights mom. There you go, Captain Ken, wishing my mom a happy birthday. Oh, mom's a big fan of yours, Captain Ken. Oh, she always talks about it. you. Well, my mom is a big fan of your guys, so. <laughs> nice. The feeling's mutual. <laughs> no, but she, every time I go home, she's like, oh, wow, you met Captain Ken. That's so, <laughs> that's that's so, so cool. cool. And, you know, they, they always like my dad, Ivan, mom, they always like to watch whenever you're on. And also the other captains, but no, they're big fans of yours. Oh, good. Aer Lingus. Well, I'm looking at a, de a delayed feed, so I, yeah. Listen, I, uh, if you want to come over here, okay. My yeah. Well, it, it, I can't really. I, I was lucky because he's still looking at Aer Lingus. So. <laughs> you know, I can't. Uh, I can't really move the. I wish I could move the computer, but that is like no. the Wi-Fi. I get yeah. it. Yeah. And looks like we might have a couple of waiters here, two seven sixty seven three hundreds. Waiting for gates. And WestJet, where's this one heading to? The Canadian, look at this. We have a 737 flying in from Calgary, a four hour, 24 minute flight parking right next to us. Do you think it's heading to gate three? I know gate three is empty right now. It, it might. There's a, actually a really big chance that it might be heading to gate three. Wow. Uh, let's see, super, let's see, super chat coming in. We have Colbin, are you ready? Colbin, Colbin Hersk. I hope I'm pronouncing that name right. 20 euro tip coming in. Good evening, gentlemen. Greetings from Friesland, Northern Germany. I'm pretty sure I'm mispronouncing that, Captain Ken. Home of the uh, Richt Richtofen. Richtofen Squadron 71 Euro Euro Eurofighter, love your channel. You're the best. The Eurofighter is a beautiful airplane. The Eurofighter is an amazing yeah. place. Saying you're the best right when I completely butchered that message. <laughs> Colvin, I'm so sorry, my friend. Welcome to New York City. Welcome to LA Flash Live. Look at that, the little West jet heading to term, uh, to gate three. There you go, I'll take that any day of the week. And we do have a uh, Captain Ken's uh, 767 300. And I say Captain Ken's because that's the plane that he is ready to fly. It sure is. Delta 169 flying in from Barcelona, eight hour flight for the 76. Wow, smell the exhaust. That's the smell of aviation. Yeah, Captain. There it, it sure is. is. <laughs> And 
Ryan, thank you so much. Northeast Cars and Planes sending us a two dollar tip. Love JFK. Thank you so much. Northeast Cars and Planes for that wonderful super chat, my friend. Welcome to the LA Flights New York edition. And listen, Captain Ken, wind is picking up. I already had my computer almost take flight. Oh, you did? Okay. So be aware. Be we aware. don't want that iPad, you know, going yeah, somewhere away. away. I did move the hat. There you go. Because listen, my computer, it went to the other side, all right? So. Oh, wow. It was taking flight. So be careful, all right? Manila Ice Cream sending us a $5 super chat. Make sure to tip the waiter, everyone. I appreciate that. Thank you so much, Manila. Manila Ice Cream. Sadly, no Philippine Airlines here at the uh, channel, right? Uh, we can't say flying in from Manila. Big A330 Neo coming in. Hey, Josh, oh, that Starbucks cup is making me nervous. I think it's going to uh, take flight as well. Is there a trash can? Yeah, oh, give me the. Here. Oh, you oh, got it? Yeah, yeah, I'll put okay. it here. Hope it doesn't spill. Wow, look at this. Wind is really picking up. Okay, the A330 Neo, let's take a look. That one flying to Milan. Wow, Italy. A33300 for the for Delta 198. And we have a JetBlue pushing back right now. We're going to be lighting the candle for the uh, E190. Oh, let's see everyone. Are you ready? Come on, everybody. Let's cross 5,000 likes in honor of Captain Ken. If you guys love... 5,000. Wow. Listen, if you guys love Captain Ken here on the chats, let's cross 5,000 likes in honor of the fifth hour of the live show. If we cross 5,000 likes in honor of Captain Ken, that will mean that LA flights averaged 1,000 likes per hour. Wow. You want to show this camera to show the... Captain Ken, maybe the new viewers, they haven't yeah, seen him yet. Yeah, look at this. Uh, See, Captain, he is here. <laughs> Captain Ken really is here, and he's oh, wearing there he Yeah, there you go, that, that camera. <laughs> yeah, still here. I know, there's a lot of questions in the chat. Is it really Captain Ken? It's me. So it's Captain Ken keeping us company for the second day. Yesterday, he kept us company for the entire 4th of July special, which we are grateful Hi, for. Hi, Mom. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, guys, Captain Ken, send a lot of love on the chat. A lot of love by that, I mean the Captain Ken emoji. Let's break the chat, send a whole bunch of messages. Captain Ken, I'm sure we'll be watching the replay a little later on, and you'll see a lot of messages, a lot of uh, messages of support uh, support heading your way, because Listen, we all love you here on the channel. I got 40 hours in Detroit in a couple of days. Ain't nothing better to do than we re watch this. Uh, well, I'm going to watch you guys live on Friday. <laughs> There you go. We love that. Uh, 5,000 in honor of Captain Ken keeping us company here at the LA Flights Channel. Ah, look at this. Etihad pushing back Let's like an F1 it. driver. Wow, look at that. That's an empty. Uh, Very fast. Line. Yes. Getting Get out, out of here. here. I think I'm hearing a little bit of tire squeeze, a little uh, drifting <laughs> from the uh, tug there. Those guys, I imagine, love their job. I bet, right? I mean, they're literally pushing a... What is it, $200 million piece of equipment there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very fast pushback. <laughs> hey, time is money. It is. So let's, let's get a move on. Wow, who's starting up? What is that? Uh, is that Aeromexico? Could be, yeah. The Aeromexico Dreamliner 787. Hey, you know, is there a reason why? And she had pushed back around this time. I hope uh, it could be for the Milan flight, the Emirates. Uh, no, I don't expect Emirates to be here anytime soon. Emirates should be arriving in uh, in about let's see, two hours from now. I have it here. All right, yeah, that's that's a bit of way uh, ways away. Actually, I don't have it. Hold on a minute. Wow, let's see. Okay, I have it here. Emirates, a special livery. I, uh, let's see, it's coming in in the Journey to the Future livery, so that's a pretty cool livery. Very nice. Okay. Uh, Emirates 205, flying in from Milan, arriving in two hours, 24 minutes, and uh, that one should occupy gate uh, seven. Perfect. I hope so. But I'm pretty sure they're going to fit another plane, gate seven. Yeah, they have to. I mean, that's a good two hours to, to get a plane in. So the question is, who will take gate seven? Some incredible real estate there. 
Gate 7. Very popular gate. Thank you so much, Seth, sending a $2 super chat. Who designed your logo? Love it. It's us. I, will, uh, I say us because, you know, we're a team here, but it's Joshua who designed the TWA Hotel, uh, the, the, uh, the New York Edition livery, the overlay. Oh, yes. Yeah. Thank you, Seth. So Joshua designed it, but since we are a team. That's true. Both of us did. We both designed the logo. It's a great logo. I wear it proudly on my crew luggage. There you go. <laughs> There's plenty of real estate left on that bag for more stickers too. Uh, our bag is full of stickers. Don't worry. We'll give you. We'll give you a million. <laughs> all right, perfect. Spread them to your friends too. All right. <laughs> I will. Spread them around. Hey, first officer Mike. Super excited to be on your all's uh, broadcast yesterday. You know something? I the captain of that flight. Oh, he, he tagged me on Instagram. Oh, good. Oh, really? Yes. No kidding. So hold on, let me mute the ATC for this one. Okay. So the captain of that flight tagged me on Instagram. He posted a video of the arrival on his Instagram page, yeah. so, which was pretty cool. You know, we got yeah. the uh, uh, shout out there. Very nice. I can't believe that. Oh, good. Now we're growing the fan base. Hey, two more captains to come over <laughs> here and interview. Excellent. Uh, I pilots, a first officer and a captain. Yeah. Let me correct that. Mike will be a captain very soon. He's a sharp, very sharp pilot. And a New York native. I think he just lives out the island, but just about uh, 20 or 30 minutes out the island. And he's based here in New York as well? He is. Yeah. We have a trip to San Francisco together later this month. Where you will uh, teach them how to do the, uh, 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 be aligned to the center line a little bit more, right? Uh, because you said that <laughs> yesterday during the arrival. Maybe just a couple <laughs> corrections, but hey, we'd rather see some corrections than uh, no corrections when you need it, right? So. Yes. But that touchdown, there's nothing to teach them there. No, that was smooth. Brilliant. 10 out of 10. Yeah, yeah absolutely. That down. I've seen a lot of really smooth touchdowns here today, Last, yesterday and today. And let's see, are you let's see the wind, the wind direction, because, I mean, they're not, they don't have a headwind. They actually have a, a slight crosswind, wind 180 at 10 knots oh, right now. Okay. Oh, 180. Yeah, 180 wow. at 10 knots. A little bit more the other direction, and we're going to have the uh, 13s active. <laughs> uh -oh. Yes. So we don't want that. <laughs> no. But yesterday, during the afternoon, we had them at 180, and you know we were safe. Okay. Ah, okay. But they start heading, you know, changing a little, you know, a little slight direction change. You know, 170, 160. We're gonna have the the 13s active. Why not? They'll at least have the conversation. Are they using the yoke in that Embraer? I'm trying to see. Yeah, right. Probably not taxiing around other than to do their flight control check. Blue Traveler. Wow, look at that. A little bit of a face off there. Ah, uh, yes. It's a, look at this. Look at all this traffic. So the JetBlue is trying to get out of here, trying to uh, tell Etihad, get out of the way. But Etihad has the Aero Mexico, the Mexican Dreamliner, blocking. It's Path. Who's going to win? Who's going to give in the battle of the Jets? JetBlue at the head and the Mexican Dreamliner causing a <laughs> bit of gridlock right in front of the TWA Hotel. Right now the JetBlue is flashing its lights at yeah, the Etihad. Right? Listen, Taxi <laughs> Taxiway Golf is on my list. They try to give, that me, give me Taxiway Golf, I'm going to request another tax. Hey. <laughs> not when uh, we're filming, though. Not when oh, we're filming. Oh, no. Of course, not when you're filming. Taxiway Gold, that's a perfect vantage <laughs> point for, uh, for Captain Cat. Look at this. If there, was a, if there was a horn on that E-190 right now, it'd be, it'd be used right now. He doesn't forget about it. If that was a New Yorker uh, being the captain, I, I, I'm pretty sure the window will be open and, you know, some interesting hand signs will be... Uh, a little New York hello. A New York hello. A New York, you know, please get out of my way. <laughs> 
please. <laughs> Look at that. Look at the jet blue. I mean, ah, going. Going. Going around. You know, I think he's got room to get around him. Jet blue says, forget about it. I'm going to go around you. I'm not going to wait for you. Time is money. We're going to stay with the jet blue. Literally going around the Etihad. They're hitting the gas, I think a little quick there. I yeah. think a little bit of uh, <laughs> frustration, acceleration there. Hey, look, that tug driver is just doing what he's told. I'm sure he'd like to be moving as well. I mean, yeah, how can it how can it go back when Aerobensico is there now finally moving? And uh, the Mexican, look at that, the Mexican Dreamline. Now, uh, that one was the one causing all the uh, issues. And here we go, finally pushing back. Where's Aeromexico heading? Aeromexico, I think That's it's a heading, weird direction. Listen, I think it's heading to runway 31 left. Yeah, I think they have some Kilo Echo de intersection departures there. Yeah, that's exactly what's happening. A, uh, let's see, Delta E-175 flying to Reagan National doing that exact same thing. Okay. Ah, oh, wow. But we still have plenty, uh, plenty of departures happening on the 22s. So they're still active, which is, uh, you know, which is something that we want, we need. I mean, yeah, it just goes to show how busy it is right now. Okay, listen, do you want to know what's coming up? We have plenty of planes. So we have the Swiss arriving in a couple of minutes. We have China, hold on a minute, let's see. We have KLM arriving in three minutes. We have uh, the Brits, a 777 arriving in about five minutes. We have Turks arriving in six minutes. And we have Virgin Atlantic arriving in 10 minutes. You know, that Virgin Atlantic flight, Flight 9 from London, might take Gate 7. So hopefully we get to see that Virgin Atlantic plane right next to us. So we certainly have the uh, international push happening right now. And again, it's been happening all day long. So <laughs> all day long, it. really. We can't really say it's going to happen in five minutes or ten minutes. The international push has been happening all day long. All right, the JetBlue E190. I'm pretty sure that one's going to be parking right next to us. That one flying in from St. Martin. Wow. Oh, wow. St. Martin, four hours, 10 minutes. You've ever been? I mean, you've seen the YouTube videos, right, of the uh, uh, the massive 747 KLMs flying right overhead. So I actually sent Max39 a video of one of my arrivals into St. Wow, Martin. Wow, look at you. Look and, at that. Uh, so he, he has that to share. I'm sure if you guys want that. And then... Um, All right, Max39, you heard it. You have the instructions <laughs> of, uh, from Captain Ken. We've got a cruise coming up in August and one of our port visits will also be St. Martin. So I plan on seeing it from the other perspective, wow, going got, down to the beach. And that's that's great. Yeah, that's going to so be my never plan. Been, you've never been at the uh, beach? What's the beach called? Um, um, I, I, the name escapes me. The name escapes me. It's so famous. Me as well. I'm sure somebody will beat me to it in the chat, but I'm going to do my best here. By the way, right uh, as Captain Ken looks for the name, we have Virgin yes. Atlantic right next to us, and this one. Ah, uh, it's not leaving yet. No, it's not leaving yet. No flight information on this one. Just going to be repositioned to uh, the uh, remote parking area here at JFK. Big A350-1000. That's the one that flew in from Manchester. Very nice, giving a nice little pose. Since the CRJ in the back, pushing back and blocking the A350-1000's way. Let's say we have a super chat. We have that Colin guy sending a super sticker. Good afternoon, LA Flies crew, chats, moderators. Hope you are too enjoying the Big Apple. Cheers. Thank you so much, the Colin guy. Welcome to the JFK edition here at the LA Flights channel.
We're getting close to 4,700 likes. My goal is to cross 5,000 in honor of the fifth hour of the live show. That would give us like a, an average of almost 1,000 likes per hour. <clears throat> and also cross 5,000 in honor of Captain Ken. Go for it, my friends. If you haven't done so, let's cross 5,000. It's 375 likes away. It does help the channel in so many ways when you leave a like. Of course, only once. Only one per account. All right, there this is the Swiss. Swiss. I bet this is going to be a smooth arrival. Oh, a lot of tire smoke. I was about to say, I bet that's a smooth arrival, but certainly a lot of tire smoke. Swiss flying in from Zurich, an eight-hour, five-minute flight. Talking about a busy, you know, a lot of gridlock happening here with us. We have a CRJ700 giving the Virgin Atlantic a little bit of an issue. Look at that. Take a look at the CRJ. That one has to get a move on pretty quickly because Virgin Atlantic wants to get away, wants to move to the remote parking. A little traffic jam. So Maho Beach. Ah, there you go. And uh, credit to everyone in the chat. They beat me to it, so. Look at all these deltas. So we got two waiting for their gate. And these two, they look like the Parchers, the 7.6 and the A321neo. I love that view. The iconic view from the TWA hotel, the massive airplanes, uh, massive aircraft right next to us. We have Swiss, number two for departure here, and a Delta Airlines A330 behind it. Oh, wow, we have so many heavies. We have the French making their way. We have American flying to Miami making its way. American flying to Barcelona making its way. Condor, the famous green stripes. Oh, no. No, don't say that. <laughs> already, already, Captain Ken. <laughs> Give it a chance. Uh, green stripes. All right, I'll, let me see what it looks like. <laughs> in Give it a life. chance. <laughs> Give it a chance. And thank you so much, Torsten. Are you ready? Celebrating 14 channel months as a member. Greetings to the passionate brothers and uh, the captain. Thank you so much for keeping us company. 14 incredible months here at the LA Flies Channel. Thank you so much, friend for rejoining the memberships. That's a long time to be a member here at the LA Flights Channel. And Virgin Atlantic still waiting for that CRJ. On KLM coming in on 2-2 two, two left. Yeah, I just saw it. In the corner of my, I think we saw it at the same time. 777-200. Yesterday we had the 787-10. Uh, Today the uh, big 777. Oh, wow. Tower number 49, Oh yeah, here we go. We have a big international push happening right now. Get ready. Air France just showed up in the picture. There you go, look at all those heavies. 
My goodness, look at that. We have a Delta Heavy, we have a, <laughs> the French, we have the Swiss. And look who's landing right now, that's Speedbird. <laughs> we have the Brits. The international push that's been going on the entire episode for the uh, day two of LA Flights New York continues in front of our cameras. All right, smooth arrival for the Brits. We have a channel uh, membership renewal. We have two Arizona 1990, 18 months of channel membership. Wonderful to see all of you at JFK. Thank you for your commitment. By the way, what is the most challenging place to land that Captain Ken has completed? Would he like to try Madeira? Uh, Madeira is not gonna uh, on our list with my airline, so not, I don't think I'll get a chance to go there. Um, and challenging, I'm pretty sure you've answered it like a million times. Uh, uh, Santa Ana was, was it? Santa Ana. Yeah. yeah. And it's not that it's that challenging. It's just, we've talked about it. Short runway. You don't, you definitely want to make sure you don't land long and a little bit more breaking action to come to a stop on that short runway. Thank you so much to Arizona 1990 for your 18 months with LA flights. Josh is zooming into the Turks now. We have the 777-300ER flying in from Istanbul. And this one is flight number as I take a look at my cheat sheets. Turkish 1. That's a great flight number, Turkish 1. We have Delta 1 right here, right? Uh, Delta Flight 1. Is that uh, JFK to London? I think it is. I think yeah. it is. 76400. The prestigious number 1. Delta 1. We have Turkish 1. Delta 2 on the way back. Yeah, there you go. Uh, talking about the Condor, are you ready? The A330 that we'll see in just a bit. It's worse than the gold stripes from yesterday, Captain Ken. <laughs> that's, a, that's a tall order. I mean, the golden stripes, they were really bad. I don't know what's, what has gone into you guys. I mean, <laughs> Condor is brilliant. You'll see it in just a few minutes. The viewers will agree with me, the okay. host of LA Flights, all right? Very nice landing by that jet blue. I saw him pretty good. I think Captain Ken was uh, I think looking at the uh, arrival, right? That was pretty good flare on the uh, on the E190. Nice job. Coming in from I was looking up American one because I know I've passed them several times in the um, in the air, and that's a New York to LA route. Oh wow, American. Yeah, American one. Look at that. That jet blue landing from Boston. Hey, Boston! A green vibes for the uh, for the Boston flight. All right, the Swiss lining up, flying to Zurich. Delta 9, There's our front taxing its way. The A330 Delta Airlines number two for departure. Okay, let's see, we're waiting for the uh, Swiss to get a move on. We have Darren with the $5 Super Chat. Captain Ken, exclamation point. I can't wait to hear this. <laughs> Captain Ken, did you hear about the time Condor parked in front of the jet blast fence and then they could never uh, find it again? I have not heard that story, but it, it kind of makes sense. Come on. <laughs> 
They should park it front and center. Any <laughs> airport would love to have that. Uh, I don't know, it's all the hay with the con delivery. Jeez, guys, it's pretty cool. I'm not sure <laughs> about any airport. It's about 50-50 here in JFK, from what I'm gathering. JC, Le 50, uh, JC <laughs> Legend, $5 tip coming in. I enjoy wearing my LA Flies cap while I'm out, just like Captain Ken. Can't wait for the new Condor-themed merch coming soon. My treat, Captain Ken. All right. JC Legend, cheers, man. Thank you so much. And American Chick from New York City, that's, that's the YouTube name, might be keeping us company uh, Friday. We can't wait to see you. Thank you so much for joining us. Sending us a $5 Super Chat. Thank you so much, American uh, Chick from New York. Friday, right, there we'll goes be here. the Swiss on the takeoff row. We also have Virgin Atlantic landing, about to land. All right, so we're going to go from 1A330 in just a few seconds. Yeah, once to this another. one lifts off, we'll go take a look at the touchdown by yeah, the Virgin yeah, Atlantic. Yeah, I think you have like five seconds, yeah, Josh. Yeah, I know. And pretty smooth takeoff there for the Swiss flying to Zurich from 1A330 to another. We're going to go to Virgin Atlantic. Just in time. Right in time. Look at that. Just I only know what I'm doing, guys. <laughs> We're giving direction to the, uh, the the world's best cameraman. Are you ready? The absolute best. I don't know about that. All right, we have Delta on the move right now. That's another A330. That's the, uh, is that the, th that's the 300, right? That yeah, is. is, yes, the 300 flying to Milan, Delta 198. So many planes who want to cross the runway right now. So many planes. I'm counting how many? One, two, three, four, five. Well, we'll start off with Turkish over here. I see that one's holding short. On, yeah. We have KLM and Delta Airlines over there. I and think they're going to be uh, letting them cross <laughs> right now. We have I'm to pretty sure, yeah. Speedbird, there it goes, crossing. All right, so first Brits, uh, then the KLM should be crossing. I'm surprised the KLM isn't crossing 2-5, uh, correct, 22, right? Turkish crossing. Yeah, there goes Turkish. But KLM isn't going anywhere. Turkish on the move. And KLM, I think it's starting to move. There you go. Just was waiting for that clearance. Wow, get ready. We're going to have a... E-190, this is the one from Boston, I bet. Look at the, uh, uh, it looks like scratch marks on top of the, uh, the cockpit windows. Oh, yeah. You'll see it in the replay right now. Joshua got really close with it. What could be the cause of that, uh, Captain Ken? Uh, you know, there's a, uh, I guess when you go through some uh, clouds and stuff at altitude, they can have um, particles, solid ice stuff okay. and such, maybe dust Okay. over time can erode the paint. Hopefully not hail, but that happens from time to time. Right, there goes Speedbird. We also have that KLM. Looks like the Atari Ferrari getting a move on. 757, Josh, your call. Delta 713 flying to San Francisco. Fill the chat. Come on, everybody. Fill the chat with the Atari Ferrari. One of my common routes. And you're going to be flying there, right? I will. With uh, First Officer Mike. I think so.
Bronze is up next, lining up. By the way, you see that triple seven flying like downwind? It's actually flying left base for 22. No. Above Air France. If you look Air France, it's above it. Oh yeah, I see it. Look at that. Hyperzoom being activated. Joshua trying his absolute best. Hold uh, on. Yeah, it's a little hard. Copy that. But yeah, there was a triple seven very far away. Captain oh Cam. yeah, cool. Uh, flying left base. It's got that little bit of that uh, residual haze from the uh, the, the uh, Can Canada fires in the air, I think. And I think the aftermath of all the fireworks. Oh, you think so? I think so. With all the wind? Yes. Well, oh. earlier today, it was right there. Yeah, I definitely noticed it during my uh, ride back to my uh, place last night. Very thick layer of gun smoke. Thank you, Dolores. So, so much, sending us a $20 gift. So glad I was able to come home to see another great day with Josh, Peter, <laughs> and Captain Ken. Thank you so much, Dolores. You're amazing. Thank you, Dolores. Sit back, relax, enjoy the planes. Thank you, Mark, Dolores. Yes. Mark Luca, thank you so much. $2 tip coming in. How does Captain, how does Captain adjust to West East Red Eye flights? How do I adjust to it? Yes. Uh, I, I guess like the jet lag. So yeah, typically I adjust to it on the back end. So the next day after I get home is pretty much go right to bed <laughs> and maybe get about a three or four hour power nap in so that I can still go back to bed at a regular time later that night. But uh, yeah, those can be pretty uh, challenging flights to stay awake for, but we, uh, our flight attendants are good at feeding us coffee, and there you go. So a lot of caffeine, I guess. Yeah, we'll we'll do whatever we got to do to stay awake. So it's either you know you have it or you don't. That's right. Yeah. Uh, you know, tip, if you've got time before red eye, we'll grab a, a good nap on the afternoon before leaving L.A. or San Francisco. Or... But I'm guessing you have, you can't take like a quick 30 minute power nap. Oh uh, no. Okay. You know, Captain Kim was talking about the. Uh, <laughs> Captain Kim was uh, talking about the jet lag, and he was like, "Yeah, there's nothing really special you can do. Yeah, it's like, either you have it or you don't. You know, there's not like this like magic pill you can take, and right. you know, the the uh, the exhaustion, uh, the uh, jet lag is eliminated. I mean, going east to west is awesome, right? Because you wake up at like four or five o'clock in the morning on the west coast, and you feel like a million bucks. The opposite is true coming back to the east coast. So. As you guys experienced two days ago, operating on brainstem power the other day, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think I was. I, I I stayed awake for a good 26. No, more than. I stayed awake for a long time. You sure did. <laughs> when we came here, the first day we came here on the third. <laughs> These guys were sleepwalking. I think by the end of the day. Uh, thank you so much, Sam. <laughs> we were kind of. Uh, thank you so much, Sam. Planes and trains. Did you know that the Virgin A330 that just arrived is the very first A330 Neo for Virgin Atlantic? Okay, so we're going to be taking a look at that very special plane, the very, very first. Very nice. Oh yes! Wow. The very first A330 I didn't even realize. Neo will be parking right next to us. Thank you, Sam. Very nice. And Max39, Captain Ken, what's for dinner on the flight? No gummy worms, I hope. <laughs> Safe travels. I think we'll all be tracking your flight. Oh, I'm going to be looking to see how close I get to number one tracked flight on Flight Radar tonight. There you go. Oh, we, have to do so <laughs> we have to do something about that. <laughs> that'll, be, that'll be a nice screenshot to get. Uh, no, I think Josh has all the gummy worms, so I can't take them from him. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's my dinner tonight. <laughs> We've got some gummy bears, I think, <laughs> on board Delta Flights as a snack, though, so maybe I'll snag a few of those. Okay, the very first A330 Neo for Virgin Atlantic. Very, I've right never seen this before. Uh, let's see. I can't wait to see the name. Yeah, that was, I was, that was my first thought. I want to see what the flying lady is. Wow. Okay, look, look at this. Okay, so that Virgin Atlantic is the very first for the airline, right, for, the, uh, for Virgin Atlantic. The very last 747 ever made, yes, has activated its transponder. We'll be taxing in just a bit. It's ah, awesome. Ah, the old and the new. Yes, the old and the new. Okay, so we have. I think it, I think the registration number, if I test my uh, memory correctly, November 863 Golf Tango. Okay. Last wow. one ever made. The last ever 747. It's going to be departing in the next few minutes, then, right? Yes. Iconic. And who, who uh, operates that airplane? Atlas. Atlas. Of course. 
Is this coming in from uh, London? London, London Heathrow. Oh, I'm not expecting a wave. Who knows? I think, well, no, not really. No, oh, these guys are so busy. No, listen, forget about it. These guys are so busy. Super busy, forget about it. All right, let's look at the flying lady. Billy Holiday. There you go. Welcome Billy Holiday to New York City. A couple of brothers and a captain filming your arrival on top of the TWA Hotel, a magnificent place. Very nice. I've never seen a Neo uh, Virgin Atlantic. Very, very cool. That's terrific. All the plane spotters here taking photos. I know, right? That's a great catch, this one. And all the plane spotters here, by the way, part of the uh, LA Flights VIP oh, Club. Oh, cool. You bet. Why else are they here? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Alicia. You ready? $20 gift coming in. Thank you for the epic 4th of July show, Peter, Josh, and Captain Ken Stellar. Also, moderators. First Officer Mike, the Lufthi A380, Constant Planes, the fans, the fireworks, the moon, Captain Ken singing. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, what are you talking about? And Emirates and Singapore down to the wire. They were going to close down the pool, but hey, listen, we got the A380 departure. Hashtag amazing. I and mean, listen. we really did it all <laughs> yesterday. I mean, we really did it all. Alicia, I'm so happy you're enjoying the show. And listen, I think we're halfway to the show. We still have another five hours if we go crazy. If we go crazy. And we did do a crazy show yesterday. So it's going to it's gonna be up to the viewers of LA Flights. If you want us to do overtime, if you want us to do nighttime <laughs> plane spotting, do you want LA Flights to do nighttime plane spotting yet again? It's not that easy doing an 11-hour show back-to-back. -back. Maybe even some leftover fireworks tonight. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? Yeah, Listen, I'm sure there will be. I'm sure as well. We have Mubashir Ekram celebrating four months of channel membership. Another amazing JFK Day crew. LAX bound tomorrow. Have a safe flight to our home base, my friend. And let's see, we have Kareem sending us a 10-pound super chat. Uh, excuse me, 10 euro. You talk about the Condor and everyone knows them. That's exactly what they want and is the best PR for them. I love That's true. all of them. That Look, is. And uh, the Korean talking about the uh, Condor livery looks like cute little socks. Absolutely <laughs> unique. <laughs> they look like those socks on the Wizard of Oz, Wicked Witch <laughs> of the West. You know, I forgot the viewer, but you know, the uh, the nickname, the, the the German nickname for Condor, the stripes, it is the uh, the German word for striped socks. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> and apparently I pronounced that German word correctly, uh, but I'm not gonna give that another go <laughs> because I don't think I'm gonna be able to recreate that. But hey, you know what? I think that's the point of Condor doing a delivery like that. I mean, it, it does spark a conversation. It spark, it's a conversation starter. Thank you so much, Matt, celebrating three months of channel membership, another month in the books, and a treat of seeing my favorite aircraft and my favorite livery with Lady Emmeline on the Virgin A350 from my hometown. Thank you, Matt. I'm so happy that you got to see that, uh, that plane. And we have Brian Maruska becoming a channel member as well. Nice to see you, my friend. Thank you, Brian. Welcome to the, uh, to the channel memberships here at the, early, here at the LA Flights channel. Thank you so much, Sky. Welcome to the show. And thank you so much, Gordon Powell, sending us a $5 tip. What is Captain Ken's flight number for this evening? Ah, uh, yes, for tracking purposes. Yes, we got to make that flight number one. <laughs> yes. It's going to be Delta Flight 246. Delta uh, 246. Departing at 11.24 p.m. All right, you heard it here. Delta 246, make it number one most tracked in the entire world. Oh, that would be awesome. Thank you so much, Sky. Aloha and good morning from uh, the usual Lurkers Lounge, watching on my new 100-inch television. Goodness. Wow. Well, I think that wins. Uh, Sky, cheers. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, boy. Get ready to have 100 inches of <laughs> the very ugliness. <laughs> You'll see it in a bit. Aer Lingus is flying to, let's see, I'm pretty sure that is Manchester-bound. Is it really? Dublin. 
Yeah, okay. Double I know we had one. one coming from Manchester, but yes. that was a different one. There is an A330 Aer Lingus that flies JFK to Manchester, but that one flying to Dublin. All okay. right, let's go take a look at the ugly there it socks. Is. What do you think? <laughs> How was that word pronounced? Wrinkled socks? No, uh, striped socks. Oh, striped socks. They look more like like wrinkled socks. No, to me. come okay. on. <laughs> Hey, I'd wear, I'd wear socks that look like that. You know, funny enough, I actually have a pair of socks that look like that. <laughs> I really do. I love my funky socks. I love them. I love my funky Your socks. Your sock game is strong. Hey, what did I just say? Your sock game is strong. There you go. Look at that. <laughs> I think he said song. That could have been a Freudian <laughs> slip there. You want to sing? Oh, no. I think I heard sake. Are you yes. ready, uh, uh, <laughs> Captain Ken? I, I think that's a Freudian I slip. I like sake better than song. <laughs> Uh, let's see, Tony, thank you so much, my friend. $10 for Ken singing <laughs> lessons. What? I don't need lessons. You know you don't. You sounded, you, <laughs> you sounded really nice. I want I'm you to sing again. I want this guy to sing again. I didn't again. get a chance to hear you. Come oh, on, do it for me. No, I, I didn't. We didn't. We, we were totally professional last night, Josh. There was no singing. Okay. Never mind what you heard the last 10 seconds. Yeah, we were professional and we were boring. <laughs> We have A380 Lover, a two pound super chat. Awesome stream, guys, and keep up the great work. Take care. Thank you so much, friend. A380 Lover, a longtime viewer here at this channel. I'm happy you are, you are enjoying the show, my friend. We have Delta 688 flying in from Los Angeles. That's an nice. LA flight. Another one. Five hour flight, 767 300. Hey, you know what I can't wait for? Yes, what's up? I can't wait to see. The last ever 747. Is that still departing? Let me take a look. I see it right here. Had the transponder on a few minutes ago. Yes. Atlas 8933 commencing its taxi, heading wow. to runway 22 right. That's right next to us, flying to the city of Anchorage. The last ever 747 registration number November 863 Golf Tango will be leaving in front of us. Wow. I can't wait to see that. I've never seen it before. I'm sure you haven't seen it either, Peter. The last ever one. Can't wait to see it. Walter, uh, Walter, Water, DR22, celebrating seven months of channel membership. Happy 20, uh, 21st birthday to my son, Kyle, as well to us, Peter. July 10th and John, and, uh, okay, hold on. Peter and Joshua's mom, who I'm sure doesn't look a day over 21 either. Thank you so much. Thank you, Water, DR22. And a happy birthday vibes to Kyle. Wow, happy 21st. Only, uh, what is it, a couple years ahead of Joshua. 21st birthday. That's a good one. Air Europa, that one flying in from Spain. A seven hour, 21 minute flight. And there you go, Kevin 757 starting a Condor Club. Oh no. Sending a super sticker in honor of the Condor Green Stripes. Kevin, you're the founder of the Condor Club, my friend. <laughs> Anyone gonna join him? I thought I saw an anti Condor Club started. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, <laughs> the Sam's Planes and Trains uh, started the anti. Gotcha. <laughs> uh, the anti Condor Club. But I like Kevin. Kevin 757, if anyone wants to join the Condor Club. Send the banana super stickers. I say they should bring in the old Condor livery. We should start a petition now to bring it back. No, because I, uh, because I don't like it. And everyone watching doesn't like it. 1020 MJ sending a $5 tip. Has Captain Ken ever flown into any Kansas airports? Safe travels, Captain Ken. I have. Uh, let me take a look here real quick. I know. I have been to Kansas City, but I'm, uh, that might be in Missouri. Yes. Oh, yeah, Missouri. it's in Missouri. So, but let me look. I think it's called Forbes Field in uh, near Topeka. I have been in there uh, on a couple of occasions during my Navy days. Uh, but nowhere else in Kansas, I don't believe. Oh, take a look at this. The JetBlue. All right, let's hear the radios. 
Alpha 091 Heavy, menu instructions left turn on hotel, left on hotel and hold short of runway 2 to right. Left on the hotel, hold short of 2 to right. Alpha 2901, turn left Yankee, left on Echo. Okay, so I guess JetBlue needs a few extra minutes. Runway 273 Heavy, KHR, runway 22 left, they land, possibly turn, calling a heavy going triple turn. Looks like Bally Cat entering the Condor Club. Thank you so much, Bally Cat. 2017 Heavy, runway 22 right, clear for takeoff. Clear right, clear takeoff, Condor 2017 Heavy. And Corrine as well entering the Condor Club. Very nice, guys. All right, let's see, it's already clear for takeoff. The Condor might be a turn and burn. Let's take a look at this one. It is. That's yeah, turn there and burn. It goes. Getting a move on, A330neo flying all the way back to uh, Frankfurt in Germany. That was a turn and burn in front of the LA flight camera. So let me know, what do you think? I'm gonna start up the age-old debate. What do you think of delivery? Is it a yes, is it a no, is it a winner? In my opinion, it's a definite winner. According to these two, it's not a winner. Does anyone up here have a Tums? So as you guys can hear, <laughs> these two don't like it. <laughs> I want to know what you think of the livery. <laughs> yes or no? Come on, look at that. That's, that's so cool. I don't know what you guys are thinking about. I'd fly it, just so I wouldn't have to look at it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was turning you, Captain Ken. <laughs> ah. No, I agree with you. I think it, uh, it gener definitely generates some discussion, and that's good for them, right? All right, the big 777-200. Uh, Rolls Royce, uh, Rolls Royce powering that triple uh, seven, flying it from London's Heathrow Airport, American One Zero Five. There you go, Sarah says, "I love the design." Uh, let's see what else. K. Peterson, Condor livery equals fail. Oh, <laughs> Monica, come on, Monica. Monica says, "Too wild." Goodness. Diana says, "Sure, why not?" Oh, well, Mom likes it. There Mom's you go, Captain Ken Mom, Mom. Uh, liking the uh, livery. She says it's minty. Minty, that's nice. <laughs> I said earlier that it looks like a, like a, uh, what's it called, the, uh, the uh, what's it called, the, the thing, the Christmas. Uh, candy cane. Candy cane, there you go, like a candy cane. It does. Laurie says yes. La Tortuga says yes. Mm, uh, let's see, who else? Tracy says yes. Grumpy Forrester says, if any plane ever needed uh, to do a turn and burn, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> so I take it that Grumpy Forrester likes the uh, striped livery. <laughs> All right, the Brits, this one flying in from London, Gatwick. Oh, from Gatwick? Yeah, that was one. No uh, kidding. That one's flying in from London's Gatwick, yes. I didn't expect that. And we have a super chat from Peter Dolan. Thank you so much, my friend. Did I hear you had some newlyweds up here earlier? Yeah, we did. That's awesome. That's actually those two right there. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, well, congrats to them. A321 Neo getting a move on. Not that often we get to see the uh, A321 Neos here at JFK. Flying to San Diego. Wow, that's a that's a healthy flight. Five hours something. Five hours. Five hours and change. Austin and Ariana. Okay. We have Alicia sending us a $5 tip. I love you, Peter, but I have to side with Josh 
and Captain Ken. Ah. Come on. What's up with the three there of you? There you go. Come on, Alicia. Very wise. Team Peter. Come on, Alicia. Today, Team Josh and Team Captain Ken. Welcome to the team, Alicia. What's up with three of you? Goodness. <laughs> Thank you, Alicia. Welcome to the Wise Club. <laughs> so we have Mike in Kansas. Condor livery with a whole bunch of vomit faces. Wow. Oh, <laughs> come on. Any more messages? Peter Dolan says, yes, exclamation point. That's nice, Peter. Very nice. Fellow Peters, stick together. And let's see, we have, uh, let's see, for Speedbird Sam, thank you for what you do. Awesome moderator, absolutely. Thank you, Sam's Planes and Trains. A terrific moderator here at the channel, Sky, sending a shout out to Sam. Been with us, I think, the entire day. You're awesome, my friend. Mods Rock, send the uh, Mods Rock emote for the, uh, for the team. Uh, not only Sam's Planes and Trains who have who has been here the entire day. We have Darren keeping us company. Thank you so much, friend. Uh, I believe I saw J uh, Jen from ha uh, Honolulu a few minutes ago. And Cheryl joining us earlier. Yes, I think Cheryl's still in the chat. An incredible team, guys. Mods rock. Oh, that sound. The Neo. Sound? What sound? I okay. heard it. It sounded like a, like an A380 almost, but then it went away. I only hear air. I, hear, I think I hear a, bi a big vacuum. I heard it for a second. Market 236 heavy to win 200 at 13, runway 22 right, clear for takeoff. Runway 22 right, clear for takeoff, American 236 heavy. Thank you, pushback approved. Not a fan of Condor, but now I want chewing gum. <laughs> pushback approved. Thank you so much, friend. All right, let's go down to static. Let's take a listen to the Rolls-Royce Trent 800 engines. American 236 flying to Rome, and get ready. We have, my goodness, one, two, three, four, five, a uh, five departures in front of the last ever 747 ever delivered. It's, it's uh, November 863 Golf Tango, number six for departure. Looking forward to that. All right, so that one flying to Rome. Nice sounding Rolls Royce engines on that. Looks like we have another Delta Heavy lined up and getting ready to go. Zulu and Golf, full serve, runway 2 to right, make it safe, sir. And Julia, Zulu, Golf, uh, short of 2 to right, stay with you, Delta 130. Delta 091 Heavy Hotel, cross runway 2 to right, stay tacked, clear, sir. Guys, I mean, it's non-stop action here at the LA Flies Channel. Let's take a look at this. Cross runway 2 to right, stay to right, Bravo to the left. Mars on a point to start. All right, let's see. Are you ready, guys? We have pushback approved. Thank you so much. We have Jason Kepler sending us a $2 super chat. Has Cap uh, has Captain Ken ever done Atlanta to uh, airport code Alpha Tango Whiskey? I had to uh, look that up. I had to look it up. I look, uh, Appleton, Wisconsin. No, okay. I haven't. Uh, just Milwaukee. Only uh, Wisconsin location I've landed at. Uh, uh, Wisconsin. I meant to say Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And thank you so much, Dana, sending us a $5 Super Chat. Dana G, great show, like LAX. But JFK gives us so many different international airlines. Very exciting indeed. Thank you guys for your hard work. I appreciate that. Thank you so much, Dana. Dana G with us for a very long time, a viewer of the LA Flight Channel for a very long time. Hey, sorry about that. Let's see, Peter talking to me. Hello. <laughs> Peter talking to a viewer right now. Coming to say hi. We're waiting for that 767 to start rolling. Delta Flight 92 to Berlin. Oh, to Berlin. Yeah, it's a flight I'm doing later this month on the 76300. Is that a good layover? It'll be my first time. Ah, oh, really? No yeah. kidding. 
I'm going to get some tips from some uh, other pilots that I know that have been there. No, you're good. Thank you so much. Thank you, Holden. Delta 92 flying to Berlin. Wow, look at that. That's going to be your flight soon, no? It sure will be. Delta 92 flying to Berlin, a seven. You know something? Before you told me that, I thought there was no JFK flights to Berlin. I guess that's a summer thing. So it was uh, seasonal for a while. They brought it on at the beginning part of this summer, maybe in spring. Oh, and, okay. Uh, I think it's supposed to stick around for a while. Okay, so it's, it's uh, no longer seasonal then. It's going to be oh. most likely go permanent. It's seasonal until it's not, right? Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I hate to interrupt. Wow. But look, look who that. we have. That's November wow. 863 Golf Tango. That's the last ever 747 ever made. Joshua activating hyper zoom. That is what? One, two, three for the part. Uh, most likely, let's see, one, two, three. Yeah, the fourth one, I think. We have an Alaska wow. 737 in front of the 747. There it is. That's her. November 863 Golf Tango in front of us. Thank you, Randy. My goodness, $50 gift coming in. Hello from Oregon. Relaxing my travel trailer at Unity Reservoir. Watching you guys live. Has Captain Ken ever flown into Portland, Oregon? Yes. It's been a while, though. Uh, Portland from, from where? Um, I've been there from Amsterdam. Wow, look at that. That's a 330. And then I've, I believe I've been there on this fleet, but it was several years ago when I was still just a, uh, when I was a first officer on this fleet. Wow, look at that. Uh, Randy, amazing super chat, my friend. Thank you so much for watching LA Flights Live. I do hope you enjoy all this incredible action. Thank you so much, Randy. Yeah, thanks, Randy. All right, don't worry. We'll go back to that the last 747. Oh, I'm sure I we'll see get, it. Yeah, I'm sure we'll, we'll, we're still going to get a taxi. It's just so much heavies right now leaving. Another LA flight. Hey, is it? Yes, nice. Sure is. Delta flight 305-767-400 service to Los Angeles International. I believe you watched that Sky Team livery come in earlier. Yep, we did. And did you guys see that blue plane for just a fraction of a second? We have the KLM triple seven flying back to Amsterdam on taxiway Bravo, right? That's Bravo. That is uh, Alpha. Let's see. Mm, I think that's Bravo. You guys probably know better than I do. Yeah, right in between the, the uh, runways we have Alpha. Yep, you got it, Bravo. Uh, so Alpha's the inboard. And Bravo's the outboard. Yeah, okay, so that's uh, Alpha. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm just looking at a taxi tour here. Oh, hold on. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It is Alpha. There it is. Uh-oh. Peter, uh, Peter. Everyone fill the chat with the Captain Ken emojis. <laughs> so thank you for uh, being here, Captain Ken. I know you have a flight to catch. I do, I do. Flight to catch and a wife to call. All right, the big triple seven as we forget that. <laughs> Flying to Barcelona. I'm usually good with the taxiways, my goodness. You know, I haven't seen the... the You're excellent with the taxiways. You know, I, I, I think it's been six months since I've seen the airport diagram for the uh, for JFK. So, okay. As I gave myself an excuse there, come on. <laughs> it's only my home airport. All right, let's go take a look at the 747. Wow, who's making that sound next to us? Westjet. That's Westjet next to us, but we're going to stay with the 74. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. That's the last one, guys. I am I do this for a living. <laughs> There you go, man. No, thanks, man. Thanks for that. I'm just messing around. That's cool. Thanks, man. Well, Men what did Mendelton tell you? Mendelton was giving me uh, the, the, the heads up, like, hey, that's the uh, last ever 747. Ah, okay. I do this for a living, I told him. My goodness. <laughs> now, special shout out to Mendelton, uh, keeping us company here at the LA Flights Channel. Uh, very cool guy. Very stand-up guy. 
Uh, let's see, we have a few Super Chats to get to. We have Leap Costa. I hope I'm pronouncing that name right. Five Brazilian Real Super Chats. I'm, uh, I'm satellite controller. While I work here, I can travel with you guys all day. Cheers from Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. Thank you so much for keeping us company, and thank you so much for taking us with us. Uh, taking us with you wherever you are going. I appreciate that. Shout out to Brazil. Sam's Planes and Trains, 747 tip. All rise for the last ever queen of the skies. Captain Ken, myself, Joshua, everyone's rising. Absolutely. Thank you so much, GE, sending us a $5 tip. Maybe you can call your show New York Flights, a, subsidi a subsidiary of LA <laughs> Flights as I, you know, do, 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 do that. Thank you, GE. I appreciate that, my friend. Goodness. And another five Brazilian Real Super Chat from Lipe Costa. I hope I'm pronouncing that name correctly, my friend. Mets fan, a great show yesterday. Is Captain Ken a Yankees or Mets fan? <laughs> But, uh, and by the way, I don't know if you heard it, but the viewer is called Mets fan. Oh, is he? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I've never. I've been to a game for uh, in both stadiums, but not really a fan of either team. A little. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. We have the 747. This one is the last ever. 747. Yeah, the last one. I can't believe it. First time I'm seeing it. November 863 oh, Golf right? Tango. There it is, getting a move on. On the roll. Let's get the 747 emojis in. Yeah, go for it, everybody. It's the last one. A lot of hype. The very last one ever delivered, ever made. Atlas. Atlas flying to Anchorage. That's the last one. In front of the LA flight cameras. Nothing like the smell of a new 747, right? Sadly, the last one. May she have a long life. Maybe 20, 30 years, what do you think? Yeah, I'd say so. 30? Wow. Yeah, that's a beauty. Wow, fully loaded too. Yes, really uh, loaded up. You know where it's heading? Anchorage. Anchorage. Freighter Heaven, come on everybody, send the chat, send on the chat the 747 emoji for the Queen of the Skies, a very special plane. All right, there she goes. There she goes, my friends. We have the Spanish Iberia, the Iberian A350. Already on the move. Look at that. Hope it doesn't encounter any bake turbulence. This might be a good one. Most likely we'll be flying like above the uh, flight path of that 747, yeah. right? That's the goal, but now I'm starting to wonder. Uh, let's see, that one, uh, let's see, rotating like around the, around the same area. Same area as the 747. Let's uh, keep our eyes on this A350. It might be encountering some wake turbulence. No, I'm pretty sure it's a little higher. Yeah, yeah it's higher, okay. definitely higher. And yeah, certainly looks a lot smooth. Uh, very smooth. Unlike the Asian A380, my goodness, that was rocking side to side. Wow, that had to be a little scary. I mean, you can see, okay, on that video, right? On the video that went viral that we that we posted, uh -huh. you can see the A380, right? Uh, like a field of uh, uh, reference, there was like a light pole right next to the uh, uh, A380, right? And you can just see the A380 just sink. Oh, wow. So you had, a, you had something to reference in the yeah. screen. Wow. And it was just sink. You can see it sink and then rock side to side. Look at all the heavies. We have a couple of American 777s. We have the LL Dreamliner as well. We also have K the KLM leave yet? 
The KLM, where is the no, KLM? No, no, it's right here. There it is. Look at that. That's the blue triple seven. And there's a heavy 77, uh, 767 Delta in front of the American 777. So every single one is a heavy. Thank you so much, Susie, You're sending us a $5 gift. I want to go to Iceland with Captain Ken. Well, come on. Iceland on Volcano Watch. I'm an AF geek and Volcano nerd. My goodness. I think we have seats available. Thank you so much, Susie. And thank you, Ethan. Has Captain Ken ever been to Austin, Texas? Amazing show. JFK is the best. Have a great flight and layover in Iceland to Captain Ken. I appreciate it. Yes, I've been to Austin a number of uh, times uh, when I was uh, on the 320 fleet based in Atlanta. That was a common destination for us. Atlanta to uh, Austin. Uh, Austin. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed that layover. Good barbecue in Austin, Texas. Ooh. Oh, man. I bet. I'm hungry. Hey, listen, <laughs> I ate gummy worms yesterday. We had a horrible Don't dinner. Me. Horrible <laughs> dinner yesterday. Don't talk about delicious barbecue uh, right okay. now. We're I'll at the halfway point. <laughs> Roger that. <laughs> wow. Who's next to us? That's Jet Blue. Go take a look. Uh, let's see, that one, A320, giving us some good sound. And we have a 757 leaving JFK. And let's see, the Atari Ferrari, fill in the, uh, fill in the chat, everyone. Fill, fill, uh, fill in the chat. I've been talking for two days straight, Captain Ken. Uh, yes, you have. Delta 77, uh, 767, the flight number, yes. 767, don't confuse it. The aircraft type is a 757-200. Flying to San Francisco. That's your plane, Captain Ken. JFK to SFO. Wow, a seven five. Just l like less than an hour since the previous departure to San Francisco. Yes. Wow. Ah, oh, look at all these heavies. They're all heavy. Ah, <coughs> right, there goes the first one. Okay, so there goes the triple seven. This one, did we say what this one is flying to? This one is flying to Athens. There you go. American 334 to Athens, Greece. A great destination. I've heard is amazing. There you go, you can hear a little bit of the growl from the engines too. I'll have to find that uh, Wake Turbulence video so, uh, with the 380s another time. Oh, yes. Are you ready? I think it's in the... Um right, the 334. Oh, there it is. There we go. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right to it. Captain Ken watching the uh, A380 Wake Turbulence video that we uh, posted on the channel. A lot of comments on that video. It, it's like a, it has like a 600, 700,000 views. <laughs> the main one. It's like a big seven minute video. Oh, wow. Okay, American 44 flying to Paris. Yeah, it's not. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's not supposed to do that. <laughs> I'm telling you, right? <laughs> it's not supposed to do that. <laughs> oh, goodness. You can see the light pole, right? It's, yeah. just, it, it's like it sinks a little bit and then uh, it starts rocking from side to side. What a great shot. Ray 12 with the five dollar super chat. Do, don't I think that Peter and Josh should get their pilot's license? Yes. Go. Come <laughs> on, guys. Hello, zero zero two heavy, runway two to right, clear to take off. You put that up to the right, and I'll zero zero two. It's a great okay, time, time to be uh, uh, doing Mass something like that. Runway two to right, line up away. Two to right, line up away. Yeah, that's fine. Six to one. Forty four heavy contact, need to park today. All right, we have LL up next. 
All right, let's see. LL -L Dreamliner with this one flying to Tel Aviv. 787-9. KLM is right after this one. Oh, there it is. Already oh, confirmed takeoff. Oh, cleared for takeoff. I'm trying to get ahead of this international push, huh? Look at that. Already cleared for takeoff. So winds right now reported 190 at 12 knots, coming good. a little bit closer to favor the two twos, which is good for us. But what that might mean with that quartering headwind is, and at uh, 12 knots being a little bit of a stiffer wind, it's uh, kind of pushing that wake turbulence uh, to the right of extended runway center line. So that may be allowing the uh, ATC controllers to have a little bit more of an increased rate of departures. Because it is, I mean, they're just getting they're just getting them out of here. Heavy after heavy yeah. after heavy, but that's the reason why. Yeah, that wake is being pushed off to the right of extended center line as those airplanes get out of here. So It's so cool to have an expert. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the LA Flies <laughs> Channel. Thank you, Captain Ken, for your expertise. Sure. Uh, I'm, I wish we had a, an actual tower controller down here, someone from the FAA ATC agency to explain that better than me, but I'm pretty sure that's what's going on. Oh, let's see. Are you ready? We have Delta. Hold on. Uh, Delta. Oh, hold on a minute. Did we miss um, a flight? Which one? We had a flight. Remember uh, Belen? Yes. They're heading to... What was the flight? Hold on. I think um, her boyfriend is talking on the chat right now. Kumo, what's, uh, your, uh, what's uh, Belen's flight? Uh, she's going to be shining the light. It was a Delta to Madrid. Delta to Madrid. Kumo, if you're there, my friend, send your uh, uh, send the flight number. I want to say 126, but let me verify that. Now there's a let's see, 767 flying to Stockholm. I, did we miss it already? I don't think we did. Did we? I don't think so. I'm not seeing it on flight radar because, let's see, the 767 Delta that just uh, uh, appeared on Joshua's uh, line of sight there in the camera, that one was that one's flying to Nice. Oh, hopefully we didn't miss it. Let's see, Paul Miller sending a $5 super check. Great show, you guys. Thank you. Uh, has the captain been to Sarasota? Sarasota Bradenton. Yes. Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, we go there on the 757, uh, mostly out of Atlanta. I think we do some flights out of New York, too. It may not be on the 75, but uh, I love that layover. Let's see, their scheduled departure at 555, which is now. But I haven't seen them pop in. I don't think they've left the gate yet. Okay, me neither. Okay, so I have it here. And let's see, Sam's Planes and Trains letting us know. Uh, Delta 126. And as well as uh, Captain Lyle. Are you ready? Uh, Captain, uh, let's see, Lyle, right? Captain, is it a captain? Correct me if I'm wrong uh, there. So, yeah, she did say Belen 126, Delta 126. There so, you go. Okay, so, so we're not too late. And okay, so Kumo, right? Let's see. We have Kumo, her uh, boyfriend, Delta One Twenty Six, seat number Twenty A. Thank you so much, Kumo. Twenty A. Left side of the airplane. Yeah, left side of the airplane. That's the captain's side. 
Very good. So hopefully we get to see her shine the light as she taxis on Alpha, taxiway Alpha. There you go. Okay, so just upgraded to Captain. There you go. So Captain Lyle. Congratulations, Lyle. Always watches the LA Flight Channel. You know, that's another viewer that we, you know, another uh, uh, captain that we want to put on the uh, live show at the same time that we have all of these great uh, uh, community of uh, captains in our show. Yeah. Captain's Roundtable, guys. It's real. <laughs> yeah, Lyle and I have a little bit of banter back and forth from time to time in the chat. Meow. <laughs> Was that a meow that I just heard? That was a meow. <laughs> <laughs> meow. <laughs> I was like, hold on, did I just heard that correctly? Yeah. <laughs> the pilots get it. <laughs> I, I think I know what you're talking you about. You know something? <laughs> Thanks to Captain Ken. Yeah. I now know <laughs> what that means. Yeah. I'll get a meow. I'll, I'll get a good meow back at him here in a second. <laughs> Big 767-400, that one flying to Nice. Delta 28, a 767-400, big one. No winglets on the big 767. That's one of the ways you can tell it's a 400. Of course, it's longer length. Welcome to the round table, Lyle. Thank you so much. Edison sending us a five dollar super chat. Has the captain flown to Atlanta? There's just a whole bunch of route questions, Captain. Can I help you ready? <laughs> Edison, I appreciate you, my friend. Had the captain flown from Atlanta to Atlanta to Costa Rica. Was on a 757 flight there last year. Also going to see later a uh, Seattle. Seattle later. There you go. I've been doing this for two days now. <laughs> Thank you, Edison. No to Costa Rica, although I'm looking forward to getting one of those one day. Uh, and uh, Seattle, uh, uh, quite a few times. Uh, some of, I, I've seen some of the other route questions. I know, it's, I think uh, Jaeger in uh, Charleston, West Virginia, came up a few times. Uh, I have been there, not with Delta though, with the uh, with the Hawkeye in the Navy. And his comment was, "Is uh, landing at Jaeger International is a lot like landing on the carrier?" Uh, okay. <laughs> I know why you say that. Uh, there's a little bit of a kind of a cliff at the end of the uh, the approach end of the runway there, so it kind of looks like the back of a ship, oh, I guess. Oh, okay. But it doesn't move around. <laughs> oh, that was, I was going <laughs> to ask you that. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm not remembering too many of the other route questions off the top of my head, but as I see them, I'll try to answer them as long as Peter doesn't mind. No, go for it. Uh, go for it, uh, Captain Ken. Okay. And Ken, if you're ready, sending us a $5 super chat. I love these JFK shows. Have you ever thought of making a, uh, making 4th of July time period an annual tradition for LA flights at JFK? Listen, kind of, yeah. I mean, we do something 4th of July. No matter what day it is, we'll always be live 4th of July. Maybe. I mean, what do you think? 4th of July here at, the, uh, here at New York City every year? I think you have to. That was we, a lot of fun. Absolutely. One of the best 4th of July's I've ever had. No, Captain Ken, you have to say the best 4th of July <laughs> I've ever had. Come on. <laughs> I think it might be the best. There you yeah. go. No, but listen, yeah, 4th of July special. I mean, we have to, uh, uh, we have to do, I mean, we, we're live every single, so we've been live 
we're a young, relatively young channel. I mean, we were live last year in Los Angeles. That was a spectacular show. And this year, of course, in New York City, we're always live 4th of July, no matter what day it is. The possible start of a New York City 4th oh, wow. of July tradition oh, may be started. Let's, hey, let's do it. <laughs> what do you think of that? What do you think of that? I like that. Let's see, Toronto, yes. Denver International, yes. Oscar Golf Golf, that's a, that's a airport in Hawaii. I've only been to Honolulu, so not OGG. You know, I like this question, uh, Mike. Uh, Mike in uh, Kansas, are there policies on pilots and social media? Because, I mean, you're now famous, uh, Captain Ken. I Cannon. know. You know, you are famous. You're now an A-list celebrity. <laughs> And so, yeah, is there any policies regarding, you know, pilots and social media? Uh, I certainly would not ever want to um, test the limits. Speak for my airline. Oh, okay, yeah. copy that. Yeah, so I, I think the policy is just to not to try to try to act as if you represent the official policies of your airline. So because you're not an official, uh, you're not a paid. Hey, no, I'm just a super fan that yeah. you guys allowed me to have 15 minutes of fame, and I think I'm up to 20 minutes now. And I appreciate it. And I, I'm kind of coming on as, a, I guess, a little bit of a subject matter expert, at least as from a pilot's point of view. I certainly uh, welcome any other super fans from other walks of life in aviation to add their two cents with you guys, whether it's uh, our ground personnel, ATC, flight attendants, uh, whatnot. I think everybody's very interested in hearing from all perspectives. But you guys are the star. No, brother. You're the star, Captain Ken. Come no, on. No way. Columbus, Ohio, yes. <laughs> I've been there. Milwaukee, yes. Bradley International, yes. Wow, hear the engines pumping up the sound. So 126 is pushing back. Possible shine the light. Was it 20A? That's the seat we'll be looking for on that one. Yes, 20A. 20A. Thank you so much, Doug, sending us a $5 super chat. We're sending, uh, we're sending question, Captain Ken. Ever fly? It's at my home airport. Uh, what is that? B BDL? Yes. That's Hartford International in the. Uh, it's halfway between Hartford and Spring, uh, Connecticut and Springfield, Massachusetts. Um, yeah, that's uh, on the 320. That was a common uh, layover spot for me. Okay, thank you so much, Doug. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, Nicola Carter says, you know, LA Flash, you should do a monthly flight from JFK. Ah. Uh. You yeah. know, that would be pretty cool. I would love that. You know, who's going to pay for that? You who's going to pay cheap? for that? <laughs> I'll also get sponsored by Delta or something. Oh. Or, the, you know, the TWA yeah, Hotel. Yeah. Listen, yeah. it's not a cheap endeavor, what we're doing. No. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. That's, that's awesome. My well, goodness. We'll have to get you a crash pad. Yes. Yeah, right? <laughs> I wish, Nicola. Ah, we have someone flying above us. Roberto Gonzalez, $10 Super Chat coming in. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you, Roberto, for helping LA Flies today. Enjoy New York edition, my friend. Oh, we missed it. Somebody checking us out from circling above us. What was that? A bird. Oh, oh my you spoiled goodness. it. You spoiled it. <laughs> this is a surprise. <laughs> Captain Ken, you're fired. <laughs> there you go. Oh, first time Captain Ken's fired. Oh, is that the first? No, no, I'm just kidding. It won't be the last. That was a joke. Okay. <laughs> you're, you're, you haven't been fired. Gotcha. All right, Air France going to line up. Hey, Captain, are you ready? Yep. I have some water here for you, and I also have a Starbucks uh, energy shot if you oh, want. Oh, you it. have more? Thank you. I have one more. I'll oh, take no, no. it. Jeez, I think I gave you the second oh, one. Oh, man. Sorry, so, Captain Ken, that one is only <laughs> I, the water. No. He, yeah, I could use a good cup of coffee. 
you want to go get some? No, no, you're, you're doing a good co-host. <laughs> That's all right. All right, some good sound. We're going to take a look at the French in just a few seconds. We have John Rodriguez. Great show, gents. And welcome to my hometown airport. Thank you for watching LA Flights, my friend. the spotlight there so much noise there by the engines i was about to say the same thing talk about screaming for the <laughs> attention and we have another one coming up too we have an a320 down below us i hear it all right here it comes a320 and the french 777 being a patient plane as i say that Commences its takeoff roll. A little bit of pilot cam there. Blue skies. That it is. Wow, amazing sound. There's there, France leaving. There goes the French. They just pull in that yoke every single time, Captain Ken. We talked about this yesterday. You sure did. They're they known for it. My goodness. It just must be a, an airline specific trainingism. You'll see it on the replay. Look at that. And this wasn't that rough. This jumps off. And we have an Aer Lingus up next. We have a super chat from S F S I M G U R U. Sounds like an eye exam. Are you ready? Thank you so much, my friend. Ten dollars super chat. I've got a familiar familiarization flight tomorrow. Dispatcher, what is that, uh, Captain Gun? So, Flight Sim Guru is uh, oh, apparently go. a dispatcher with Delta Airlines. Thank you for checking in and for your ten dollars super chat. He's doing a familiarization flight tomorrow so every once in a while they'll come out and ride our jump seat to get a look at uh, how things operate from our end of uh, the relationship pilots and dispatchers have a very crucial relationship with getting flights all right, underway so, all right so that's me going to the uh, to the cafe downstairs guys have a nice uh, show <laughs> i think captain ken's doing a perfect job as the co as the host of oh. LA flights <laughs> Yeah, so he's gonna he's gonna get his fan flight tomorrow. We uh, we love having those guys in the jump seat. Uh, it definitely strengthens strengthens the uh, relationship and the understanding back and forth between the pilot and the dispatcher. So. All right, JetBlue right below us, but we have Aer Lingus an A321 leaving. Departure this one fly to Boston, Massachusetts. And then, oh, look at that, an Airbus. Uh, an A321 Neo for that route. 
That's a big one. Yeah, that's a really nice plane for that route. They normally fly the E-190s to Boston. Sometimes maybe an A320, but not never the A321neo. Oh, look at that. Looks like a... That's a funky flight number. Most likely oh, really? a repo flight. Okay. That explains it. Are you ready? I want to send a big shout out to Randy, who was uh, watching for a long time in Portland. Has to go on a walk. I'm going to put the message on the screen. I just wanted to put it up there just before you leave, uh, Randy. Thank you so much for watching LA Flights, my friend. LA Flights with Peter and Joshua during the New York edition of LA Flights. Thank you, Randy. Have a good walk, my friend, with the wife. Watching for a very long time today. Let's go take a look at the next arrival. Captain Ken, do you have a, let's see, do you know where Delta, what is it, 126? Yeah, they've pushed back. They're near the uh, exit of taxi bay Kilo Fox, so they should be contacting ground here shortly for taxi. They're listed as no call sign in Flight Radar 24, but that's them. Okay. So Belen will be shining the lights, seating uh, seats, what was it, 20? It looks like there's 20A and okay, possibly 20A. another shine the light in uh, 39G, a double shine the light possibly, so. Double shine the light, yes, we had an earlier viewer. I, I mean, I don't know if it's the same one. Um, obviously not. <laughs> <laughs> During the lineup, they run to the back. To there you go. <laughs> um, so we're gonna have two possible shine the lights from that flight, Delta 126. I wonder if they know each other. Uh, let's see, I think I have the uh, earlier message Hopefully from- Hopefully they're both uh, still in the chat, so. Okay, so we have Belen and Kat Wallace, 220. Window seat, 39G. And I'm pretty sure Belen said that she's a flight attendant for Delta. Okay. So I wonder if they're gonna meet up with each other. I wonder if they- uh, Know that they're both going to shine the lights. Yeah, you guys will have to time. let us know. We have to tell, oh my goodness. We have to tell Belen, or uh, let's see, I think, uh, you know, maybe boyfriend Kumo can find a way to contact Belen. Go to seat 39G <laughs> and tell that viewer, hey, we both shine the light at the LA flight show. <laughs> Kumo, if you're hearing, you know what to do, my friend. 39G. I mean, it won't really be like talking to a stranger because yeah. you both know the, the they're, LA flight show. They're family. All right, looks like that Delta 126 is moving, but they uh, it'll be a few minutes before they're in sight. And I don't know if you noticed, that was a 747 Caletta taxiing to the runway. Yes. No one's in front of the 747, so it should be a pretty quick taxi. Yeah, they get, they're getting them out of here. They really uh, did a good job with the international push today. Seems a lot more organized. All right, so there goes the French. We have uh, the Polish. We have a big Delta. Big 74 Polish and a 767 Delta. Four K shorts. I have been to Amsterdam quite a quite a few times. Yes. All right, here goes 747 on the roll. 
Kaleta leaving in front of us. We have several heavies right behind it. We have the Polish Dreamliner. We have a Delta 767 flying to Stockholm. And we're waiting for Delta 126. It's going to be a double shine the light. We're going to have shine the light from each side of the plane on the left and on the right. That's going to happen in the next few minutes. You're going to see it on the replay, Captain Ken. My goodness, that was a good, uh, uh, let's see, Coletta 4926 flying to the city of Anchorage. I'm going to be tracking the rate of climb. All right. Fill the chat with 747 emojis, my friends. Go oh, for yeah. it. That was a great rotation. Not a rocket. I'm only seeing 2,400 feet per minute. Yeah, I got to agree with that. That didn't look like a rocket launch. All right, there goes the 7-4. We have lots. Departing it. There goes the Polish Dreamliner. Uh, 787 flying to Warsaw. Are you ready? I think you can see the 747. Yeah, I think so. All right, we could go take a look. The blue 766, that's CBS Zulu and Golf. Wow, there you go. Right Flying to Anchorage. Zulu Golf, short, get you right, Jeff Blue. It's off to Anchorage. So we have a Delta 767 already lined up and waiting on uh, 22 right. A big American Airlines 777. And of a 5054, 10 to tower, wind 200, lot 10, we are following a heavy 767. Four and a half miles ahead, caution like two months, runway two two left to the Jeez, look at that, screaming. Yeah, that's a CRJ. Okay. 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 And that's a 5329, hold short of Yankee, check on the gate for me and let me know if it's open. Delta 204 to Stockholm. Delta 126 okay. northbound on taxiway Bravo. Okay, we'll see it in just a few, uh, few seconds. Of it. Oh, there it is. There it is. Josh, Josh. take a look. Yeah. yeah. Give me a second. And then monitor the ground on 121.65. You do not have to call. You do not have to check in, just listen as you taxi. Have a good day. Cross the line, and the center right, the Alpha, the Monitor 126, What's the seats? Okay, so seats, uh, what was it, 20A, so that's nearing the front of the plane. Do you know the uh, uh, where that exactly would be, uh, that Captain That would Ken? be probably just, uh, I would say probably about where the wing is. Yeah, okay. Shine the light, we have Belen, who kept it, who, 
uh, said hi to us here at the uh, TWA Hotel. Big fans of the channel, which, uh, which, re which was really nice to know, which was uh, really nice to see. Belen, you know what to do, shine the light. I don't see anything. Oh, oh. there it is. Hey. Now we got it. It's right here. Uh, let's, no, there I think that's. Is. Hold no, on. No, no, I, I, I could have sworn I saw it. Keep Let's shining it. that light. Shine the light, Belen. It's time for you to shine the light. The spotlight uh, is you yours. Know what? Yeah, I don't think it was. It's that. It's the sun glare. Oh. Right there. Oh, my goodness. Come on, Belen. You said it's somewhere here? Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, oh, that could be it. I think the first one I saw was it. Yeah, that's it. Are you sure? That's a lot of glares. Ah, the glare! The glare! Look at this! Everything, the windows, everything, every everything window. is shining. <laughs> it's a full airplane of shine the lights. Yeah, look at the uh, on top of the engine, the emergency door. Nope, that's not it. No, 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 go for oh, it. Go where? Tell me. Uh, the uh, left door, the uh, left emergency oh, door. Oh, that could be it. Belen, please shine the light. The spotlight is yours. There, maybe. I think, I, I, I think I'm shooting for this one. Yeah, that's that one. I, that's, I think that's clearly a phone. I think it's that one. I think it's that light. I think it's that that's window. That's this one. Yeah, it's that one. The first one. That's the first one I saw. Belen, that might be your light. And keep in mind, we have a double shine the light. We have another viewer sitting in a 39G. Oh, that's definitely it. That's it. What do you think? That's uh, Belen. Yeah, 100%. 100%. That's it. Just forward of the wing there. Look at that. That's Belen, my friends. Thank you, Belen. Very nice. I that's it. Very, very nice. Yeah, that's confirmed. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's confirmed. Hey, Belen, if you're watching this a little later on, uh, it would be so cool if you send me the picture that we took, and I'll post it on the Instagram. I'm, I'm collecting a lot of pictures from all the different uh, viewers that came up to us, all the viewers that we met. So it'll be so cool if you send me that picture on Instagram or whatever. Thank you so much, Belen. Have a wonderful flight. And keep in mind, we're going to have another viewer shine the light on the right side of the plane on departure. All right, are you ready to see something cool? Go for it. Look at this rudder. <laughs> Look at that. That is a massive plane. That is the behemoth of the skies. That's Big Lufthansa. Big boy, king of the skies. Lufthansa's taxing. There you go, Kumo. Thank you so much, my friend, for relaying the message to your uh, girlfriend. Thank you, Kumo. A shout out to you, my friend. And the 777 American Airlines on the move. There goes Belen's flight, the Delta. American 100 flying to London. Big boy heading to London Heathrow. All right, big 777 heading out of here. Let's go and take a look at the Lufthansa A380 crossing 31 right as we speak. There it is, behemoth of the skies, star of the, a star of the show again today, I think. I think that one is going to be the star, I think, all week, week long. Which one did it better? Which one do we prefer? Do we prefer seeing the, uh, oh my goodness, this might be a little uh, uh, ignite some rivalry within, uh, you know, plane spotters between New York and Boston. Who does it better? Where does the A380 look best? JFK <laughs> or Boston? I'm sure that's going to ignite a rivalry between the plane spotters in, uh, you know, the great plane spotters in Boston and the ones in New York. 
You know, I have my answer. Joshua has his answer. No. Don't say just yet. I have yet. my answer. I think I know what his answer is. What? Why? I think I know your answer. Yeah, it's kind of obvious what my answer is. I want to see the viewers first, all right? Let's see. Avgeek Luke picks JFK. Max39 picking New York City vibes. Connor Plainspotter says JFK. Any more answers? We have Ivan uh, says JFK. We have Captain Lyle says JFK as well. Marty says JFK. Mike Croft says Boston. Patty says JFK. Patrick says JFK. Uh, let's see, hold on a minute. There's the message. Tweety says JFK all the way. Henry says New York City. And Wilson, wow, picks Boston. And let's take a look. A real cat also picks Boston. Don says JFK. JC Boston picks Boston. <laughs> uh, of course, right? We have Diego Lopez picking JFK. And I like it. Tom says, what a great show. Thank you for watching, <laughs> my friend. That's the right answer. That's the right answer. Chris picks Boston. Randolph Lane says JFK. Cheryl Hansel, how are you? Good afternoon, Cheryl. New York City vibes. Welcome to New York. PA Aviation picks JFK. Just Trains picks JFK. Yannick says JFK. Cami G picks Boston for the history of the A380. The very first arrival by a A380 Lufthansa into Boston. Runway so the historical Dubai, significance. Runway 190 All right, Josh is getting a move on. Yep. I know. Say again. Altimeter 05 kilo. Skywest, a Yeah, right. Roger, you can actually start flying because you are also indicating 50 knots faster than him. Who are they talking to? Final. Delta 707, I think. A little, uh, a little quick. Yeah, there it is. Wow, Delta, uh, Delta 7. What is it? Delta 707 at 160 knots, number two for arrival in JetBlue 158, 137 knots. All right, let's go take a look at the finner that arrived during the departure of Lufthansa. Hey, Josh, by the way, the shine the light happens on that oh, Delta flight. Yeah. What seat is it? 39 G. 9G. That's going to be in the back, right? Yeah, it's about maybe two or three rows up from the back of the airplane. Okay. Hey, look at this. Kumo gifted by Sea Wife today. Sea Wife gifting five memberships to the LA Flights house, and one of the viewers gifted was Kumo. Very nice. Hey, uh, let's see. Kumo, I wonder if you can tell Belen during the flight if she can go up to uh, the viewer in 39G. This is the viewer. Both of them 
you know, Belen and Kat Wallace. That'll be cool if they could take uh, if they could take a picture together. That would be so cool. <laughs> and send me that picture. They'll be legends if they do legends. that. Legends. I'll post it on the Instagram channel. Kat Wallace, 220, 39G, and Belen on the other side of the plane. All right, here uh, we go. It's going to be hard. Let's All see. the way in the back, right? All the way All in the, the back. All the way in the back. Maybe second or third window from the back. Oh, that's it. Come on. No, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, but it's too much glare. Too much glare. Yeah. All right. Joshua did his absolute best. Kumo, it would be so cool if you uh, if you if you can contact Belen somehow and and um, and if Belen can take a picture with the viewer in 39G. That's the seat number. Look at that. Thank you so much, Kumo. I appreciate that, my friend. A safe flight to Delta 126. Flying all the way to Madrid. Very long flight. And we have a we have a cool plane, a quad jet. I see it. We have a quad jet. It's it's uh, taxing to the runway right now. And by the way, guys, I'm gonna put this message right now. Thank you so much, Karina. I hope you're still watching. It's bedtime here in Germany. My goodness, I think I'm gonna have to give you a big shout out a little later on. Uh, thank you very much, Peter and Joshua, for another great epic show. Many thanks to Captain Ken for all the interesting info and answers he gave us. Have a safe flight, Captain Ken. Thank you, Corinne. I'm so sorry about that. Uh, you know, that message came in a few uh, minutes ago, and I'm pretty sure, you know, Corinne is already, already asleep. That scared me. <laughs> Max39, uh, five dollars super chat. Are you ready? Virgin Atlantic A350. Flight attendant. So we have hypoxic waiter, the girlfriend, right? Flight attendant. Uh, let's see. What's the flight number on that? Okay, so it's certainly going to be the Virgin Atlantic. Max39, if I, if we, if I can get more uh, more info on that, thank you so much, my friend. Shav's three months of channel membership won't let me post a message for some reason, so I'll just say thank you guys for three months. Great shows every time from Newcastle in the UK. Thank you. Thank you, Shav's. Appreciate that, my friend. Good vibes. Thank you for your membership. All right, 747 up next to leave JFK. And Ethan, who does it better? Boston or JFK for the Lufthansa A380? JFK for the win. It was pretty much, it wasn't unanimous, but it was like 70, maybe 80% favoring New York City. Oh, okay, I have my answer for that. Okay, so which one do you prefer, Josh? Boston, Boston or, really, because of the lighting? Because I was airside. Okay, Joshua. <laughs> That's where I was going with it. Because I was airside, of course, Boston. Well, my answer is anywhere that Josh is there to record it. Ah, uh, there you go, That's a, that's the right answer. Hey, if they let me go airside here in JFK, this would have been the best one. <laughs> Probably take you an hour to get over where they park. <laughs> you know, I'll do it yeah. if they let me go. Goes to 747 Ghost. Uh, the 747 on its way. Uh, where's it flying to, guys? It's um, headed to Anchorage. Anchorage. That was a guess. I mean, I knew. Lucky guess. No, I memorized all the flights before it went live. There you go. <laughs> I can tell you guys do. <laughs> no, it's, I'm just kidding. It's pretty. It's pretty amazing. That was a lucky guess. Where's this American 777 going? 
Uh, that was obviously heading to Miami. Oh, close, Milan. Ah, <laughs> I knew it started with an M. Yeah, M I. Thank you so much, Caitlin. Caitlin Rogers becoming a first class member. Thank you so much for picking up that membership yet again. Uh, welcome back to the channel memberships. I am taking a look and you are a first class member. Also a member in the Red Plane Squadron. Welcome back to LA Flights, Caitlin. Nice to have you with us. And like uh, Captain Ken said, this one flying to Milan. a Virgin Atlantic A350 on taxiway Alpha, but we're not looking at the right two door, which is where Max was saying that we would see a shining light. Okay, so I guess on uh, departure then? Possibly on departure. That glare sure makes it tough. Yeah, that's going to be so difficult, but hey, listen, we're going to be... Uh, I'll try. Trying our best. I'll try. Just uh, try to angle the lights. Well, I don't think. No, they're not going to be watching. Listening, but, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it really does help if you angle it towards where we're filming. We have Norse Atlantic flying to London's Gatwick, already lined up on two to right. As we continue the international push, right? As we continue this incredible uh, wave of departures, we have the drive. One at ten, sending us a two dollar tip to help the Ubers. Uber to Big Shot. Oh boy, you don't know about this, <laughs> Captain Ken. But uh, you don't know about this. But yesterday, right, everything was closed, and I was contemplating going to Pizza Hut, but they okay. don't deliver to the TWA hotel. Oh, so that's ridiculous. I checked Uber, and it was like seventy bucks one, one way. way. <laughs> the one way. I well, mean, you know, I way. know that to be true because I had to take. A shared ride to my crash pad and there paid you go. about seventy dollars last night. Seventy wow. bucks. Yeah, they were yeah. charging double last night. I wasn't exaggerating. I was like, what? I, I was gonna pay like twenty, thirty bucks. You know, okay, you know, I'll go get some peaks and stuff. Sure. Uh, but seventy bucks. You paid seventy bucks, so I I wasn't exaggerating nope. with that total. And you had to wait quite a while for the right driver to show up too. There you go. A lot of demand last night. So peanut butter cup for Peter and gummy worms. <laughs> Don't forget to order your food tonight before you end the show. Well, yes. see if we remember. And listen, hey, who knows? Maybe we end the show a little early today. No one's saying that we're going to stay until, you know, the crazy 10 o'clock time. Thank you to Drive 110. I appreciate that. All right, so there goes Norse Air. That is a, what, seven, seven-ish hour flight to Gatwick, I think? That sounds about right. And we have Aer Lingus coming into land. Yeah, I kept hitting refresh over and over last night on the uh, shared r app, shared uh, drive app, and it's, the price kept going up. I said, well, I guess I better get in while it's as cheap as 70 bucks. And thank you so much, IG MCO Plane Spotter. Thank you so much, Jen. Are you ready? Uh, thank you so much, Jen, for letting us know. Really need the brothers and captain to start petition to have Delta paint three planes in the dark nose widget, Western Airlines livery and Northwest livery. Oh, I agree wow. with that. I agree with that. That would be a very popular decision. Thank you so much, IG MCO plane spotter. So sorry for putting this message so late, my friend. You know, and listen, great idea. You have uh, you have Captain Ken agreeing with you. He'll put in a word. <laughs> <laughs> He'll show his badge. Yeah. MCMM Transit Productions, $2 Super Chat. New member, I want to go plane spotting with y'all. Hey, listen, we'll be in New York City Friday. Maybe we'll go a little crazy and we'll do the Saturday show as well. We have to have the winds in our favor. MCMM Transit Productions. Very nice, my friend, joining us. Welcome to the family. Or else, listen, we'll be in Los Angeles until the next adventure, right? Alexi's $10 Super Chat from Hawaii. Hello, Peter, Joshua, Captain Ken. This last two days have been incredible. Thank you for an amazing show, Captain Ken. Safe travels tonight to Iceland. Thank you so much, and thank you for the compliment. Alexi, such a wonderful viewer. Thank you so much, Alexi. We appreciate you. Thank you for the kind comments. 
That's what we have. Also, John Rodriguez, five dollars super chat coming in. Great show, gents, and welcome to my hometown airport. And we have Mark McCloskey, 10 pounds super chat. Hey guys, I'm on the American Airlines. They just took off the London Heathrow. Really hope you. You'd get me coming back next Monday on Virgin Atlantic, but at least you got my departure today. I'm assuming, Mark, uh, no window seats, or else you would have told us about the chandelier, right? Safe flight to London, Heathrow, my friend. And Spooky, Cindy Favorites. Thanks from the UK for the JFK shows. Absolutely great. Thank you, Spooky, Cindy Favorites. Sounds coming from an E190 JetBlue parking at the gate right now, but we're going to stay with Ita. It should be departing any moment. Bill's waiting for a 767 to cross the runway, and there it goes, starting the takeoff roll. Let's see a lot of heavies. What a surprise. We have a Delta 767, number two for arrival, but first we're going to take a look at the Italian. And a little bit of a two-for-one special. I'll take that any day of the week. We have, oh, hold on. That's the 767 from Athens. That's it. A two-for-one special happening in front of the LA flight cameras. We, sh uh, we have uh, maybe shine the light on the Virgin Atlantic, uh, right? Yeah, okay. So what door was it, uh, Captain Ken? The right two door. Okay. Uh, let's see. Who was the viewer? So let's take a look. Thank you so much. We have Max39 letting us know of the possible shine the light. So we have Hypoxic Waiter. So his girlfriend, flight attendant on Virgin Atlantic, uh, you said the uh, the second door on the right? Yeah. Uh, let me see. Where yeah. Okay. Yeah, so right uh, right in the end of Virgin. Okay, let's see. We have a message from Zoe, uh, from a uh, hypostic waiter talking about Zoe. But she won't shine the light. All right, let's get uh, the departure, Josh. Ah, uh, won't. Okay. Safe flight. Thank you for uh, letting us know. We'll give you a uh, big shout out there. Zoe, thank you so much. Have a safe flight, Hypotic Waiter and Zoe. Watching their, their, their uh, departure on replay a little later on. Thank you for watching it and thank you for letting LA flights know. The world's longest flight in the entire world landing in the next few seconds. Short final, Singapore. Don't worry, we'll get the touchdown. And there it is, there the longest is. flight in the entire world. That's 18 hours. 18 hours, 23 minutes. Goodness. That's a flight. That is a long way. Oh, and it's going to be parking next to us, too. Oh, yes, it is. Should. It should be parking next to us. Oh, very good. Uh, how far is the Milan flight, the Emirates? Let me take a look. You know what? I mean, it could be gate seven could be reserved for that one. I mean, it's getting pretty close to that arrival time. Wow, there's what a surprise. Are you ready? There's so many heavies coming in. Uh, Emirates journey to the future livery arriving in 30 minutes. So forget about it. Emirates will take gate seven. I'm going to be surprised. I'm going to feel a little sad if Singapore takes gate seven. I'll be honest with you. Most likely, we will have Emirates, the one that arrives in 30 minutes, take gate seven. Thank you, John. Are you ready? Sending us a $5 super chat. Hey, you should come back during the UN General Assembly Week, September 15th through the 17th. Hey, John. I hope so. I hope so. Uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> I'm sure I'll be here. We'll see what ah. happens. Like, we did that last year. Oh. Yeah. And Lots we brought stories. along Bruce. Oh, cool. A little bird 
said that we're going to be trying to make that an annual tradition. Oh. <laughs> a little <laughs> teaser there for a possible New York show. Oh, look at you, Edder. Thank you so much. Gifting one membership to Deano Sanders. You know something? I'm still lightheaded from the <laughs> amount of membership that Edder gifted yesterday. My goodness. Thank you, Edder. I mean, thank you so much, Edder. You are amazing. Welcome to your channel. Welcome to your home, the home of the one more plane, my friend. Uh, let's see, a question from Bruce Campbell, talking about Bruce, right? Ah, yes. Uh, Captain Ken, what's the longest flight you have flown as a pilot? Uh, that would probably be on the 330 from Detroit to Nagoya, Japan. And it probably was a bit long. It, the longer one was actually probably Nagoya back to Detroit. That's a long one. How long is that? Uh, that's probably about 12 and a half, 13 hours ish, if memory serves. I, I know wow. I've done it twice. On one of them, we had to divert into Anchorage because a passenger was having a medical issue. And I think that answers a question from another viewer who also asked that same question, even though you've already answered that question. That's why I didn't bring it up. Okay. Uh, but a viewer was saying, have you ever gone to Anchorage? And that answers it. Yeah, so but we didn't leave the airplane. We uh, got on the ground. They took care of the passenger. We put some more fuel on board and carried on to Detroit. Hey, listen, does that count? What do you think? Okay, so as a traveler, right? Just being in the airport, not exiting the plane, does that count as being in Anchorage? <laughs> uh, because, you know, I have a lot of, you know, I traveler. go back and forth on that, yeah? to be honest with you. I think right now I'd say no. I think you need to exit the airport. Exit the airport. To say you visited a... Oh, I agree. my goodness. I agree. Okay. Yeah. That's cheating. So the layovers don't count, or you know, uh, well, layover diversions. would count, but not a yeah, not. But a, if you don't, okay, if so you never leave the airport, correct. So if you, if you're connecting onto another flight, and hey, I don't fault people that want to view the the other way. <laughs> you know, maybe they don't have a chance to get away from wherever yeah, they live right? that often, and they're gonna take every opportunity they can to say that they visited another place. Oh, my goodness. I have no goodness. problem with that. Captain no. Ken says no. You have to exit the <laughs> airport. <laughs> That's my own personal policy. Captain Ken, as usual, you're right. <laughs> Captain Ken, as usual, you're wrong. Oh, I could I could add quite a few places to my uh, visit uh, places visited list if I Listen, change my policy. W I need all the help I can get. Okay. All right? <laughs> Ah, plane you, spotter. You can, yeah, you can get the plane spotter. We can no, all. Oh yeah, that, look at that. Imagine yourself there. So yeah, listen. That's how it feels. That's how it feels. Being a plane spotter like that here at the magnificent TWA hotel. It's literally. I mean, I can I can attest to this. It really does feel like it's airside. Face Cloud gifted a membership by Ann Wilson. You're amazing. Thank you so much, Ann. Ann Wilson, part of the Banana Club. Sadly, there's no banana planes here at the LA Flights Channel today uh, during the New York City edition. We have Guille Francisco sending us a super chat. I appreciate that. Thank you so much, my friend. I hope I did pronounce that name correctly. And uh, let's see, Face Cloud, after being gifted the membership by Ann Wilson, sending the milestone message nine months hey guys keep up the good work from uh cyprus wonderful face cloud thank you for watching la flights and thank you ann wilson for gifting the membership yet again and looks like they're back to using both runways for arrivals yeah look at this getting busy again hey zulnex very nice nice to have you with us once again a long time member here at the channel a member in uh, the golden plane squadron watching the channel uh, when we were very young, uh, the channel was very young, gifting one membership to LA Flights. Thank you so much. Lucas Anderson, gifted by Zulnix today. All right, we have the Brits coming in. Speedbird 113 flying in from London's Heathrow, a seven-hour flight for this one.
And I think we started a uh, debate there. So does it count if you just stop at the airport? Do you have to exit the airport to make it count? Uh, to put it in the list of places you visited? Uh, let's see, hold on. There's a, actually a good comment about that. I think I lost it. It's a good debate. Okay, so listen, Darren, right, our wonderful moderator says, but where does one draw the line? I was in Oklahoma City because I flew over it. <laughs> what? So, <laughs> that doesn't, what? <laughs> I know, right? So, yeah, you know, the point of that comment, you know, where do we draw the line, right? Yeah, no, that's so you have ridiculous. To yeah, you have to exit the runway. Uh, excuse me, exit the airport to make a count. Let's see, are you ready? We have Lambo, very nice. Lambo underscore YT, gifting five memberships to the LA Flies channel. Thank you so much, Lambo. Very nice, my friend. Delta 737 getting a move on, flying to Phoenix, Arizona. Speaking of great layovers, Phoenix. That's a good one. Oh, know, yeah. I've been at uh, I've been in Phoenix. It, it's it's such a nice place. It really, it really is. is. Yeah. Of Very course, impressive. the heat is oppressive. <laughs> the heat is terrible. The heat is torture. But is. you know, if you go in a you know in a nice, reasonable time of year, I'm sure Bruce Campbell can tell you it's it's such a beautiful city. And, and listen, overall, it's a beautiful state. It yeah. really is. You've got to be able to uh, afford a, a house there and then a, a house somewhere in the north that right? you can escape to during the summer. So. That's it. We have Virgin Atlantic, 153 for flying in from London Seathrow, a seven-hour flight. And Jen in Honolulu gets to send the milestone message. Well, let's not read that one out loud. Oh, goodness. Why? <laughs> I just put it up in the... Uh... We have to keep that one on the down, though. <laughs> oh, there what you is go. It? Not, nothing. Forget about it. <laughs> Josh, just make sure you keep that what stash. What is it? Make sure you just keep that stash of gummy worms safe. Oh, <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> don't worry. You don't need to know. I got you, Jen. All right, JetBlue landing in the uh, closest runway to us. That's JetBlue 380 flying in from uh, Jamaica. Yeah, very nice. A three hour, 43 minute flight for that. Not too shabby. Let's see, we have a special plane coming in. We have an MD-11 flying in from Memphis, Tennessee, FedEx 764. That's the flight number. Two hours of flight time for the MD-11. It's number, let's see, it looks like number three for arrival. Okay. And we have the Japanese, Japan Airlines 4, flying in from Tokyo's Haneda. A 13 hour flight, 777-300ER, flying downwind somewhere. There's our fronts. That one is heading to the runway. And look at this, the Italians coming in, arriving in three minutes. And of course, Emirates arrives in 15 minutes. Big Super arrives in 15 minutes. Let's see, let's go take a look at Singapore. It's oh. crossing the runway. Uh, this is a big, big move. Where Singapore heads? November 4th, Bravo. Approved as requested, cleared into the Kennedy class battery. Below 500, caution like turbulence, there will be jets overhead. Kennedy altimeter to 995. By the way, the controller, the uh, the ATC controller that we heard yesterday with the very nice voice. Oh, the calming one. The calming <laughs> voice. Uh -huh. the, the, the voice of reason, the voice of relaxation. Yes. On the uh, frequency right now, 119.1. One, one, one. Oh, good, good, good. We're, I think I suggested earlier we start calling her Kennedy Steph. There, <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> Until we find out her real name. Kennedy, St yeah. St Kennedy Steph. Kennedy Steph, in honor of Kennedy Steve. There you go. <laughs> A very, let's hear the radios. And uh, for some reason, every single time that she is on the radios, no, no, no static. static. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Let's hear this. It's like having a co-host. Uh, we're just doing that right now, Virgin Mopar. You hear that? No static. I'm going to raise up the sound level a little bit. you said you were a helicopter? No, 
November 456 Alright, well, he has Speedbird. You know, I'll say it again, you know, she's the, on the only person that can ever shut me up is this controller. Let's just hear this. So nice. It is, yeah. How can I help you? <laughs> <laughs> so nice. Very polite. Polite. Into the Kennedy class Bravo as requested. Maintain up or below 1,400. Kennedy altimeter 2995. Start looking for opposite direction traffic coming out of the GEP on the same route as 1,000 at the moment. It's so clear. It's it's so clear. It's so clear. No and pauses. For three traffic, 12 o'clock, about three miles opposite direction coming into Kennedy uh, helicopter. We need to contact this uh, controller. Listen, hold on. Maybe get an interview later. Listen, are you ready? I'm gonna tonight. I'm going to post on my social media and on the channel, and I'm gonna say, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna post the times, <laughs> right? And I'm gonna say, you know, I'm gonna tag JFK Airport. I'm gonna, you know, see what I can do. Yeah. And I'm going to say, you know, does anyone know how to contact the, the controller that was on, you know, what is it, 650, uh, 650 p.m. Eastern Time? Josh, we have DMD11. Yep, I see him. I'm going to post that on the message, all right? I'm going to uh, post that on the social media because I want her, you know, if uh, you know she's comfortable with it, to be here on the LA Flies channel. We're going to be here on Friday, possibly extending it until Saturday. We're That'll gonna be the biggest surprise ever. Listen, are you ready? Ever. I want to make it happen. I hope her name really is Steph. Imagine that, <laughs> Kennedy Steph. <laughs> and that name in honor of Kennedy Steve, of course, uh, until we find out her real name. That's right. So Kennedy Steph on the radios. And let me tell you this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna see what's the, uh, how big is the LA flight's reach and I'm gonna be tagging, you know, JFK Airport and all that good stuff. It's gonna be a good test. We need her at the uh, LA Flights Channel for at least a few hours, right? A few minutes, just to say hi. And Singapore coming in. I really hope it doesn't take gate seven. Oh no, if it takes gate seven. You know, there's a chance it might take gate three. Uh, very good chance, I'd say. All right, let's say I'm sorry, Kennedy Steve. Ah, uh, excuse me, Kennedy Steph. <laughs> uh, pumping up the sound, let's take a listen. Look at all the all the pilots. It's a full there. house. Full house. Full house. And yes, good news. Taking gate three. Very nice. Leaving gate seven. Open for the A380. We have Air France. Leaving JFK. You know, whenever she talks, there's no static. It's all open for you. Listen, okay, so we have almost 4,000 people watching. I mean, if there's anyone out there that knows how to contact, uh, you know, the uh, JFK Tower, if there's anyone to get a, that knows how to get a hold of, you know, someone like that, please help us out. Hey, you'll get a hat. 
Uh, you listen, <laughs> we'll do our absolute best on our part. We're going to be, uh, you know, trying to uh, contact JFK Airport, you know, through our social media pages as well. I want Kennedy Steph to be here on the LA Flies Channel during our during our New York City uh, edition. Help LA Flights if you can. We need Kennedy Steph with us. FedEx 764 Heavy will give way to the American and taxi Zulu Hotel and hold short of runway 22 right. FedEx 764 Heavy give way then Zulu Hotel and hold short of what? FedEx 764 Heavy on hotel, hold short of runway 22 right. Sounds like pilots that have never been here at JFK, the uh, the FedEx MD-11, because they had ah. to uh, they uh, asked the tower Kennedy Steph to repeat the instructions of all the uh, the maze of taxis, uh, taxiways. A350 ETA coming in. Ah, normally we have the A330s. Yeah, yeah. very nice to see. Oh jeez, I think I'm gonna that, that APU is just screeching right now. Don't lower the volume. Hey! What? Oh blue jean baby, yeah we saw that one come in. We did. I thought we saw it leave. And let's see, okay. Let's take a look at the flight information for the E-190 next to us. It's flying to Rally Durham. Very nice. Five, six, five, six, five, six, five, six, five, six, there you go, we have two blue planes right there, Ita that just landed, and KLM. Which shade of blue is better? That's a good question. I know my answer. Really? Ah, oh, that's hard. I was thinking. You know, KLM is so iconic. It is. But that Ita, it's just, uh, I mean, when the sun hits that, that, that blue color, it's just the most beautiful thing. I agree with you. I think the, the KLM shade of blue is iconic and recognizable. But the overall livery of the ETA, it's a very beautiful airplane. Ah, I just thought, oh, it's KLM, but I, I, I think I want to end up saying ETA. <laughs> we got to stay on the same team, Josh. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> if you had said KLM first, I would have joined you. <laughs> no, but regardless, I think ETA wins. Hard choice between Rome and Amsterdam too, but I think Rome wins for me. Ah, okay. You said that Amsterdam was like almost your second home. It was. It's uh, you know, KLM is a big Sky Team partner, and Amsterdam is one of our huge hubs in Europe. So, lots of flights between the U.S. and Amsterdam on Delta. You didn't have a crash pad there, did you? No. Okay. No, they have a hotel for us there. It might as well be a crash pad. It's full of Delta crew every night. Okay, we have a super chat from AJ the Flyer sending us a $2 tip. Enjoying the planes from Sacramento. Always keeping us company. Thank you so much, AJ. It's not a day of plane spotting without okay, your so company. Looks like the jet blue starting up below us. The one flying to rally. Alright, we have a triple seven on the move. China cargo to Shanghai. 
Oh, that's a big flight, isn't it? Really big. That's 7,400 nautical miles. Uh, yes, GE90s. Uh, that was a good sale. Yeah, the freighters have the uh, GE90s. And it uh, looks like we have Japan Airlines coming in. Sure, this one's coming in from Tokyo Haneda. And yes, it is. Big flight. Uh, big flight, 777-300ER. This one also powered by the GE90s. That is nearly a 13-hour flight. And we have Speedbird, also powered by GE90s, about to line up now. It's the GE90 hour. Yeah. I'll take it. I love the GE90s. Speedbird, uh, Speedbird 174 flying to London's Heathrow. Let's see, I think we have uh, a plane flying above us. Oh, look at this. Could, it, could be the same flight that we saw last time yesterday. And if we're adding taxi on 2 yet, and I'm short of on the 2 right. Wow, look at that. That is... That's a United. United. Seven, a 767 aircraft. Seven. Oh, a 76. A 767-400. Nice. Let me give you the uh, flight number, yes? It's United Airlines 234 flying to Berlin, and it left Dulles, Washington, 32 minutes ago. Very cool. I think last time we saw the Air France from uh, from Texas. Houston. Yeah, yeah Houston. there you go. You guys have good memory. All right, there goes the Brits. British flies to London Heathrow. How far is the Emirates? Should be pretty close. Final. On final. Wow. It's just joining final right now. It's uh, Emirates flying in from Milan. Eight-hour flight. Uh, wonderful super. Well, looks like it's pretty sure it, it's going to be parking here. They have all the stuff set up for the cargo. I'm, I'm pretty positive that's going to be parking here. And listen, I, I think it's time that they uh, raise up the... Uh, yeah, I know. It's, it's the air bridge. They got to start doing that. We have Ito crossing the runway. The superior blue livery. I think, uh, what is this, like a special livery coming in? All right, let me take a look. This one is... Oh, this is the uh, newer, li uh, the the brand new livery, no? I don't know. The first mint livery. Looks very nice. No, oh, there's the super. All right, clear to land. It's going to be two two left. All right, so we have JetBlue 424 in the fresh mint delivery. This one is an LA flight flying in from Los Angeles. That's, oh, really? Yes, okay. That's an LA flight. Good for LA getting it. Who's taking off? Let's see, Caitlin. Uh, the one taking off, JetBlue 1903, an A3, uh, A321 flying to San Juan, Puerto Rico. I wonder if that's the one you were talking about. So yes, this is the newer, the newer JetBlue livery. 
And it looks like we're going to have some more quad jet action. We're going to have Cathay Pacific 3294 flying in from Anchorage. A 747-8 Cathay Pacific flying in from Anchorage. Very nice. I love the message. Are you ready? David says, I have thoroughly, uh, thoroughly enjoyed the past two days of watching your show from JFK. Great job. Listen, David, we're going to be here again on Friday. And listen, if we have the runways in front of us, the uh, runways 22 active, we'll be here the extra day on Saturday. All right, let's see. We're going to stay with KLM for, I think, the entire, I think until it rotates, because we do have the A380 on final. Yeah, we'll go to it once we see it. All right, after this one takes off, we'll go take a look at Super, at the Emirates Super. There, oh, there it is. is. Eighth ready. And listen, gate seven. I mean, it's open. Oh, there it is. They raised up the uh, air bridge. I can confirm they raised up the air bridge. And uh, the eighth ready is most certainly parking at gate seven. I have a question for you, Josh, if you have a moment. If you look down at gate Go seven, yep. at that information board that's uh, on the wall with all the info on it, you see what I'm looking at? Uh, yeah, the, the, the yellow? Yeah, can you zoom in on that and see what that says? That's this one right here? Yeah, uh, to the right of that one. Okay. Yeah, so there you go. So that is Emirates 205 from the lawn. Okay, so I was wondering if that would give a little bit of information as to who to expect to come into yeah, that Yeah, I game. know. That's kind of a big giveaway. <laughs> I, sorry if you didn't mean to give that away, but... No, no, I, I, that's that's good to know. I was curious. Listen, that's uh, really good to know. That's I had no idea that said what it says right now. <laughs> but remember, guys, we're a show of uh, show of suspense, and that's we have true. to that's build true. up the yeah. excitement. <laughs> uh, now know. I'm kind of curious, though. I'm kind of curious. <laughs> what does this say? Oh, that just says the Virgin Atlantic flight. That's I didn't know that. So yeah, that that confirms it. Very nice. Well, very cool. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I'm the suspense buster, everyone. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that A380 is definitely confirmed <laughs> it's for coming here. Seven. Yeah. No, but I mean, this, there was in suspense, I think. I mean, it's pretty obvious. They already have the air bridges set up. Yep. I it mean, was all coming together. That's, that was, an, that was a big giveaway, the air bridges. I mean, that's coming here. No suspense.
Uh, there is the Spanish coming into town. And we have Iberia 62-53 flying in from Madrid. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, go for it. And let's see, there goes that s that new uh, jet, blue, jet blue livery. Should reach, right? Yes. Okay, thank you. A defining moment. I like it. I don't like myself a good blue. I like oh, look at uh, the blue let's see. livery. Yes, we do have the American 737. But I think, what do you think? Let's stay with the uh, stay with the new livery. That's all right. We'll go to the to the 730. I mean, there still must be a, a very long line to arrive if they're if they're using both runways, and we have a few planes waiting to take off on 22 right. You see all the static comes back after uh, Kennedy uh, Steph leaves. Oh, wait, that's Kennedy Steph, is it? No, I don't think so. Alright, the big triple seven three hundred yard, that one flying in from London, from London's Heathrow. Thank you so much, John, sending us a ten dollar super chat. Those screens at gate seven are part of the safe dock system. If you watch the one ahead of the line, it was it will count down the pilot to the correct stopping position. Yes. Thank you so much, John. I'm sure Captain Ken is aware of that and uses that almost every... uses it every single time. <laughs> it's very helpful. All right, the Latam flying to uh, Sao Paulo in Brazil. Verlingus on the move. And a few more heavies behind this one. All right, let's see. We have Erlingus flying to. Okay, so this one, uh, this is the Manchester flight. Ah, nice. An okay. A330 to uh, correction, A330 uh, uh, 300 there. I was distracted by the membership that Captain Ken has just gifted the LA Flights House. What? Well, there goes the suspense. There goes the, <laughs> there goes the suspense. <laughs> and paying it forward. All right, who were the lucky viewers that were gifted wow. by Captain, Captain Ken? Captain Ken, give it up. Very nice. <laughs> All right, let's see. Yeah, listen, listen. Fill the chats with the Captain Ken emoji. Very nice. Ten <laughs> memberships being gifted ah, by nice. our co-host for today. All right, listen. 
I'm gonna try my best to pronounce every single. I, I, <laughs> it's so hard for me. Okay, how about this? How about you welcome in the viewers? Yes, it's go they, for it. They're uh, your viewers. All right, let's see. Take a look here. So, ten memberships gifted by Captain Ken. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is the first one. Adi, <laughs> gifted by uh, Captain Ken. Enjoy that membership, Adi. Let's see, Av Addict. Pretty easy. Max Farts. Well, <laughs> that's a good one. I like that one. All right, hold on, hold on. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> that seems like an appropriate gift from me. Uh, let's see. Hold on. What's your um, YouTube handle? Let's see, Captain uh, Ken. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Guys, right. let's show some support and uh, put a bit of a Captain Ken emoji. A very All nice right. move oh, Captain gotcha. Ken did. Oh, gotcha. All right. Valvinder Sandu. There you go. Inari Aurora. Dev Shaw. Wilbur Andrade. Um, let's see. Who else? UK Ryan. Pretty easy. I'll take that. Yeah. Fishline. And uh, Marcus Edricat. One more, Ellis. There you go. Hey, Ten nice. viewers. Thank you so You're much. You're welcome. Hey, paying it for very nice. Jen, Jen in Honolulu was the first one to give me a membership. Ah, so you're giving back. Paying it forward. Very nice. Do me a favor, everyone. Consider uh, consider subscribing after your month of free membership, and uh, spread the word. There you go, guys. Thank you, Captain Ken. Thank you, Jen, for originally yeah. gifting our co-host for today. Thank you, Jen. Just like yesterday, Emirates using the outboard engines. Never gets old. Very cool pilots there with the shades on. Yeah, there you go. Very cool pilots. <laughs> The plane spotters, uh, there's so many plane spotters right now here at the uh, Oh yeah, well this is the shot. Pool. This, is the, this is the selling point here. And right now looking just beautiful with the lighting. This is what you wait for. You know, I'm surprised, Captain Ken, that you're not looking in person. Captain Ken right now looking at the <laughs> video screen at what Joshua is filming. Usually, I, I, what Josh decides to film is almost as interesting <laughs> there as There you the, go. Yeah. Incredible lighting right now, my goodness. Too. Look at that. Yeah, not too bad. One of them. The other one is full of brake dust. <laughs> That's right. More. It's like a new, a new hub, wheel hub. Yeah. <laughs> wow, majestic plane, wonderful very, plane. Very, very nice. Oh, that's beautiful. You don't want, you don't want to go to uh, Emirates, Captain Ken? And uh, be an A380 pilot? Yeah. I'll pass. <laughs> Stay with Delta, right? Yeah. Number one. Yeah. Guys, are you ready? That'd be a long commute. <laughs> Edder, thank you so much. You are incredible. So right after Captain Ken gifted a uh, 10 membership wave, we have Edder in wonderful Brazil gifting 20. Edder, wow. Amazing memberships during this incredible New York edition. Edder has stolen the spotlight countless times. Let me get to the memberships you gifted, Edder, after this departure. Heading to Frankfurt. Wow, this one heading to Germany. Delta 106. And that's a 200. Yes, it is. That's a A330 200. Yes, it is. The uh, A330 200. the way to Frankfurt climbing at, so let's take a look, 26, 2600 feet per minute.
And thank you so much, Manny. Manny Bro was gifted by Edder just a few minutes ago. My goodness, this is going to be 20. Get ready. We have Kaz Liquid. We have Kalem. We have Scott Hall. We have Natasha. Xylem. We have Philip Wood. Remember the uh, Athletics. We have Trivial Ed. Jimbo. Tozy Woozy. We have, who else? Lance D. Atlanta. We have Craig Hopkins. We have Grumpy Grandpa. Cameron G. Tyler. Jay Hennon. We have Charles Osberg. My goodness, we have uh, Steve Dustin wow. Travel Food. It really puts it into perspective how many viewers, <laughs> right, was uh, were gifted by you know such an incredible individual. Thank you so much. Edder, you're awesome, man. I mean, it's it really does go a long way. All the support. I mean, when you name every single viewer, you really get the perspective. I mean, when Captain Ken was naming every single viewer, you really, it's yeah. 10 people. It's 10 incredible people uh, just get, uh, getting the membership. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for the incredible support during the <laughs> New York nice. edition. Hey, very nice. Hey. You want to give the camera a good wave? Uh, Josh, are you ready? You want to put the other uh, camera? Uh, you want to wave, guys? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, they said yes. Yeah, wonderful LA okay. Flash viewers. Uh, uh, the right, uh, wave guys, all right? <laughs> there they are. <laughs> what's, what's your names, guys? Nikki Casey, Jim Blue, and Delta. Oh, very nice. Ah, okay. very cool. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you. Hey. Yeah. And listen, are you ready? We have Doug gifting 10 memberships for the LA Flight Channel. Thank you so much, Doug. Incredible amount of membership. All right, listen. Hey, Doug, give me a give me a bit. Let's get the departure, and then I'll name every single viewer that you have just gifted. Thank you so much, Doug. Captain Ken, I think you should go uh, yeah. help out Josh with the camera, or I should help out with uh, <laughs> Maybe. the camera. Maybe. Look, 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 he's multitasking pretty nicely here. <laughs> I think he's got the rate of pan, like, yeah. memorized now. <laughs> oh, goodness. I should have activated the... Uh, look at that. <laughs> Showing off the talent. Yes. Headset in the mouth. <laughs> Hold on, listen, I'm going to... Uh, it's Oh, you take it, you take it out? He's figuring it out. You got a couple seconds. No, he's check, back. Check. He's oh, back. Jeez, Josh. Check, check. I was gonna put <laughs> the uh, I was gonna put the camera on you because that was like you were Josh. you were multitasking and you had the uh, the uh, oh, with one hand. Yeah, no, I could do this in my sleep. Really, I mean, especially with this camera, it's so easy. Let's see, we're gonna have the cargo doors open. So who are they? So it was Nick from JetBlue? Yes. And Nick and uh, Casey, I think. Casey of Delta. I have horrible memory. Yeah. That's what I heard. Nick and Casey. Shout uh, Nick was gonna be departing on Friday, but I was at uh, 9.30. So it's we a might too be early. Either. No, but 9.30, that's a little too early, I oh, think. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought you said 9 p.m. No, a.m., yes, yeah, I know. Thank you so much, Luke. Uh, how about the? Uh, how about uh, Casey though? Maybe uh, we'll. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I think that was his daughter, and she she said like, "Oh, don't you depart on Friday?" And uh, yeah, I just only know about Nick's departure. Okay. Thank you so much, Luke. Sending us a two-pound super chat. Hey guys, I'm at work on a 12-hour night shift. My goodness. Listen, we're on a 12-hour uh, afternoon shift here at the LA Flights Channel. I hope you enjoy the planes, my friend. Welcome to New York. Welcome to the LA Flights New York edition here at the LA Flight Channel. Listen, we have a few super chats to get to. We have, uh, Doug, let me name every single viewer that you gifted. We have Brent. We have Brad. Ante. My goodness. That's such a butchering of your name. I'm sorry, my friend. Sarah, there you go. Oh, hold on a minute. I thought you were uh, gifted by uh, Doug there. Sarah talking about the Lufthansa double decker is fascinating. Absolutely, Sarah. Thank you for watching LA Flights Live. 
Uh, how about this? Let's try and gift Sarah the membership because I listen. I thought Sarah was gifted. I put her message up. Come on, everybody. Let's try and gift Sarah, who uh, thinks the Lufthansa double decker is fascinating. A membership here at the LA Flights Channel. Who else? We have modified bear gifted. We have Alan Schneider. We have Jeremy Hood. Uh, let's see. We have Belvedere. We have Nor Norolus gifted by Doug and Dumin. Uh, Jerebic, yes. Traveling Charlie, gifted by Doug just a few moments ago. Thank you, Doug. I appreciate that. Uh, let's see. We have Bruce Reed gifting, uh, sorry, not gifted, celebrating a 10-month milestone. JFK is always a blast. TWA Hotel is the best place for spotting. Very nice, Bruce. Thank you so much, friend. 10 months of channel membership. We have Presto Nautic becoming a channel member. You, my friend, a member in the Red Plane Squadron. We thank you so much for rejoining. Who do we have? We have Reese, Reese Tricks, $20 Super Chat. My first ever flight on a Beeman Bangladesh DC-10 from JFK to Dhaka, Bangladesh. I miss those old birds. Sadly, we only see the uh, D the MD-11 with FedEx and other uh, freighters, uh, freighter companies. Austrian coming in from Vienna. Seven sixty, seven three hundred, eight hours, twenty-seven minutes of flight time. We have Nigel. Thank you so much. Great show. First time watching. I hope you're still watching, friend. I'm sorry for putting up your message so late. Thank you for watching LA Flights with Peter and Joshua with Captain Ken sitting in the jump seat for today's episode. Thank you, Nigel. Welcome to the family, my friend. Got a pilot cam there with the Delta connection. Oh, look at this, guys. Get ready. Okay, we're trying to give Sarah a membership. My goodness. Uh, Sarah coming out of nowhere. But listen, I put her message on the screen by mistake, right? Thinking that she was gifted. Uh, talking about the Lufthansa double-decker. And I said, hey, listen, let's try and gift Sarah. All right. Edder, my friend, dude, you are, let's see, you gifted 10 memberships just a few moments ago. Wow, Edder. There you go. Sarah says, OMG, thank you so much, Sarah. Listen, that's how we do it here at the LA Flight Channel. I'm sure the uh, one of the incredible viewers will gift you. So we have Edder, yes? Ten. Dan gifted. We have Flex, Mateo, Jake, Rob, Zen. Hey, Nigel. Gifted a membership. Very nice. First time viewer. At Mark, Carol Hansen, Pro Horizon, Trevor. Thank you, Adder, for trying, my friend. Sarah got it. She got the membership. Oh, did she? She did. Peter Masatani. Oh. Oh. There you go. You know, hold on. I got to clarify something. What's up? The viewers, I'm sure you guys saw that. The first officer gave a peace sign. He wasn't talking to us, he was talking to the ground crew. I got a little surprised. I thought he was showing it to us, Come but on, he was Josh. talking to the ground you crew. You have to say that these pilots are saying <laughs> no, hi no, to that us. Was, that was not for us. Come on. <laughs> I'm Lambo. sure everyone's going to say, oh, they, he gave us a peace sign. Yeah, but say it. Come on, Josh. No, that was that was a little too obvious. He was Lam obviously talking to the ground crew. Lambo, YT gifting one membership to the channel. We have Kate Greaves gifted by Lambo. And Grumpy Forrester as well trying his best gifting one membership to the channel. Thank you, Grumpy Forrester. Let's see, uh, Kathy Pacific 747 kind of flying under the radar here. Coming out of nowhere. There's so much action happening. Forget about it, Joshua. 747-8, incredible landing. Very nice to see the Queen of the Skies, especially the Dash 8 variant. I think we're going to go to the Virgin Atlantic now on the uh, takeoff roll. Flying where? Flying to London's Heathrow.
All right, there she goes, flying all the way to London. We have another heavy surprise, surprise. In fact, two of them. We have one arriving and one departing. We have Ethiopian. I think I know which one I want to be going for. A nine hour, 26 minute flight. We never get to see Ethiopian, but we're seeing it right now during day two of the New York City edition uh, here at the LA Flights Channel. 787-9, nine hour, 26 minute flights. And we do have the Delta Delta Airlines A330 getting a move on on the takeoff roll as we speak, flying to Rome. But like I said, like Joshua said, we stay with the Ethiopian. Now we're going to see the Delta over there. There it is. Two for one special. There we go. Nice. Next to land, Lufthansa 404 from Frankfurt, the A340-300. This is the uh, the famous hair dryer variant, is that correct? Four hair dryers, yeah, yep, gotcha. you got it. All right, I'm gonna take a look. Look at all the action, by the way. We have an uh, Etihad parked. We have Delta Heavy, Austrian Heavy, 747. And we still haven't had a chance to go take a look at Emirates as they unload all the cargo. That's Thank always you. one of the best things to do here. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Teresa Walsh also gifting one membership during the, uh, uh, while we were trying to gift Sarah. Thank you, Teresa. Thank you so much. Deontay likely gifted by Teresa Walsh only a few minutes ago. We have a 7-6 on the takeoff roll. Two for one special. We'll take it any day of the week. Another LA flight. Hey, very nice. nice. It's an LA flight. Up to flight 429. Okay, we have Peter Masatani. Let me get to the memberships because I think Captain Ken spoiled the surprise. <laughs> Which surprise? Hey, at least I'm consistent. Uh, Peter, thank you so much. Gifting Skystar 767, gifting Orlando Spotters. We have the Borg gifted. We have Elizabeth G. Who else? We have Jim, Pumpkin, Timothy, Kaipo, Jonathan. Gifted by Peter Masatani. We're missing one. This is the special viewer gifted by Peter today. Thank you, Sarah. Listen, welcome to the LA Flights family, the family of crazy AF geeks that travel across the country for the planes. Good vibes to you, Sarah. Thank you for joining LA Flights. And thank you to the viewers who tried their best to gift Sarah a membership. Thank you, guys. You guys are amazing. Something fell here. The best. What oh. was that? What was that that fell? Something fell there. Look at that. It fell off that pink bag. Doesn't it look like a baby bottle or something? Baggage drama continues here at what the LA Flights that? Channel. Yeah, I have no idea. I have no idea what fell. I think that I think that looked like a baby uh, uh, baby bottle. Maybe. Is that a stroller? Or uh, was Joshua, it? No, Joshua. No, no, it was a piece. It was a bag. It was a pink bag. Look at that, something fell. Could have been trash. Yeah, something Yeah, something fell off of that as he pulled it off the uh, huh. Tank Canadian Super Chat gifted by uh, YWG Flyer. Uh, 10 Canadian Super Chat, I appreciate that. You should come up to uh, Toronto soon, guys. 
No. Oh, let's see a few bags being dropped. That's there, all right. That wasn't a big drop. That, that was wasn't nothing. a big drop. That was nothing. Thank you so much, W uh, YWG Flyer, letting us know about the uh, uh, the Toronto requests. I appreciate that. Thank you so much, my friend. Is this fun? Oh yeah, absolutely. Have we watched this baggage drama here at the LA. But the thing is, we got such a rare airline That's arriving. That's the thing. We need two cameras. All right, we let's need see. A Bruce cam. You know, Josh. <laughs> yeah. I think a shot at Captain Ken there. We need J Captain uh, Ken. No, no, Captain Ken is good as he is. I <laughs> mean, that's... <laughs> we need I Captain Ken to... manning a camera. I don't know. Can I train the uh, second camera on the on the baggage drama? Yeah, Bruce Campbell says, yeah, that was a uh, baby bottle. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Welcome Royal Air Maroc to JFK from Casablanca. You know, that's pretty bad, isn't it? I mean, well, I mean, I've got, there's worse things that could fly, uh, fall down, right? But there's going to be someone that's deboarding the plane that's going to try and feed, you yeah. know, their, their, their baby. And yeah. they're not going to find the baby bottle, you know? Listen. Well, I mean, the, I, you can take a look at, uh, you, can, you can see it like this. I mean, it should have been securely stowed in the bag. I mean, I don't want to... There's two sides at looking at that. I mean, the airport worker, he's working really hard. I mean, I don't think he's going to notice something that fell. I agree with you. Surely on a flight as long as that, they've got a bottle up in the airplane with them, not down in the cargo hold. And thank you, Kevin, sending us a $2 super chat. Kevin Leah, am I pronouncing that name correctly? Nice feed. I appreciate that. Welcome to the LA Flies channel, my friend. And let's see, we have Stephen Lewis. Stephen, let me put your memberships up on the screen. Stephen Lewis gifting five memberships to the house of the One More Plane. Thank you so much, Stephen. I appreciate that. A member in the Blue Plane Squadron. Thank you, Stephen. Tim, gifted. We have Alex. We have uh, DJI, gifted. Ella St. John. Thank you so much for joining the membership family. We have Sab uh, Sabira, gifted by Stephen. Very nice. Five memberships being gifted. And Bruce McAbee with a $5 super chat. Captain Ken, what destination or destinations would you like to fly to that Delta don't fly to? Oh, ah. Let me think about that one. That's right. a good one. Captain That's Ken's, a good one. Captain Ken's going to think about it, and let's stick to the... Uh, or let's witness the uh, departure. We'll focus on that. I'm actually... What destination? That's actually a pretty good question. I think it would have to be some sort of a tropical yeah. island destination. Maybe like a... Um, a Fiji or... Although I think Tahiti? We, yeah, Tahiti? something like that, yeah, right? for sure. Maybe Antarctica. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I think that would be fun. I would enjoy that adventure. And that one flying to Istanbul. How about Istanbul? No, I mean, does Delta fly to a Turkey? They do not. But I've I've been. Uh, that would be on my list. That's a good one. They used to fly to Dubai when I first got hired. Really? What plane? That must uh, have meant triple seven, right? I think it was the triple seven. And then they even picked up uh, some Mumbai service for a little while. I think uh, COVID-19 shut that down. We're asking you, like, if you're, uh, you know, a direct representative of the airline, but what do you think? Any uh, possibility of those routes being restored? Always a possibility. Always, right? Sure. All these airlines underestimating the demand after the, uh, uh, after the pandemic. Seem to be playing catch up. Right? Yeah. I think everyone is doing that. I would say, uh, not a, obviously not a direct representative of the airline, but I think that our network department does a fantastic job of whatever they do to analyze demand for routes and getting us on, on routes that are good for the yeah. company and good for the travel industry.
and Stephen Lewis. Uh, Stephen Lewis, thank you one more time. You're welcome, LA Flights. We'll see you next week. Hmm. Uh, will we have company, Stephen? Thank you so much. Or are you talking about just the you know the normal LAX shows? I appreciate that. Thank you so much, Stephen. Thanks, Stephen. And hey, hopefully see you soon. Okay, the Royal Air Maroc crossing runway 25 right in uh, just a few. I think it's holding short of the runway. And we have the Swiss lining up. It's never ending depart, never ending heavies All here right. at JFK. Let's go take a look at that Swiss. Oh, I thought we ended, uh, I thought we were supposed to end with the Lufthansa A380. Oh, yeah. And that departed like an hour ago. That's true. <laughs> so I guess we're in overtime. Unknowingly, I forgot. Guys, do you want to go into nighttime plane spotting? I'll ask you right now because, I mean, we were kind of technically supposed to end the show. Do you want LA flights to go into nighttime plane spotting again? This will be the second, the back-to-back -back day of 11 plus hours live streaming. Give us a big yes, give us a big no. What do you think? Nighttime plane spotting. You know, I went to go check my phone for the time, and it's almost 8. It's almost 8, is I it? I can't even believe that. It's been a really smooth operation today here, JP. It has. I mean, we haven't seen any crazy yep. traffic jams. Well, you know, in the morning and uh, yes. noon time, it was pretty bad. There was a whole bunch of traffic everywhere. But they got on top of it really, uh, really efficiently. Yeah. And they didn't get out of hand like yesterday. But yesterday, you know, there were thunderstorms, uh, not only here at JFK, but in the surrounding areas that gave a little bit of an issue. Uh, let's see a few Super Chats coming in, guys. Let me know, do you want to stay for nighttime plane spotting? Do you want us to stay until they kick us out? A little bit of, uh, let's see. Boat spotting. <laughs> the, uh, what's that harbor called, Josh? Um, oh, I forgot. Jeez. It's in Miami. Right? No, 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 the, 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 uh, the water. Oh, Jamaica Bay. Okay. Jamaica Bay. I thought you were talking about... Uh, so it's the Jamaica Bay Hallover. Hallover, that's what I'm talking about. There you yeah, go. Yeah, the Hallover. <laughs> Jamaica Bay Hallover. Thank you so much, Dolores. $10 Super Chat. Thanks for supporting the workers at the airport. They work so hard in all types of weather and heavy smoke. You know, talking about that, you know, I just, I remember the, uh, uh, let's see, I remember the Christmas special when it was negative, who cares, right? And we were seeing all these uh, hard working individuals just out there braving the elements. Yeah, ice that cold. was a sight to see, really. Ice cold. A uh, hard working group of people, listen, if you think you could do it better, go and try it. <laughs> I only lasted three hours, and I was, you know, we were hun huddled up like, uh, like Darth Peter and yeah, and that's <laughs> and listen, and that's the live Josh show, right? Skywalker. <laughs> that's that's the live show. But these, you know, individuals are heavy lifting. They're crawling into tight, uh, tight areas of the plane, and listen, a lot of strength being used, a lot of energy. Yeah. No, that's that's true. That we were was just impressive. Listen, we were just standing up and filming planes uh, during the Christmas special, but. These people, the uh, hardworking individuals here at not only this airport, but every airport you go to, braving the elements. It's often a thankless job, so. Absolutely, listen, if you think, I'll say it again, you know, I don't want to be rude by this, but if you think you could do a better job, go and try. I mean, it's, it's difficult work and I couldn't do it. An argument there, I mean. I couldn't do it, guys. That's, you're completely right. And what Captain, uh, Captain Ketch said is absolutely right. You know, it's often a majority of the time a thankless job. Thank you so much, Mark. Are you ready? Uh, $2 tip coming in. QF4 should be taxing for takeoff. Can't wait to see the Australian nice. Dreamliner. Can't wait for that. We have TikTok to me toy. Yes, five dollar. Hopefully that was like a cuss word or something. Awesome show as always, brothers and Captain Ken. Thank you. Thank you so much, friend. And here's the message of Sarah thanking Peter 
Masatani after being gifted a membership. Thank you, Sarah, for joining. Thank you, Peter. And thank you, all those who tried and gift Sarah <laughs> a membership. It was Grumpy Forrester. It was Teresa Walsh. It was Peter who got the, uh, who gave the membership to Sarah. And, of course, Edder in Brazil. Delta 262 off to Paris. You know, I didn't see enough uh, nighttime plane spotting or overtime emojis being used in the chat. I think the viewers... Oh, really? Let's go and get some pasta. <laughs> yeah, listen, I think the viewers <laughs> don't want us to do the show anymore. I think they want. I think they said it's enough. Passing eight hours live. How about this, guys? Let's cross 6,000 likes before 8 p.m. It's going to be very hard, but listen, if you want us to stay for nighttime plane spotting, it only it only costs you a like, which is free. So it's 0 0.90, it's a 0, 0.0. That's how much it costs for us to go to a nighttime plane spotting. Hit the like if you haven't done so. Only once, of course, only once per account. 6,000 likes before 8 p.m. and we will stay for nighttime plane spotting. It's up to you. Go for it. We need 400, 406 more likes. Yeah, you know what? I want to see the I want to see the chat go crazy. Yeah, come I on, mean, everybody. We're gonna go. Hit if the, hit if the, you guys yeah. are gonna go crazy, we're gonna go crazy too. <laughs> hit the like. <laughs> send a lot of emojis in the chats. Come on, guys. Give us a good incentive to stay a little longer. We have Patrick. Keep in mind, this is the second day of you know possibly 10 hour plus live shows. Yesterday was like 10, 11 hours. More. More than that, right? <laughs> Eleven something. Patrick, ten dollars super chat. You say, uh, you say that you couldn't do it yet. Yesterday you worked through the storm, packed up, and then reset and started again. So you guys are pretty super yourselves. Patrick, I appreciate that. Thank you for Thank the kind you. words, my friend. I just want all the attention to be here at the uh, uh, for the hardworking individuals at the uh, in the ramp. The thankless workers who don't get a who don't get a shout out. Thank you, Patrick. Good vibes, my friend. I appreciate that. this I'm gonna deactivate the uh, slow mode a very nice sounding CRJ I hear it. parking next to us absolutely I hear it good sound oh big 737 did I say big? A really nice 737 falling through I think it was the sound that fooled you. Yeah, right. Very loud. <laughs> Coming out of it, I was like, whoa, what's that, was that sound? It was very loud. I'll give you that. Delta 547 flying to Portland. Long flight ahead. And thank you, Grumpy Forrest, or a $2 super chat for the Peter and Josh Gummy Fair <laughs> Nighttime <laughs> Fund. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Thank you so much, Grumpy Forrest. We have John uh, Dean, uh, $3 super sticker coming in. I appreciate that. Thank you, uh, John. And we have Harry, two euro tip. Big fan of your work from Greece. Keep it up. Thank nice. you, Harry. Thank you. Now we have a couple of 767s heading to the runway for departure. That one was a 400, 760-400. This one, the 300. That's what we have. Steve celebrating two months of channel membership. New York is the city that never sleeps. Great work. Thank you, Steve. And I love the American 777 on your YouTube profile account. That's a plane that we certainly see here at the LA Flights Channel. 
We have Travis, a $5 Super Chat. Captain Ken, any chance of Delta adding additional heavies to their fleet? Bring back the 777, possibly acquiring the A380 and the 787 Dreamliner. That's uh, uh, Travis asking that question. That, that would be a great idea as far as I'm concerned, but uh, no, I think... Uh, Which one, for the A380? Uh, 380, how about that? Yeah, right. I mean, Imagine I've that. <laughs> somebody's come up with a picture of a 380 in Delta livery, and I tell you what, it doesn't look too bad. I don't, I don't see that happening. Uh, you know, uh, maybe a, an upcoming announcement soon on additional A350s, maybe even some uh, 330 Neos. That's about all I've heard in the rumor mill. I'll uh, take it, right? 787 would be an exciting announcement. You can't c put a good word in for the A380, uh, Captain Ken? Just show my badge, right? Yeah, and say, you know, it's going to be really good for I'll, the show. I'll walk right into Toulouse, France and say, hey, I'm here with... <laughs> I'd like to take five. <laughs> Put it on the... That's right. Throw it on the company <laughs> on card. The president's tab. <laughs> you guys need to start a Delta A380 fund. Don't, don't. <laughs> Just put it at the uh, yeah. uh, Captain Ken's corporate card. That's right. Thank you, Travis. We have Tony K sending a $5 super chat. Uh, Ken's favorite air museum and favorite plane from that museum. Oh gosh, I like them all. Um, and Tony K says mine was the uh, uh, the Pima Air and Space Museum and the Bumblebee. Do you know about that uh, museum? I don't know the Bumblebee. Is that the nickname of a plane at Pima? I've been to Pima. Uh, really good B-52 on display there. The uh, Bumblebee, yeah, I don't know. You know, I think my favorite, in, you know, uh, Airplane, uh, maybe the space shuttle in the Kennedy Space Center, the Atlantis. The way they've got that thing on display uh, and the way they present it, that's that's a memorable experience right there. Um, that and then uh, obviously the uh, the Udvar Hazy Center outside of Dulles with the um, Enola Gay. It's a very historic airplane. Wow, the that's nice. Where's the uh, Enola Gay? Enola Gay is in the Udvar Hazy Center of the Smithsonian Institution, just uh, on oh, the okay. co located nice. with the uh, Washington Dulles Airport. Wow. Yeah. I got to get over there. And the U.S. Air Force Museum in Dayton has the other B-29, uh, the uh, boxcar. So, okay, yeah. very nice. Yeah. Have you ever been to the uh, uh, Boeing Museum in Seattle? I have not. No. It is such an amazing place. I've been there once, and listen, I recommend There's like a little simulator that, that's there. Okay. And, you know, you can, uh, uh, you know, pretend like you're a fighter jet, and, and it's a, a full motion simulator. Oh, My goodness. Awesome. Let's see, guys. I have bad news. Oh, oh no. no. Qantas, Qantas looks like it's heading to 3-1. Come on. Now look at that. 3-1 left. Oh, what's the latest? Uh, let's see the most current ATIS here at JFK. We still have every, listen, we, Everything's the, um, going to 2-2, two, two, right? Yeah. So That's I mean, still active. Yeah. I don't know. What? Look at Qantas. Yeah, not cooperating with us. Thank you, Demetrius, sending us a five euro tip. Hello, guys, from Athens, Greece. I'm waiting for your merch so impatiently. What about some vacation spotting in Athens someday? Hey, Demetrius, you listen. Who knows, my friend? Uh, let's see. We got to hit the lottery, though, to, hit, to go to Greece. Are you ready? Uh, thank you, Jen. Let me take a look at Captain Lyle's membership message. Thank you, Jen. I appreciate you so much. Uh, let me put it up. Lyle, by the way, using a whole bunch of nighttime plane spotting. Look at this. Captain Lyle wants us to stay until they kick us out. By the way, Lyle, wow, you have been watching, I think, the entire show today. <laughs> I'm trying to look for your membership message, my goodness, but you have like a thousand messages, which I love, by the way. I absolutely love. Captain Lyle, six months of channel membership. I know a Kennedy, I know a Kennedy controller. We can exchange nice. numbers. Look at that, Captain Lyle, that's amazing. We're trying to get Kennedy Steph uh, before we head out back to Los Angeles. Listen, Captain Lyle, I'm so sorry for putting up this message up so late. Six months, welcome to the Red Plane Squadron here at the LA Flights Channel. Six months means that you are in the Red Plane. 
All right, we have a JetBlue leaving 2 to right, and right behind it, we have the 767-400. What's Quanas doing? Um, what do you think, Captain Ken? I think that's... Uh possible 3-1 left departure. I think it might be a full length 3-1 left and if it is it's going to be due to their request. Wow that means it's fully loaded. Talk about a heavy Dreamliner. That means it's fully fueled, uh, full flight. I'm sure that's why. Yeah 14,500 foot runway versus a 12,000 foot. I mean they probably need a lot of roll for that length of a flight with that large of a load on board. Geez look at that. Winds are 210 at nine knots, so they're going to have a nine knot crosswind. There's Delta One going to London Heathrow. Ah, nice. London, Delta there we go. One. Delta One, that's a good flight number. Jamaica Bay in the background. Yeah, there you go. And let's see, according to Christopher, Quanta's just committed to... Uh... Huh. Well, let's see, I'm not going to put that message up because I can't confirm it happened. Uh, let's see, we have... Let's take a look. I'm going to put your message up. Cheshire Cats, 1960... Uh, 1956 to put your message up on the screen right now. 10 months of channel membership. I'm s listen, uh, uh, I'm sorry to you uh, for putting up this message so late. Today is my 10 month anniversary here at the channel. Thank you so much, Cheshire Cat 1956. Put this message up hours ago. I am sorry for putting up so late. Listen, if I miss your message for whatever reason, whether it's a uh, super chat, super sticker, membership message. If I miss it for whatever reason, send me a friendly reminder and I will take a look at it and I will put it up in the screen ASAP. Oh, let's see, 6,000 likes. Hey, listen, okay, I forgot to push the uh, challenge, right? Um, so I will extend it by just a bit. We were supposed to cross 6,000 likes before 8 p.m. So right now it's 8.04, but that's because I forgot to push it. So I'm going to extend it by just a few minutes. We have to cross 6,000 likes or else I think we're going to call it a day, right? <laughs> okay, pretty sure. Good, pretty good incentive, right? I mean, all you have to pay is 0.0. .0. Completely free. A like is completely free. Only one per account, of course. Only one like per account. If you click on it twice, it gets removed. You're going to have to click on it the third time to reinstate the like. 6,000 before, let's see, maybe, I don't know, just a few minutes. We were supposed to cross 6,000 before 8 p.m. All right, let's see. Thank you so much. Let's see. We have John Dean sending the a $2 super sticker. I appreciate that. Thank you, John. And Cathay Pacific 840 flying in from Hong Kong. 16-hour flight for that. Crossing 5,900. Let's see. 100 to go. And I like it. Cathay Pacific slowing down on uh, 22 left. We have Sam Bryan sending a five Aussie super chat. Hello from Adelaide in South Australia. You know, we have a wonderful viewer, Marianne, in Adelaide. I wonder if she's watching right now. We love the uh, Australian viewers here, my friend. Thank you, Sam, for joining LA Flash Live. We have Tony K. The Bumblebee is the smallest piloted aircraft with a wingspan of six feet, six inches and it was painted black and yellow like a bumblebee. I think I've seen it in several pictures, Tony. Thank you so much. So that one, that is the bumblebee. Okay. No, I don't think I've seen that one. Either have I. I've never seen that before. I think I've seen a few pictures of it. 
Thank you so much, Daniel, sending us a five dollar super chat. You should come to uh, Plain Spot in Dallas and come by, and come to the Udvar Hazy to see the Concorde, Blackbird, Discovery, and other awesome aircraft. Thank you so much, Daniel. We'll certainly think about it. Thank you so much for the advice there, my friend. You know where has the uh, who has the Blackbird? I'm pretty sure the Boeing. Uh, Museum has the Blackbird, so that's pretty cool. You know who else has it? I think March Air Force Base, the uh, museum there has the Blackbird as well. So that's pretty cool. The March Air Force Base in um, about an hour, 30 minutes, two hours away from LAX. Paul Williams, hot dog super sticker. My goodness, we're thinking about dinner already, right? I've been thinking about it since yesterday, 8 p.m., 24 hours ago. <laughs> Paul Williams. We have I-1009G sending a $5 tip. I wanted to go to the TWA Hotel to Plains, but and I was told I have to pay $50 for an hour. How did you guys get access? Well, we know. Yeah, we have special permission. We have special permission, yeah. my friend. I am so sorry you couldn't make it out here. And Paul Willen, this is the second hot dog super sticker. Oh, don't even say hot dog. Don't talk about food. <laughs> Kevin Bradley, you're amazing. Ten memberships being gifted to the house nice. of the one. Kevin, wow. Kevin Bradley, ten, ten memberships. Members. You're awesome, man. And this is John's super sticker coming in. I appreciate that. Thank you, John. A little bit more on the uh, memberships. Thank you, Kevin. Kevin Bradley, growing this house by 10 viewers. That's so many members today. So many new members. Love to see it. And Sam Ryan with an additional tip. Hey, keep it up, Super Zika. Thank you so much, uh, Sam Ryan. Thank you so much, Owen. Hey, how are you, man? Uh, good morning from Sydney. Enjoying the stream. Hey, listen, let me know where you're watching from. Let me know oh, where you fun. are watching LA flights from right now, and I'll put your message on the screen. I'll do my absolute best to put everyone's message. Owen in Sydney. Very nice. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see. Alicia, my goodness, did I miss your message? Thank you, Jen, my goodness. Listen, Jen should be out here with the uh, computer here and being the co-host <laughs> and putting out, helping, me, helping me put the messages on the screen because it looks like I'm missing a few. Alicia, here you are. I'm so sorry, Alicia. Captain Ken, like your first time, it's been, a, it's been such a pleasure the past two days with you. You fit right in with the awesome LA Flights Brothers. Safe travels later. You're all fun, engaging, and informative. Except if I forget to put up the message on the screen. <laughs> or Thank if you, I Alicia. spoil stuff. Maybe I'm a little too informative. Thank you, Alicia. Thank you so much, Alicia. Please, uh, you are one of the uh, incredible supporters here at the channel. I apologize for putting your message on the screen so late. Jen, I'm telling you, you should be out here. Come on, co-host the LA Flights channel already. And TV Span, uh, Spang, yes? My goodness. The place you're filming uh, you're, the place you're filming from has wicked cheesecake sang uh, cheesesteak sandwiches. Take turns and have dinner. Look after yourselves. We're here in, in, in the hotel? I think I saw some uh, steak being delivered yesterday for cheesesteaks while we were uh, hiding from the rain. Really? Yeah. I didn't see it. I had no idea. That's guys very are, good. You, that's how focused you guys are. John, are you ready? Let's get the environment. Are you ready? Look at the <laughs> plane spotters. Selfies with the planes. I love that. We should have told it to give a good wave. It, it's, I love seeing the environment. I mean, I think that's a good idea, right? The, uh, the, 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 the ambiance of uh, aviation oh. here at the uh, TWA Hotel. Oh, for sure. All right, we have the Polish Dreamliner 787 flying in from Warsaw, eight-hour flight. All right, the 
Polish have arrived. Thank you so much, Alex. Alex V sending a $5 gift. Hello from Austin, Texas. I wanted to share. I saw Super Gumpy a couple of times landing at, I know the uh, Super Gumpy there, but the airport code is, oh, in El Paso, Ke uh, Kilo uh, Echo Lima Papa. Yep. El Paso, Texas. You see, I'm, I, I could be a plane spotter. Look at this. I, yeah. I, your your airport code recognition is coming along quite nice. <laughs> uh, Alex, cheers, my friend. Oh, there, the message says El Paso. There you go. All right, Alex. I think I have a model of the super uh, company there. Thank you so much, Patrick. Uh, find all the gift. Thank you, Peter and Joshua from Santa Barbara. And Patrick getting the golden plane squadron uh, plane just a few, uh, just a short time ago, right, Patrick? Welcome to the Golden Plane Club, my friend. And we have BJ DLT in New York. $5 Super Jack, keep up the great work. We'll be at the TWA Hotel on Saturday. Hope to see you. Listen, if we have the, wi the winds in our favor and we have the energy, because right now I'm kind of, you know, <laughs> done for, Captain Ken. That's a big factor, if we have the energy. Uh, listen, if we have the energy right now, uh, on Saturday, we are, we're going to push it, and we'll bring the... We have to have the wind in our favor, and, of course, we have to have the energy. I think tomorrow is essential. You guys, it's a, what, a, a day between shows? Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, though, we're going to be busy tomorrow. Well, I we're know gonna you're going to be busy, <laughs> but you're going to have to find a way to get some food in. <laughs> rest for these guys they don't allow themselves to rest there you go no i mean how i mean if if joshua takes a break captain ken i mean what are we gonna do i mean are we gonna look at 10 minutes at the uh, jet and, blue rudder you so. know <laughs> okay sure you know if i take a rest but if, if peter singing. takes a rest then it's gonna be quiet you know he's the host right? hey, don't, don't don't ask that because i'm pretty sure a lot of people are gonna say listen peter take a rest <laughs> forget about it <laughs> is, is that what needs to happen <laughs> no i don't think so <laughs> no uh let's see thank oh my goodness who is um let's see we ha oh look at this josh was zooming in high up uh that's uh who is that american that's American. Let's see. Don't. Uh, let's see. We have American 204 flying. Let's see. Departed of Philadelphia 15 minutes ago. Flying to Amsterdam. Wow. Arriving nice. in six hours 22 minutes. Looks like they're still climbing out. And we have Benjamin Sumner celebrating three months of channel membership. This has been the best live stream on the <laughs> internet. Thank you so much. Thank I love you. Reading comments like that is like a shot of uh, caffeine. Are you ready? Yeah, Thank you, Benjamin. It really is. <laughs> look, we've got one on final here that was diverting to New York. Ah, look oh, at this. Really? Let's take a look. From uh, destination supposed to be Newark. So interesting the, that yeah. they diverted to JFK. The cargo jet flying. Okay, so it departed Bermuda two hours ago, and it was supposed was supposed to arrive at Newark, diverting to JFK. Good to see the uh, Atari, even though Captain Ken's never heard of it, the Atari Ferrari <laughs> in front of us. That'll be my ride tonight. We have Adam Quinn, $2 Super Chat, 50, uh, let's see, two drinks per hour. Let's see, okay, so it's exclusive here. So you do have to pay a $50, uh, hour, uh, $50 a uh, pass to enter the uh, TW Not Hotel. Not unless you're staying here. Not unless you're staying here, right? So you, if you're staying here, you can just go up. Ah, uh, listen, okay, so yeah, big correction there. Okay, so Adam, if you are a guest here at the hotel, you don't have to pay, that's waived. But listen, I mean, if that wasn't here, this pool will be full of plane spotters and not having any room for the, for the guests true. Yeah, to enjoy. Yeah, that's 100% right. I mean, it so, is a very exclusive area, but... Absolutely, so... You know, it's, it's, I think it's worth it. It's absolutely. Beautiful. Hey, listen, for a day of plane spotting, you get to have the visuals from one of the, I think, the best, one of the best locations in the entire world, and all you have to do is 50 bucks. I mean, I'll take it any day of the week. But listen, if it's not your cup of tea, I mean, you can always go wherever you want, right? 
Look ahead, though, and see if they've got the pool back uh, working again, because that will make it even more worth it. Absolutely. So right now the pool isn't working, but listen, they're going to get that pool up and running in the next few days, so no need to worry about that. But of course, if you want to be in the pool, you have to call ahead to make sure it is working. Shasad Dallas, Washington. Welcome to First Class. Thank you so much for joining the memberships, my friend. And your first ever tip here at the LA Fly Channel, we have Wanda, Wanda Christine. Hello from Tampa, Florida. Very nice. I've been there once. Keep up the good work. A beautiful area there, Wanda. Thank you so much. And welcome to the LA Flies channel. Look at this, Derek, I love this. TWA Hotel, very high on my list. Nice. We love hearing that. We're trying, you know, listen, it's not like if uh, the TWA Hotel needs it, right? Because everyone knows about this magnificent place, but we're trying to get as many, as, as many people as, as we can to come out here and enjoy the experience that we are experiencing right now. Speedbird coming into land on 2-2 two, two left. MCO spotters, very nice. Five dollar tip coming in. LA Flash, you should come to Orlando sometime. I've been there a few times actually. Uh, very nice place there, my friend. MCO spotters. Also, thanks to Darren for the membership. Keep up the good work. Thanks so much, Darren. Are you ready? And MCO spotters. I've been there a few times. Very nice. Taylor, a.k.a. The Boss, welcome back to the channel. 11 months of channel membership. I know it's been a while, but hello, Peter, Joshua, Captain Ken. I know you're all well. Thanks for great streams. They're much appreciated. Thank you, Taylor. Nice to have you back with us. And Dolores Thomas, $10 Super Chat. Captain Ken, tracking your flights already. They say you're leaving two minutes earlier. How do they know? I guess they know I'm the captain. Ah, <laughs> there you go. Uh, let's see, you should have been the pilot of uh, Delta 575, the one that we missed, right? <laughs> I would have loved to have been that pilot. A 13-hour delay, my goodness. Captain uh, Captain Ken would have been here earlier, right? Although I would, have been, I would have been frustrated when I looked in the back of the airplane and didn't see you guys there. <laughs> yeah, right? What do you mean we, they missed the check-in by seven minutes? We missed the check-in by seven <laughs> minutes, my goodness. So if you were there, it would have been like uh, a little bit of a <laughs> I would have opened the door back up. Put them on. Listen. And then none of us would have got here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so question. You can't do that, right? Can a captain go uh, out and open the door? Or is it something, you know, there? Not really. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. So once that door is shut, forget about it. No one can open that door. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay. We want to we wanna make sure that... Uh, you know, the, the rest of the schedule of the day depends on everything being on time. Absolutely. And, yeah. 
So don't miss your flights, people. <laughs> uh, I thought I heard, don't miss your flight, Peter. <laughs> and, and Josh, this guy missed it too. There's a lot of guys tracking your guys' flight, so they're gonna know. <laughs> Uh, let's see, John. Thank you so much. Come to uh, come to the Florida East Coast trifecta: Orlando, uh, Fort Lauderdale, and Miami. So listen, John. So we have been at Miami for the Miami edition. Wonderful airport, brilliant. We were in Fort Lauderdale, just a plane spot, and Orlando. We were there for a little reconnaissance uh, mission. We love Florida. Shout out to the Floridian viewers watching right now. Florida is, is great. Oh, is it, it's, it's, it's the mosquitoes that I kind of, you know, yeah. hate. Pink ribbon plane arriving, another LA flight arrival. Yeah, there you go, Los Angeles. We love Los Angeles. They're getting all the special liveries, the Delta special liveries. Yeah, now that we're not there, right? There's not too many, but we're getting them all. <laughs> yeah, right? I mean, we saw the Sky Team a little earlier today. We yeah, that came in from LA. Yesterday, we had the Vince Dooley. Who, uh, yeah, I don't you're think we right. ever answered that question, but people in the chat were letting us know that was a former football coach at the University of Georgia. Ulysses, are you guys going to be at Boston Logan August 15th? I'm going to fly in on the British A380 L from London that night. Oh, nope. look at this! Oh, wow! wow. Look at that! Look, That's are cool. you seeing that? Do you see that? That's oh, insane! Wow. My goodness. I've never seen that before. Look at everyone watching and huddled around the uh, uh, Ferrari. What is that? Ferrari something Ferrari. That's a GT. That's like a custom uh, race car. Uh, yeah, that's like a GTB. Look at the Pirelli P0 tires on that. Oh, yeah. But that's that's based on a 488, right? Oh, it has to be. I mean. But no, that's complete custom. Look at that spoiler. Uh, GT car. You know, the, uh, the spoilers that are on the Honda Civics, right? <laughs> they, they only add more weight and they make the car go Drag. slower. Yeah. No, that's that's providing real downforce. That, that wow. spoiler right Look there. Look at this. Wow, I've never seen. This is like the things you read about that happen with Emirates, like the things that they that they ship. But Take a look at look that. Look at this. We're actually seeing it. Oh, be careful. Yeah. Oh, be careful. Only 4,000 people watching you right now live. Everyone's giving a different hand sign, by the way. Everyone's oh, saying stop. Look at the hand signs, by the way. Everyone is, one of them is saying stop. Another one is saying bring it, uh, come over. Talk about the mixed signals. Unreal. I think another person saying put it back in. <laughs> it's like four different hand signs there. Oh man, that is so cool to see. If they drop it, I'll still take it. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> Uh, be careful. Oh, yes, that's cool. My goodness, look at that. Very nice. I mean, that has to be the uh, Ferrari 488 GTV. I mean, it's... Oh, well, uh, yeah, it's based on that one. But, I mean, nothing some, stuck there. I mean, some yeah, some serious race <laughs> spec there. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a complete race car. That's no street car. No, you know what that is? Yes, My goodness, what? that is based on the newer 488. Yeah, the 488. Yeah. Yeah. My goodness, that is some serious... Ooh, oh, no, no, no! Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we better shut the camera off. I was off. on pins and needles <laughs> right there. I was on pins and needles. Please be careful guys, with the that's Ferrari. A, I mean, that's, what is that, guys? Like a million bucks? It literally slid down. Do you saw that? Yep. Watching it in the delayed. Oh my goodness. Please be careful. Please. I mean, listen, only 4,000 people watching I right now. I feel like it's my car or something. I, uh... You know, we're petrol heads here. You know, we, uh, we feel when something like that, when something like that gets hurt. Nice and easy now. Nice and easy. I wonder if that guy's the, uh, I wonder if that uh, guy's like the supervisor or something. I mean, you have to have a pretty big responsibility on your shoulders there to uh, dictate the movement of that Ferrari. 
Oh yeah, I'm sure all the all the the managers and supervisors of Emirates, they're out here making sure nothing goes wrong. Jeez, Louise, guys. I wonder who owns that Ferrari, that Imagine race car. That, yeah. And There's no license there plate in the car. Forget about it. Race going on here. That's got to be one of the last things off the plane, right? That airplane's been here a while. Yeah, it has. So look at the uh, re the rear race diffuser. I mean, that doesn't look street legal, does it? <laughs> no, no. The tires alone. I mean, those are proper racing slicks. Pirelli Pre Zeros that you know. I'm sure you you can't even buy those. Wow, that's so awesome. Oh, there you go. Let's let's say we have information. Yes, perfect. Appears to be the uh, 488 GT3D number 35, owned by. Um, I don't even want to mispronounce that name. I don't want that guy, you know, to coming out uh, coming after me. <laughs> Try your best. Um, a shake, a shake from Riyadh. There you go. Yeah. Okay, runs around 1.2 million bucks from the factory. Very nice. Yeah, that's you know that's you can. <laughs> hey, listen. That's not a normal street car. So the owner of that car, right? Listen, we are documenting this. Yes. We're, we're looking insurance out. purposes, right? We're looking out for the owner of that car, right? Give us a tour of your Ferrari. You're not that far <laughs> off. We love the cars here. And I, and Josh all of a sudden becoming a Ferrari Scuderia fan. <laughs> That's true. That, what's going on with me? <laughs> all of a sudden becoming a Ferrari fan. <laughs> I think we all are right now. Listen, uh, you know, the owner from, uh, from Riyadh, was it? Yeah. I'm the Ferrari fan. Josh was the Red Bull fan. <laughs> Take me on the tour. I do, wow. Listen, I do have a birthday coming up, July 10th. Oh, so the, uh, the owner hey, of that Ferrari. Hey, this isn't your birthday surprise, okay? <gasps> Josh, are you surprising me? Uh, I'm not going to say anything else. Captain Ken, are you surprising me? I'm Th not. This guy's a captain for Delta after all, right? This is LA Flight's <laughs> mom's birthday present. Oh, oh wow. wow. Okay. <laughs> John saying, that's my Ferrari. There you go, John. It's my Ferrari, too. <laughs> Imagine it really is John's Ferrari. Oh, hey, good for him. Wouldn't give a $2 tip, right? Thank you so much, John. It's my Ferrari as well. It's everyone's Ferrari. You know, at this point, it is. It's everyone who's watching. That's your Ferrari. If it was mine, you could do a, a zoom-in driver cam right there, and I'd be sitting in it, because I don't think I would have left that car. <laughs> <laughs> Captain, you you by. Yeah. Captain Ken in the cargo <laughs> hold for the entire flight. I'll give you a wave and shine the light. But <laughs> there you go. Just take a few oxygen. Oh, look at that. The, the, the catering. The, I think that truck is going to move around. Hold on. We'll see the Ferrari yet Yeah, again. Well, I want to see it. My goodness. That's one, the highlight of the day, yeah, really. Is it? One po is it? I think we're going to put that as the highlight of today's episode. I'll, that's for sure a highlight, at least. Let's see. I think we have, like, a few guys there. Like, fit. Look at that. We have a, a person taking pictures of the uh, Ferrari uh, 488 GT3. My goodness. That has to be, I mean, that has to be like a like a race going on or something. Because oh, of course. Why else are they bringing you to here? No way, street legal. There we go. It's all the catering truck out of there. We'll still see the, uh, you know, we'll track the progress of the Ferrari. Hopefully it doesn't get damaged. We're looking out for, and listen, we're serious look, uh, seriously looking out for the owner of that Ferrari. Oh, that's a beauty. Wow, look at this. Who doesn't love, even if you're not a car person, who doesn't love a beautiful red Ferrari? You know, as they say, everyone is yeah, a Ferrari fan, you right? Know, <laughs> Sebastian Vettel famously said that. Everyone's a, a Ferrari fan at the and end of the day. Yeah, and I, didn't he say that when he was like in Red Bull or something? No, he said no, that. He was <laughs> in Ferrari when he said that. Everyone is a Ferrari fan. No, you know something? Uh, wasn't it? Oh, my goodness. Nikki Lauda famously said that, Josh. Oh, yes, you're right. Nikki yeah, Lauda, shout out to... Uh, I didn't grow up with Nikki Lauda, I'm sorry. <laughs> listen, neither did I, but I know my history. I Famously, grew up with Sebastian Vettel. Uh, listen, me too. I'm not that old. But yes, uh, credit where credit is due. Nikki Lauda. I'm sorry, Nikki Lauda. Yes, yeah, the late, late and great. The late and great Nikki Lauda famously said that everyone's a Ferrari fan. Uh, this one's heading to London, but who knows? Hey, we might get away. Hey, they're looking at the Ferrari. Are you ready? Yes, they are. You know what? That's what they're doing. <laughs> they, were, they were like, uh, 
literally looking at the Ferrari. Oh, they're not going to look at us. <laughs> they're looking at the Ferrari. Now back to work looking at the uh, rear view monitors and stuff, right, Captain Ken? Wondering, probably looking up that car right now. <laughs> yeah, like how much does that cost? Yeah. Billy Holiday, that's the new A330 Neo that Virgin Atlantic just got. And look who's on the move. Ah, wow, look at that. Precious cargo. Be careful, look inside. That's all. Jeez. I don't want to give away any secrets, any racing secrets. Yeah, there you go. I mean, but you're that's get all the, uh... stripped out. That's not a normal car. That's. No, that's listen. a proper race car. No, listen, I mean, you, that's a that's some pr uh, proper, that's a proper race car. That's stunning. So cool. Oh, there you go. Look at that. That's the. Uh, isn't that like the racing series that the uh, that the Ferrari's racing in? Club that say? competition. Oh, oh! I thought it went under the wing. Wow, look at that. Precious cargo. Oh, wow, did you see the flag? Which flag? It's, it had a Mexican flag on it. Oh, yes, you're right, a Mexican flag. Look at that. Precious cargo, be careful, Ferrari. Listen, are you ready? Unforgettable moments here at LA Flights and Captain Ken with us, you know, to experience these, you know, one of a kind moments, you know, moments that we don't have every day. This is just a Wednesday in New York, guys. <laughs> it's just a Wednesday. <laughs> it's just a Wednesday on LA Flights. Are you ready? You don't know, you know, I famously say this, you never know what you'll see on a, on a day of plane spotting with LA Flights. Well, especially from this vantage point because you're just so close to the the airplane, like you said, it's like being airside. It is. Listen, I, I mean, think that Ferrari is, uh, I think it has its own mini entourage. entourage. Look at that. Look at all those, uh, most likely like airport ops vehicles. That's a whole bunch of money. Traveling with its own, uh, most likely like security team. It's yeah, all look at that. Entourage. <laughs> a big uh, traffic jam building up there. Look at that. Very nice. It's a good question. I wonder where the car goes from here. Oh, let's see. That's a, that's a good question. Well, I'm sure it's going to go to customs somewhere. Oh, yeah. It has, it has a clear customs, no? Uh, yeah, I would imagine so. They'll probably be inspecting that one for a while. <laughs> yeah, unless, uh, you know, uh, with a lot of pictures and a lot of selfies. And yeah. Oh, yeah. Inspecting it like that, sure. <laughs> yeah. Wow, look at that. Very nice. Darren says, and people thought we couldn't top the 4th of July special. Never doubt LA flights. Never. I'm telling you, you never know what you'll see with LA flights. Uh, let's see, we have Aviation 108. One month of channel membership. Happy to be here. One month. Loving the streams. Keep up the work. Good work, Peter and Josh. Thank you so much. And a big super chat coming in. We have a twenty dollar gift, uh, twenty dollar gift coming in from E. Peterson. My son worked for the freighters that used to transport cars like that. Thank you for the reminder. Absolutely. Thank you so much, E. Peterson, for joining LA Flights, uh, sending the channel a twenty dollar gift. Hey, Josh, are you ready? Can we zoom into the Ferrari uh, one last one time? One last time. Yeah. The birth of New York drives. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Our car spotting channel. That's a beauty. Come on, everybody, hit the like for the Ferrari. Everyone, as Nicky Lada famously said, everyone is a Ferrari fan. Hit the like. How about the 67, uh, 6,300 likes <coughs> in the next few seconds? Hit a like for the uh, for the Ferrari. Hit a like for Nick uh, for the late for the late and great Nicky Lada, yes, who definitely. famously said, "Everyone is a Ferrari fan." I feel so bad. I misquoted him. Sorry. You seriously don't. You seriously don't know what you'll see. You know, on a on a day of plane spotting. <laughs> that with proves the it. That, that proves, proves it. it. A little tense moments when it kind of slipped as oh, a it did wow. slip yeah, a little. Even my heart skipped a beat. <laughs> it <laughs> it like, did. Oh. It did slip a, a little, just it, a little bit. And I think uh, several. It was almost a very thankless job for those guys. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a very 
thankless job if they would have been damaged. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's see, crossing 6,200 likes in the next few moments. Thank you so much, everyone. Getting to, uh, getting close to 6,300 likes. Go for it, guys. Look at this livery. What is that? What is that? Oh, that's a good question. Jet Lions. Let me take a look. Never seen that before. Uh, let's see. Wow, look at this. Okay, so it's Jet Lions, 89.83. And it's flying in from... It's flying in from somewhere in Greenland. Yeah, have fun saying that, that name. Yeah, geez, right? We need Kevin. Kangaroo Suak. There you go. Hey, listen, that's pretty good. Uh, the airport code, uh, the uh, airport identification is Sierra Foxtrot Juliet. Yeah, yeah I'm not quite sure what the, the first letter would be. There's usually a four-digit code for an international airport. You said Greenland? Yeah, isn't it somewhere in Greenland? I think it is, right? No, wow, hold on a minute. I think that's... Wait a minute, hold on a minute. Yes, yeah, Greenland. Okay. Let's see, are we have Virgin Atlantic? I think, you know you know something? I think we have a departure that's going to happen in uh, the next few seconds. After this one, we will have to switch cameras. Oh, Night Vision, let oh, me know. Oh, look at this. Hey, go for it. You know, let's get the ambiance here. You know, the... Oh, that's, um, uh, that's Austin and Josh. <laughs> Oh, I don't think they know that they're... Yeah, the listen, that's Austin, that's Josh, that's Corey, that's Ariana. Now the thing is the <laughs> focus. There we go. Austin and Ariana recently got... Uh, really recently married, and they're actually fresh out of their uh, honey honeymoon. Congratulations to... Yeah, absolutely. Austin and Ariana. Hey, you want to tell them if, if they, if they want to give another wave? Because, like, we're literally uh, talking about them. Uh, I'll try to call them. I don't want to yell, though. I think you could do it. Bruce Campbell would have done it, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he laid down the gauntlet. Josh! You want a wave? <laughs> ah, there they go. There you go. There they go. <laughs> From left to right, we have Josh, Corey, Austin, and Ariana. All watching the National League. Big fans of the LA Flies channel. And after this departure, we're going to have to be switching cameras. All right, Night Vision, let me know if everyone is interested in us bringing out Night Cam. One of the best, if not the best, freighter livery going out right now. I think it is the best. Jo yeah, Captain Ken says the best. You know, I gotta agree with you. Again, Captain Ken, you're right. <laughs> I'm just following your lead, Josh. I don't know about that. There goes the queen. All right, I think, uh, well, we have a Qatar departure. Do you want to stay for that, or do we just switch cameras? Uh, you can stay with it, Josh. I mean, it doesn't look that bad. But yes, night vision is... How long will it take you, Josh? You a couple you... minutes. A couple you, minutes. You think you could, uh, you could do it or no? Yeah, I could do it. This is going to take a couple minutes. I know, but before the Qatar leaves? I mean, Qatar is holding short. No, I won't be able to do it. All right. Qatar is... Uh, there's Qatar. All right, let's see. We have... Hey, you know something, Josh? I think it's holding short. You know, you want to go for it. Well, I mean, th there's a departure over here. Do we uh, have arrivals coming on 2-2 right? If so, then I'll switch. We don't have anything. We have, okay, listen, Josh, we have Korean Air 85, a 747 in the Continental arriving like in two minutes. You want to just go for it. We'll skip out All right, of the uh, okay. yep. night vision is starting up in the next few moments. Thank uh, you, yeah. Shasad. Right. Are you ready? Gifting a $2 super sticker. Cup of coffee. We'll take it. Well, take it, my friend. We have Roger Campbell, a 10 Canadian Super Chat, going, a good thing we all stuck around. If you would have, you know, signed out, you would have missed that uh, Ferrari Let's see. Moment. I'm going to have to go to this camera. Yeah, right? yeah, go for it. Tell me when you're ready. Go for it, Josh. Uh, this is Captain Ken, guys. Thank you so much for keeping us company. Joshua activating the uh, night cam. 
uh, here at the LA Flight Channel. Thank you so much, Teresa Walsh. Uh, fair game, Delta versus Air Canada with Captain Ken, please. Huh. The fair game, okay, so the, the fair game. Uh, talking about the prices, uh, you know, maybe a little later, okay, Teresa? Teresa, a big fan of the fair game as, as well as I. It's a pretty fun game. Listen, uh, so Captain Ken joining us, and I think you're going to be, I think, sadly signing out in the next few minutes? Pretty soon. Um, I unfortunately have a job to do. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Captain yeah. Ken has a day job. Yeah. You don't want to call out? <laughs> well, it's just not kidding. that I don't want to. You don't want to stay uh, and see more Ferraris uh, being unloaded that by... That was epic. Uh, definitely a uh, candidate for highlight of the show, I think, today. Absolutely. Um, but no, I've got to go over. I've worked it out with my first officer. We're just going to meet at the airplane. Okay. Uh, it's going to be a, a fairly uh, easy flight out to Iceland, so not a whole lot to brief. And if you're just turning in wondering what's happening, so Joshua right now changing the night cam uh, from day cam to night cam. It's going to look a lot better. Just give him a few seconds and we'll pick up the live show yet again. For the viewers that are just turning in, Captain Ken, so you're going to be on flights. It uh, looks like it's in the chat. The flight 246. Flight uh, 246. Leaving, uh, scheduled to depart at 1124. Excuse me. That's correct, 1124. But somebody said it's already showing leaving two minutes early, so I don't know what that's about. <laughs> uh, no let's pressure say. on my end, though. Delta is expecting Captain Ken to leave a little early. <laughs> They're looking at my historical data, <laughs> realizing that I, I usually get off the gate pretty early. There you go. So Captain Ken's going to be flying out. Sadly, it's going to be a little too late for us. The, uh, the hotel is... Uh, uh, the pool area normally closes ar at around... Couldn't uh, do it if we wanted to. 10.30ish, yeah. so even if we wanted to, which we uh, truly did want, uh, something, uh, something that we would love to do, we won't be able to. So Joshua, right now, reconnecting the wires. Yeah, we have just uh, 10 yeah. more seconds, 10 I think. seconds, everyone. Night vision, night cam being activated here at the LA Flights channel in the next few seconds. Give us 10. We have the Italians, we have Virgin Atlantic, and we also have a Korean 747 Intercontinental. Big queen, uh, queen of the Skies arriving in just a bit. All right, I think you could go ahead. Everything go. should be looking good. All right, night vision activating in three seconds, two seconds, one. Is it good? Good. That's going? All right, You're on. it's a success. Night vision activated. Virgin, I think it's on the uh, it's on the takeoff roll. <clears throat> no, line up and wait. Gives me a few moments to catch up on the messages, guys. Thank you so much for the incredible support uh, coming to the LA Flies channel. Uh, Roger Campbell, 10 Canadian. A good thing we all stuck around. Absolutely right. You would have missed that. We have Bruce McAvee sending a five Aussie super jack. Captain Ken went to Tahiti last year. Absolutely beautiful. Melbourne is trying to entice Delta to service it as well as Sydney. Tahiti, huh? I'm not jealous at all. <laughs> no, that's awesome. I uh, hope to get there one day too. Melbourne sounds awesome as well. I have not been to Australia. Time for the LA Flight Shows to show off a little bit. Uh, we've been to Australia yes. a lot, so. Beautiful Sydney. Beautiful Sydney. Shout out to the Australian viewers. All right, you're watching Night Vision. You're watching Cat Vision. We call the night cam Cat Vision after Joshua because his uh, his nickname is Cats. You might sometimes refer, hear me refer to Joshua as Cats. That's his nickname. So night cam, Cat Cam. The 747 Intercontinental uh, flying in from Seoul, a 13 hour, 40 minute flight for that one. Uh, let's see, Sarah, who was gifted by Peter Masatani, we're tr we were trying to gift Sarah, and Peter gifted Sarah in spectacular fashion. Says Captain Ken, have a safe flight, and thank you for today. Thank you so much. It was a a pleasure to join the guys on their day two of JFK plane spotting. I wish I could be here for 
day three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. <laughs> right? Full-time co-hosts. I think I don't think we're Delta is going to let them go back to LA. If I've got anything to do with it. Uh, let's see. We have Ulysses. I'm sorry, I missed the. Uh, I didn't. A I think I did answer the question, but I'll answer it again. August 15th. We're going to be in Los Angeles. We might be at a. We might be doing a special project August, but it's not going to be Boston. Thank you, Ulysses. I'm sorry I didn't answer the question. I thought I did, Ulysses. And thank you, Jen, for sending the friendly reminder. I'm telling you, Jen, we need you here. We'll give you the desk, and we'll give you a computer there, and you can uh, help me answer the questions. Thank you, Jen. And if I missed a message, my friends, uh, while we were looking at the Ferrari, while Joshua was changing to night cam, just send me the friendly reminder and I will search for your message. Alexis, $10 super chat coming in. Peter, Peter, please. Let me start over. Please, please, Peter and Josh, order some food before it's too late. I worry about you guys. Thank you so much, Alexis. I think we won't forget this time. We're not going to forget. It was nightmare yesterday. Nightmare. We seriously got full with uh, the gummy <laughs> worms. and. I'm ashamed to say, but it's true. Yeah. We were looking forward to the uh, nice Italian, but gummy worms and peanut butter cups. Thank you, Alexis. Good vibes. Let's see, we have Ita up next. We have Tony, thank you so much. Uh, how did Josh get his nickname, Cats? I'll answer that during the Q&A for the one, for the meet and greet for the second year anniversary, okay? I'm looking forward to that answer myself. It's not as surprising as you think. We won't no, spoil no, 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 it. No, 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 we won't Josh, spoil it. no, no, no. It's an amazing backstory that will captivate the attention of Steven Spielberg, okay? Oh, okay, in that case then. Okay, cool. Then uh, we gotta keep that secret. All right, everyone, I have, I have officially signed in for my trip. Oh, there you ah, go. Okay, so there's no chance of you skipping it. Not at this point. <laughs> to stay with us. Yeah. <laughs> And there goes the Italian. Flying to Rome, I believe. Let's take a look. Flying to Milan, as I correct myself. Captain Ken, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's just a silly question. Okay. But like hypothetical world, let's say, not even you, like a, like a, just, let's just say a random pilot. Okay. If you were to skip it or not show up, would that, would you just be fired or something or? No. Uh, because I mean, that's like pretty serious. I just, imagine if you just, decided not to show up and didn't inform anybody there probably would be a meeting with a, a supervisor because, coming your way but because that's not that's like you know it's nothing like it's nothing compared to like missing a day and not calling in let's say at a, at, a, at a mcdonald's job yeah. right right i mean you the know, first thing they're going to do is be concerned for your safety so they're going to wonder if anything happened to you as any good company would and then I guess assuming nothing is wrong with you, then, <laughs> there goes the, then they're probably going to have <laughs> a few the, choice words with you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But we have an, uh, a pretty good policy as far as being able to use sick time or uh, we have the ability to drop trips, you know, hoping that someone else will pick it up or whatever. So we have some tools at our disposal for uh, arranging our schedule. Okay, so I mean, let's say, you know, hypothetical, uh, X pilot misses their flight, there's most likely going to be a, a backup pilot there to pick that up. Uh-huh. So okay. that would be a reserve pilot. So we keep a number of pilots on reserve. Uh, flight attendants are the same way. So in, in for unforeseen circumstances or even foreseen, that close to a schedule departure, you got people in the bullpen, so to speak. Okay, so... The passengers, they don't have to worry, like, oh, no, you know, the pilot, the, the For the most pilot part. didn't show up and the light, flight's going to be delayed. You might take a, a small delay. Okay, so good thing Delta has a lot of pilots. Whoa, uh, over 17,000. Yeah, so there's a lot to choose. <laughs> yeah. You know, when you, uh, when you talked about that number, right, Delta having 17,000 pilots, 
during the first time that we met you during the uh, original Q&A. Right. I was like, wow. I mean, is there that many? I was many? really surprised, too. I, I didn't know that uh, there were that many pilots in general. 17,000 Delta, Delta alone. Delta. Yep. Just a Delta. And still hiring. And still hiring. Put your applications in. I think Captain Billy was talking about the uh, s the pilot shortage affecting Spirit Wings. I think more than uh, you know a few other airlines, uh -huh. and Delta really hasn't been affected by the uh, worldwide pilot shortage. Because Delta I is causing the pilot there shortage. There you go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking yeah. news. You heard it here. <laughs> Because that's a massive number, 17,000 yeah, yeah. pilots for Delta. So once you get on to an airline like in the, here in the U.S., Delta, United, American, uh, there's really not anywhere higher to go for a passenger airline. I mean, I think in the world, really. I think Delta, I think... Uh, I think you're right. I think we do pretty well even across the world, but I don't... I haven't compared it directly. Thank you, GE, sending a $2 super chat. Uh, Captain Ken, have you ever uh, have you ever had any fear of flying? I think we answered this question before, but I mean, Captain Ken, it's up to you if you want to. Yeah, I, I, not that I can recall. Um, and I'm not trying to sound macho or anything. I just, you know, like a, I, like I, a cool uh, Navy pilot. Yeah, I mean, but I think maybe the last time we talked uh, about it, maybe that uh, that time landing on the aircraft carrier when it was in a, uh, in the Atlantic during a nor'easter, but scared, not just very heightened senses. <laughs> I mean, I think it would be rarely, uh, uh, rarely a possibility to have a pilot that's scared, right? Because you guys are trained for so many. Uh, for me so many eventualities, you guys are trained, you guys are proficient at your work, uh, no matter the airline really. I mean, to be flying, you are proficient at what you do, and you, you, have, you have certain checklists, you have procedures to, right. to go through, and you know what to expect. Right. Uh, I mean, let's take for example, I'm, th I'm sure most everybody knows about the incident with the Delta going into Charlotte last week with the nose gear. Yes. So, for those guys, uh, I mean, if I was in that situation, maybe a little scared, I guess, just because, you know, w something could happen. <laughs> yeah, right, absolutely. But you just go to your, your training, and, you know, you've trained for scenarios like that. We have procedures and checklists on board, and a great deal of people outside that are going to get involved and get in comms with us to help us out in a situation like that. So, uh, yeah, it's, you don't really have time to be scared. <laughs> That's a good point. That's that's actually a great way to put it. There's no time to be scared no. as a as a pilot. You know, I think this is a great moment for those of you who are, you know, who have a fear of flying or, you know, question that you know whatever reason you know the safety of uh, flying. You guys are hearing it from a captain for a major airline. You know, these guys are trained. They are proficient, and. I'll say it again, highly trained at what I they mean, do. I mean, yeah, they're not hiring guys, you know, random dudes off the streets or random gals off the street. Not at all. Yeah. Uh, let's see, I think that was a perfect answer. Uh, Dustin Jackson, $10 Super Chat. You win 100 co-host points there, Captain Ken. That was a perfect answer. Oh, yes. Well, well, thank I you. I mean, Captain Ken really, really being a good host right now. Uh, Dustin Jackson sending us a $10 Super Chat. Absolutely amazing day, guys. What a spot. Ferrari, Korean Air 747, what more could you ask for? I mean, the Ferrari, what a surprise, huh? <laughs> you never know, my friends, what you'll expect, what you'll see in a day of plane spotting with LA flights. Thank you so much, TV Spanj. Yes, with a J at the end. Safe travels, Captain Ken. Two amazing days, guys, so far. Love watching you guys for the positive vibes. Get some food before it's too late to stay fueled. <laughs> Listen, talking about that fuel, right? So we've been live for, you know, this is the second back-to-back -back day of plane spotting. And, you know, yesterday we did almost 11 hours, not including packing up and setting up. That's another hour, you know, each way. Today, right now, we are, we're, we've been live for, what, close to 10 hours, not including the hour to set up and the hour to pack up. Yeah, I won't be around to help you guys either this time. I feel bad about that. You know, talking about that fuel, 
And listen, we kind of, we kind of, you know, embarrassingly, you know, we did have a bad dinner yesterday. I think I'm on empty right now, Captain Cat. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't bring any. Uh, you know, I might have one more protein bar in my luggage. You want to go grab it? No, you know what? I want to build suspense. Yeah, I want to build suspense now. I'm going to reward myself. Okay. Uh, I have it as a prize at the end. That's why what I sometimes do, you know, when I have like a, you know, yeah. a challenge or something, I wait for the end. I wait for the prize, for the main prize, right. to incentivize, to push me to the end. So, gotcha. That's what I do. I'm waiting for that <laughs> plate of spaghetti. Uh, <laughs> N10XY, Brazilian Super Jet. Hello from Brazil again. This time I'm with my father and mother, Taylor and Carla. Thank you so much, guys, for watching LA Flights. Guilherme, am I pronouncing that name right? I hope I am, my friend. Thank you for watching LA Flights. Uh, hello. A big LA Flights hello to the family in Brazil watching LA Flights. Oh, fireworks over there. Oh, is it? La yeah, leftover, a little bit of fireworks. Leftover fireworks, right? There it is. There they are. Someone's still partying. Clark and All Access VIP member, nice to have you back with us. Captain Ken, have you ever flown aerobatics for fun? Hey, Clark. Um, yeah, well, I've flown it for work, but in the Navy, I just had fun doing it. Uh, I may have had one flight where I kind of had the airplane by myself and just did some stuff for fun. But yeah, it was back uh, almost 20 years ago now. And how does that work? I mean, so you're just flying around and no one's with you and you're like, I'm going to do a barrel roll right yeah, now. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's <laughs> pretty much so just cool. like that, yeah. You My go out goodness. into an area of airspace that's kind of known as like a warning area where there, there's a lot of uh, military training. You can kind of do whatever you want when you're inside that area. So let's say you're just going from point A to point B and all right. Yeah, Fancy your barrel roll. Yeah, I've done that once. <laughs> Jeez, guys. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> We're in the wrong business. <laughs> Mary Ann B trying to tease me to start singing again. Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> oh Mary come Ann. on. Yeah, we'll do it at the end. Come on, Captain uh, Ken. I don't think I can. A farewell, I please. Don't think I can. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I won't listen, Ari, if, if I'm making you embarrassed. How about this? I'll tell the entire L.A. Flights family to cover their ears. It's just going to be you and the headset. Uh, just me. You're going to put me on mute? Listen. We'll put you on mute with air quotes. <laughs> <laughs> the, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll tell everyone to cover their ears, and no one's going to hear it, all right? Oh, Mets fan says my plane's about to land in 20 minutes. I don't think I have time. Uh, let's see. The 7-5. Uh, seven, uh, seven Oh, yeah, San that's Diego. kind of get close, isn't it? <laughs> I don't want you running around. No. Yeah, you, you, you're not supposed to run around like the LA Flights Channel. Uh, yeah. <laughs> running to their flight <laughs> and missing it by seven minutes. Oh, man. Well, the plane doesn't leave without me, so. Oh, in that case, stay a couple yeah, minutes. Yeah, there you go. Right. And I use thank you so much. $10 Super Chat Dinner Fund. Thank you for the great ah, job. Thank you. So much Fun, Anna says. Thank you so much, Anna. Thank you for being with us. Uh, we thought we were. I thought. I thought you were going to miss the show. We didn't see you the entire day. Nice to have you with us. We have Mets fan Captain Ken's plane over North Jersey landing in 20 minutes. That's the message that uh, Captain Ken was referring to. 20 minutes away. I think that's going to be a little too late. Yeah, there, we got some people in the chat tracking it, so. Let's take a look here, what my little fancy app tells me about that airplane. And in the meantime, Ali sending a five-month milestone. I've been busy moving, but I'm glad to have you, uh, glad to see you in the same time zone as me. Great show today, Peter and Josh. Thank you so much, Ali, and welcome to the LA Flight Channel. I hope you're not too tired after the uh, the big move there. Thank you so much for keeping us company. I'm sorry about that, Captain. Can no, you're fine. It? Yeah, uh, looks like that airplane's 
going to land at 9.30. Oh, Maybe that's when it's scheduled into the gate. Yeah. Delta uh, flight 960. Who was it? Mets fan, right? I think so. Mets fan. So yeah, most likely flight radar giving the uh, like the updated time. Yeah. And arriving in about, what was it? Uh, 20 minutes. 7.57. Laura in San Francisco, y'all are just the intermittent fasting uh let's see y'all okay so y'all are just it, you, you just you guys are just fasting it's i don't think that works when you eat a whole bag of gummy worms <laughs> <laughs> one time Maybe, in a day probably not <laughs> or listen okay so you're like what well you're right <laughs> what can i say <laughs> I don't think it's that healthy when uh, you know you don't eat, but you just eat sweets one night and then the next day you just stuff your face with a whole bunch of spaghetti and pizza, right? That's right. Because you're just like eating for the day before. My goodness. Alexis, to the tip coming in. Captain Ken, what jet? Did, uh, what jet did you fly in the Navy? I flew the E2 Hawkeye. Not a jet per se. Turboprop. Uh, you look it up, I'm sure you'll find it pretty easy, but it's uh, on board the carrier with the uh, radar dish on top of it. And we have Orlando sending us a $5 super chat. No message on this tip. I do appreciate you. Thank you, Orlando. Uh, Orlando A. I won't say the last name, my friend. I'm trying my best. Thank you for watching LA Flights. I'm happy that you enjoyed the New York edition. Second day. We're going to be here again on Friday. Uh, listen, okay. Uh, next few days. It's going to be spontaneous, guys, okay? So if we go a little crazy, if the runways are in favor and we get the okay from the hotel, you know, we'll do it. I mean, right, Josh? What do you think? I'm sure we will. It's, I mean, it really depends on runways. I'm, I'm sure the hotel will let us. It's, it's the runways and the weather. So, I mean, like, let's say tomorrow morning we have some important things to do with regarding the channel. So, you know, we need some rest as well. But if the runways are in our favor and we just say, hey, Josh, let's go for it, we're going to start, you know, Maybe for like a few hours or something. So all I'm trying to say. Yeah, just keep an eye out. Keep an eye out. Subscribe to LA Flights. Click the notification bell. This is a trip that I just want to do a lot of live shows. So, you know, okay, so Monday, uh, when was it? Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, but who knows? Maybe we do a few hours tomorrow, a few hours on Saturday. We'll see what happens, guys. Manila Ice Cream, $10 Super Chat. Over the course of a decade, myself and two siblings, we were in the same barracks during boot camp in Great Mistakes. <laughs> uh, let's see. The USS Enterprise building. Yeah. I was in the USS Wasp. Very nice. Manila Ice Cream, thank you so much. Back when uh, Peter was born, I was in boot camp. You, what was your birthday? July 10th. Okay, July 12th is when I went to boot camp. Oh, wow. Look at that, man. <laughs> Mr. Pat, very days. close. Yeah. Wow. Listen, listen, who would have known, right? Uh, two days before you uh, went to boot camp, you One know. One of my best friends was being born. There you go. Listen, <laughs> who would have thought? I mean, if you really think about it, you know, you can kind of, I mean, maybe it's just because I'm lacking energy or something, and I'm just going, like, really deep in that. But yeah. Uh, yeah, when you went to boot camp, you know, a guy was being born in San Diego. Yeah. And, you know, 27 years later, we would be, uh, we're going to be together at the TWA Hotel plane spotting. So. Awesome. I think it's just me uh, with the lack of energy right now. <laughs> no, it's a lot super of cool. We had to wait a few more years for Josh to come along. Yeah, oh, right. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Josh, by the way, uh, do you have my yes. lens cleaner? Yeah, I have it. Uh, Josh. You can see right now? Yeah, they're just a towel. I'll, I'll give you both. Hey, so I just need a towel, Ken. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, we'll do what we did yesterday as we were waiting for the Emirates to start boarding. boarding. 
I, I don't think they're boarding right now, but we can take a look at the terminal. A lot of passengers. Let's see. That's going to be a, that's a big terminal there. And the, the fancy lounge. Wow. Look at that. Let's not zoom in too much. I think Joshua knows it, but that's the Very fancy. fancy. Look at that. That's, yeah. uh, that's, that's foo 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 over there. Wow. Look at that. Very fancy. I'm, I'm, I'm getting jealous. <laughs> Uh, talking about you know uh, you know people having dinner right we have Nancy sending us a twenty dollar gift towards dinner and root beer fun tonight ah, awesome thank stream you. today LA flights with the Ferraris there you go it's not ours but I'm gonna pretend it's mine hey Josh I, I mean oh I, mean, I, I like go getting ahead. the uh, ambiance Josh if you if you if you like to uh, yeah yeah sure I mean I'm just trying to get the plans too copy that thank you Nancy. Root beer fun because listen, the LA Flies crew, we don't drink. We really don't. And I'm sure I can speak for Captain Ken as well. <laughs> well, I can't legally. <laughs> That's true, absolutely. So listen, my, it's point, not my choice. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. But listen, choice or not, Joshua doesn't drink. I don't drink. It's root beers for us. Root beer sounds really good right now. We have Jerome Gonzalez, one month of membership. Started my LA Flights membership once again. I appreciate that. Thank you so much, my friend. Welcome back to the channel memberships. We have Aerospace Fan sending us a $5 gift. The E2 with the mighty T56 engines. That's right. A former, an ex C-130 Hercules engine mechanic right here. Excellent. We only had half the engines you had, though. <laughs> Captain Ken's inbound flight's the number eight tracked airplane on. <laughs> what is it? No way. According to the Mets fan. Uh, let's see. Come on, guys. Where is it? Um, number eight. No. No, it's not. I was get. I was gonna get a little surprise. No, it's not. Oh, okay. Uh, well, the pull closes at around 10:45, right? All right, the American 777 there on 22 left. A flurry of heavy arrivals coming in and departures happening in the next few minutes, of course. What a surprise. Check, check. Welcome back. Oh, thank you. Let's see Virgin Atlantic flying in from London's Heathrow, arriving in a couple of minutes, a Dreamliner 787. We also have LL arriving in seven minutes, another Dreamliner. And it looks like we're going to have a freighter, Columbus, uh, departed Columbus one hour, 10 minutes ago, arriving in about 16 minutes. There goes a big American 777 heading to the runway for departure. And Swiss over there. Wow, look at this. Okay, so Swiss 15 flying to Zurich. Let's see, guys. Maybe a couple more questions and then... Yeah, Captain Ken. I mean, listen. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's kind of cutting it close. Yeah, listen. I don't. I don't want you cutting it close, my friend. Listen. Thank you so much for you know the incredible time. You know, we'll do the proper dismissal after you pack up. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Perfect. All right, Captain Ken's gonna be heading out, my friends. Uh, send a lot of love. Are you ready? Send the Captain Ken emoji on the chat. Yeah, guys. Make it go give crazy. It up. Come Captain on. Ken packing it up, and he's going to be heading to the airport for his big flight. <laughs> not a lot to, not a lot to me packing it up, but uh, yeah, I mean, I, guys, it's been unreal. Uh, I've been looking forward to this, uh, your visit here, ever since you announced it, well over a month ago, and uh, I had it definitely marked on my calendar. So fortunately, I was able to get the, cut at least a couple of the days off. So right. I come hang out with you guys, and um, we can't wait for the next time. Yeah, hopefully not oh, too man. far away. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, I cannot wait. You uh, know, I'm getting a little. I'm getting a little sad. You oh, know. Oh no. Uh, well, you know, I, hey, I get out to LA pretty often, so 
We'll see what happens. I hope so, Captain Ken. I, I mean, know all of the captains are definitely interested in trying to get a get together organized. And yeah, the the captains roundtable. Yeah, roundtable. We have sure. a fun future ahead of us. That's for sure. Absolutely. But I'm never more than a uh, a, a text away. So. Listen, by the way, look at that iPad. Look at the uh, all the Captain Ken oh. emojis <laughs> going crazy in the chat. Wow. That's a lot amazing. Of, yeah, a lot of people, uh, fans of Captain Ken. Okay, so there goes Swiss, and here goes Captain Ken. And, and guys, I'll be in the chat on uh, future live streams. Uh, yeah, you'll see him. Yeah, I'm around. Okay, let's say let's uh, say goodbye to Captain Ken, who kept us company, <laughs> the co-host <laughs> for up. the entire show yesterday. <laughs> and kept us company for Brave a few hours elements. today. Yeah. Absolutely. With us during the big lightning storms, during the big thunderstorms, Captain Ken, an amazing pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you for keeping us company, okay? It's time, it's time to transform real quick. Yeah, there you go. Ah, yes. He's becoming <laughs> the captain. There you go. From yes. the LA Flight co-host <laughs> to the Delta captain that he is. Very nice. We wish you a safe flight, Captain, okay? Captain Ken, a true friend of the channel. Thank wow. you so much, Give Captain it up. Ken. A true friend of the channel. And send a lot of love, guys. Are you ready? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay. Watch your step, all right? Come on, guys. Make that chat go crazy. Make that chat go crazy Hold for on. Captain Ken. And we'll uh, pan to Captain yeah, Ken. Yeah, there you go. Let's there he goes. There goes the man of the hour. There you go. He has a flight to catch. He has a flight to catch. Give it up for Captain Ken, the co-host <laughs> of the LA Flies channel. Give a good up. friend. Are you ready? A true friend of the channel, guys. Make that chat go crazy, everyone. Captain Ken on his way to the airport. It's not easy, guys. Let me tell you something. It's not easy standing up here uh, for 11 hours, 12 hours like yesterday and a few hours today and then catching a flight. What is that flight? Like five, four hours? My goodness. Five hours, he said. Five hour flight. We can't wait to see Captain Ken. That's for sure. Again, here at the LA Flash That's Channel. That's for sure. A Very friend nice. of uh, not only LA flights, but a personal friend. We wish you the safest of flights, Captain Ken. We continue the show, my friends. We're going to have several planes. I think we're going to stay until what, Josh? Until they kick us out almost? What do you think? 10 o'clock? 10. We'll, we'll call it 10 because I don't want to cut it close with the Emirates. Copy that. We'll call it a day at 10. Uh, no matter what's coming in, no matter what's heading out, we end the show at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. I think that's fair. Copy that. I mean, talk about a long show. We started when? 11.30 in the Absolutely. morning? Absolutely. Listen, it's going to be a big show today. Uh, let's see, almost 10 hours of live show, almost 6,500 likes. I think we'll end right at the dot, 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Look Sounds at the engine like glow. Plan. Yes. Engine glow makes an appearance during the LA Flight's night vision episode. How crazy is the, is the chat going? Oh, the, the chat Captain is Ken going emoji. crazy. Come on, everybody. Who cares if you already sent it? Send it again. Captain Ken flying the Atari Ferrari to Iceland. I want to see that flight be number one on flight radar. You said Absolutely. it was like up to eight? Number eight, right? Uh, let's see, the arrival, but I checked on flight radar and it's not really tracked. But listen, the departure, that's the one that counts. That's the one that counts. And we have Ann Wilson. Thank you so much. Ten dollar gift coming in. Captain Ken, it's a pleasure having you join the brothers. And the LA Flights family for the New York vibes. Peter and Joshua, please get some food. Absolutely. Listen, at ten oh, Joshua, we're going to have to order the food, I think, like at 9.45, 9 right? 9.30. 9.30. It, gets, okay. it takes like 30 minutes to get All here. All right, 9.30. Don't forget, Josh, or else we're going to have to uh, have another Dorito night. Yeah, no, that's we have to do that. 
70 bucks. I, I was thinking about going to the Pizza Hut, but my goodness, it was $70 one way to go to the li uh, local pizza shop uh, in the Uber, and that's crazy. And one bucks. way, it was going to end up being 140 because if you, you have do, to get back here. Absolutely. So one way, 70 bucks. Forget about it. Yesterday, there was like high demand or something, and there's no way I can afford that. I mean, that's silly. Paying 70 bucks for like a mile trip. And there's no way I'm walking, you know, at the middle of night in Queens, you know, when I don't know the uh, neighborhoods and stuff, so. All right. We continue the show, my friends. Uh, big one. Let's see. We have British Airways 172 flying to London's Heathrow, a 777-300ER. And the arrival. Let's take a look. Who's this? Qatar. Wow. Another Qatar flight. Listen, I think this is an added flight. We have Qatar flying in from Doha. 12 hours, 41 minutes of flight time. It's a big one. A350-1000. Delivered five years ago. Now, this aircraft is the ninth most tracked in the entire world. Very surprising. And we let's see. We have a Cargo Lux. 747 freighter it's a dash eight after a one hour 15 minute flight we have the plane arriving we have the 757 that will take captain ken to iceland i should say we have the plane that captain ken will take to iceland arriving in only three minutes it's delta's 960 flying in from san diego california how far is that Three minutes away. It's uh, but it has like a million planes ahead though. Oh, okay, yeah, that's gonna take longer than. Yeah, minutes, like seven though. minutes maybe. I think I think seven minutes or something. Is this this is landing on two two right? Uh, is it? Yes, it is. Exec jet, flying in from Cleveland, operated by SkyQuest. A one hour fifteen minute flight. Hey Josh, are you ready? You've been uh, tracking the PayPal, yes? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's uh, turn on the radios, guys. We haven't heard that in a while. Who's that? Ma who's making all that sound? Sounds like a triple seven. Wow! Do you guys hear that? Where though? You said there's a cargo lux around, right? Yes, it's uh, arriving in about a few minutes. I think like, uh, uh, let's see, flight radar says three minutes, but I give it maybe like, I think 10 minutes. We also have level and Airbus A330. We also have North Atlantic flying in from Berlin. Scandinavian arriving in only three minutes. And an LL Dreamliner flying in from Tel Aviv, I mean, the traffic is just insane. Yeah, there's no shortage of that. We love New York, my friends. North Atlantic flying in from Paris, France in 10 minutes. It's another international push here at the LA Flights Channel. Oh, there's two North Atlantic flights coming in right now? Yes, one from Berlin. Wow, very nice. One from Berlin arriving in only four minutes and North Atlantic flying in from Paris, France, arriving in 11. There's the LL. Yeah, here it is. We have the 787-9 Dreamliner, 10 hours, 37 minutes of flight time. Oh, let's see. Hold on a minute. I think I need to change the batteries on the scanner.
Let's go take a look at the guitar that just landed. Oh, look at this, Delta 960, I think. Um, there you go, Delta 960, number, uh, number six most tracked in the entire world. All right, listen, uh, viewers, okay, let's see. Let's make the plane that Captain Ken will take to Iceland at 11.30 tonight. Number one on flight radar. Come on, let's give that surprise. I'm going to send the screenshot and send it to Captain Ken. Delta 960 flying in from San Diego, California, the 757 that Captain Ken will take to Iceland in just a few hours. Currently number six. Let's make it number one. Come on, let's do it for Captain Ken. How much is number one right now? Uh, let's see, like 524. Oh, that's possible. I am possible. doing my part right now. I am tracking the 757. We could do that. And there you go. I'm tracking it. Look at that, we have a prime error taxing for the runway. And there goes Speedbird lining up. It's going to number five now. Come on, everybody. Oh, it's getting there. I'll send it to uh, I'll send it to Captain Ken. One to zero one one heading cross runway two two eight Juliet taxi right Bravo. It's only let's see two minutes away from landing. One zero one one. Delta nine sixty Kenny taxi two left runway on MBA bus three thirty five and Bravo head caution wake up. Number four guys getting close. The fourth most tracked in the entire world. There you go. Number <laughs> second now. Now it's two. Oh yes, we got it. We have to get it. Come on, everybody. <laughs> it's going to go to number one in that's just a so, bit. That's, <laughs> that's so funny that we could do that. Wow, that's so cool. Oh, it's going to go number one. Let's. Uh, I'm going to send it to Captain Ken. Can't believe it. LA Flights made the... Uh, uh, the LA Flights family made a Delta 757 from San Diego, number one most tracked in the entire world. Oh, we got it. It's number one. Uh, Bruce Campbell says number two. <laughs> number one. There yes. it is. I'm taking the screenshot. Very nice. Very, very nice. I'm sending it to. Uh, <laughs> I'm sending it to. I'm sending it to Kevin Ken right now. I'm sure he'd love that. Can't believe that. Look at this, guys. That's so cool. You guys are all amazing. Thank you for making that happen. There goes SAS. We have Speedbird on the move. Look at that. Let's see. Oh my goodness. I think the uh, the zoom, the autofocus is a little iffy. With what? Which one? I'm trying to put the uh, my flight radar on the uh, on the uh, on the cam on the on the behind the scenes cam. Oh. Wow. Look at that. Number one most tracked in the entire world. Very nice. More than 1,100 of you. 1,100. Wow. 1,100 of you Av geeks. My goodness, guys. Wow, guys, you guys are awesome. I'm sending it right now to Captain Ken. 1,100. There goes the Star Alliance, Singapore. It's 1,200 now, 1,264. <laughs> Look at that, guys. That's <laughs> it insane. It blew away the charts. 1,380 now. It's, it's more than double than number two right now. <laughs> 
Captain Ken says, unbelievable. That's what Captain Ken says, everyone. 1,300 of you. Crazy Afgeeks following Delta 960. You guys are incredible. Captain Ken replied to me. He says, unbelievable, LA Flights family. And uh, I'm pretty sure this is the plane of the hour right now. There you go. Now it's 1,500 of you yes. tracking that 75. Here she is. I bet flight radar's like, what is going on? What in the world's happening to that Delta plane? So that, I'll say it again, guys. That 757 is the one that Captain Ken will take to Iceland. Captain Ken will be the captain for the flights. What's the flight number, Josh, again? I forgot. Oh, goodness, guys, give us the friendly reminder. What's the flight number heading to uh, Iceland? Captain Ken's. That's it. 1,644 of you. I can't believe we did that, and we just blew away the charts. One thousand six hundred forty-four. That's amazing, guys. You guys are so incredible. Captain Ken is so excited right now. He says, "Unbelievable, LA flights." There it is. Uh, let's see. We have North Atlantic now. The Dreamliner. We have Clark Cook sending the five dollars super chat. How can you see on flight radar if it's the number one most tracked aircraft in the entire world? Well, I mean, it gives you the list. It gives you the list of the top 10 most tracked, and Captain Ken is number one. Well, his plane that he's going to take is number one. Yeah, the plane he's going to take, so absolutely. So it's so we were just tracking the plane that was that's arriving, the plane that Captain Ken will fly to Iceland in a few hours. So that's 7-5, that's the plane. There that will is. service, yeah, that's the plane that will service the route New York City, JFK to uh, Iceland. 1680 now, 1680. I'm going to take, uh, take another picture. No way, it's 2000, right? 1696, look at that. That's so cool. The highest number I saw, 1,696. Yeah. Nice. I just sent it to uh, Captain Ken. I'm waiting for I mean, he already replied. He said, unbelievable LA flights. We have level 2627 flying in from Barcelona. All right, guys, let's see. Hold on. Uh, let me address some confusion. So, Michael, are you ready? Michael uh, sending a $2 tip. The Condor livery is an awesome livery. There you go. I love that comment. I love it. The Condor, the green stripes, right? And we have Cargolux arriving in just a few seconds. We're going to go from the 767 flying to Zurich. Wow. That one's flying all the way to Switzerland. Nice. And we're now going to zoom in to the 747 arriving. It's flying in from Columbus, Ohio, a one hour, 30 minute flight. There it is. Yeah. 
What was the confusion? Uh, they think that that was uh, Captain Ken's flight. Oh, okay. So. Okay, so that's the 747. Let me address the uh, little bit of confusion happening here at the uh, LA Flies channel, okay? All right, so a little bit of confusion. Let me quiet down the ATC. So, uh, let's see, let's quiet down the sound as well a little bit. All right, so, oh, hold on, the, uh, okay. So we were tracking, are you ready? We were tracking Delta 960. That's the flight from San Diego, yes? That aircraft, that just arrived, the one that the LA Flights House made it uh, made number one most tracked in the entire world, right? That equipment, the 757 that arrived, that's going to go to the terminal and in a few hours will service JFK to Iceland as flight, what is it, two, uh, let's see, flights two, what is it? Um, Flights. Let's see. There was a million answers. Uh, 246. So Delta 246. Yes. At 11:30 p.m. Eastern Time, will uh, service the route JFK to Iceland. So that's the flight that Captain Ken will be the captain of. JFK to Iceland. Delta 246 at 11:40, 11:30 p.m. The plane that we made number one. That was us. Seeing the arrival of the 757, the equipment that Captain Ken will take to Iceland. So Delta 960, that's the one from San Diego. But Captain Ken will be the captain of Delta 246. Just a clarification there, all right, guys? No confusion. Oh, geez, 933, Josh. Yeah, I know. Uh, for the food? Uh, let's see. Um, hmm. Oh, use, uh, hold on, use this. Go for it. I guess I'm, uh, yeah, go for it. Let me know if uh, the plane's moving, all right? Copy that. Scandinavian there, appearing, crossing 31 right. <laughs> A million viewers right now sending the reminders. Hey, Pete. Hey, Joshua. <laughs> Don't forget to order the food. Right now we're ordering it, guys. Yeah, we're on it. What do you want? Bolognese? Uh, bolognese and what the... What kind um, of pasta? The, oh, the one they usually get, the, uh, uh, I'll take fettuccine if, you, if they have it. Right. What else do they have? A lot of delicious stuff. Yeah. Get me a order of calamari. I'm a little hungry from yesterday. All right. I don't blame you. I do not blame you. And uh, the, um, a pizza, medium one. Because I'm in a diet. <laughs> medium pizza, all right? Infinite Captain Danny, $2 tip, you guys are my inspiration. Keep this up. You're amazing, my friend. Thank you so much. Thank you, Danny. Thank you for watching the LA Flights channel. So, listen, action, my goodness. We have so many planes coming in. Get ready. We have one two three four five six seven eight nine arrivals happening in the next few minutes is the international push we have one two three four five six seven eight nine nine departures happening in the next few minutes ten if you include air france 11. so we have a whole bunch of planes in front of us we have Cloud celebrating eight months of channel membership. Hey, LA Flights, love JFK. Ever been to Newark? Not really. 
Uh, only JFK, my friend. Thank you so much, friend. We have Mason's Aviation sending us a $2 super chat. Are you going to be there tomorrow? I'm flying in. Listen. Mason. Okay, listen. So tomorrow's show, right? So we were scheduled to go live Tuesday, today, Wednesday, and Friday. If the runways are on the 22s, right? I think I won't be able to resist. Joshua won't be able to resist. And we're just going to do the live show what, tomorrow. What, Friday? Tomorrow? Uh, yeah. Uh, no, uh, Thursday, I mean. Yeah, right? We'll, I mean, we'll see. Like, I mean, if we're, I mean, we do have important business, important work with the channel to do. And the thing, I want to I rest. Yeah, so listen. Oh, we have a plane spotter. Absolutely. So listen, we, we do have to, uh, we do need the rest. I think uh, I think tomorrow. I mean, it really depends. You know, if something you know crazy is coming in, absolutely. Then I'm I'm sure we will go live. But that's kind of the rest day. And okay, so listen. Uh, just have the notifications on. Subscribe to LA Flight. I want to go live as much as I can. All right, and we might add the extra day on Saturday. So stay tuned for that. Uh, Saturday's extra day. But as of right now, the next time that we go live officially on paper will be this Friday. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe Saturday. Guys, subscribe. You won't miss one second of the LA flights action. Thank you, Melissa, sending us a $5 super chat. Thank you, so Melissa. Can you say hi to my husband, Chris, in Florida? Absolutely. Why not? Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Melissa, for watching the LA Flights channel. You guys are amazing for watching LA Flights, the New York edition. Craig Russell, a VIP or a VIP member, order some New York strawberry cheesecake. Thank you, Craig. Are you ready? We will. Thank you, friend. All right, let's see. Singapore on the move. Let's go for a special uh, livery for this one. It's the Singapore and the Star Alliance livery. Can't believe this. We're actually really close to 6,500 likes. Guys, are you ready? How close can we get to 7,000? Can we end with 7,000? We have 20 minutes. Can we do it? Thank you, Todd. Are you ready? Five dollars super chats. Let's make Delta 246 number one tonight at 11:30 p.m. Awesome show, guys. Eat well. Thank you, Todd. I appreciate that. Listen, we're gonna try our absolute best. Thank you so much, Matt Mac Mullen, a 279 Canadian Super Chat. Great show as always, guys. I love it. Very happy that you enjoyed today's episode, my friend. Hey, listen. Friday, the next day that we go live, and like I keep saying, who knows, maybe we go a little crazy and we add an extra day. The wife and I both have the flu, and are, we are sitting here in Sydney watching LA flights. Feels good. I love that message. That you're watching LA flights. Please, speedy recovery, guys. Uh, the wife and Mark, all the best vibes, guys. We love Sydney. We love the Australian viewers. Don't get me wrong. I love that you're watching LA flights, but please rest up and get, uh, wish you guys a speedy recovery. Thank you so much, Mark. And uh, hello to your wife. Crossing 65 on our way to 6,600 likes. How close can we get to 7,000? 
by the end of today's episode. 20 minutes to go until we end the second day of plane spotting. Let me know if uh, anything good's taken off right uh, now. Let's see, I mean, we do have Aer Lingus, I think it's on the roll, and we do have LL taxiing. All right, let me give you an update. We have Delta 303 flying in from San Francisco, a 767-300 arriving in just a bit. We have North Atlantic uh, flying in from Rome, a, an, uh, an eight hour, 28 minutes, uh, 28 minute flight. Thank you so much, Kevin, in Vegas. You guys are the best. These live shows are amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Do me the favor, my friend. Make sure that you're subscribed to LA Flights. There's always these glitches that unsubscribe you from your favorite channels. Make sure just it takes two seconds. Glance at that subscribe. Make sure it's uh, make sure you are indeed subscribed to the LA Flights channel. Max 39, uh, a pizza to go, please. The hungry intern of LA Flights requests a pizza. Sure, we can have it uh, delivered to you. Absolutely. In uh, <laughs> Los Angeles. Kitten Duo, thank you so much for joining us. All Access VIP member gifting one membership to the channel. We have Kruger gifted by Kitten Duo. We've been missing you, Kitten Duo. Good to have you back with us. I love saying that name. Hey, Josh, are you ready? Can we go to the uh, JetBlue E190? Uh, give one second. This one's making all that sound. And the order's complete. We have food. Yes! <laughs> winner! We eat today! We eat today! <laughs> winner, winner, chicken day! We I eat. love that! We eat today. Yes. Tonight! <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> That's the I'm already happy, hungry. <laughs> the happy cameraman and the happy host. You know, I was scared I was going to be a little too late because I, I'm pretty sure they stop around 10. Oh. <laughs> so we cut it close. Oh my goodness! We eat! <laughs> Look at that. that! Are you ready? Now I have uh, five more hours of energy all of a sudden. <laughs> Goodness! <laughs> this is Joshua, the amazing cameraman. We were able to put the I order in. Talk we about hungry. good tonight. <laughs> I can't believe this. We're actually celebrating that we uh, <laughs> that we made the order. But because you know goodness. what? It really was a close call. It really was a very close call there. Goodness! Yes! <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure they stop around 9.50 to 10. Oh my goodness, guys, I can't believe that. Oh, the camera's still on. <laughs> oh, we have a little A380 movement here. Which one? Oh. The one that was parked. Uh, no, this, the one that's at the gate right now, that's not departing uh, for another another hour, I think. Another 40, yeah, 50 minutes. Yeah, forget about it, guys. Uh, Eduardo Sultan uh, sending us a two dollar super chat. Amazing live show, you guys are the best. I appreciate thank that, you. Eduardo. Ellie, thank you. So ten dollar tip coming in. We love you in Pittsburgh. Great show. Better than my favorite sports announcers. <laughs> love that. I don't think uh, the professional sports announcers talk about nope. them ordering food <laughs> <laughs> during the show. A little bit of everything here at the LA Flies Channel. Thank you so much, Ellie. Ellie Rose in Pittsburgh. And thank you for watching LA Flies Live with Peter and uh, Joshua. Okay, KLM Blue I'm really Dreamliner. happy I'm not going to eat gummy worms tonight. Yeah, hey, you and me both, buddy. All right, let's see. We have the 787-10. <laughs> That's going to be a departure. We have a nice lineup right now. We have Sarah, most likely in Fort Lauderdale. Yes, Sarah says, what a great show today, guys. I'm so happy you enjoyed today's show, Sarah. And you got a gifted membership from yeah. Peter Mastani. 
Uh, let's see, we have Dave Johnson. Uh, great channel, guys. Nice to see some international flavors and white bodies. Here at Rally Durham, all we get is the 777-200 and the 767-400 American Airlines and Delta. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much, Dave. I appreciate that, friend. Who do we have? We have Matt Johnson as I have a burst of energy. I can't wait to visit the TWA Hotel this fall. Great stream, guys. Thank you so much, Matt. Good vibes. You are going to love it here, my friend. It's Av Geek Heaven. Dave Johnson. After that, very nice message. A $1 super chat. Thank you so much, Dave. Good vibes. 7,000 likes for dinner. How about that? <laughs> After receiving the news that we uh, were able to put the uh, order in for dinner, I think we are able, uh, I think we can hit 7,000 to celebrate. Who do we have? We have Speedbird. Speedbird 1, uh, 14 flying to London's Heathrow. show today my friends unforgettable we have the JetBlue pushing back right below us light the candle are you ready Shelly says sending the hot dog super chat are you ready Shelly I appreciate that we do go, uh, we do love that I appreciate that Kelly Cook uh, did I just say Kelly hold on I, I, I combined Clark and Shelly that's how tired I wow, am. Wow, you're really tired. That's how tired I am. Clark, an All Access VIP member, shout out to us mechanics. Keep them flying safe. Absolutely, guys. It's everyone in the aviation field. Are you ready? From the baggage handlers to the ones who maintain the aircraft, to the ones who fly, to the ones who maintain and clean after we make a, make the plane a pigsty right us the passengers there's a cleaning crew that comes in and cleans the planes for us disinfects the planes everyone in the aviation field we are here la flights is here to celebrate and recognize everyone in the, the aviation field thank you edgar are you ready five dollar tip coming in once again peter and josh happy birthday to your mom and yesterday was the fourth my mom's birthday, you guys are number one. Thank you, Edgar. Happy belated birthday to your mom. Thank you, Edgar. A big LA flight shout out to your mom, Edgar. Oh, I forgot your name. Are you ready? Uh, let's see, remind me, it starts with a G. Super sticker coming in, Brazilian Real Super Chats. With your mom, dad, and yourself watching the LA Flights channel, you guys are great. KLM up next for departure. This one flying to Amsterdam. No lights on the KLM. No, no lights. No tail light there. Oh, the tail light. Yeah, the, uh, it's all right. A little dark, but it's okay. KLM 644 flying to Amsterdam. Plane spotter. Plane there. spotter, come on, guy. Bruce Campbell would be here, and, uh, you know, Bruce Campbell would kindly tell the plane spotter, hey, you know, we're doing a live show here. Shout out to Bruce Campbell. the jet blue you're hearing right now. Yeah, no, that's the CRJ. Is it? Yeah. I see it. Very loud CRJ. 7,000 likes, my friends. Come on, it's an exciting day. Let's hit 7,000 before we end the show. We only have 10 minutes. We're ending the show. Correction, we have nine minutes. 
No matter what's taking off, no matter what's arriving, LA Flight ends the second day of the New York edition at 10. 10 p.m. That's yeah. nine minutes away, my friends. Thank you, Kareen. 20 euro super chat Thank you. for the uh, LA Flights channel. 3.46 a.m. over here. I'm back. Fantastic. Had that experience last year live at the TWA Hotel, and it was the most incredible experience I've ever had. You ever, you never get enough of watching the planes from that rooftop. I love that message. That's what I'm trying to convince all these uh, wonderful viewers. It really is true. It's, it's re you can't get, you can't go anywhere and get Absolutely. the same, same type of view. You come out here. Same Tell type me. of experience, you know. It's not just the view, it's the noise, the smells. It's, it's, uh, it's a big, and especially the hotel, you know, you get to relax here. And there's a beautiful bar, there's a beautiful pool. It's not just the planes. Amazing location, guys. 10 out of 10. You won't regret it. The TWA Hotel, put it at the top of your list to visit, my friends. That's for sure. This is evidence. Us raving about this location for the past 10 hours, all day yesterday. We do this for a reason because, I and mean, listen, if this wasn't worth it, you know, we, you wouldn't watch this, right? It's entertaining, it's exciting. The sights, the sounds, the smells of you're here in person. Av Geek Heaven seriously is the TWA Hotel here at JFK. Put it at the top of your list. Forget about the top. Number one. Thank you, Dana. Dana G. Five dollar super chat. Three hours here. Three hours from here in uh, Groats on Connecticut. Yes, am I pronouncing that name right? I think I am not. Sure, it would be honored to meet you guys when back in JFK, perhaps in the fall. Love the show. And we might be here in the fall, Dana. We might be here in the fall time. Oh, a little teaser there. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Peter. A little teaser. Uh, nothing's sure. Nothing's That's for sure. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Forget about it. <laughs> Let's see, Max39. Guys, don't forget to track Captain Ken's flight. 246 on its way to Iceland. I sure will. A 757-200. You bet that I I'll just will leave it track tracking that flight. And I'll sleep. Absolutely. I just want to track it. Don't forget, guys, Delta 246. Track it. Nathan Sanderson. First time. Been a fun day. See you next time. Hey, Nathan. We're going to be live on Friday from this incredible hotel. We might go a little crazy and we might do a little spontaneous live here and there. So make sure you are subscribed. Hit that notifi uh, notification bell. It's the bell icon, the bell thing, right? Click on the bell, select all notifications. You, you will have two free notifications. The first one goes out 30 minutes before the live show. The second one goes out right when we go live. It's all for free. It costs 0.0. .0. Are you ready? It's absolutely free to subscribe to LA Flights, and that's the best way to ensure you won't miss one second of the LA Flights action. Dolores, thank you so much. A $10 super chat. Shout out to the wonderful moderators. They really keep the friendly vibes. We have Jen. You are incredible. We have Darren. Is Darren still with us? My goodness, he was here earlier today. Jan, you're lovely. Thank you so much for sharing the friendly Hawaiian vibes with the LA Flies channel. The sole moderator right now. Earlier wow. we had, listen, early, earlier we had Darren, we had Cheryl. Sam's planes and trains with us the entire afternoon after he had to just call it a day. And also Carol, I'm pretty sure Carol is in the background. You're amazing, guys. Thank you so much. The amazing mods here at LA Flights. Oh, you know, that's why the emoji's there. Mods rock. You know what <laughs> to do with it. The mods rock emoji. Come on, that's everybody. That's been there since, since we ever started, I think. 
one of the first emojis. Absolutely. Mods rock. They rock for a reason. There you go, guys. Mods rock going crazy in the chat right now. Norse Atlantic, this one. Is this the one from... Wow, this one from Rome. Rome? Yes. What? JFK for the win. Norse, Norse Atlantic for the win. Nine hours. <laughs> I'm just talking to, like, all these European flights. My goodness. Norse Atlantic flies to Rome. Wow. You know, it's such a... Tra it's such a busy route here at JFK. Norris was like, we might as well send a Dreamliner over there. We have so many Italian flights, forget about it. We have so many ETA flights, we have Delta flights flying to Italy, even American Airlines servicing that, uh, uh, that country. Norris Atlanta getting into that business as well. Thank you, guys. We have John uh, sending a $5 super chat. Haven't said hello in ages. Your enthusiasm always puts a smile in my face. <laughs> I just love your shows. Hope to meet you one day. You guys are the best. I uh, love that. Thank you. Thank you, John. I love that. Good vibes, my friend. Thank you for watching LA Flights with Peter and Joshua. Brett, what do you have to say, my friend? Luckily, we are, we'll get the 787 family from Charleston when Boeing does the test flights. Lots of military unannounced flights, too. Airports, what is it? Mike Yankee Romeo, send me the reminder. What is it, my friend? Mike Yankee Romeo, thank you so much, friend. Shine the lights, JetBlue 2404. Shine the light will look really good right now. 27, what, what did I say, 27, what is it? Emily. 2404, shine the lights. Can we end with a grand finale? I'm not seeing it. JetBlue 20, what is it? I, I didn't hear it. What is it? Hold on. Where's the shine the light, guys? Aviation Emily. I don't see it, guys. What's the flight number? Give me another uh, JetBlue. Oh, it's uh, JetBlue 1818. Yeah, I don't know, guys. Uh, I put, uh, let's say I typed in 2404. I think it's, uh, I think it's just, uh, I, I don't see it. JetBlue 2404. Trying to make it work, guys. I don't see the flight. Here it is. Hold oh, on a minute. Oh, you got it. Yes. Okay. Jen, eight minutes out. All right. Do we extend the show? What do you think we were supposed to end the uh, uh, the plane spotting episode at 10 p.m.? We're only 20 seconds away. Hey, look at that. That's a that's an interesting one. Lufthansa Cargo. Wow, 777. I've only seen this, like I think, a couple of times at LAX. Once at LAX, and that's Once. very rare. Lufthansa Cargo arriving in front of us. Lufthansa Cargo arriving in front of the LA flight's cameras. Uh, guys, okay, hold on. Let me uh, activate the camera. Do you want to stay for just a few more minutes? We were supposed to end the live show at 10 p.m. I want to stay for the uh, Shine the Lights JetBlue 2404. <laughs> Look at that French 777. My goodness, that's a good looking plane. I want to go back full screen. Yes or no? You know what to do. Send the nighttime plane spotting emoji. What else? Uh, the one more plane. Just make the chat go crazy. Go for it. Send as many as emojis as you can. The one more plane. Send the overtime as well. I want that chat to be flooded. Come on. Shine the lights happening in just a few minutes. I can't wait oh, for that. Look, go look at this go around. We have a go around. We have the 777 executing a go around. There you go, traffic on the runway. Lufthansa cargo take a, took a little uh, long. Wow. 
five point. Seven. Yeah, I'm really happy we didn't end. Look at that. Hear the sound. Brilliant. Come on. Very, very cool. Traffic on the runway. Lufthansa Cargo didn't exit the run. Uh, the exit the runway in time. You know what, though? I'm surprised we didn't see it more often. They were sequencing the plane so closely today. So close. I'm surprised we didn't see more of those. Hey, Dave, welcome to first class, my friend. Let me take a look at your membership. Uh, we have Dave Johnson uh, becoming a channel member here at the first, uh, here at the LA Flights channel. We appreciate that. And we have Marianne in a beautiful Adelaide in Australia, gifting one membership to the LA Flights house. Oh, a plane spotter right there. Enjoying the sights. Look, he's taking a there picture. There you go. He's taking a picture of this one. I mean, who can blame him? Thank He's you, Mary. Taking a picture of that. <laughs> <laughs> Who can blame him? Are you ready? Take all the pictures you want. So let's see. Uh, let's see. Shine the lights. By the way, we have a triple seven arriving. What a surprise! American 141 flying in from London Heathrow. We have another one. Look at this. They're only, I think, they're very close to each other. So we have American on 22 left and i think maybe only a few seconds behind we have the french air france 8 flying in from paris it's gonna be pretty close to each other we're gonna go for the departure instead it's iberia flying to madrid an a3 3200 There goes the Spanish flying to Madrid. We have, I think, Austrian. My goodness. I think we have Austrian uh, flying to Vienna. And there it is. A 767-300. Thank you, SJ. Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for joining the memberships here at the LA Flights channel. We welcome you. We give you a big LA Flights warm welcome to this family of crazy av geeks who love the one more plane. By the way, SJ... Uh, tune in for a little, you know, I'm wearing the One More Plane t-shirt. So, you know, we're crazy for the One More Plane. Yeah, I mean, if you wear, the, if you wear that t-shirt, it's a pretty good sign we will have a One More Plane. <laughs> You're right about <laughs> it's that. It's a giveaway. You were teasing the entire show, the One More Plane. What a surprise. LA Flights goes for the One More Plane. All right, let's see. We're supposed to end at 10 p.m. We're in overtime as of right now. We're trying to hit... Hit 7,000. Come on, everybody. 7,000 likes before we end uh, the show today. Austrian getting a move on. Let's uh, EJ Knight, by the way, elite member for the past four months. EJ says one more plane for his membership milestone. Uh, Rick Kelly, welcome, welcome to first class as well. Well, uh, thank you for joining the uh, LA Flights family in the membership club. Derek says, another phenomenal day, LA Flights. Thank you, Jen. We have a shine the light happening in a couple of minutes. JetBlue 2402. A viewer will shine the light in just a few minutes. Hey, listen, hopefully How that... How far is that? Imagine. It's only two minutes out. Imagine JetBlue parks at gate one. What type of JetBlue? What type of aircraft? Let me take a look. Hopefully. If, it, if it's an E-190 or an A320, we have a good chance. It's an A320. A320. And the viewer is sitting on the left side of the plane. We have a good chance. We have a good chance. Okay, let's take a look. The one we're hoping for is gate one, of course. That's Listen. as close as we could get. Hey, Kat, yes. I think they're getting ready. I think they're getting ready for an arrival. Well, they have the, the yes. ramp over here, the conveyor belt thing. I'm calling it. The Shine the Light will park at gate one. Stay tuned. We're going we're gonna to have that viewer so close up. 
We can see their face. If, if we can see close. their face. Are you ready? I think this will be the first ever shine the face. Shine the face <laughs> here at the LA Flights Channel. Imagine that. The first ever shine Who's the, the viewer? face. I don't know. Okay. Kareen, uh, shine the lights on seat 3A. There it is. That's the captain's side. Who wants to see the first ever shine the face? Grumpy Forest are contributing to the Peter and Josh Room Service Fund. I appreciate that, Grumpy Forest. You've been here, my friend, the entire day. You are an Av Geek. You're a crazy Av Geek. Grumpy Forester, thank you for watching LA Flights the entire day. All right, here comes the Shine the Lights. Okay, so. Oh, is it this one landing right now? Uh, that's it. Oh, oh wait, really? no, 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 no. no it's not. Excuse me, excuse me. Okay. Wait a minute, where is it? 24 0. What is it? Just let me know. Wait a minute, where is JetBlue 24-0? What is it? That's a JetBlue landing right now. Oh, That's it's not downwind, it. guys. And it is an A320, by the way. Uh, downwind arrives in a couple of minutes. So it's not that one. Uh, that's the departure. It's not the one landing. Two minutes, guys. Two minutes, and we will see the viewer. We'll see the viewer. 24. Oh, hold on. I can take a look at the gate number. JetBlue 2404. What time is it? Seven after the hour. Seven after the hour? Okay, because we have to leave. I mean, we have to leave by 1045, I think, so. All right. Oh, let's see, JetBlue 2404, if you know what gate number it is. I think Clark is going to look for us. Shine the face. Hopefully, parks gate one. That's what we hope for, right That's over here. That's what we hope for. And listen, if it doesn't park at gate one, we're still going to get that one pretty close to us, all right? So don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. If it doesn't park at gate one, we'll still be able to get a pretty good look at that plane. Uh-oh. What's up, Peter? Uh-oh. <gasps> Look what they're doing. Oh my goodness. I know what but you're... But it's too late. Josh. And the food, you know, the, the delivery driver, you know, of course, understandable, in a rush to give us the food. Guys, the A3 is pushing back in just a bit. And the food should be getting here by in 20 minutes. I can't end the show. <laughs> no. <laughs> what do you think? I mean, I can't leave it. And there's not really a traffic jam to take off, is No, there? it's going to be quick. Forget about it. It's going to be quick. So I, mean, I don't think there's a worry to uh, to go over um, the time that we're allowed here. Wow. What do you think? Do we stay for the super? Yes or no? That's a hard one. It's a hard Who's one. Who's going to go get the food? Someone has to go get the food. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, the fr I don't know why, but for some reason, I don't know. I, the first person I looked at was you, Mendelton. My goodness. No, no, <laughs> we can't do that to him. What happened? Uh, maybe. <laughs> Mendelton, he's been here with us more than six hours, I think, and right? multiple hours. <laughs> Listen, I don't know why, but I don't know if uh, Mendelton. Uh, I don't know if Mendelton heard me, but you know we were talking about oh you know the food is uh, arriving in just a bit, right? And it was a conversation between me and Josh, and the first person I looked at was this guy keeping us company, Mendelton here at the. Uh... <laughs> I don't know why I looked at him, but you know it, it that's our responsibility. My goodness. Yeah, no, I mean <laughs> I want to go pick it oh, up. Oh, hey, hello everybody. Hold on, rug button. There we go. And let me take out the iPhone camera. There we go. That's much better. You guys want to see the A380 instead, right? Well, I mean, in about 10 minutes, someone's going to have to go down and get the phone. I'll go, Joshua. You, you're the host. Oh, but you're the cameraman. No, but I could just go run down. No. Are we, we're not going to stay for the Emirates, are we? Uh, it has to push back, Cat. That's the thing. Pretty quickly. And I think they're still boarding the plane, and I don't want to extend my welcome. I don't want to go past my welcome. I've been here 11 hours, right? But listen. I mean, yeah, I mean, enough is enough. Yeah. Oh, wow, look at that. 
Let me know when the, the Jet Blue starts to land. Yes. The Italians are getting a move on, by the way. Oh, is that the go-around? The EVA? I think so. No, that's a passenger jet. Yeah, that's passenger. The one that we saw go around, that was a cargo, right? Yes. No, that's it, Josh. That's, oh, it, that's the passenger. It. Oh, wow. The passengers had a fun go around. And uh, we have a pretty cool livery up next. Oh, and a 74. Look at that. That's the Dash 8 that we saw land earlier. Very nice, the Cathay Pacific. And another Quadjet right behind it, that's Lufthansa A340-300. Wow, look at that. All right, Royal Jordanian, look how good that looks at night. See, uh, to the left, that's a plane spotter. That's why it's a little blurry. All right, Royal Jordan. Look at how good. Look how good that looks at night. Royal Jordanian, the 787-9. Looks really good. Wow, look at that. That's great. Uh, let's see a few members to celebrate. We have... Uh, let's take a look. We have Mall Meinster 50. I hope I'm pronouncing that name correctly. Welcome to first class. And Matt McCullen, welcome to first class as well. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for joining. You have a jet blue, is that it? Pass, uh, possibly. No. Number three for arrival, jet blue 2404, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be parking gate seven. But we will have it uh, taxi right next to us, so uh, that's, uh, that's going to be pretty cool when we zoom into that. We'll still have JetBlue pretty close to us. JetBlue 2404, shine the light. If you're just tuning in, my friends, we are trying to cross 7,000 likes. 7,000 likes here at the channel. 170 away. The queen of the skies getting a move on. Uh, this 747 is flying to Anchorage. Oh, boy. What's up? The, uh, the plane's pushing back. Jeez Louise, my friends. All right. Listen. Um, we want to show you the iconic TWA hotel shot of the A380 right next to the pool. But we also want to show you the queen of the skies. Go a little slower, guys. Come on, Emirates. Slow down a little bit. Oh, we did tell him to rush. We did tell him to rush, after all. Go for it, Emirates. Go as quickly as you can. All right, all right there's, there's the a queen. Beautiful. Look at that. That's a beautiful shot. Beautiful transition. 747 lifting off in the distance on runway 22 right. And we'll show you the iconic image of the A380 right next to us, right next to this incredible hotel, TWA. You have to come out here, my friends. You have to witness, you have to experience this in person. The sights, the smells, the sounds. It's one of a kind. One of, one a, of kind. a kind. It's unique. One of a kind. Nowhere else in the entire world. Wow, look at that. Look at the moon lighting inside. Wait, hold on. Passenger, yeah, the passengers are inside, right? 
That's a departure. No, that's a departure. Forget about it. Oh, that was a it? really fast pushback. No, that's it. I mean, that's a departure, Josh. Wow. I guess when we told them to rush, they really did rush. We have the A340 on the move. Where's the JetBlue? JetBlue is, I think, landing right now. Uh, no, it's on the runway, 22 left. But it's on the, the shine the light is on the other side of the plane. You want that one in the distance. You want to zoom into it? We might. Uh, but it's not the same. It's not the side. Oh, uh, I thought I saw like a bright, uh, bright flash there. All right, the eighth radio. I think the engines are going to be starting up in the next few minutes. And JetBlue 240, what is it? 2404, shine the light, seat 3A. That's going to be in the, uh, in the uh, front of the plane. Can't wait to see that. Bright flash here at night. All right, let's see the A380. That one has, I think the engines are starting up maybe. I think, look at this, we have a JetBlue A320 pushing back. I think we could take a look at the uh, JetBlue, Josh. No, it's all right. All right. It's starting up the engines, Josh. Okay, all that sound you're hearing is JetBlue pushing back from gate three, powering up its V2500 uh, V2, engines flying to Jamaica. JetBlue 12, there you go, finally, JetBlue 1259. On your screen. How far are we from... Uh, 7,000 likes. If you're, if you're just joining us right now, we are in overtime. We were supposed to end the show at 10 p.m. Listen, we were supposed to end the show with the Lufthansa departure at 5.30 p.m. Eastern time. We went crazy. We went overtime again. The one more plane pushed us to extend the, the show yet again. So with the overtime, we were supposed to end at 10 p.m. Right now, we are at double overtime. 7,000 likes is the goal before we end uh, the episode for today. 7,000 likes. It's a number that we haven't reached in months, a long time. And hopefully we reach 7,000 likes at the TWA Hotel, our home away from home. Incredible Avgeek heaven. 75 away from the massive 7,000.
One day we'll cross 9,000. Remember, if we cross 9,000 in any of our episodes, I jump into the pool. Doesn't look like we're gonna reach 9,000. I'll take 7,000 any day of the week. Where's JetBlue 2404? Let's take a look. All right, trying to cross Take runway right, uh, 22 right. right. Bravo, JetBlue 2154 right on Bravo, monitor ground point one. Bravo, monitor ground, JetBlue 2154. Delta 9971, Julia, what's your gate tonight? Julia, going about 48, Delta 9. Understand, Bravo 42, you said it was 48. Oh, yeah, we've been, we've been coming the entire day. Roger, Delta 9971, ultra, going to take you right up, Julia. Yeah, we've been, we've been, we've been, there you go. It looks like Emirates turned on the taxi lights. All right, a lot of static. Already did static. the flight control tests. Flight con and the flaps set for departure. Can't wait for that. Hey, listen, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm going to do something right now. I am going to refresh my page and hopefully we get to cross 7,000. Are you ready? All right, I'm gonna refresh the page right now. I'm gonna see if we cross 7,000 likes. If you haven't done so, let's go for it. 7,000 is a big number. Uh, right now the number that I see is 6,084, so we're really close to it. Can we cross 7,000 before 11 hours of the live show? My goodness, I'm gonna refresh the page right now. So let's see what happens. Did we cross 7K? Waiting for it. Where's that JetBlue? JetBlue 20. It. Say it again? I think that's it. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Full screen, let's go full screen. We have Shine the Lights for the grand finale here at the, well, listen. Many grand finale uh, moments happening. We're going to see the A380 depart as well. Where's that it coming from? is a big light. San Juan, Puerto Rico. Ah. Shine the light. Do you see the light, my friends? Yes or no? If that plane... Yeah, you see the light over there. Shine the light, guys. Yep, yep. as clear as day. There it is. If that plane would have parked at gate one right next to us, we would have had the first ever shine the face. For today, shine the light. That's a bright light, guys. Hey, Captain Ken is here. Ah, really? <laughs> Look at you, man. Captain Ken. Have you made it in time? Shine the light. Already at the airport, I, uh, I hope. Look at that. Good vibes. Do we, uh, did we ever find out who was the viewer? Give us a yes, give us a no. Do you see the light? There you go, giving us a wave with the light. That's so cool, man. Who's the viewer? I don't know. Super awesome, 10 out of 10. Wow, look at the viewer, the viewer. Hey, listen, if you're watching right now, you're gonna have the A380 taxi right next to you on your left side. My goodness, look at that plane. The passenger, the viewer, the LA flights viewer on JetBlue 2404. Gonna have a front row seat to that king of the skies. What do you think of that? There you go, shining the, shining the light at the A380. <laughs> Talk about an impressive sight, that. Hey, Gianna, 224 heavy right. Julia, where are you parking tonight? Okay, uh, gate number four at Terminal 1. Terminal 1, okay, Gianna, 224 heavy. Julia, try to sit to your right. Uh, and we have Singapore pushing wow. back right now. We won't be able to stay for Singapore, guys. It's a little too late for us. 
Uh, A380 is the last plane in this incredible program. We have Singapore. That's the longest flight in the entire world. That's going to be an 18-hour plus flight. Look at that. And all business class seats. That's brilliant. Look at that. Let's take a look at the head-up displays with the, uh, the I pilots. I love it. I love the head-up display. It's so... Uh, I love the future look. There you go. No, they're not going to wave. Forget about it. Those guys are focused. Yeah, they're really focused. They're focused like no one's business. Look at that. We'll get the uh, head, uh, head up display in just a bit. And by the way, the viewer on JetBlue 2404 still shining the light. Wow, I love that look. That could be the highlight of the day, but I think the Ferrari being unloaded from the Emirates A380 takes the prize. That's really cool, though. Does Emirates have traffic to depart? I don't think so. I think it has uh, pretty uh, clear sailings to uh, runway 22 right. Transport 11 heavy cross situation straight on alpha. Uh, clear, 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 Stress, my goodness. Oh, police in the bottom. That's not for us. This car is parked on the road right now. Oh, look at that. What's up? The car doesn't want to move. Okay, so they have premium economy and business class seats. And that's all. Premium economy and business class seats uh, for the Singapore flight. Thank you, Luke. Are you ready? Just want to get the facts straight here at the channel. Luke Glass, those bags falling is why I wrap, uh, wrap mine and protect them. Thank you so much, Luke. Listen, you never know, right? Hey, massive super chat coming in. Thank you, Pete. 
Aircraft. What an incredible second day of the LA Flights channel, and we crossed 7,000 likes as nice. well. Nice. Look at you, man. It's been forever since we've gotten 7,000 likes. Are you ready? You know something? I, I don't remember the last time that we... Uh, the, it certainly happened. I mean, the, world, the, the, the channel record is 9,200 likes. It has happened in the past, but let me tell you something. I, the last time we crossed 7,000, I, I don't remember. Peach, I love the name, my friend. An incredible gift coming to my brother, uh, to, to, to my brother and I. A $100 wow, gift. Wow, Pete. What an incredible two days, LA flights. And we crossed 7,000 likes. You're amazing, Peter. Thank, uh, Pete, right? Peter, Pete. I go by both. Love the name, my friend. I'm sorry I'm putting this message up in the screen so late. I was just trying to uh, double, -check, uh, double check a few things. That's an amazing gift. Thank you, Peter. I'm happy that you're enjoying the New York edition here at the LA Flights channel. We have David Medina sending us a $5 super chat. Those pilots head up displays. Uh, head up displays reminds me of Dragon Ball Z, the power, uh, the power level scouters. David, I have no clue what you're talking about, my friend. I'm not a big Dra Dragon Ball Z fan, but I appreciate that. And listen, that's something I have to take a look at, right? Uh, Jen, Honolulu, big super chat from Pete. Super chat from Godzooks. And the viewers who shine the lights. DJ Ekivara, David. Uh, and David Ekivara. Thank you, Jen. Absolutely amazing. Let me put up Godzooks message. Back. And it seems right on time. Thank you for joining us, Godzooks. Friendly vibes, my friend. I'm so happy you were able to uh, tune in uh, to the New York edition of LA Flights the last few minutes. Thank you, Brian. Are you ready? Shout out to Brian uh, and little Branson, of course. Went up for a few hours, and there the brothers are, still going strong. Peter and Catman, you guys deserve the best live streaming metal out there to the one more plane to la flights to the new york city vibes thank you brian alicia my goodness you know something i was uh, i was checking the uh, information because we want to report uh you know accurate information so that is why you know i missed a few messages alicia Captain Ken just said his first officer doesn't believe he is a YouTube celebrity. Let's show Captain Ken some love. Bill in the chat. The Captain Ken. His personal emoji here on the channel. If you are a member, let's convince his first officer that he is an aviation celebrity. Are you ready? I think Captain Ken, YouTube famous. Are you ready? Send the Captain Ken emotes on the chat. Make it go crazy. Thank you, Alicia. We have the Singapore flight. No guarantee. Uh, I, th I don't think we're going to stay for that one. The A380, I think, has a little bit of traffic jam. Listen, it has to take off, like, literally now. A380 flying to Milan, super. It hasn't even crossed, 31 left. We have that Dreamliner on uh, on runway 22, right? Have a great night, 167. Come on, everybody, Captain Well, we Ken. have to leave in 10 minutes. So yeah, so we'll listen, I mean, with Emirates, 10.45, yeah, 10.45, I mean, that's it. And uh, the food's here. Someone has to go pick it up. Who's going to uh, go pick it up? I mean, I'll go, I guess. What do you think? Yeah, but I mean, the show's going to end right now. I got to answer this. Uh, me and my mic. All right, let's see. Let's take a look at... Let's see, D. 
Creed 05. The stream is almost as long as the Singapore flight. Hey, getting up there. What can I say? Closer to the Emirates flight. Are you ready? Thank you so much. D Creed 05. Go for it. Uh, it's all right. We have 10 minutes. So, 10 minutes. This plane has to take off. All right. One way or another. If it doesn't, then well, we have to leave. Yep. Plane spotter over here. Thank you, ma'am. 10.45. I give it to 10.45. Then we're going to have to rush out of here. Uh, did Ro Royal Jordanian leave? Yeah. Uh, that was a, uh, Royal, Royal Maroc. Maroc. Yeah, Royal Maroc. Still on the runway. Still on the runway. Oh, hold on. Where did it go? I think it took off. Oh, it took off. Yeah, there it goes. Forget about it. There it goes. Okay. Is uh, Emirates waiting for something? Hey, is there Josh. An issue or something? Hey, listen. Um, the Super is letting a whole bunch of other ones go. Uh, let's see, we have Air Europa, we have JetBlue 437 cutting the line. I don't think we're going to be able to see the A380. Oh, there it goes, finally. Jeez, talking about that plane, right? Uh, 1045, we have seven minutes left. Eight minutes left. Thank you so much, Shelly. My goodness. Let's take a look at the memberships. Five memberships being gifted to Number this channel. By, uh, Juliet and Old Shirt of Juliet, Old Shirt, right, Thank you, Shelly. Incredible. Five memberships. I appreciate you. Have a great night. Uh, that's assuming you're in the Eastern Time Zone. Thank you for watching the LA Flights channel. Thank you for helping grow your channel, Shelly. I appreciate you. Let's take a look at the channel memberships for today. Let's see how many we got. Uh, let's see. 184 members total. Nice. So we need 16 to go until we cross the, yeah. the 200 mark. My goodness. Almost 200. Wow. Almost. You guys are awesome. The bicentennial. 14 channel, uh, what is it? 16 channel memberships left to go until we cross the bicentennial in this incredible day of plane spotting. And Emirates looks like they're getting the departures out. Uh, I think we'll be able to see it take off. Yeah, hopefully. It's going to be down to the wire again. Down to the wire I again. I thought we were going to get it. We have seven minutes, so. Less than that. Uh, more like six minutes. Are you here? Thank you, Marianne, gifting one membership to the LA Flies channel. 15 to go. All right, A380 number three for departure. Oh, Pete, look at this, incredible. 10 memberships being gifted wow. by Pete, who just Pete. sent an incredible gift. You're awesome, man. Wow. Listen, I, 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 I am so happy that you are enjoying the uh, New York edition. Thank you so much, Pete. Pete Nordin. Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing that last name correctly. Pete, coming in clutch. Five memberships left until we cross the bicentennial. Thank you, Pete. Amazing. It really does go. Oh, it does go a lot, guys. Uh, the support does go a long way. A long way. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm sorry. I've been talking for 12 hours. Jeff in Texas for the win. Are you ready? We have crossed 200 channel memberships. Yes. Jeff in Texas, welcome to New York. There you go. Thank you, guys. You guys are absolutely That's incredible. What's your gate tonight? Hey, Juliet, we are going to Bravo 33991. Roger, no delays in traffic inside of a quarter mile final. Thank you, Jeff. 
proud state of Texas coming in clutch. There goes. Thank you to everyone. 200. You guys are making this, uh, you know, the New York edition, you know, such an unforgettable time. Uh, we have 1020 MJ. Look at you, my friend. Gifting 10 memberships to this channel puts us well above the bicentennial. Wow. Art the girl. Listen, okay, so 1020 MJ, those are the 10 memberships, well beyond 200 now. Art the girl. But look at the fireworks celebrating the bicentennial. Ah, yeah. I'll take, I'll take that any day of the week, the fireworks celebrating the incredible LA Flights family. Very nice. Thank you for the amazing day and night. Safe flight to Captain Ken to my favorite airport to enter the uh, uh, to enter the EU in Iceland. Very nice. Uh, yep. Thank you so much, Arthur Girl. All the all access VIP uh, member here at the yeah, channel. Okay, awesome, Nathan Porter sending us a two dollar super chat. Great show. Can you come down to Houston? Oh my goodness. Let's first end the show here at the LA, at the uh, at New York City. Then we'll talk. All right. My goodness. We can't end this show. Yeah. Molly, thank you so much. 10 months of channel membership. Thank you so much again for another amazing show. Peter and Joshua, you both are awesome. Thank you so much for all that you do. Thank you so much, Molly. All right, let's see the uh, 830 lining up. That's going to be the last plane for today's episode. We're going to have to call it a day after this hour. Deadline for today, 10.45 p.m. We really can't stay any minute, lo one minute after 10.45. That's it. I mean, we're LA Flights Live, so I mean, whenever you're coming in, just send us like a DM. Yeah. All right, I think we have that one lining up, the one more plane. I'm sure we got you over like all right. Grumpy Forest, they're sending a $2 super chat. Don't forget, okay, this is a message to the viewers of LA Flights. Don't forget. Check, check. By the way, I think we might have a turn and burn by the A380. Is this right, Julia, a turn and burn? Right. You know, it might be, and we did tell it to hurry up. So after LA Flights said we oh, need yeah, this. Yeah, that's, that's a turn and burn. That is wow. a turn and burn for the grand finale, day two of the LA Flights New York City edition. We have. A turn and burn by the king of the skies, by the behemoth of the skies. This is how we end the day of plane spotting here at this incredible channel. Uh, incredible LA Flights family. I hope you guys had it a terrific time. We, had, we were live, I think, more than 11 hours, almost 12 <laughs> hours live. I can't believe that. Um, uh, more than 11 today. And yesterday, we were live for another 12 hours. And yesterday, we were battling oh, lightning and thunderstorms. <laughs> today, I, battling the heat. You know something, though? It goes fast. It goes fast here in New I'm York City. I'm a little City. tired. I'll give you that. I'm a little tired, but it does go fast. It goes fast here at this magnificent airport. Wow. There goes the behemoth. Leaving just a few seconds shy of our deadline, 10.45 p.m. All right. I mean, I think that's that's how we end. We can't go any longer. We can't go any longer. That's it. We have one minute. One minute to spare. Uh, my friends, there goes the Emirates A380. I think we're going to call it a day. A special I think so. thank you to the incredible folks. My goodness, I've been talking for two days long. Joshua over there, that guy's been standing up. Uh, for the past two days. Thank you to the incredible folks, our friends here at the TWA Hotel. I say this every single time. I say this in Los Angeles. I say this all the time. Make this hotel a top priority, guys. You have to visit this amazing, uh, ma amazing location. You have to experience what we are experiencing right now in person. Believe me, the camera doesn't do it justice. The TWA Hotel. Guys, come out here already. You won't <laughs> regret it. That's true, you won't. I Thank mean, you for really. watching LA Flights. We're going to call it a day. Yeah, I know. Thank you to the incredible LA Flights supporters for, for keeping this channel going with mind-blowing support. Thank you. It's thanks to you that we get to come out across the country and 
put on a live show 3,000 miles away. It's all thanks to you guys. I for, mean. you know, two entire days. Are you ready? 12 hours. We'll do it again Friday. That's the next official live day. But make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you hit that notification bell because, listen, we, we might go live. Anything can happen. Any spontaneous live, right? Can't wait for the next <laughs> day that we get to. I got to be honest. I'm a little tired. <laughs> Oh Bye-bye, everybody. Thank you so much, guys. Wow, what a pleasure. What a pleasure <laughs> it's been spotting for you guys. I'll say it again. I know Peter said it, but thanks to TWA. Thanks to Captain Ken, too. Captain Ken. Wow, Captain Ken, the legend today. Captain and legend Ken. forever, I think. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye, guys. Until next time. In Until next days. time. The couple LA days. flights turns on, turns on the cameras. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye, guys. Thank you, Josh. Whew. <laughs> Let's go eat. <laughs> Let's go Let's eat. Let's go eat. Let's get the spaghetti. <laughs> Come on. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Until next time. Bye-bye. I always thank every single one of you for joining us wherever we go. Here's to the next adventure. The home of the one more adventure, the New York edition at LA Flights. I hope everyone is excited for that. I'm very, I can't wait for JFK. I love JFK.